second. Put some little there. nose. Sorry. There oh. we are. So they work really, really gorgeous, aren't they? Together. They're gorgeous, yeah. yeah. So we've also got Saturn with the ring around. We've also got those stars of the abalone, and we've got the lever back as well. So uh, that's your star. This is your Saturn, and we've got the spaceman as well, and we've got the f wow. six pairs. Oh, what? Hang on, there's Saturn. Hang on a second. There's your little spaceman. He's so cute. Little spaceman. Then you've got your six pairs of your silver-plated lever back earring findings and your drilled at the top lovely abalone stars. What a great deal. What an absolutely great, great, great deal. I'm going to show you that spaceman because there's so much detail in the lovely spaceman. And do you know what I'm going to do with some of mine with these? And you can make some little changes as well. If you've got, you know, your silicon because some of these charms oh, yeah. are, I know they're base, base metal, yeah. are so lovely, so I'm going to take do moulds of them and use them with my silver clay. Make oh, a few brilliant. changes so that they're, you know, that they're yours, but get that basic shape. You know, those stars, you think about, you know, you could stamp into those, yeah. you know, initials, dates, things like that. They're really, really lovely charms. Really nice. That was a lovely, lovely collection. I think these deals are absolutely brilliant. phenomenal. Because well, you're getting your findings, aren't you? And those great charms. And the abalone. Yeah. And six pairs yeah. of earring findings in silver plate. Two abalone stars. I think the stars are awesome at nine ninety nine. And your four celestial charms as well. It's a brilliant deal. Absolutely brilliant. And I've don't forget as well now, if you if you put the combine this, you've got the abalone shapes like that. There's nothing to stop you now. Once you can work with your Dremel, so you've got the one drill holes. So you can absolutely put your um. Uh, your jump ring through. Yeah. But now, if you've got those skills, you can actually put drill holes wherever you want them, can't you? So yeah, you could exactly. incorporate them into your wire work, Brilliant. anything like that. Yeah. Chain mail. Yeah, agreed. So how do you fancy this floral design? And I'm going to give you here two fabulous abalones in those really cute floral designs. You'll get, you can see the drill hole right at the top. Then I've got some more charms. I've got a pair of flowers... Then I've got a pair of feathers. And I've got a pair, because we had those slider bracelets earlier with the hearts, didn't we? And these are your hearts. You get two of those, two of the feathers, two of the daisies. And then I love these. If I just pop these up for you there, look. Those are your silver plated Perfect. Met, uh, base metal drop earrings. Now you can you can add to them because just hidden behind that tapered section at the front is your loop. So they were the quickest quickest makes I think I've ever done. Really? Yeah, absolutely. So those pairs of earrings that you've made, yeah. how long do you reckon it took you? Seconds. Seconds. You, because yeah, because you, isn't it? You haven't even got to um, open and close the jump ring. No. You just literally just add on, isn't it? Yeah. Add, yeah. add in the add in the uh, the charms that are on oh, there. Oh, this is fantastic! Hang on a second. So six pairs of earrings. So six pairs of earrings, and you've got the abalone, and you've got six charms. So you could do three pairs of earrings with the charms, plus a pair of earrings with the abalone, and still have two pairs of earrings left, couldn't you? For nine ninety nine. Brilliant. That is absolutely mm. awesome. I'm going to see if I can go home and get some of uh, go when I, when I come off air in a moment. I'm going to see if I can get some of those kits because that's such good value for money, isn't it? You know, silver-plated findings uh, with your silver-plated lovely charms. I love these little daisies as well. I really like those. Um, and it's great because you've got the celestial, you've got the autumnal with this squirrel and um, the uh, hedgehog and the acorn and the conker. Now you've got the daisies. You've got the feathers, you've got the hearts as well. Uh, now, just trying to check out, there's quite a number of you. Ivy, Lynn, Vivian, jewellery makers, left, right and centre. Sandra, Florence, Alison, so many of you. Well done, everybody. $9.99, fantastic. Do you know what, Claire? That has been brilliant, that demo today, that masterclass. Oh, thank you. I hope, it, I hope you can see how... Um, you know, if you've not tried it before, um, it, it, don't be intimidated by something like that because, that's it, you know, it's once you've set it up, it's very easy, yeah. isn't it? So that's, I think it's very that's easy. That's the thing, yeah. I think the most difficult thing is actually taking the plunge 
actually not been scared of the Dremel itself. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. when we when we launched the Dremel, I can guarantee you now, pretty much every single one of our guest designers immediately ordered the Dremel, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. But yeah. we all and we all feel the same. Um, you know, about you might be intimidated by bigger tools, but really, it's just and Dremel instructions are. Yeah. wonderful and really there's so good. many guides online yes. as well and, yeah. and, and and videos and things you know and it does help and if you are nervous it's like i ordered a laptop the other day uh you know from that very well-known apple shop where the shops are available and i was really nervous i sat with it for a week in the box before i even took it out the box and my stepdad sent me a link to a lady on youtube and she just literally showed me what to do and i followed what to do and i set it all up myself and i was well really done. proud of myself well done <laughs> yeah. very but, good but i needed the visual guide yeah and you know i could have done it myself but I just felt more comfortable having somebody that had experienced it yeah. showing me what to do. And that's exactly what Claire will do with that DVD. And it's four ninety nine. So I'll pop the Pearl Drilling DVD back back in uh, on, on, on air for on, on screen for you there. Four ninety nine. Claire will teach you how to pearl drill. Now Claire, yes. when are you back with us? Uh, You're back with me next Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday, that. yes. Tuesday, oh, is that your next one? Tuesday morning and masterclass, yes. Right. Do you know what I'm doing? What? <gasps> I have heard, but go on. Kumahimo. Oh, wait, I haven't heard then. Why, why are Kumahimo? You're Kumahimoing. I'm Kumahimoing. Oh, yeah. brilliant. So we'll have fun then. Oh, yes. Why yeah. What else do you think I'm doing? What else am I doing? Uh, well, I happen to know we've got some seriously good amber. <gasps> yes, the I didn't know. Yes, amber. yes. And the microfacety yes. amber. I've seen these carved ambers. Have you seen the carved <gasps> ambers? I know. <gasps> no, no. Oh. Honestly, you have never seen amber like it. Tuesday morning, oh, it is incredible. going to be awesome. And again, if you want more acorns and you want, you've got to be here for the Argentium show next Friday. A week on Friday, 22nd. I'm going to be here with you with Elizabeth. And there's the chance to win the Argentium apron, the spinner unit for the charcoal. Oh. And one of the Edison pearls in the acorn as well. Nice. Don't go anywhere because after the break, the lovely Vicky will be here with you and our fantastic get designer, Cara. Good morning, jewellery makers. How are we all? Oh, it's lovely to be with you and it's super lovely to see this wonderful crew because I haven't seen you in ages. Ages and ages and ages. Oh, I tell you what, what a treat. Um, I hope you're all well. Today is going to be epic. Yeah, exactly. Epic, epic, epic. Now, I might be a little bit rusty, so I do apologise in advance. Um, it's been a while. I, I was back, what was it, last Saturday? I can't remember. I can't remember. Days of the week seem to tend to merge when you're sleep deprived. Um, but yeah, and I'm back with you covering Carol this morning. I hope you don't mind at all. But I tell you what, Tom Neary, you have a, a, quite a lineup in this morning's show. Here he is, the man himself. Mr Neary is producing us this morning. Hello, Tom. Oh, this is going to be lovely. Um, I'm going to say hello to all of the fabulous crew, because like I said, I haven't seen them in ages. I know you might have done, but it's a treat for me. We've got gorgeous Ollie. Gorgeous Ollie. You right, Ollie? We've been talking about Shay's chocolate bombs that she made. They sound absolutely delicious. She, can, can I put a request in, please? Yeah? Because I love chocolate. Um, and looking extra dapper these days, I have to say, Mr. Wolf. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Give yourself a clap. <laughs> um, oh, I tell you what, what an absolute treat. I was saying earlier on, I think one of my, I think one of my uh, last shows with you prior to me going off on maternity was with this gorgeous lady. And it's nice to be back with her. We've got our fabulous Susie. Yay! Oh, you should see the jewellery that Susie has created. And not forgetting, keeping us all in check, we have Hannah behind the screen. Hi, Hannah. 
I'm not forgetting you, my darling. I know that you are literally, you're the backbone. She's the glue. That's what I was looking for. She's the glue that keeps this show rolling. Um, okay. Now, I understand that your eight o'clock hour this morning is going to be a bit of a lounge hour. Um, now, I've never done one of these before. Viewer's choice is what we call it, sorry. Um, I've never done one of these before on Jewelry Maker, but it sounds like a lot of fun. So basically, this is how it goes. We upload all of your available treats to the website, Jewelry Makers. So there they all are. And at your request, if you message us, you can text us into the studio live. If there's something that you would like me to bring to the, you know, your TV screen, um, just send the number. Just say the number and, and we'll bring your text live and I'll show it to you. So it's a very interactive hour. So we'll, like, we'll, we'll have a lot of fun. So you effectively construct the show. So I'm going to start, though, with an absolute closeout deal. An absolute closeout deal. So these, I, I shouldn't imagine you'll be able to actually source. Let me get my blackboard. You'll actually be able to source at the price that we're actually bringing them to you at. Because we're all well aware that the price of sterling silver has gone through the roof. Um, so, plus your gemstones, of course. So, to be able to get hold of these at your close at deal price might well be unachievable. So, featuring some beautiful garnets set in sterling silver. Look at how many you get. I mean, talk about adding those finishing touches to your designs. I mean, that literally could be an earring in its own right, couldn't it? Literally, customise it into uh, a shepherd hook, if you like, and it's done. Job done. Solid 925 sterling silver. Close-out deal to get this Friday morning well and truly rocking. What's a close-out deal, Ollie says? What's... So, basically... <laughs> so, basically, this is us... Um, I don't want to say the word clearance because it sounds like it's a product that we don't actually uh, value because we definitely do. But um, we might not be reordering these. Um, and we're going to take it to a price that you've never seen previously before. It's the absolute rock bottom deal. Um, so best possible opportunities for you to get hold of them. So, yeah, we might not be reordering these. They might be in a, in a different design, say, in the future. So if you love them, now is the time. Usually $17.99. And I can tell you, jewelry makers, actually, I launched these and they were from my memory, they were exactly that price. So, best possible deal for you. Oh, it's good. £7.88. Have we got many of them then, Tom? A hundred. A hundred of these left within the vault, and that is for a pack of ten, so you get all of these. All of these are coming your way at £7.88. That's 79 pence per sterling silver. Not just head pin, you know, it's, it's, it's a design in its own right. Don't you think, Susie, you could quite literally just turn these into a piece of jewellery? You could, and I can actually um, make it into a head pin very easily just with a pair of baling pliers like these. Yeah. Um, and so that you have that lovely piece at the top as the earring. As the earring itself. But then put it through the ear, and then you can hang something else off oh, it. I love it. I love it. I so, love it. Um, best possible opportunity. Now, texting, it's a very interactive hour, jewellery makers. I love the fact that we are bringing you viewers choice. So you choose what actually comes to air. Yeah, pop some simple pearls. Well, funny you should say that. Look, here we go. We've got some amazing pearls coming your way. Look at those. Gorgeously spherical, high lustre. Just imagine one of those actually suspending from the bottom of your garnet. Um, like I said, I mean, is that 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 is that Chanel in itself? First message of the morning. Who's that from? Michaela, lovely Michaela. Hello, darling. Can we squinting at the screen? Um, morning, Elle. How are you and the family? Lovely surprise to see you on the morning. Big hugs uh, to you and lots of love to the family. Thank you, my darling. Thank lots of love to you as well. We're all really good. We're all really, really good um hiya julie you're asking for number two no problem is that coming up next then we'll do that for you next yeah the pearls are coming up a little later on in the show um the family are really well thank you michaela really really well i'm very well rested considering i have an eight week old at home um okay number two number two I'm going to do that and move that over there because you want to see these lovely ambers. Good, good call here, Julie. They are beautiful. So you're getting a selection of your amber plus the 925 sterling silver bales. So they actually have a little screw at the top, if I hold one of them up for you. They've got a little screw at the top that you literally pop a little bit of your specialist jewellery making glue. Um, something like E6000, I assume. 
Yeah. Susie, yeah. yeah. Or hypo cement. Hypo cement, that'll work as well. Um, so screw it into the top of your amber pendant. As you can see, it's already pre-drilled. And you've just made a piece of jewellery. That simple. It doesn't have to be complex. So you're getting three of your beautiful ambers and some of the rarest of colours. Less than 2% of the world's amber is actually green. Um, so here we go, viewer's choice price. $17.99 for all three. That's amazing. Six pounds each for a genuine Amazing. amber. Amazing. That. I mean, really, that should be each, shouldn't it? Seventeen ninety nine seems to be. Each seems to be amazing. I gift quite a lot of our amber. Um, I know Christmas is, 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 is done and dusted, but I gift a lot of our amber because people recognise its rarity, they recognise its value, and plus, especially with components like this, really simple to actually put together. Um, keep on dialing through. Dorothy, hello, my lovely. You're asking for number six. Oh, I'm loving this. I get to talk to you at the same time. Oh, oh, nice, Dorothy. This is beautiful. The detail of this sterling silver, I have to say, our sterling silver craftsmanship alongside our amber pieces is just absolutely unbelievable. Take a little look, Dorothy. You have your gorgeous stag. They're the guardians of the woods, aren't they? They're regarded as the guardians of the woods. So incredibly majestic. Look at that craftsmanship. And literally you can see all of his face, facial features and the detail. Uh, circled with a huge amount of your 925 sterling silver. So let me just turn that over so you can see the amount of precious metal on the reverse as well. And where I'm holding... Uh, there you go. You actually have the bale itself. So pop a jump ring, so attach it to maybe your deal of the day, which is a huge amount of sterling silver um, across multiple chains. Massive deal of the day deal. So all you need to do is pop a jump ring on there. $19.99 only. Um, quality amber, of course, because you've got all those wonderful inclusions within the actual gemstone itself. OK, keep, keep on dialing through. A sneak peek... At the amber free forms that are coming up, sure, look at these. I, I have to say I've got my eye on these. I had one of these once upon a time and I think it, it mysteriously disappeared. It mysteriously disappeared from my house. I think my brother took a fancy to it, not saying he's a tea leaf, but it did disappear. Um, but look, so look at those in different colours. They're coming up at what time? About quarter to, a quarter, about quarter to nine, so coming up a little bit later on there, fab. Fab. Request for number 30. Butterscotch amber. Oh, but not just any old. I love it when it's not polished. It looks beautiful and it's this be wonderful sort of matte-like texture. Completely different to sort of amber as we usually see it, I, sh I should say. Um, yeah, amber can be quite transparent, of course, but it can also be quite, quite opaque. And it's beautiful, um, and it's beautiful in both varieties. So look at the lovely shades that you're getting here, right? Almost cherry amber um, at, the, at the top, and you've also got some of your cream amber within this too. So it's, it's potentially a full bracelet, um, a beautiful necklace that you could not just restrand on something like your flex right wire. Something a bit different for those of you that are looking for sort of not the sort of stereotypical look of amber. Um, very lightweight, this gemstone. It's actually a, a gem which will physically float in salt water. Yes, Michael? It's really retro. It's properly, it's properly 70s. Like I like that. that. Yes, it's the colours, I think. Yeah. Do you remember? You can remember back to the 70s. Carpet. The carpets, the wallpaper. He's like, no, I can't remember it, really. <laughs> yeah, I can. I can remember sort of the retro colours of the 70s. We had a coffee set that was kind of that kind of uh, colour palette. We had a settee from the 70s. <laughs> a settee. Keep dialing through. Pauline, you want number eight. Sure. No, I've never brought this to air. Oh, Pauline. It, oh, it's taking me to someone like the Maldives, this. Oh, that's stunning. Every single inclusion that you see within this amber is giving you a flash of almost Paraba blue. Oh, that's absolutely beautiful. The reason I'm going to move my hand around so you can see how the light plays across every single one of those inclusions. Um, I'm going to assume that you all understand, that you all know what amber is. You do, don't you? Look at that colour. It literally fluoresces, doesn't it? 
Very cool. Totally different to sort of uh, um, the cognac colours that we tend to see. Um, you've almost got your blues, greens and a hint of yellow within there. So, yeah, the tiny little inclusions, the more inclusions you see, the more desirable the amber actually is. Um, and it's life preserved from millions of years ago. Twenty nine ninety nine uh, for your viewer's choice amber. This cabochon that you could so easily sort of set into, what, what do you think? Sterling silver, you could gallery wire this. There we go, Pauline. I hope you've managed to get hold of yours. It would also look beautiful with the appetite wheels that you're seeing on your screens right now. $29.99. Um, yeah, I, I, I wasn't able to launch this. When did it happen? It's not that long ago, was it? Okay, so it was the latter part of last. Oh, yeah, I wasn't here. There we go. 23rd of November um, was when this actually was launched. Keep dialing through for that one, jewelry makers. <coughs> Um, and a request for number five. Sure. Um, now, gallery wire, let me just quickly show you what gallery wire is for those of you that don't know. You can literally sort of circle, you can actually circle your cabochon or cut gemstones with um, the gallery wire of choice. And it's such a professional finish. This is beautiful. This is a little bit of me, this is. And I'm going to grab one of your deal of the days if I can. Is that, hang on, hang on, hang on. So choose a sterling silver chain of choice. I'm going to go with the snake chain just because of its simplistic elegance. And just imagine that suspended from the sterling silver. So this is one of your deal of the day chains. Look at how beautiful that is. And it, it literally is opening and closing a jump ring, isn't it, Susie? It is, as simple as. And that's all you have to do. Look, I mean, if you saw that in an amber boutique jewellers, you would be talking about, is this twelve ninety nine? Apparently, it's not even twelve ninety nine. I was about to say, but if this was in Amber Boutique Jewelers, you'd be talking about... For... 55 £50 pounds yeah. easy just for the pendant. That's without just even putting the, pendant. the chain on it. Look at that. Beautifully finished. I love the simplicity of this one. This was, like I said, a little bit of me. I mean, that could be a piece of jewellery that you, you wear and never take off. Exactly. And, I mean, that just goes with everything, doesn't it? Yeah. I like the fact that it's not overly ornate. It's all about the actual the amber simple. itself. I think I love contemporary jewellery, so I love the simple yeah. Yeah. designs, and that is really, really just classic, isn't it? Oh, I've been multi-buying on this. Have yeah. you got many of these then, Tom? There's a few of them within the, within the vault, but not huge quantities. About 20. Um, I'm talking about pendants, but you could also uh, attach them to a pair of shepherd hooks if you wanted to. In fact, we've got some lovely earring findings coming up today. Lots of sterling silver. I can't see you, so let me just refresh that there. Okay, moving on to... Ooh, that's over this side. Just because I move on, by the way, doesn't mean it's actually sold out. It's just that uh, I want to show you as much as I possibly can. These are different. They're very cool. You're right. So little buttons of amber. Now, I tell you what, we've all got, I think, clothes within our wardrobe that could would benefit from a little bit of upcycling. Can you imagine upcycling a, 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 like a, a blouse that you might have? So pretty. With amber. Yeah. Genuine amber. But in also, you could use it as a connector. If you put sort of like a couple of head pins either side, you could have like a four-way connector. That's so a nice idea. So, or, you know, a minimum of three. So you could have the chain that and then use that in the middle and then have something coming down the oh, bottom. So it's like multi-layered. Yeah. And layering is huge yeah. at the moment, isn't so, it? Oh, I love that idea. uses for it. Um, Ollie's just said, could we use it within the actual sliders that we've got coming up? So, hang on, let me just grab, I think that, make your own sliders, Ollie's saying. Yeah, that's cool. That's a, that's a great idea. I do love these sliders. They're amazing, aren't they? They're coming up in the 12 o'clock hour. These are brand new, so you're getting a sneaky peek, jewelry makers. You've got them in the three different colours. Um, so you've got your gold, no, sorry, two different colours, but different colours of your amber. So coming up at 12 o'clock, um, we've got a message coming through from Poppy. Nothing against Carol, but what a nice surprise seeing your lovely self. Oh, thanks, Poppy. Oh, we love our Carol. Um, we love our Carol. It's nice to be with you, Poppy, as well. It's lovely to be with you. I've got to be honest, it's actually number 10 Stephanie's asking for. Oh, I've never seen this before. It's cool. Um, I have to say, I actually go into work 
is I'm coming to work and I'm, I know I'm going to be more rested after a day at work than I would be at home. Mummy, mummy, homeschooling. Oh, it's hard, isn't it? Ollie, how are you coping with different age groups? I've got one four-year-old and that's hard enough. The older ones crack on. Is Shay being good? She does her whole day school work in about 20 minutes. I can't... Willow is just... I, and, I'm, and I feel, I was saying yesterday, I feel like I'm nagging her constantly, so I'm trying not to tell her when it's schoolwork um, because she just switches off. This is beautiful. It's a lovely conquer. Oh, it's, it's conjuring up memories, of nostalgic memories of my childhood, this is. I love it. If I turn it around this way, again, you can see the detail of the sterling silver. So, I don't know, you might have somebody that's... Um, what, sees, what, what month of the year do conkers come out? Autumn, Is autumn. It, the, oh, yeah, autumn. So, we're talking about sort of September, October. <clears throat> yeah, so if you know somebody or it's a memory part of, that's poignant to you, maybe conker collecting... Um, and this can be added, or oh, you just really like the detail of it. I think it's really sweet. £18.99 only. You're all that sterling silver holding your amber sphere. Now, everything is uploaded to the website ahead on the web, as you can see, as Ollie is showing you. Now, if there's anything you want me to bring to air, then just message us live in the studio. But you can get them throughout the course of the hour as well. Um, as you can see, it is a pure amber hour as well. Pure amber hour. What did you say, Tom? 24? Did you tell me to move on, or is that just me hearing things? Sorry. Sorry. Oh, sorry, Tom. I didn't, I didn't know if you actually said that. Oh, this is lovely. I'd use this with the, uh, with the amber that we had previously. You know, that lovely matte amber that we had previously. Can you imagine these alternated in a knotted style or uh, knotted style necklace? It's a gorgeous colour, isn't it? It's, a, it, it's almost a Madeira citrine-like colour, very rich. Um, again, you've got those lovely inclusions within. You've got areas of opacity, creaminess, I suppose, within the actual amber itself. And um, they're sizable pieces and drilled through the centre. So whilst we've actually put them all together in this one, what could be bracelet or necklace, you could use them as individuals too, couldn't you? It doesn't have to be sort of... You don't have to you know, put all your amber in one piece. Although if you are quite elaborate with your amber designs like myself, then why not? Especially at these viewers' choice hour deals, twenty nine pounds and ninety nine pence. Have you got have you got a preference of amber, Susie, or do you love them all? I love the green amber. Green amber because it's got the little yellow specks. I yeah, just absolutely love it. It is but beautiful. The, the second, I always wear a lot of the sort of the cognac, cognac amber, colours because I wear a sort of a, quite a lot of sort of caramel colours. Mm. And, Oh, so, yeah, yeah, but you suit those. So, yeah, you yeah. Suit. so I wear a lot of that as well. So this, this alongside maybe, I'm thinking about knotting now. What kind of choice of silk would you go with this? I think red would look absolutely Ooh, stunning. Like a in sunset. It. Yeah, be beautiful. Uh, 36, please, from Surrey. No problem, my lovely. No problem, I'll bring that to you now. 36, please. Oh, you're after this, the three forms. They're coming up in about 25 minutes. So I'll bring you those shortly. Um, in the meantime, am I meant to get all of these? All of them? All of them? Wow. There's two, four, six, eight, ten. So you imagine like a tennis bracelet. They're expensive, right, aren't they? they? They they do tend to be in any any gemstone, diamonds, sapphires, um, whichever amber, of course, any anything like tennis bracelet because it's obviously very laden with beautiful uh, uh, Mother Nature treasures. So you expect it to pay for twenty two pounds and ninety nine pence. Wonderful. Literally, a jump ring class, a jump ring. Well, multiple jump rings and a clasp of choice. And you're just making yourself a full 360 amber-rich piece of jewellery. Or ten wish bracelets, absolutely. You could use them in between your pearls and, and maybe a, a shepherd hook. So I'm imagining pearl at the bottom, one of these in between, and then attach it to your, to your, 
shepherd hook or what, whichever that'd be lovely that's that's five pairs of earrings that you can make gosh there are tons of you there coming in for that uh, michael's giving you a little sneaky peek of this beautiful bracelet that is yeah this in replace of the of the heart so this is coming up a little bit later on jewelry makers they're brand new being launched today don't they just make you smile and i think that's what we all need at the moment keep dialing through I'm loving that one. That's beautiful. That's the rose gold, by the way. Um, and our in-house designers, the lovely Anne and Sue, have actually made those for you. Last auction sold out. Now, again, whenever we talk about slider bracelets, I was, I was with you last Saturday and I was talking about slider bracelets launching a new variety. They are always incredibly popular. I actually think it's probably, uh, you know, not gemstone. I'm talking product the best number one product that we've ever actually brought to air. We launched them in 2016. And, and I mean, Susie, do you agree? It's revolutionary for any oh, jewellery maker, the slider it bracelet. Makes any jewellery look very high end. It looks like something you've bought in the shops. So, yeah. And you can literally just sort of do a connector with one bead and put it on. Well, let's bring one of those connectors back from the previous auction that sold out because loads of you got that, didn't you? So those of you that got hold of it, I'm sorry if you missed out. So just imagine, because I, I go on, online quite a lot and look at finished pieces of jewellery. So now look at that. Imagine that on somewhere like, I don't know, mm, Monica Veneda. You would be talking about three figures, wouldn't you? Yeah. Of course you would. Uh, Can't Pandora, yes. Yeah, even Pandora, which would probably be imitated stone, uh, an imitated stone, yeah. not the real deal. Uh, can I see number 26, please? Of course you can. Of course you can. Did I hear the beautiful tones of our Chloe Jones just then? No? No? 23? 26? I thought it was our lovely Chloe Jones then. I'm excited to see Chloe. I saw her before we were all grounded. Um, <laughs> um, I saw it before we were all grounded, bless her, but I'm excited to see our lovely Clo. Right, hang on a minute, I'm just untwisting this because it, I think it's really important I do. B this, re-strand, they're double, double drilled. Here we go, look at that, that's gorgeous. You've got this wonderful like herringbone of amber or little crescents dotted in between. They are sterling silver, by the way. So that's a lot of spacer beads that you're actually getting with this as well. Lowest ever price for you. You could do, yeah, you could absolutely turn these into solid sterling silver stretchy bracelets, I should imagine, with the sterling silver itself. Um, you could just use a section if you wanted to in your slider bracelet, because they're dr double drilled. You can actually take them in two different directions, can't you? As yeah, absolutely. I love this. Absolutely. You can sort of, um, I've seen where you, if you put them stuck like that, in two different directions, and yeah. then you can make a lovely centerpiece at the front of a neckline. So, sort of, uh, sort of come yeah. down across the like decolletage and say, yeah. oh, lovely. So you've got like a double chevron effect. And it's curved, the amber is curved on the one side and flat on the other, so it's really going to lay close to the actual uh, the skin itself. Precious cognac uh, amber that you're getting here, and 925 sterling silver, that's the lowest ever price. Think about the complexity, not only to sort of uh, fashion the amber, or, or I should say carve the amber into that lovely crescent shape, I should imagine that's very challenging, plus then the two drill holes, plus you're getting the 925 sterling silver, and we're giving it to you in your, in your uh, what do you call it, viewer's choice hour, sorry, Viewers' Choice Hour at the lowest ever price. Uh, good morning to you all. <laughs> if there's anything you want me to bring to air, have a little look on our website, Jewelrymakers, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com, um, and send us a message. Leanne's asked for number four. Here we go, Leanne. Very Van Cleef. Van Cleef. I mean, the, the, you say that jeweler, and instantaneously I just think about five figures. But they, they, they really do throw their weight behind that kind of uh, the petaled flower itself. You've also got a mixture of your amber colours here. So from your lemon to your cognac to your cherry. And again, dotted in between, they are 925 sterling silver. So do not throw those away. They are precious metal. You're effectively getting two products within one purchase here. Because you've got your spaces, which we, we buy separately, don't we normally, jewellery makers? And you have your lovely amber. Um, so viewer's choice hour, 19.99. That's a lot of amber. 
It's a lot of amber. You could actually just have some of your rounds, which I keep eyeing up, by the way. I'm going to show you. So imagine graduated rounds, and then just to add a little feature, one of your four petal flowers in between. You've got the spaces there. You've got the, the detail of the flowers. You've got your grad. These are coming up a little bit later on. Um, oh, good. Can we do them now? It's like I text in. I really wanted to show you these. They're gorgeous, aren't they? <clears throat> amber and... Per Pearls and amber are still the two beautiful treasures that we bring to air, gemstones that we bring to air that I buy the most of. Um, Ollie's just said, yeah, me too. I buy the most off from Jewelry Maker because there's just, you know, I mean, look at that. It's absolutely beautiful. It's not overly complex. It's um, timeless elegance. So those round pearls that we'll bring you a little bit later on in the show, imagine those mixed with the round pearls. Instant, classic, timeless beauty, Ollie says. I agree. Graduating from 6 to 10 millimetres, um, a very wearable treasure. Amber is, is really lightweight, um, and actually it's a big market right now. A big market right now for amber for children because they believe that it actually helps with um, teething pain. Lowest ever price on your screens. Wow, that's crazy. I'll be, get, I'll be getting some of these if there's any of them available. Yeah, you never see that kind of price tag for this. For, not for this quantity. Um, there's only how many? 50 chances. Right, put me down for one of those. I want to get some of this. I really want to make Tiggy an amber, an amber necklace. Um, yeah, put it onto elastic, obviously, with it being with it being a youngster. So pop it onto elastic, yeah, because apparently it helps them with teething. Also, stress and anxiety, I believe. Jane, well done. Gloucestershire, well done. Hello to London. Keep on dialing through. Um, you're getting effectively multiple sizes of your amber within a graduated piece. You can keep it graduated, or you can separate them, separate them out. Take a couple off for your earrings. Um, and we had those lovely sterling silver and garnet head pins at the beginning of the show. If you knotted them, they're naturally going to drop that little bit further down, and I would be inclined to put a magnetic clasp. What do you think, Susie? Yeah, easy to get on and off. Oh, easy so, on and offable, as yes. the turtle once said. Yeah. Do you remember that advert? <laughs> do you remember it? Do you remember it? It's easily on and offable. Creature comforts, yeah. yeah. And he was twiddling his thumb. Easily on and offable. Right, one more before your free forms. What number, sorry? Um, okay, so one auction for your free forms. I think they're going to be incredibly popular. Oh, as are these. Right, this has got to happen. I'm going to bring. I'm going to bring one of your slider bracelets that are coming up in the twelve o'clock hour to the desk. Show you those, and then I'm going to show you these. It doesn't matter what colour amber, they always complement because it is effectively the same gem. Look at those. So these are cabochons. I'm just checking. Yeah, you get three of your cabochons. So that's a pendant and a pair of earrings if you wanted to. You could prong set these, you could gallery wire these. I'm just showing you this because it's coming up a little bit later on and I think they'd go amazing as a suite of jewellery. Um, so three of your heart-carved ambers in your cognac colour. Um, can I actually, with amber, can I actually put it on beading, uh, on like a backing foundation, Susie? You can. You can do it with the E6000 glue. It, it doesn't harm the amber. And um, you can then put a little bell on the back of it if you wanted to. And you can stitch around it if, if you like. Some so bead bezeling or an, an... anything like that. It's just so versatile. I've, I'm doing something with that, something very similar in the master class because it, there's amber. Oh. And I'll show you my way of uh, putting a bail on. And I'm also looking at your lovely hearts in the kits, yeah. which are beautiful, the kits in the, the next kits hour. The kits are amazing. Absolutely yeah, something amazing. completely different. Um, so all three for £18.99, jewelry makers. Right then, are you ready for your star buy? The first star, star buy of this Saturday morning. Now, I know these are going to absolutely fly out the door. Your beautiful free form amber is coming up next.
we were just briefly discussing, Ollie and I, I was like, listen, I said, I actually bought one of these freeforms when we first brought them to air way back. And mine's mysteriously disappeared. Um, I brought it out, I think it was on Boxing Day, and showed a few of my family members. And, yeah, I, I can't find it. I've been, I've not, I'm, not, I'm not saying they're tea leaves. I'm definitely not. Um, but, yeah, the graphics, by the way, are from the previous auction. So, um, OK, but... I, it, we were fascinated. My, my my point is we were absolutely fascinated by these free forms. So it's literally how we would discover amber prior to all the amazing carving and polishing that is influenced too. Now, you do get all three jewelry makers. Um, and you also get the, the stand itself. So it comes within this uh, octagon display box. Octagon display box, um, which literally sort of opens and closes. It's it's really hard to describe this this kind of material. Um, it's very flexible, which means obviously you can you can view your amber from every single angle. So you're getting multiple colours of your amber. You've got your green, which Susie you were saying it's your favourite. Um, less than two percent of the world's amber is actually green, so you are looking at one of the rarest colours of your amber. You've got this really delicious, rich cognac. I'm, I love the cognac. I think it's, it's one of my. Uh, that's always been my favourite. I, I think it's quite. I think it's the warmth that you see um, in the beauty of, of cognac amber. And then you have this lovely lemon. Again, so if you can imagine, years and years and years ago, millions of years ago, I know most of you know this story, but um, a variety of tree that existed in the Baltic region, which now, by the way, those trees, majority are, uh, have actually sunken under sea level. So most of the amber that we'll actually get um, these days will have actually been extracted from the sea itself. Anyway, so... The trees that existed millions of years ago, um, they produce a natural sap. And it's defied Mother Nature's own rule. That's what I think of when I look at amber. Because if you can imagine tree sap, it's a liquid, isn't it, effectively? But this has defied the natural decaying process. This has existed for millions of years. We can't actually date our amber because um, if you, there's a VT which you might well have seen with Marcus actually talk, Marius, sorry, actually talking about the fact that um, there's, it's, it's, it's not impossible to date amber itself. It could be hundreds upon hundreds of millions of years. But because of its, har its hardened, that process, preserving life that existed at that present moment in time, so all of these fabulous inclusions may well have been insects, flora, fauna, that have been trapped within that tree sap, and the natural hardening process, which is called polymerization, has defied Mother Nature's own rule of thumb effectively. It is such a fascinating gemstone that, as I said, uh, I've said previously, is so significant um, in the gem world that it has been, it, it's allowed us to identify over 1,500 different species um, through amber itself. Now, we have a fantastic relation with, relationship with um, our amber supplier, uh, we go over and visit Marius when we can, obviously, um, as much as possible, and we bring you lots of different designs um, and shapes and opportunities. This is Marius, a personal friend to us here at Jewelry Maker and ultimately Gemporia, talking about this wonderful treasure, um, the rarity, the rarity that, that Amber actually is. We're under £100, and I need to stress, you get all three, and we're not even stopping there. This has been my uh, expert on amber for many years, and uh, I've been getting it wrong about how old am amber is. Yeah, because uh, you can't test amber by any physical or chemical method. You only can test it by, by the, the place where you find it, uh, what kind of rocks it's in and what, what's above it. Yeah. That's how you can estimate that it's minimum 45 million years of age. But the top, top uh, age it can be is even 175 million years of age. Yeah, it's incredible. Uh, yeah. So without being able to carve and date the gemstone, uh, all those stories, in fact, I've been very wrong in all the articles I've written because I've been looking and talking to people about the Baltic as it comes in uh, from the shore here. But inland, they've now dated it as a minimum of 40 to 45 million years old. Yeah, the minimum can be guaranteed. Yeah. The, the, the maximum age we don't know. 
be a lot more than that. Yeah. Dinosaurs. Yeah. <laughs> That was Steve, our founder, Steve Bennett and Marius in Poland talking about this amazing treasure, like I said, which is it's, it's, it's impossible to date. But one thing I can tell you, jewelry makers, is that amber is one of the few uh, um, beauties on our planet that will actually physically get better with age, um, like a fine wine. So looking at what you can get hold of, jewellery makers, $99.99 would be absolutely incredible. You get the stand as well, jewellery makers, but we're not stopping there because it is a star buy. How about, for your viewer's choice, Amber exclusive hour, we bring it to you for less than £50. So what, going back to what I said at the beginning of this, of this opportunity, the discussion that Ollie and I were just having, we both said we bought these when they were first actually launched and you got one. You literally got the one and we both both paid that. We both paid that for the for our one free form. You got it as a gift. Yes, I did. I bought a free form and I actually bought the Amber book as well. You know, um, the uh, National Geographic book that we launched once upon a time. So I put the free form with the book itself. And I can tell you, it was way, way, way more than what's on your screens right now. How many do we have of these? Not a huge quantity. Okay, double figure quantity, but they are flying jewelry makers. So um, that's working out of what, £16.66 per free form. This is something that has existed for hundreds of millions of years. You think what these wonderful treasures have actually seen in their time. You know, I, and I keep saying it, I just find it absolutely fascinating that this is everything that we know um, or every sort of organic material that's what an amber is referred to as an organic gemstone meaning it is formed from a living organism so much like your pearls much like your abalone much like um, coral for example they're regarded as, uh, uh, as organic gemstones so um, this material will not sort of decompose a hundred millions of years this has withstood all of the sort of geographical occurrences that happen um, uh, in that period of time. It's just quite simply fascinating. I also think if you've got children or grandchildren or nieces or nephews um, that might well be doing uh, geography, biology, any of those, then this is a gemstone. History as well. This is a gemstone that would absolutely be poignant to them. Loads of you darling through. Hello, Heather. Hello to you, Janice. Angela, Pamela. Hello to you, Annette. Lancashire, Hertfordshire. Um, new caller, stay where you are. Just because I move on doesn't mean you have to. We have coming up something completely different to your viewers' choice hour. These have been promoted. I know I saw some pictures from um, our wonderful in-house designers uploaded to their Instagram page. Ladies, you're still rocking that jewellery. You're still bringing some fabulous, fabulous jewellery, and I think you're going to absolutely love these. Um, so, brand new, it's your early bird cylinders. Check these out. Our lovely Anne and Sue... I, they really do have an amazing eye for creations, as do all of our wonderful guest designers. And I think what I love most about this early bird is just, and I hope they don't mind me saying this, I'm sure they won't. When you've got something which is so beautifully fashioned and, and faceted like these, you don't need to reinvent the wheel. Literally just restrand them. I'm just looking. Our in-house designers have literally used a beading thread on both of these. The gold on the appetite and the silver on the fluorite itself. Now, two incredibly, incredibly rare gemstones here. Um, I'm going to start with... Which one am I starting with? I'm going to start with the actual fluorite here. So this is a gemstone that um, has been fondly referred to as the most colourful material, or mineral rather, um, in the world. Interestingly, actually, the most famous location of fluorite is actually in Derbyshire uh, in England, and the miners actually call this beautiful treasure or flowers in appreciation to its stunning colour spectrum. Its name, fluorite, literally derives from the Latin word fleur, which means to flow, and that's actually referencing the gemstone's low melting point. But fluorite, uh, 
gemologically will bring you so many different colors you can actually get solid colors your blues your pinks your greens but you can get combinations so it's sometimes referred to as banded fluorite or zebra fluorite look at those now each of your cylinders I'm, I'm looking you've got your purples and your whites you've got your blues your yellows and your greens which are incredibly rare I mean they are they're exquisite visual wonders in their own individuality but look put them all together and you literally have a monet painting around the neckline L wow being launched today 17.99 and we're not even stopping there i love what our in-house designers have done literally pop uh, pop them alternating them with a few of your mayuki beads Who's an early bird this Friday morning? I love that. It conjures up images of spring and summer, which, let's be honest, I think most of us need right now. Um, it's my favourite favorite season of the year, is spring, spring in particular. Um, but you look at your fluorite and you've got all of those wonderful colours actually being brought to the forefront. Is it any wonder that jewellery houses the world over tend to favour this gemstone because of the vision, the vision of colours that it actually offers you? £12.99... You, uh, yeah, Tom is just saying, I love that one on the left where you get that sort of, that merging of colours. And that is one of the benefits that fluorite actually offers you. It's not just one static colour. You actually get this wonderful blend. It's beautiful. It's a bicolour, effectively, isn't it? It is. And it comes in beautiful, beautiful colours. Very good if you're into the healing powers as well. It gives you sort of psychic ability well I, th I, just, I just think when you look at fluorite whether you're you know you're into your crystal healing or any of that uh, or, or not you look at fluorite and i think it's such a positive it's gemstone it is. it is an energizing stone and it helps you clear the mind and oh beautiful you know more than me yeah. on that one then um but yeah i can totally see why um 310 carats so you're getting in this entire strand there is a little bit of a queue on the phone lines jewelry makers we do know you are there please do bear with our wonderful call center they are all they are all socially uh socially distancing as well and uh, and sort of working from home so if you can join us on the web or the app um because there's no queues there now oh, i'm gonna hold this i'm gonna i'm gonna hold this one up to the neckline i love it i mean that colour is insane. Twelve ninety nine, I know. For that carrot weight, for that rarity, look at this. For this beautiful, beautiful rarity. <laughs> now I'm about to bring you the rarest colour, actually, of appetite. Be good with your eyes on. Oh, thank you. I wish my eyes were this colour. That's, um, that's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful Especially, colour. actually, against the skin. Absolutely lovely. I love it that the way they've put it with the gold as well. Yeah, me too. I think that would be my choice as yeah. well of colour. When we first saw Appetite, it was initially thought to be a new source of Paraba tourmaline. Um, with further further research, we actually discovered that this was a whole other gemstone, Appetite, um, which comes in different shades. The rarest variety is what we call Neon Appetite, and it's this really beautiful, invigorating Paraba blue. It is a gemstone, especially in these neon shades, that actually the average carat weight of a Neon Appetite is 0.15. So you're getting 330 carats in your strand that you could so easily, if you're brand new to jewellery making and you're thinking, I couldn't possibly make that, you really could, because this is actually a very, very, very basic technique. I'm sure Anne and Sue won't mind me saying. Now, we, we are starting at under... Twenty pounds already, nineteen ninety nine, for this wonderful, genuine gemstone with natural, invigorating colour. Should we match the price of the fluorite? No, the reality is no, we shouldn't. But we are going to. So, how many of these are available? Is there enough to go around? If you dial in nice and early, if you check out nice and early, I think lots of you are loving this look. 
I mean, it's the kind of thing that you could literally wear on a daily basis. It, it particularly, mm. appetite, I think, particularly around the neckline because it is a softer stone. It is, So yeah. it has that vulnerability, if you like. You wouldn't want to wear it maybe around the wrist so much. Yeah. Um, because it's five on the most scale. So I think it's crying out to be to, to be commissioned like Anne and Sue have done here. Absolutely. And also, I think that would make excellent um, gentlemen's jewellery. You, True. You know, I'm sure that they've got decent-sized drill holes. So if you imagine that on a br uh, brown leather thong, just nice. knotted just a few just that would be cool that be would really be very cool so it's such a versatile gem um there's rumors as well it's speculation really i should say that appetite uh, is is very existence it's high in phosphorus appetite um which phosphate sorry which we have in our bones and within our teeth it, uh, as well so speculation that amber uh, sorry that appetite was actually um actually was formed because of dinosaur bones itself when they actually uh, within the ground is what produced this amazing gemstone because it has a high phosphate content we only have 30 of these left within the vault jewelry maker so you have to be quite quick on this one it's very 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 popular if you want to get hold of the fluorite then you can still do that but again getting quite limited you could possibly alternate the two because i think the colors would actually be really lovely uh complementing one another um, I, I just did it together so you can actually see how our in-house designers have actually finished uh, this piece of jewellery. Hello to you, Alison. Love those chunky wheels. They'd look great on a roll neck jumper as well. Oh, like this. As well as a t-shirt for spring or a shirt for work uh, when we get back there. Yes, when normality actually resumes, hey? It will happen, I'm sure. Good morning, Al. Hiya to you, June. Good morning, Alan, Susie. Can't wait to see Susie's mates. You're going to love them. Honestly, they're amazing. Lovely treats this morning. Um, couldn't resist Bang goes the budget yet again. Meh. Well, listen, you're not, we're not, uh, this is my, my mentality. And I was talking to the guys, I was telling them earlier on, our resolution in our house this year is no takeaways or one a month. We're allowing ourselves one a month because I did backpedal then. No, we said we only allowed one a month because we worked out just how much we were be spending on laziness, really. Um, and then I'm like, okay, well, that's more jewelry maker treats at the end of the day. <laughs> uh, that, that's basically it's going to go from the takeaways to jewelry maker that's what it's going to do um hello to you patricia oh ah, there we go hi uh, lovely to see you back again i thought last week was a one-off special treat oh thank you um so i'm doing a few i've got four shows this month this is number two i'm not sure about next month so i'm not officially back um I, i'm yet to give the official date but i won't be taking the full year that's for sure I won't be taking the full year. I'm having a little rest. Yeah, a little, little rest. I'm going to just literally shimmy those over there. You can still get hold of them, get, but they're getting quite limited, the appetite in particular, jewellery makers. Keep those messages coming through, and don't forget to check out your baskets on your viewers' choice hour. Coming up next, though, it's your Wall of Fame. Oh, I've been keeping an eye on your wonderful creations on our Facebook page, Jewelry Makers. I really have. And you are all super talented. This is genuinely is our favourite bit of the show, isn't it, Susie? Oh, it. Yeah. And honestly, you, you inspire us as well as, yeah. as designers. I look at some of the designs. And I think, I wish I had seen that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, so starting us off this morning is number 56 from Vanessa Wilson. Hello to you. Oh, Vanessa. Wow, that's beautiful. Hi, all at Jewelry Maker. Uh, this is my entry to the Wall of Fame. It's a blue shell pearl necklace, double stranded with decorative magnetic clasp as a feature at the front. It's my first time using beading thread, and I'm pleased with the results. Thanks for keeping us smiling. That's from Vanessa. That's a first time. That's amazing. Number 57 is from Sarah Wilson. Oh, beautiful, Sarah. Hi, Jim. Please find attached my entry to the Wall of Fame. It's a beautiful set of white, fresh water culture keshi pills, 925 textured uh, paper clip chain and fastening, all purchased from Jewelry Maker. And she says, good luck to all entries this week. Number 58 is from Elaine Greenwood. Oh, I mean, look at that. You'd find that in a jewellery establishment, wouldn't you? Hi, JM. Hoping everyone is having a safe day. 
I used my favourite combination of lovely freshwater pearls, sapphire rounds and gold-plated chain for this pendant. All from Jewellery Maker. Thank you, Elaine. That's stunning. Number 59 um, is the very talented Deb Briggs. Hello to you, Deb. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Hi, JM. Please find attached my entry to the Wall of Fame. It's a sterling silver pebble person pendant. I love him. Um, and he has been made from scrap silver. I hope you like it. Lots of love. And that's from Deb Briggs in Coventry. I love him. He's beautiful. He makes you smile. Uh, number 60 is from uh, M. Briscoe. Hello, to you. Oh, Again, look at that. Wonderful photography, too. Um, my entry to the Wall of Fame this week is jewellery made from Mayuki blush seed beads, shell pearl and preciosa or nella glass beads. The earrings and necklace clasp are plated silver. Many thanks to all for the inspiration and cheer. Thank you to you as well. Number 61 is from Barbara Hewitt. Be oh, love it. Look at that. Sunshine. Sunshine in a necklace. Hi, all this necklace and earrings was made with pearls and amber from Jewelry Maker. Beautiful combination. Number 62, we have Bronwyn Bacon. Hello to you. Oh, Bronwyn, oh, wow. Lovely. Yeah, that was instantaneously the reaction. We all said, wow. Um, I think I know, the, I know the technique. Hello to all at JM. This week, my Wall of Fame entry is a Kiss Cross necklace. Um, it was a happy accident, really, because it initially was going to make... Uh, I was going to make it in one colour, but couldn't decide which colour to use, so thought I would do a piece in various colours. I used three strands of six millimetre shell pearls. It's amazing how many beads it takes and was lucky enough to have eight millimetre shell pearls in the same colour to finish it off. All components were jewellery maker. I hope you're all keeping well and good luck to all in the draw. That's from Bromwyn. Bromwyn, that's amazing. Number 63 is from Jill. Wow, that's gorgeous. Is that silversmithing? Uh, hello, this is my first entry to the Wall of Fame this year, and I was inspired, inspired by Chainmail Masterclass that Laura did. This ring is a European four-in-one chainmail weave that I made a while ago using three millimeter uh, inner diameter silver plated jump rings from Jewelry Maker. I hope you like it. I'm looking forward to trying the double cloud cover weave to create a bracelet soon. Good luck to everybody entering this week, and fingers crossed for a win. Good luck, Jill. Uh, number 64 is from Suzanne Johnson. Beautiful, Suzanne. Uh, this is my Wall of Fame entry. Trying to get back to making some simple bracelets. I stocked up on moustache over the last few months for simple deals and bundles. I'm loving the hematite Buddha beads. Um, all beads and findings are from Jewelry Maker, as always. And that's from Suzanne in Dudley, just across the road. Last but by no means least is Jill Thornton. Oh, wow, Jill. Uh, hi, everybody. I have really enjoyed buying amazing tanzanite, ruby, garnet, beryl, amethyst gems from Jewelry Maker um, this past couple of weeks. I can't wait to get started on some new designs. Attached is my freshwater pearl tiara, all from Jewelry Maker, as my first Wall of Fame entry, fingers crossed. She says, stay safe, please, and that's from Jane Thornton. I'm loving that, and I can't wait to see more entries from you as well, Jane. Good luck to everybody in the Wall of Fame. So the draw happens on a Wednesday morning, I believe, unless it's changed. Um, on a Wednesday morning, so this week it's going to be with Zena. Zena this week. So fingers crossed, everybody. Keep those entries coming in. Now, I can sneak one in before the top of the show. Stay with us at the top of the hour, rather. Stay with us because Susie's kits and jewellery are just unbelievable in the next hour now. So I'm going to bring you this slider bra bracelet that I, I teased you with earlier on. You can get all... You can get... Did you say three? 33. You can get that, though, because everything's uploaded, isn't it? So you can still get... We have brought it to air. Sorry. Baby brain. Baby brain. It's a thing, isn't it? It does. Actually, it is actually a thing. Yeah, you get them in babies, don't you? Hey? You get them in babies. Don't get them in babies. I think my, Tom, my husband will say, Elle, you've always got baby brain. I'm like, yeah, thanks. It's true, though. It is true. Um, this is beautiful. So we said earlier on, Susie, a little bit of your E6000 glue yeah. or hypo cement. Yeah. It's pre-drilled, so it's a half-drilled amber nugget. It's a lovely yeah. shape. If I hold it like so, you can see what the finished piece is going to be. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that beautiful? By two and 
You can keep one and give one as a present. Yeah, I think that's the kind of component <laughs> that you would think, why didn't I buy more of? I'm turning it in this direction so you can actually see the thickness of the bale as well. I mean, look at that. Huge amount of 925 invested into this. I want to multi-buy on these because that's be a beautiful gift. And I think it's absolutely appropriate that I show you the deal of the day. Or you, get, you actually get six chains with the deal of the day, but here we go. That's the deal of the day, so it's coming up at 11 o'clock. Can you imagine this put together? Oh, yes. I mean, if I told you you could make this piece of jewellery with the chain for less than £20. Yeah? Factoring this is an individual piece, obviously. That would be so expensive in a jewellery oh, shop. It, it would. looks like something that you'd get in a high-end jewellery shop as well. Yeah, it? because there's a big amount of your 925 precious metal. Yeah. It's a lovely amber as well. I love, the, I love the voluptuous drop. You've got about two and a half minutes to check out everything from this hour, I understand. And then what is it not available? OK, so check out your baskets for this hour, jewellery makers. Um, coming up in the next hour, we've got some amazing... So that means I can't get any of the amber. Oh, no! Um, we are only one hour away from your sterling silver bundles as well. So if you've fancied those lovely little hearts, the cubic zircona, colourful hearts, um, they're coming up in the 10 o'clock hour. Amazing kits um, in the 9 o'clock hour and some beautiful inspiration from our lovely Susie. Now, if you want to enter the Wall of Fame like our fabulous viewers did earlier on, it's as simple as this. The Jewellery Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewellery designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewellerymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewellery Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. Hello, my name is Rachel Morris. I look forward to seeing you all on Saturday the 16th of January for the Masterclass Show. And I've used some copper sheet with these beautiful kit colourways to make um, Indian elephants and frogs and lily pads and all sorts of things in sculptural 2D and three-dimensional forms. So I look forward to seeing you all on Saturday the 16th of January for the Masterclass on Jewellery Maker. we have a new Facebook group dedicated to sharing your makes and jewellery making advice. To join the group, simply head over to the page and hit request. You'll then be able to share your designs with our JM community and join like-minded people. Create, wear, share. Jewelry Maker, then contact our call centre. 
on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Email help at jewelrymaker.com or drop us a message on our Facebook page. cuddles. I'm a proper cuddly person so it's really yeah. not, it's horrible not being able to cuddle people. Oh, I'm exactly the same. I'm, I'm a huggy Yeah. And I hate it. Stand yeah, it's horrible. I feel it's horrible. You know, you, I, I'm one of those people that you, you hug people and sometimes you, they, you get the reaction like oh, yeah. <laughs> they weren't expect. Obviously not now. Not now. Not loud right now. Um, we were just trying to decide which kit to bring you first because and we genuinely cannot make a decision because they're all absolutely beautiful. So I'm totally going to throw this one over to you, Susie, and say, have you got a favourite? I can't choose. Well, nor could I. I thought my favourite was going to be the white one. They're the ones I worked with first. Yeah. I thought, right, I'm going to love these. But do you know what? I really like the green. Yeah, I like the green too. I loved it. when I, I thought, wow. <sighs> Look so at this jewellery that Susie has made. I mean, Susie, these are beautiful. Obviously, it's a Valentine's Fine theme thing. show. Exactly. So prior to the, the, actually coming live, I was trying to think of a Valentine song. And all I could come up with was Barry White. <laughs> <laughs> that speaks volumes, doesn't it? <laughs> I, was like, I can't sing Barry White. Definitely can't sing Barry White. That's the most random choice ever. But okay, we'll roll with that. We'll roll with that one. Um, but yeah, that's definitely not Barry White. Who was that? Terence Trent Darby or some? Oh, Charles and Eddie. No, uh, Charles and Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> I just kept. I just coming up with. Um, you to me are everything. That one, that just kept. I can sing our baby. Oh, okay. Right, which one are we going to start with then, Tom? Let's make a decision. Let's start with the white pearls okay. because you mentioned it. Yeah. And I do think actually this is yeah classic. Oh, I. By the way, these are going to sell out. Yeah. Oh, I love them. Oh. Oh, they graduated as well, Susie. So we've never seen these, or I haven't seen these hearts before, unless you've yeah. actually had them since no. I've been off. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Oh, they are. You've got this amazingly beautiful... I don't know how to just... Bulbous. To just, yeah, voluptuous. Well, Let's say voluptuous. Yes, that is a brilliant word. And it's they a are. voluptuous heart. Some of the most juicy... Yeah. Juicy raspberry red. Look at that. You've got the wonderful fuchsia Gorgeous. flashing through. So these are your lamp work hearts. They come in two different sizes. So you're actually getting two of the smaller and one of the large. Now, straight in at your price tag because there's so many of you there already. So we're not messing around on this one. So you get... Th oh, look at that. Look at that. See if I can replicate what Ollie's done just there. Was it Ollie or was it Michael? That's taken that beautiful photo. Was it Adam? Was it Adam? Okay. There we are. Look at that. Look at that. That's something that you could imagine oh, yeah. in a glossy magazine. Thing. Don't it you is, think that, 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 that very vision itself? Yeah. Um, so there you go. You're getting three of the actual lamp book heart beads in this beautiful raspberry shade. Perfect for Valentine's Day, which yeah. obviously you're going to be wanting to making sort of a head, um, a head of, a head of that date at that time. Um, great... It, we can still sell online, can't we? Yeah. Social media platforms yeah, as absolutely. well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think they're, they're doing really well, actually, mm. online, because obviously we can't go to the shops right now. You're not just getting those. You've obviously got the lovely six millimeter shell pills, which are a beautiful ivory color. Lovely. Absolutely beautiful. And you have your lovely findings as well. So these are in gold-plated, 925 sterling silver. So they mm. are precious metal. Um, we're very conscious of the fact... Oh, Susie, I love that. Conscious of the fact that you'll want to invest that precious metal in your Valentine's makes. So, is... Chloe Jones is in the house! Yay. Sorry. Sorry to interrupt there. Hi, Chloe! 
I haven't seen you for ages and ages and ages. Ages and ages and ages. It's so lovely to see you. Oh, how I've missed this, guys. Um, right, okay, keep dialing through for this one. Keep on dialing through. The findings, yes, they are 925 precious metal. And at that price, you would almost assume that they'd maybe be base metals, wouldn't you? Yeah, but they're not. Aren't you lucky to get that? Precious metal itself. Because I can remember findings pack actually being 14 99 Yeah. For a findings pack in itself. Shall we do the turquoise colour? So you were saying that this might be yeah. your favourite. Yeah, I just loved working with it. When I started working with it, I thought, oh, my goodness. And those hots in the green... Yeah, they're lovely, aren't they? They almost look Murano oh, glass, I was just gonna don't say, they? Yeah, I thought they were Murano glass at the beginning because they've got that silver. Yeah, let me see if lining. I can hold it so you can actually see. If I turn it that way, look there we go. Yeah, they look very Murano glass, don't they? Beautiful. So you've got the lovely the, the, sort of the yeah. leaf within itself. Yeah. Um, a little bit appetite esque in its actual colour. So yeah. we're describing. Um, the, that, the shell pearl itself is turquoise, which complement yeah. beautifully. Again, let's bring that I down to the desk as well. I love those colours. It's an amazing, amazing combination. Again, you have 925 sterling silver finings, which you get your crimps, your head pins, your jump rings, two bolt ring clasps, a pair of your shepherd hooks, and also your crimp covers in rose gold plated 925 sterling mm. silver. It's a really lovely combination. Yeah. So, uh, those earrings, yeah. Susie. I sort of went with the sort of Valentine's ribbons and bows so that's beautiful absolutely i saw the photograph of your creations online when we uploaded them to social media and i was like oh that is so good such a beautiful idea the bow yeah, just very simple but and something different with pearls because yeah. obviously the easiest thing to do is just to make a little strand and put pop, pop one in the bottom yeah but i thought no let's go for something a bit different a bit different you can of course just restrand yeah. these if you wanted to six millimeter round turquoise shell pearls and quality sterling silver rose gold plated sterling silver finings that you're getting here so many of our customers and guest designers actually feedback the quality of our findings and it, it might you might be thinking well surely your findings are finding absolutely not you know it really does make a difference and I think when you have such beautiful feature pieces like the shell pearl and also the hearts themselves it's it's important to sort of pay attention to the quality of every single element of your jewelry design $21.99 it is low because again I have to say I remember 13 findings and those of you that have been with Jewelry Maker since way back when do you remember our findings packs being you get 13 in a little uh, black chiffon bag um, and they were £14 they were about £14.95 or £13.95 look at how many you're getting here how many findings is there in this pack? Lots 20 pieces yes. plus everything else for £21.99 you're right Michael yeah because it's a you know, on a Valentine's Day theme. Yeah. You give this jewelry to someone that you like, but is already taken because you're green with envy. Oh. <laughs> no, that's wrong. <laughs> that's I mean, so I'm, wrong I, don't, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know how it's that, that person's just... husband or wife would feel about yeah. it. It's a young person's Oh, game. a young person's, it's a young person's game. Game. Okay. <laughs> but, you know, you saying that, though, you have made me think about something else. Because Valentine's Day, I also may always give something to Willow. or um, it's, it's a nice idea to maybe make something yeah. for little ones, too, yeah. as well as, as, as your actual partners yeah. or, 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 or if it's part of your business. So it's not just about literally... Yeah, exactly, giving it to somebody that you... you have an admiration for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the day of love. It's the day of love, whichever way that love is, you know. Let's leave that one there, shall we, before I get myself into a huge amount of trouble. Um, okay, <laughs> let's bring it. <laughs> Loads of people have been asking about what, sorry? I've got another kit here. Yeah. The Raspberry Pearl kit. Loads of people have been messaging about this one. Yeah, I'm not surprised. It is beautiful. Let me. I'm going to try hold it, hold it, tilting it up this way. Oh, yeah, lovely. So here we go, jewelry makers. You've got your lovely raspberry tone shell pearls, and um, you have these beautiful lamp work glass beads in the three different colours again. I, I keep saying these really do look like preciosa. So they glass do. hearts, absolutely beautiful. 
And then the rose gold plated 925 mm. sterling silver. These, I mean, I know they are a, a, an earring, but you could use them actually as a pendant as well, couldn't oh, you? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. In fact, on the white ones, I used the two as a pendant because I made the bow. So I didn't, for the white ones, I just showed it. Oh. Not on earrings. Oh, so that, that's that, a pendant. That's actually, oh, yeah. I see. That one's a pendant. That's absolutely gorgeous. So you've used the two smaller ones actually in the pendant yeah. itself and then used one yeah. as a big feature big in the ribbon. And I put that one on a chain. Wow. Um, this is called Heart Throb. <laughs> I didn't look at the names of the other ones. What was the other ones called? Heartstrings and Valentine. This one's Heart Throb. What was the green one? What was the green one called? Heartstrings, as in pulling on your heartstrings. One was called Love Bug. Ah, oh. ah, oh, you little love bug. <laughs> and this one is your heart throb. It, it, it you, you can almost. You can almost taste that sweetness, can't yeah. you? It's absolutely beautiful. Again, don't forget, they are... They, I know it doesn't say on your graphics, but they are rose gold-plated 925 findings that you actually yeah. get within this kit as well for just £21.99. Um, OK, so, Susie, which of your fabulous designs are you going to demonstrate? I'm going to show you how to make the bow. I'm using the white ones because that's the one I took out first okay. when I thought I'll do the demo yeah, and I just sure. had the wire so it's not an indication of preference no. it's just what you put I your hands on first it might look first. easier yeah. on, on screen to show sort of the colours okay so I'm going to show you how to make the bow I'm going to put my glasses on otherwise I won't see a thing pop your specs on right first of all I'll show you how to I know it sounds daft how to uh, make the loop on the heart because it's in the middle of that Mm. It actually can be a bit difficult, so it's more of a quick tip. Yeah, so, I suppose, because you've got to get your pliers right yeah, down into and, the and cleft of the heart, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So a quick tip is, is first of all, you, you just bend it in the normal way, as if you're going to just make a normal loop, and then cut it to about uh, a centimetre, about there. So we're doing... Right, then you start it in that direction with, with the heart. So you start it, and then about a, sort of a centimetre into your pliers. And then as you're turning it, turn the uh, heart to the side so that you, you get into that dip. And then you'll be able to do a lovely, wrap, um, a lovely loop, which I've done there. And it's just the quickest way. Um, otherwise, you might struggle. If I put that down, you might struggle... So we'll just hold that up yeah. for you as well. We'll hold that up. So would you use yeah. your... Sorry to interrupt you, Susie. Would you use your sort of your fine tip pliers for these if you yeah. have them? Yeah, yeah. more okay. finer tip, yeah. So it's as easy as that. So that's how you um, make the attachments and make those into sort of connectors. Right, on to um, the little bows. Um, I've used some 0.4 wire... And we start off by making a wrap loop, which, mm -hmm. again, is very simple. I make the, the hole quite small, so I'm about half a centimetre up. Bend it round. I do a bit of a cheat way because I bend it straight away about three times. And then I hook it. You'll see in a minute. So, like that. And then hook that, that round. I'll get back in there. So, I hook that round. So we start off with that, and that stops the um, pearls falling off. And actually, you need that to connect to a uh, an open hoop, a jump ring, rather. So we feed on eight of the pearls, which go on really easily. So we start off with eight, and that oops, and that makes each side of the bow. So if I do eight, so. And you'll see how quickly these are to make as well. So you do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, you would think this is really easy. When I was making them for the show, I thought I was counting eight and I've counted nine and I was making the bows all odd shapes. And it, it was just something as simple as just counting eight beads on, honestly, it took me about an hour. I was just getting them wrong all the time. So you count on eight, 
and then what you do is you bend it back round on itself, uh -huh. back to that hoop, and then you just hook it round and then give it a twist. So what gauge wire are you using, Point Susan? Four wire. Point four. So it's quite malleable. Yeah, very, very malleable. So there's the, the one half, like there. And you do exactly the same on the other side, which I've done here. And then you feed on a pearl, once you've got that, in the middle and hook that round. So we do exactly that round the other side. So it goes like that. Then you hook your pearl on, hook mm -hmm. it round till we get to there. And then we put one more. I'm going to show you again in a minute because there's two ways of making this. Um, on the end, and then we finish off with a little wrap loop because that's where we hang the heart. So wrap loop like that for those. And you can see that's the wrap loop there. Hook that off. And then we just open the um, little connector here, attach that to the bottom, like that, so we get that. And then where I made the first um, open little closed loop, we hook um, a little open jump ring onto that. Close which you it. get within your kit as well. Which you get in the kit, absolutely. And close that off. And then that is Look at those. a single earring, right? Now, if you wanted to make, which, so you, this is how you make all of them. It's as simple as that. And you saw it took about five minutes. Now, if you wanted to make the one with the double um, ribbon ends, uh -huh. all you would do is you would start, once you've made your, your closed loop, you would put on three mm -hmm. and then make a closed jump ring there and then do it in exactly the same way. So then you feed your eight on and wrap it round like this. Like that. Then feed on another, oops. We'll rescue they, they, that one. They go everywhere, by the That's way. I'd have, I'd, oops. It's because they're perfectly spherical, a I shell know. pearl, isn't it? They, 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 they can so disperse. I'm just going to show you how you finish it. Where I showed you the end of that, I'm just going to show you how I did the other side now. So it's four, five, six, six. I'm counting because, as I said, when I was making these at home, I thought I was counting eight and I counted ten one time. I had to start again. Then I did one. Then I only did seven. And I'm thinking, what am I like? You know, so something really, really simple became really sort of time consuming. So then you just really hook that round like that. Right. So I've hooked that round like that. Take that out of the way. And then, as I said, you just... All you do to hook that bead on is put the bead on next at the front and that just finishes off and hides the bit of the wire um, like that. Hook it round, just make sure it's secured in place. Hook it round and I won't finish off but you can then see all you do then is put your three mm -hmm. on there and finish off. Oh, so literally like the tails of the bow. Yeah, the oh, tails yes. of the bow. So if I just feed that on, because I think we're coming to the end, you don't want to see me constantly threading on beads. But can you see how easy that is? And even if you're not into wire work, you know, that is really simple. As long as you well, can make a Well, you're using the loop. wire work almost as a beading thread, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, exactly. Effectively. And it just gives it that sort of stability. Mm. So you just wrap that round. So, These you know, you were saying about actually get, uh, using um, a, a set of pliers which have got quite a pronounced tip because you will need to get into the cleft of the heart round itself. Round-nose pliers. Round-nose pliers. Yeah, just ordinary round-nose pliers. You, you would end up using the, the end of the tip just to get into that yeah, little nook. Get, yeah. So, 
There we go. It's just an easy way of doing it. Thank you, and Susie. Absolutely beautiful. Make sure you check out your baskets on your uh, on your kits. They have been very popular. I'm not surprised with the Preciosa hearts, um, of course. Now, I think you're going to love this next star buy, so much so that I really wish we had more in terms of quantity. This is limited. Now, Debbie Bulford, our fabulous Debbie Bulford, has brought together this wonderful collection, and we've teamed it with Sterling Silver. It's coming your way at an awesome star buy price. Okay, we bring you amazing gemstones, preciosa beads, we bring you Murano glass, we bring you Mayuki, we bring you all sorts of wonderful components that you can incorporate into your jewellery. And we also bring you now a material that has become massively popular in jewellery. Um, in, I'm not saying it's new, it's not, we've been using this for decades really, but it's very significant um, in terms of lots of big designers out there at the moment. So I'm not surprised that our fabulous Bull, uh, Debbie Bulford has commissioned this wonderful star buy. The amount that you're getting is incredible. And we teamed it, as I said earlier on, with 925 sterling silver. So for those of you that were eyeing up the wonderful acrylic hearts that are in Susie's creations, this is how they originated. So I'm going to just hold up this one, uh, this one sort of piece. So the ones at the back here come in different colours. You get golds, greens, pinks, whites, and also the red. So this is how they'll arrive to you. They have a protective layer across, like a film over the top. Yes. So if you're thinking, oh, well, that's not really the, you know, the red I'm looking for. If I turn it that way, that's the red that you're actually getting. But as you can see... They're all fitted inside one another. So you can actually pop them out if I just put my nail behind. Yeah. So you pop them all out there um, and you have the little hole in the centre. Look at how much you get, though. There's loads, loads here. Um, loads of ideas that you can have for those. I mean, I just showed a few, but, you know. And you get drops in there as well. You get the plate, sort of the solid acrylic hearts too, some of which are connectors. Um, so you can actually use these as connectors. This colour, like I said, it actually has the film on there, so this is actually the transparent, isn't They're it? They're transparent, so if you've got sort of decorative paper or anything like that, absolutely fantastic. If yeah. you've got oh, a yes. photograph or something oh. of someone, you can put a photograph of somebody on it. So you can really personalise oh, yeah, these, absolutely. couldn't you? So really, really clever. So yeah, pop, uh, pop. Uh, I don't know. Maybe um, you could. It doesn't have to be a photograph. It could be anything like a yeah. lyrics. We were just singing yeah. hot chocolate in the in that interval. Then weren't we? <laughs> you six the fame. Yeah, it could, it could be anything. I mean, I don't know if that's going to be poignant to anybody, but you might if, just like that song. You, I'm trying to take this off. I've got the worst nails to be getting uh, getting no. this off here. So I'm going to ask ask <laughs> ask. Oh, we can see, we can actually see them in your finished jewellery. And you're also getting the, the lever backs, 925 lever I backs. <laughs> so acrylic is not, is, 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 not, is not heavy, no. um, but we're bringing you luxury components yeah. here. You literally can connect together. I love these. Ah, oh, Debbie yeah. Bulford, you're amazing, aren't yeah. you? Look at how many that you're getting as well. Massively popular. Tom has just said to me, Elle, I'm taking absolutely every single penny out of this uh, Valentine's collection for you. He wants every single one of these to find a home. Um, and what a com what an opportunity for somebody that is new to jewelry making because oh yeah uh, listen still to this day I started here at jewelry maker in two thousand and eleven and I still make the simplest of jewelry pieces but and I wear, only make things that I can imagine myself wearing yeah. like those earrings yeah. fun I think especially yeah. the, the the red hearts I just found those really really cute and I can see even teenagers wearing those or if you've yeah. got sort of like uh, a young child. You don't have to worry, you know, about them being allergic to anything. Cause it's, no, because they're 95. Yeah. 95. I love the interlocking hearts that you've done there. That's beautiful. Yeah. So you've done that actually with the finding yeah. itself. So how do we know ex exactly how many of your acrylic pieces you get? Or should we just say lots? You get lots and lots and yeah. lots and lots. Um, some which are obviously pennants, some which have actually got a double, double drill point as well. 
Um, five pairs of your 925. Yeah. Again, I, I mean, I sound like a broken record here, but that is an awesome price for the leverbacks. Yeah, absolutely. Just for those. <laughs> so just for the 925 sterling silver, that seems amazing. The engineering and craftsmanship that goes into leverback earrings. But you're getting all of this as well. Um, we've got those pearls coming up a little bit later on in the show, jewelry makers. I mean, how lovely would one of these hearts be suspended absolutely. from the from that sterling silver coming up in the next hour as well there is a queue on the phone lines we are busy this morning um keep dialing through though jewelry makers um we only had a limited quantity of these and i should imagine they are going to be an on-screen sellout um i'm trying to loads of my friends have got the have you seen the acrylic i won't say the brand in fact i can't even think of it it's, I'll, probably, I'll probably say it wrong but there's a brand that does acrylic and perspex brooches and things mm. uh like that yeah um so you could actually do something very inspired by those coming up check these out oh, oh. i love these oh. i need to get these out this is my kind of jewelry yeah that's beautiful isn't it you imagine that on a just a pearl yeah well we've got pearls coming up yeah. as well perfect pearls so these are all 925 sterling silver jewelry makers that are coming up Tom, you have spoiled me this morning, haven't you? Yeah. <gasps> Look at those. Aren't they pretty? Oh, they are beautiful. Coming up in the 10 o'clock hour. Right, shall we do... Let's bring you the acrylic stand. Hey, the acrylic stand. Hey, again, this... <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> <laughs> these do have the protective covering on this as well jewelry makers so for those of you yeah with my clumsy hands it's a good job isn't it um so don't worry in fact can we can we oh, take that off i don't know if i'll be able to do it in the essence of time but yes those scratches obviously will not be there that's literally protecting um the actual acrylic itself um so you literally peel that off jewelry makers you know, if you actually look at the bottom there, that's what you'll actually see. So uh, you can have this on a dressing table. You can photograph with this for those of you that do your craft fairs. Here we go. We've got an image to show you. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know? Oh, well, we do love him. We do love him. Ooh, that's our Liam, um, by the way, that you can oh, see. <laughs> He has to get in on the action, doesn't he? Lovely Liam there. <laughs> so as you can see, if you take the film off, it does reflect beautifully. He's, take, he's um, taking the expression, looking for love, a bit too serious. Looking <laughs> for love. <laughs> I don't know if he is actually looking for love. I'm not sure. Yeah. Right, moving on to... Let's do this one. So you can actually customise this. Um, I'm saying that, but you, I really like the look of just sort of plain MDF. I actually think it looks yeah. quite nice. like A bit like brown paper at Christmas. Yeah. I really like that. comes with the instructions, jury makers, of what you actually need to do to construct it, but it is very, very, very straightforward. It's like a little, a very simple puzzle. Um, but if you wanted to paint these, if you wanted to paint them black or white or spray them maybe with acrylic spray, um, you can do that as well. And you can get, obviously, countless pairs of earrings in here um when we're talking about when we are allowed to do things like craft events and things like that artisanal markets again i always say stands is really worth investing because actually creating different levels of height um you know attracts the passers-by attracts the customers something will catch their attention and they can actually and you know you want them to be at your stand but likewise this is the kind of thing that i would have on my dressing table yeah no, it's really, really useful. And I know that if I put them on these, I can put them up on the shelf, out of the way of yeah. little fingers that tend to go into my yeah. jewellery box quite a lot these days. No. Um, yeah, beautiful, aren't they? So again, spray them, paint them, whatever you wish. You can even put paper across them, you know, like a, a favourite wallpaper or something like that. Moving on to... Oh. How about... A close-out deal on your amber rounds, that's a lot, on split pay. Three 
two words. Lowest ever price. Yes. Yay! Coming your way on your on your beautiful amber rounds. But when you might be thinking that this is going to be sort of like a 30 centimetre strand. Oh no. Look at just how much you're actually getting in this. I'm so desperate for amber rounds. Yeah. Because I've actually, uh, I've used it all from my stash in, in actual fact. And you think you can make at least two full 360 necklaces, start knotting them, they're going to go that little bit further. You can even put amber onto elastic. It is that versatile. In your beautiful classic cognac colour, these are uh, five millimetre rounds. Um, so you can even use them in things like your kiss cross necklaces. I know we saw one actually on your um, on your wall of fame, and I've just seen Mark. You could use these with your pearls that are coming up a little bit later on. Let's put those together because I just think it's a gorgeous oh, combination. Yeah. Two organic gemstones that are just destined to be with one another, don't you think? And especially as the majority of your uh, of your Baltic amber comes from the sea itself. So yeah, very 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 luxurious, very very high end, lowest ever price tag jewelry makers. Four. Um, is this a meter of pearl uh, of of amber? A meter oh, strand wow. of amber. A marla necklace. Ollie is saying to me, yeah, yeah absolutely perfect. Um, Michael is showing some more designs there. Oh, wonderful! So that's with yeah. carnelian. But imagine actually using yeah, um, using your beautiful amber as. Oh, I love it. And of course, don't forget. Coming up, you have these beautiful amber sliders in the twelve o'clock hour jewelry makers. So if you're looking to sort of go for a Oh, look at that. Um, to fully load your amber pieces of jewellery, then get hold of this at your lowest ever price tag and 12 o'clock for your slider bracelets. Never has it been at the price that you're about to see. You can even sort of... Uh, um, Split the payment if you wish to, so into bite-sized chunks. £67.99. That's, what, £22.66 um, over three separate payments. Um, it's not costing you anything to actually do that. Last previously on our screens, what was it? How much? Eighty pounds last time it was on our screens. And um, we've worked out that's 200 beads. That's 200 genuine ambers. I love plain rounds. Again, especially in amber, I think, because you can literally just do... How many bracelets do you think out of a metre? How many bracelets oh, do you get out four of... four or five. Yeah, well, you need to... Yeah, one, two, you three, four, get, five, well, six, six or seven. Six, six or seven yeah. actual bracelets. If you start putting precious metal findings in there as well, spaces maybe or uh, uh, additional gemstones, um, then obviously you're going to get that much more. That's amazing. You can make six pieces of jewellery, and I'm talking about fully loaded amber as well. Yeah. Um, a hundred pairs of amber earrings. How much would you sell a pair of amber earrings for online? 25 pounds. Yeah, at least. Because I think, pounds, to be easily. honest, if you actually go any less, I should imagine people think, oh, well, it's probably imitation. It's probably imitation amber, which there is much of available in yeah. the market. This is not imitated amber. This is the real deal, jewellery makers. This is genuine. Even if you said, okay, two of those amber beads, let's do them at, uh, let's do those at 20 pounds. That's that's profit wise. That's absolutely yeah. incredible. There are tons of you coming through. Um, it's a l lowest ever price tag. And how many did you say we had? OK, 20 left now. Pauline, Victoria, hello to you, North Yorkshire, Cara, uh, Carola, hello to you, London, Deborah, Kathleen, Antoinette, hello to you, Pauline, Eileen, Suzanne, Tina, you're there as well. I can see lots of you on the phone lines. Please do stay where you are. So lowest ever price and also the first time that it's ever been available on split pay. So if you're wow. thinking, I mean, let's be, some of us aren't actually... Uh, um, I'm working as much at the moment, myself absolutely included. So break it down. Break it down. You can even split it with a friend. 100 beads each. That's still a lot of amber, isn't it? Um, well, we're down to the final six of these within the vault. So you, I can't encourage you enough to check out your baskets. It's not guaranteed to you until you actually do. Um, again, I'm going to bring something like your early bird to the back of my hand because I think alongside the appetite that you had earlier on is quite delicious. 34 pence for a genuine amber, each that is, something that has existed for millions upon millions of years. I mean, really, you, ca you, you can't get a chocolate bar for that price tag. You've got your own little slice of history here. Well done, well done, well done, well done. Let's do, oh, oh, let's, 
Oh my goodness, have you seen this quality? It's beyond banging. Ooh. That's a good description there. <laughs> Tom's like, this colour is banging. You're so right though. Is this Russian? <gasps> the reason why I ask the question is because Russian Amazonite is known for its really vibrant, intense saturation. Oh, a member of the Feldspar family, you get these really beautiful mottled patterns within Amazonite. A gemstone which is believed to look um, even more beautiful, if that's even possible, at sundown and sunset. So yes, you're not. This is a gemstone of opacity, but you get these lovely brush strokes within uh, within its beauty itself. So, really fashionable gemstone at the moment. Um, Monica Veneda, Ashley Clark, loads of big designers are working with Amazonite. Um, in fact, one of the most iconic and current of designers right now. We actually supply Amazonite to. I'm talking about the Gemporia family. We actually supply Amazonite to that brand itself. I can't say who but we do 19.99 is the should be price does anybody else desperately want to see that as a combination oh i mean honestly that's that's probably some of the finest amazonite it's better than the amazonite that i have in my own personal collection and yet we're at £12.99. Um, it is a very calming colour. Yeah, absolutely. This, like I said, is a member of the Feldspar family. It's incredibly rare. And certain locations around the world are actually deplete now. I've only got 13 of these left, Jewelry Makers. In terms of being a top drill drop, I'm showing them with the pills that we're cut. We've got to bring you a little bit later on. I love that combination. Um, there's a queue on the phone lines again. Please do bear with us. Bear with us. There is a free phone telephone number if you're calling off your landline. Um, hello, Tina. Hello to you, my lovely, saying, oops, forgot to finish the checkout. Now I missed out on the amber oh, no. beads. Big mistake. Need to double check what I'm doing. Ah, oh, honey, I'm so sorry. Oh, there's two left. Tina, there's two, uh, two left. Cool, quick, quick, quick. There's two left. We've... Yeah, thank you, Tom. But you'll have to be really quick on that because everybody's going to be hearing that, aren't they? So we're down to the final four of these. Again, we have those sterling silver, I mean, leverbacks. There we go. There's your piece of jewellery. There's your piece of jewellery. Lever back, sterling silver and quality Amazonite. Right, who loves cabochons? Uh, I love cabochons. Oh my goodness me. Tell you what. Vanadium rich. Vanadium is what is responsible for colouring this one locational gemstone from the foot of Mount Kilimanjaro. You know what it is. It's your tanzanite. Yay. Look at that. Have you noticed, jewellery makers, just how many jewellery... I follow uh, a lot of um, just individual jewellery houses that, are, that, that do a lot on Instagram. Um, have, and I've noticed so many of their designs are actually, not just with your faceted gemstones, are featuring a lot of cabochons now. Even mm. some of your most expensive yes. jewellery <clears throat> houses are actually working with cabochons. Yeah, it, it's, much it, more, it's a very contemporary looking design it now, is. isn't it? It is. Sapphires I'm seeing in cabochons. Of course, tans like I'm seeing, rubies I'm seeing in cabochons. Um, and in this case, don't you think it really, really uh, complements the colour, the quality of the colour of the tanzanite that you're getting? Four and a half carats. Now, what, what would you use alongside a tanzanite cabochon like this? What, what, how would you actually complete this as a finished piece of jewellery? For me, I think simplicity, but you can put gallery wire around that and that would make it so decorative and it's simple to do. So anybody that doesn't know how to do the wire wrapping and all of that, yeah. just with a simple bit of uh, gallery wire because they hook round and they make it a very, very high end. Here we go. Here we go. Exactly so this is like gallery that. wire with a different gemstone. I think that's grand. Did you write? But yeah, absolutely. You could do exactly the same technique. Yeah. With this gemstone, our apps. I mean, we we were really uh, delving and progressing into the wonderful world of things like silversmithing here at Jewelry Makers. Yeah. So take your journey with us. Um, do yeah, please do price compare. I encourage you to price compare. In fact, I can show you a price comparison for a single tanzanite, four and a half carat oval. 
yeah, which is what we've got here. This is 2,969. Look at that colour. Okay, so you've got quite a bit of purple. That, that is an amazing quality because there's very few inclusions in there. Very, very, very few inclusions. But look at the blue. Look at the blue. But that's three grand. Let's round it up. Let's be honest, we're all doing that anyway. You have quality here. Granted, there are a few more internal characteristics. So it's slightly more opaque. It's an oval shape. But the difference, I'm not saying they're valued at exactly the same. I'm clearly not. Like I said, this has got a little bit more um, internal characteristics. But I actually like that. And I think, you know, if you, if you think about gemstones like tourmaline, etc., et etc., they're embraced for those internal characteristics. Why shouldn't we do that with your tanzanite as well? £17.99. Never in my wildest dreams did I ever imagine that we'd be able to get a tanzanite at that kind of price tag. Never in my wildest the streams keep dialing through let's bring you goodness me cushion cuts i love the cushion cut. look at this color oh and cabochons i think most of us would agree it's much more um i mean we, we we've been working with cabochons for much longer here at jewelry maker haven't we so i think lots of us have got more confidence actually working with a cabochon maybe than a fasted stone um look at that color a again i can actually there's nothing stopping me actually uh securing this maybe to a sterling silver uh, sheet actually a sheet of metal no. Um, you can actually glue this onto some sterling silver findings. Yeah, I'm thinking about stud earrings. Yeah. This is last of stock, and this is absolutely bonkers. Bonkers! Bonkers deal, jewellery makers. So this is what you're actually getting. There's a limited quantity of these available. I've just taken it out of the box for you. Look at that beautiful blue. Oh. Yeah. I'm going to be making a bell a bit later on, and that oh. is basically it. You just wind a piece of. Let's show. Let's. Show, so that's so that's what you would do yeah, in so, terms of actually making. So turning all you would it. do, and I'll be showing this in the the masterclass of how I actually do it. But you would make that glue that onto the other side, and then just do a loop to make the, the bail. To make the bail, it's that simple. simple. As that. Wow. So you do know? that with your precious metal. Yeah, and I would do that with sterling silver. Yeah. At five carats as well. Any gemstone, you know, if you get it, if you have it sort of an on the nose carat weight, you pay a premium for that. So, for example, a diamond. If it's if it's a a ninety point diamond, if you compare maybe of if you compare that to a one carat, then obviously the, the price tag is more than one carat, but it's considerably more as well. So amazing. Let's bring you Zambian emerald. Completely and utterly natural. It's my favourite location of emerald, actually. You get this most beautiful, invigorating colour. I'm just going to scooch forward this pearl bracelet um, that is has been made by our in-house designers from these beautiful pearls that are coming up later on. I keep showing you these pearls. I think they're lovely. Um, but you can literally just alternate the um, alternate the amber in, uh, amber emerald in between. Totally and utterly natural. So you're looking at Zambian emerald, emerald here, which has got a very uh, sort of rich blue presence within its natural colour itself. I think it's one of those gemstones that become very easy to identify its location. Brazilian emerald tends to be much darker, a bit more forest green. Zambian emerald is very similar to Colombian emerald, in my opinion. Um, very vibrant, very invigorating. Let's bring it to you, an awesome jewellery maker deal, shall we? These are exquisitely uh, micro facet to two and a half millimeters. Tom's just saying he bought his fiance a Zambian uh, emerald ring. Did you? Is that is, is is that is that her engagement ring? Oh, just because, just because. He says, oh, he just bought it three years ago. 
Mm. Oh, Ollie's saying that he bought um, his lovely wife a, a Zambian emerald ring as well. It is a beautiful location of this gemstone because it has this wonderful intensity, as you can see. £17.99 pence only, jewellery makers. Mi microfaceted rounds. We were talking about this last time I was on, which was, what, Saturday? And, and I was saying that, um, for me, a microfaceted gemstone is so easy to thread, so you don't have to worry Absolutely. about... Absolutely, and the drill holes are really good. Yeah, really ge generous. Um, I could literally just restrand this, but also things like your halo designs. You could you could do this with the hearts. Yeah, absolutely. <gasps> so if you wanted to create Susie's beautiful heart uh, demonstration that she showed you in the pre uh, in this it is this hour, um, then you can absolutely do that with emerald too. Let's bring you now. Labradorite faceted around. Oh, amazing quality. You know what I'm going to reach for, don't you? Oh, yes. Oh. How often do we see Labradorite in faceted rounds? I mean, I've been away for a while, but I, I can't remember the last time I saw faceted rounds. It does, yeah. <laughs> Holly <laughs> said, when you say you've been away for a while, it sounds like you've been in prison. I haven't. I haven't. Oh. <laughs> Being <laughs> let out by good, for good behaviour. <laughs> no, for those of you that don't know, I am currently on maternity leave, so this is one of my stay in touch days. I, I haven't been in the nick. <laughs> um, but yeah, faceted rounds you don't get that off, that often, and again, you get that wonderful phenomena effect. Literally, that that beautiful um, reflection bouncing from facet to facet. These actually have only appeared on the morning show once previously. And we're going to squeeze them, you won't believe this, under £10. They're 10 millimetre rounds. So, how many of you are thinking, Marla necklace, Marla necklace, Marla necklace? Mm. They would look absolutely beautiful. At that price tag, you need what? Three strands for a Marla necklace? You need three yeah. to buy three to get that full length. This is a Marla necklace for those of you that don't know. Um, you have your guru beads. Um, and what's the one at the bottom called again? The, the one at the bottom is the guru bead. The one at the bottom is the yeah, guru the, 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 the beads. One. And you've got your marker, marker beads. beads. That's it. Sorry, like I said, a bit rusty. Um, but this is quite a, quite a long line necklace. You could absolutely, if you've got three of these, you could recommission that Marla necklace. And it's this lovely cashmere grey. Uh, the, the marker beads could be pearls. <gasps> they could be the pearls. Yes. Could be some of the amber that you had previously. Oh, all of the above. There's actually a queue on the phone lines, jewelry makers, but again, please bear with us. Um, our call centre, when we say a queue, we're not talking about tens of minutes here, we're talking about a couple. So our call centre will be out. Seconds, really, is the reality of it. Um, but you can, there you are, you're being answered now. Um, um, you can always shop with us via the app or also online if you wish to. And there's no queues there. If you're calling off your landline, it's a free phone telephone number. So it is, of course, in our best interest to answer you very, very quickly. 230 carats of beautiful, beautiful labradorite. Coming up in the next hour, jewelry makers, it's all about your precious 925 sterling silver. Look at these that are being launched. Oh, my goodness me. And there is so much more. So much more to bring you. Um, we're easing our way towards your awesome deal of the day. The deal of the day is going to create an absolute frenzy. I'm just going to tell you a little bit of a story. So this is a reorder, this deal of the day. And when these were brought to air, I wasn't actually presenting, but I was in the building, wasn't I, Ollie? And I popped my head in. This is pre covid i popped my head into the gallery and and this auction was on with carol and ollie was like i want these i want these i really want these and i was like do you want me to order them now while i'm in the building so i did they sold out and what did you use your yours for gifts christmas yeah four months before christmas exactly um so they're coming up they're coming your way as your deal of the day did you say 25 <gasps> oh Right, right. Imagine your Labradorite. Those of you that got the Labradorite, imagine this next star I'm going to give you a little teaser because it is coming your way. As a star buy deal.
When I started here at Jewelry Maker back in 2011, I worked in the office. And one of uh, my roles was actually to, to design kits for you. And I loved doing that. I absolutely loved it because, you know, I'm not a jewellery maker, but if you can put colour palettes together and gemstones together, this would have been something like what I would, I would have constructed. Look at this combination, this trio, all of which are coming your way on your morning show. Right now is this beautiful pink opal. You've just seen the Labradite. The pearls are coming up a little bit later on as a closeout deal. But don't you think that's lovely together? Really beautiful together. Now, um, some time ago, um, Dave Troth from our sister channel, Gemporia, ventured across to Jewelry Maker for the very first time. And he was absolutely flabbergasted by A, the quality of our pink opal, but also the price tag, because he was saying... Pink opal, particularly when you've got this wonderful luminosity um, in each of these stones. He was actually saying, gosh, El, some of the biggest jewellery houses are actually, uh, you know, seeking pink opal of this quality to commission into their designs. And you are talking about thousands of pounds, thousands of pounds for any of their pieces. Opal, not only does, do you get that sort of uh, more recognised white body colour with the play of colour dispersions inside, you get opal of different varieties. You get black opal, you can get dendritic opal, um, pink uh, or, or Peruvian opal, I'm going to say. You get in wonderful shades. Believe it or not, jewelry makers, this is completely and utterly natural. You can dye opal, it responds really well to actually a dyeing process. But this hasn't undergone any of that treatment. This literally has been... Un That's absolutely gorgeous, that recording, isn't it? Um, this has literally been unearthed from the ground with this beautiful colour and, of course, these perfect spheres. Perfect spheres have been uh, um, customised. I love this quality. And I just think it's one of the most feminine of gemstones that you can possibly wish for in this lovely glowing pink i mean it is you think about other pink gemstones you know kunzite um sapphire of course uh, morganite pinkish i suppose none of which are some, they're lovely don't get me wrong but none have this specific color it's a very it's a very unique shade isn't it and um, with with it being a Valentine show, I think this couldn't be any more per more per perfect. It's about to fly out the door, Thomas just said in my ear. Really? Totally and utterly natural. Peruvian opal in particular, it's just got this wonderful glow about it. No way. I love pink opal. I'd use this with the Preciosa hearts as well. Wouldn't that be beautiful? Oh. Strawberries and cream. Um, and um, definitely with these pearls that are coming up later yeah. on. I mean, seriously. The bracelet I'm, I'm wearing, can you imagine? Pearl, opal, pearl, opal, pearl, yeah. opal. I mean, it's, it is... Go you, you are a, a wonderfully, femininely beautiful person. I can imagine you wearing this. Oh, yeah. I, I love pink opal. Yeah. And I wear a lot of pink creams. Yeah, they are my I bet you are, yeah your colour palettes, they're absolutely stunning, don't you think? The quality. Less, let me tell you what lesser quality would look like. It wouldn't have the glow. It would have tiny almost... Um, um, inclusions which almost look a little bit a little bit muddy, a little bit murky mm. in its colour. These are pure, vibrant, natural Peruvian pinks. The phone lines have gone absolutely crazy. I don't blame you. Hello, Elizabeth. Uh, morning, everybody. I have these in a smaller size. They are gorgeous. That's Liz and Tiny Wear. Thank you, my darling. And it's wonderful to have your text messages. These are live messages coming into the show because you can hear me absolutely raving about this, but when it it comes direct, it's prompted directly from a viewer at home who feels that passionately about the quality of the gemstone that they feel compelled to message into the studio. That, for you, I think means so much more than me talking about it. Um, and you don't have to take my word for it. Don't forget you get your 30-day money-back guarantee. Pink gemstones are also very, very considered. Well, pink opal is, is, yeah. is very considered. Pink spinel, pink sapphire, kunzite... Morganite, 
tourmaline yeah i'm thinking about all the pink gemstones uh, sapphires yeah i said sapphires uh, yeah they are considered but pink opal again i i if you if you rubelite yeah if you were to speak to and i'm trying to think desperately of the jewelry house that dave troth was actually it was in a tiger and they used a peruvian pink opal in the as his little nose um, and it was literally thousands upon thousands of pounds certainly not 99 these are completely and utterly natural as well um, we are down to the final 30 of these within the vault these have absolutely skyrocketed that one there can you see the one going round to the side now oh it's every time i look at the screen it, the one at the back now oh i'm the one at the front i can't decide they're all lovely aren't they so what would you do with this then susie because i'm always very very simple and talk about something like that well i would tessellate them because i love if you clank them together they have such a lovely sound so i would be putting that either on head pins and leaving a gap or i'd be putting them onto a bit of chain at different lengths so lovely and you, you know like a waterfall effect it's really really oh. pretty or you put them on a chain and just put individual ones on a chain so rather than like a satellite oh so they, they're almost separate yeah yeah so that they sort of dangle you and don't forget your deal of the day we've got the sterling silver chain coming up so if you did want to do that then um yeah you can absolutely customize it that's another one of the benefits of making your own jewelry is you can customize it to what you're envisaging right now um yeah you've got your slider bracelets coming your way you've got those pearls coming up later on you've got some brand new sterling silver pieces being launched in the 10 o'clock hour i don't want you to miss out on these i've again we've got single figures really okay i'm not surprised you've gone nuts for it it, it is absolutely amazing quality it's just it's that glow. I've said it before and I'll say it now. Peruvian opal, it's almost like there's a little light bulb in the centre of each of those gemstones that gives that wonderful glow from the inside out. I'm going to leave those final few with you. Amazing. Um, well done, everybody. Do stay where you are. Brand new sterling silver pieces being launched for you in the 10 o'clock hour, jewellery makers. They are going to be um, live and available on pre-order right now there we are so get ahead of the cues jewelry makers you're one hour away from the most awesome deal of the day uh susie and i'll be back after this Yay. don't want to miss a jewelry maker show then download our app for android and apple devices by searching jewelry maker in your relevant app store stay with jewelry maker wherever you go don't miss out on our amazing deals inspiration demonstrations and of course all the fun create wear share on the go with jewelry maker here at jewelry maker we've got some really exciting news after 10 and a half years we can finally launch split pay the whole point of this is to make it as affordable as possible to buy things from jewelry maker so you have the opportunity to pay either two or three fixed interest-free payments depending on the items value it's that simple thank you carols we are so excited about this opportunity and we know that you will be as well so enjoy this new way of shopping on jewelry maker so from the three of us and everyone else here at Jewelry Maker, see it, love it, split it. Hello, my name is Rachel Morris. I look forward to seeing you all on Saturday the 16th of January for the Masterclass Show. And I've used some copper sheet with these beautiful kit colourways to make um, Indian elephants and frogs and lily pads and all sorts of things in sculptural 2D and three-dimensional forms. So I look forward to seeing you all on Saturday the 16th of January for the Masterclass on Jewelry Maker. <laughs>
Jewelry Makers, we have a new Facebook group dedicated to sharing your makes and jewelry making advice. To join the group, simply head over to the page and hit request. You'll then be able to share your designs with our JM community and join like-minded people. Create, wear, share. Welcome back, jewelry makers. Are you ready from the for the love event? I, I ruined that one, didn't I? The love event, and we are launching jewelry makers some brand new sterling silk. Ah, oh, because you might have thought, you might have thought that these were solely in your white 925 we've actually got it in the pre in your yellow gold and also in your rose gold as well these are brand new they've never been on your screens before and in the center you have this amazing almost princess cut uh princess cut uh commission faceted cubic zirconia in the different colors itself so we have some finished pieces of jewellery which have been made by our wonderful in-house designers uh, that were very, very excited to actually work with these. Um, and you might notice that some are actually earrings, some are actually pendants or even connectors if you wanted to. They're all coming your way, jewellery makers, in this hour. So not yet, but within this hour itself. Loads of sterling silver goodies. Um, and if there's something that you are looking for in particular, I'm sure very much like the eight o'clock hour, then you can, you can for sure message us and we'll try and bring it to air. I'm going to start with the rose gold. Now these are the earrings. So obviously these are studio samples. So if I can, I'll bring them up to the ear to show you as well. So you're getting the three different colors. So do bear with me. There's that lovely emerald, emerald green colour, uh, cubic zirconia. Then you've actually got that lovely hot pink, and you also have this very Paraba blue-esque uh, CZ, all with the butterfly backs as well, which I'll keep at the reverse. Um, you do get six. <laughs> I've only got five here, but you obviously get one each. Um, you're getting all three of these. So three pairs of 925 sterling silver with the cubic zirconias in the centre. They are stunning, oh, aren't they? This is my kind of jewellery. Yeah. I love, 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 love. Well, if you imagine those in, actually in the genuine gemstone itself, so that would be Swiss blue topaz, that would probably be a rubellite, and that would probably be, I don't know, chrome diopside mm. or an insanely expensive emerald. You would be talking about a huge, huge investment. I mean, I know our sister channel will bring it to you at incredibly competitive prices. Cubic zirconia... Um, obviously, it's man-made. It's made within the laboratory itself. These have been faceted in the same way that your gemstones are, but it's making it more accessible to every single budget. Yeah. We're still bringing them to you, not in base metals here. These are actually in your genuine rose gold-plated 925 sterling silver. And you'll notice at the bottom, or at the top, whichever way you look at it, um, you've actually got that little loop there. So just waiting for you to suspend something else. So I have the pendant variety of these coming up. So if you want to do what our in-house designers have done and suspend just one of those at the bottom um, to make, sorry, sorry Michael, to actually make that drop um, then you can absolutely do that, just bear with me. So you're getting six in total. One of the things I want to stress, if I actually turn these round, because we are sticklers for quality here at Jewelry Maker I mean I don't want to bring you a pair of earrings that you're going to go to put in the ear once, the, the post is not um, rigid enough to actually sort of withstand that pressure so it potentially buckles we invest more 925 sterling silver so that you have that longevity and, and you have that sense of quality from the very get-go. Three pairs for £22.99. Now, I'm going to just pop the, when I grab 
first, basically. Um, pop it in the ear. So it's all right. No, I can I can wait for a second. But I want, to be honest, you can see from that distance too. You can see from that distance. Look how lovely they are. Beautiful. Aren't they stunning? Absolutely stunning. Look at those. Well, the, and if I didn't want to wear them as drops, if you want to nip away that per, the, the little loop at the bottom, you can do that, can't you? you it's just using some of your flush cutters. Yeah. Nip that away, and there's a really gorgeous pair of stud earrings as well. They are absolutely gorgeous. It's difficult to choose a favourite colour, which is a good job, really, that would bring it to you in all three. With the butterfly backs itself, that's amazing. So where, where else, other than here at Jewelry Maker, can you imagine, can you imagine this level of quality for just for one pair even at £22.99 pence. I can't think of anywhere because certainly places like Pandora, Thomas Sabo, you'd be paying much more than that for a pair of earrings from them. That's working out at what, £7.66 per pair of earrings and they are rose gold plated 925 sterling silver. I'm not surprised that our lovely Susie is saying, yeah, these are a little bit of me. Um, they're also a, a, you know, a little bit of a lot of you because there's so many of you on the web and on the phone lines and on the app. Make sure you do check out those baskets. Even if you literally bought these, gifted them instantaneously See, obviously this is a very sort of valentine's themed this is a valentine's themed show but you can sell these on commissions you could you could put them instantaneously on uh, on social media forums and platforms if you like you're not going to put them at seven pounds 66 for rose gold plated 925 sterling silver which we pay a premium for that whole plating process and um, how many did we actually have Okay, we had just a hundred of these jewelry makers, but I should imagine there will be, be, be people multi-buying. You do get all three pairs, so can I just point that out? You haven't got to dial through and then say, call center, I want the blue, I want the green, or I want the pink for $22.99. You get them all for that price tag. You get them all for $22.99, which is just crazy. And also, we can actually bring them to you in the different color precious metals as well. So we've put a whole collection together from our in-house designers within these. Um, keep on dialing through. The pendants are coming your way if you wanted to um, actually sort of make the, uh, make the dangle or if you wanted to make the suite of jewelry itself. Let's do the gold version first. Ooh. Now, I love... I love gold. I'm a gold-coloured jewellery person myself. So these would absolutely be my choice. But that being said, it's difficult. Why are you... These kind of deals, you don't necessarily have to choose, do you? So there's the green. I love the blue. And here's that beautiful pink. It looks like Marin by a Topaz, I totally agree, which... Again, it would be more than that, more than what you've just seen in terms of price tag. Or a, a lovely Swiss blue topaz, doesn't it? Um, or And the pinks, I mean, they look like the most insanely beautiful. Uh, sapphire, if they were sapphire earrings, you'd be talking about a whole lot more. Should we match that price tag? So this is, again, gold-plated solid 925 sterling silver. Super easy gifts, these, aren't they? Really super easy gifts. You can do a wrap loop. Who can do a wrap loop? If you're watching right now, can you do a wrap loop? I know most of our existing uh, jewelry maker customers certainly can. It's one of the first techniques that you actually master as a jewelry maker. If you can't, if you can't and you are new, then go on to our website because there's loads of tutorials available on our website and we also have a DVD collection too. Um, so a wrap loop, in fact, you, you, you demonstrated it. Go on, give it a go, give it a quick wrap loop, bit of wire. Push it down. Uh, put your hands down so we can see. So yeah. Push it down. Back round. And there. And then you've made the loop and then you just wind it round the bottom. Yeah. I'd normally do about three times. Can you see that? Yeah. One more for luck. And then you just hook that round and then cut that bit there, which I will do quickly. There's your wrap loop. That's how you attach to these earrings if you wanted to actually create the drop. Thank you, Susie. It's that simple. I know that was quite quick, but again, what? have a little look on our website if you wish. We're matching that price tag. I love the gold. I'm going to pop the pink in the ear, actually, I think. I'm going to go with the, the pink colour this time. I think these are gorgeous. 
three different colours for three different occasions. Um, I don't know, occasions which I know we can't go anywhere right now, but we will be able to at some point. Um, and why not just make yourself feel that little bit better? Put some beautiful jewellery on from time to time. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful hot pink colours with your precious metal itself. So, um, the other, do you know, the other day, like, I, I literally have not been anywhere other than here over the past, like, so many. I literally haven't ventured out. Um, so, the other day, I was like, God, I, I've got, I get up, I put my put my leggings on, scrape my hair up on top of my head, don't put a scrap of makeup on. I was like, no, I'm going to get up. I'm going to make an effort, put a bit of jewellery on. You feel so much better about yourself when you do. Um, okay. How quickly are these going to sell out? Silver, the 925 sterling silver, is still the most popular colour, as in, you know, your pure silver. It is still the most popular colour that we bring to air because it complements, I guess, platinum, it, it complements your 18 karat white gold as well and your 925. Um, you're getting the same design, same design, so that lovely princess cut cubic zirconia in three different colours. Um, you've got the lovely thick post and you've got that loop at the bottom there. I mean, do you sell and com do commissions and things I like that? Yeah, you do so commissions. So do you actually have more requests for 925 sterling silver than yeah. any other precious metal? I normally do all of mine in 925. It's almost exclusively in Well, I, I, I totally agree because I kind of think... There's nothing wrong with base metal, no. don't get me wrong, and it's definitely got a place. It's definitely, definitely got a place. But actually, if you can, if it's affordable for you to do so, to put it in precious metal, then do so, especially if you are making it for other people, because mm. immediately that perceived value is, is elevated um, in your design, the quality of your actual pieces. Three pieces that you're getting, the measurements, as you can see, that's a six millimeter, what we call a princess cut, so you get lots of beautiful facets drawing your ride down to uh, the coulee of the gemstone itself we still talk about those you know the crown facets the pavilion facets even if it is a cubic zirconia hang on a minute 19.99 okay so we know that gold plated and rose gold plating the process is more expensive it is dearer obviously um but wow it's not a dramatic difference but that's under 20 pounds for three pairs you'd pay that for one of those wouldn't you if from from any yeah. if we were to if we were allowed to walk along our high street if we were allowed to go into a jewelers of choice um at, that brought you sort of designs like this they would be more they would be priced definitely more than 20 pounds i should imagine well done you get all three there are tons and tons and tons of you there thank you so much for your patience did we have a hundred of these as well yes a hundred of these available as well if you want to multi-buy, you're not restricted, you absolutely can. Don't forget the pendants, uh, we're bringing you the pendants to go alongside these or um, what our in-house designers have actually made into drop earrings. I'm just going to bring those across for you. Here we go. Can I reach that one without falling off my chair? Here we are. Ooh. Look at those. Look at those. Our in-house designers have put together some tutorials for you as well. They are available on our YouTube channel, um, which we've uploaded. So if you want to watch our in-house designer tutorials, then you can definitely do that. Um, and they've literally made these pieces of jewellery that we have here in the studio for you, jewellery makers. So aren't they absolutely stunning? Stunning. I really like this idea as well of using like a, uh, that's, that's just a Swarovski bicone. Yeah. Um, a Swarovski bicone at the bottom. That's just mixing it up somewhat. Um, you could use more, we've got more sterling silver coming up within this hour as well. So it doesn't have to be, it doesn't actually have to be a, another cubic zirconia. It can be a gemstone if you wish. So here we go. This is actually available on our YouTube channel. I think it's our lovely Sue um, who's just showing you how you open a jump ring. And I know these are very basic techniques, but to somebody that's maybe brand new to um, this hobby, <clears throat> then you won't, you won't know how, what's the correct way to open and close a jump ring. Um, so here we go. So literally constructing these earrings. Simple techniques that when you master them, make pieces like this. I mean, professional jewellery. 
this is it doesn't look any different to what you would see in a, in a jewelry house it does it at all so yeah that's available on our youtube channel as well keep on dialing through jewelry makers keep dialing keep dialing okay let's bring you now let's bring you at all oh, the bracelets <laughs> these are fab these now we've been teasing you with this this is the kind of piece that you would actually maybe make yourself, but also with maybe three separate purchases of different design chains. But you don't have to buy three separate separate chains because you get all three in this lovely multi-stranded bracelet. So it comes with the adjustable. It's very Astley Clark. So, and also actually very, uh, very Tiffany's & Co., so you get the three different links. Layering is huge at the moment, not just around the decotage, but around the wrist as well. So you've got this wonderful high fashion, quite, uh, um, I don't know, quite, uh, quite, quite, quite a contemporary link here. You've got a classic belcher and then, of course, uh, your oval link as well. If I turn, I've undone it deliberately. If I lean this towards you, you can actually see the large gold-plated 925 um, lobscore class there and there's the one inch extension that i mean that is a beautiful piece of jewelry if you wanted to actually um add additional pieces to this if you wanted to add charms to this then you definitely definitely could it's that beautiful i, I think it's almost 24 karat gold appearing beautiful. isn't it because it's got that buttery richness to it it's gold plated 925 sterling silver yeah it looks like it would be quite an investment well you know that watching jewelry maker investment is something that like we i mean every every single precious metal item that you buy um has that word associated to it but it's not going to be an indulgent price tag is what i'm trying to say if you saw something like this what would you imagine in places like astley clark as i've mentioned it how much do you think that would actually be or what about even high street jewelers like samuels or heinz how much do you think this kind of brace or bracelets would actually be? What do you think? 45, 50, 60 pounds? Mm. I think that seems absolutely feasible. Granted, they'll give you a little cardboard box. Granted. But you can actually get hold of those too. How about... Oh, goodness me. That's Ridiculous. unbelievable. $14.99. Exactly. It's complete finished jewellery. Mm. That of course you can go on to actually customise yourselves, jewellery makers. I genuinely think like you're right, Ollie, 45, 50 pounds plus for something like this, for even from our high street jewellers. Yeah, if you, uh, yeah, Argos, those kind of establishments, which I can't even guarantee. I'm not saying they won't be, but I don't know what level of quality you'd actually get from those places. I know you're going to get quality with us here at Jewellery Maker. I know that you're getting an unbe unbeatable deal. How many of these do we actually have available then? Okay, there was 150 of these available, um, but again, they are flying out the door. Check out those baskets. It's, it's just a perfect giftable idea. I'm talking about gifts. I know that Christmas is gone. We've got Mother's Day coming up. We've got, uh, uh, obviously, Valentine's Day coming your way. We've got birthdays. Don't you find that February tends to be quite a, quite a busy month, birthday-wise? You've got spring and summer when we just tend to... Oh, I don't know about you, but I do. I tend to wear more accessories over the spring and summer months. Um, at that price tag, treat yourself, goodness me. So here we go. Price comparison. This is in a sale. £46.40. pence In gold-plated or in silver, £14.99 pence for hours. Reduced from £58 there. Which actually isn't that bad. I know that website. It tends to be quite expensive it's lovely I, re I go to it quite a lot it's lovely it's that one that might be on high streets it might not 14.99 with us jenny muriel hello to you joyce hello to you angela hello to you margaret lorraine hilda sally hello to you london uh debbie in west midlands jenny i mean this is one of those purchases that for me you might you might get 
you might get thinking, I don't know who I'm going to gift that to, or, or maybe you, I, I know what will happen, I'd buy it and I'd keep it for myself. But it's one of those things that it's going to be appropriate to lots of different people as well. Um, well done. Do stay where you are. It's incredibly popular, that. I might treat myself to one of those. I like that. Oh, so I can layer it as well. Uh, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pop these on these. So let's put the rose gold on here for now. So exactly the same bracelet. Of course, it's got the extension itself. So if you wanted to, um, if you wanted to wear it longer or shorter, you've got that one inch play. Look at that! Isn't that lovely? Isn't that beautiful? Do you do layering then, Susie? I like layering up layering. pieces of jewellery. Yeah, and and it's very easy to do. You need to do it on a bust. I always do it on a bust. Yeah. Um, and I normally put three layers onto a jump ring and then just finish it off with a single chain. Lovely. So that you get it there. And then if you do it on a bust, you get the absolutely equal equidistance because you just hang it off and then droop one, and then just hang it so till you're happy with it. So you could actually take these bracelets and turn them into necklaces oh, if yeah, you wanted absolutely. to. But, I mean, I'm, 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 layering the I'm layering literally the three bracelets up against one another, and I tell you what, that is such, such um, a Cartier-inspired piece of jewellery because they always work with the three different tones. Well, not always, but you know, it's, a, it's a big collection of theirs. Now, we're bringing you right now the rose gold. Obviously, you can see the sterling silver is coming your way, so I'll just lay that across there. If you want to still get hold of the yellow gold, it may well still be available, I'm not sure, but they are flying out the door. We've matched the price on the rose gold. The popularity of rose gold 925 sterling silver literally went through the roof in 2014, and it has sustained that popularity ever since then. Um, yeah. Yeah, you get the three different links. So you've got, if you wanted to deconstruct this jewellery makers, then of course you can. But as, 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 as Susie just said, it is a finished piece of jewellery. That could be a, a perfect foundation to a charm bracelet because yeah, you've got more precious metal yeah. in there. What is the gram weight on this? Have we got the gram weight? 3.9 grams of solid 925 sterling silver, plus the precious metal on top there as well. For £14.99, that's crazy. It's, it's lovely, isn't it? I really like the rose gold. I really like that. Do you know what? You know the Amber's Knight that we... You know the Amber's Knight or the Amber that we had previously? Just one little wrap loop and pop those on there. Yeah, yeah you'd be talking more than £5 for just one of those bracelets, wouldn't you? To recreate, to, to, you know, to make mm. itself. So that you are getting finished jewellery at... Um, I mean, you'd probably pay more than that for some of the findings of the extension chain, to be truthful. But yeah, just imagine one of the Amber's Knight that we brought you earlier Beautiful, on. Beautiful, isn't it? That's oh. all you need, just to hang it off. Yeah. And even you could uh, put it all on the clasp bit. I've, yeah. I've seen that with the little Oh, that charms. would be lovely. So sort of make a feature yeah, of, of the, the actual clasp. extender chain itself. Yeah. So what was that, Tom? Oh, yeah. Marilyn is saying, add an 18-inch chain for a super-layered yeah. necklace. Voila. I love it. So you'd actually have this across the decolletage, Marilyn. Why not? Absolutely. Mm. I mean, it's a really beautiful... You can and save that for another occasion, can't you? You could actually save the lobster class yeah. for another occasion. Yeah. I've got another idea for you, Marilyn. <laughs> if you're lucky enough... If, if you are in a position to do so and you like the trio of, t of precious metal colours, mixing them together, how about literally undoing the clasps... I, I don't know. Can, have I got time to do this? Yeah? I wonder. I put myself under pressure now, haven't I? Under pressure! Because I am not a guest designer. But I like the idea of connecting these yeah, together as well. Yeah. What do you think? That looks lovely. I like that. Why not? So it actually, if you get three, you can actually turn it into a necklace as well. And then hang off um, a little, um, like your birthstone. Yeah. Off one of the uh, extender chains. And maybe oh, yeah. you could make it meaningful then, couldn't you? You could sort of have your birthstone, your star sign, or a love heart, or a gift that somebody had given you. Yeah. 
you could mix it up. Um, I'm sure you'd come up with something a lot better than I do, but I'm just saying, why not? Because the safety pin jewellery was really popular, wasn't yeah. it? Just literally connecting. Let's do the sterling silver. Now, these are, are crazy popular on pre-orders. Loads of you have already got involved. I'm not surprised by that at all. Um, so the last, we've, we, we've got them in the, in the vault, but they always absolutely skyrocket. I mean, that's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? I love the fact they kind of twist and tessellate together as well. I haven't deliberately tried to sort of lay it out so you've got that perfect graduation. I like the fact mm. they're tessellating yeah. together. Um, 925 sterling silver is the most lustrous of your precious metals. So um, luster is ref referring to the light reflection on the surface. Um, we do that on gemstone. We say about reference it on gemstones, but also on your precious metals. So the most reflective precious metal is 925 sterling mm. silver. Don't you think that's absolutely apparent right now on this bracelet? Because they've been finished to such high, you know, such a high degree, such a high quality that it's almost mirror-like. I think it's absolutely appropriate that I also show you your deal of the day. So it's coming up in about oh, 35 wow. minutes time. I mean, would you not? That shimmers, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, six beautiful sterling silver chains coming up at 11 o'clock. But again, alongside this layered bracelet yeah. would be beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Precious metal in particular, I, th I always think it's, if you get the opportunities like this hour to treat yourself to 925 sterling silver at these deals, yeah. indulge in it because we run out, don't we? Absolutely. I mean, you can't get enough of chains. I always say in your stash, chains, 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 because not only can you use them just to put on the end of pendants, but you can cut them up and add them as part of jewellery yeah. to make tassels, to make satellite jewellery. Well, I was talking to Sheila, um, this was pre, pre, prior to me actually going uh, going off for maternity. Sheila herself was like, oh, I'm desperate for chains. I haven't got yeah. any in my stash. And we were literally hunting the whole of Ivy House yeah. to get a find some sterling silver chains. You are going to get an optimum deal, I believe, wow. on this. Really? How about we surpass those amazing fourteen ninety nine deals, which were awesome in their own individual right? We're going to take this even lower, jewellery makers. You've got the three centimetre extension chain. This is always the most popular of your precious metal. Um, we don't make, we don't take, we take that for granted, jewellery makers. If we can bring you the better deal, we absolutely will. Twelve pounds and ninety nine pence only. I love it. Do you want to see it on the wrist line as well? I think we should. Especially alongside this bracelet. It is busy, busy, busy this morning. Here we go. Oh, I love it. And I just love how it falls. Mm. It's, again, it's just timeless beauty. Mm. And it goes to show that 925 Precious Metal does not have... You don't have to have uh, gemstones or additional components to make a piece of jewellery beautiful. Uh, Roberto Coin, for example, they, do, they, they feature gemstones. Of course they do, but they are, I think, absolute advocates of, of mastering the craftsmanship of mm. precious metal work. Yeah. And that's exactly what I see when I look at this bracelet. £12.99 only, jewellery makers. There are multi-buyers on this. Um, I don't blame you. I hope I've got enough of these to go around. Um, I've got loads more sterling silver to bring you as well, jewelry makers. So it's like a little, a little mini sterling silver uh, showcase for you. I, I don't want to. I, I'm trying to avoid talking about the price increase of nine two five sterling silver because I know you've heard it quite a lot. But if you are new to our channel. Um, or maybe new to the jewellery industry, the price of precious metal has gone through the roof. And it was sterling silver that really actually led the way. Sterling silver, um, last time I actually checked, it had gone up, what was it, by three times, something like that? Three times wow. tripled the price. It changes on a daily basis, so mm. don't quote me on that. But it is massively more expensive than it was actually prior to the whole pandemic process. Um, I read an article in the, in the financial... <laughs> I sound, this doesn't sound like something I would say. I read an article in the Financial Times. No, I didn't, I don't buy that paper, but it was, it was online. Um, and it said about the price increases of your precious mm. metal. So well done. Okay, what next? Oh, we're doing the pendants. The pendants, the pendants, the pendants. So I'm going to bring these earrings back. So you could use them as pendants or you could use them as droppers to these earrings. I love them. 
Um, I'm going to bring you the gold first. So I know the examples that I actually have here are in the uh, in silver, um, but yeah, you can actually use all of the precious metal colours. Obviously, I'm going to hold one of these up. So again, don't forget your deal of the day that is coming your way. So pop a jump ring, literally a jump ring through the loop itself. Oh, so pretty. And these are what? Sorry. They're diamond shapes because, oh yes, because the actual bale or the, the ring itself is in the corner. So yes, good point. They're actually positioned differently. Gosh, eagle eye there, Ollie. I hadn't even noticed that. Would you mix up the gold plated with the, with the silver or I the rose do. gold? I think mixing up metals is, is quite on trend at the moment. You yeah. see the triple sort of uh, necklaces. So there's absolutely nothing wrong with mixing the metals. Love it. Absolutely love the silver is coming your way, but these are the little pendants. So have you got any, if you want to keep with the same color, then obviously uh, use alongside your gold plated sterling silver pieces that you might have already in your stash. Um, okay, let's bring you the pendants. And again, you do get three of these. It's not just the one, you do get all three of these. Um, in the three colours as well, in that beautiful blue, that very Paraba-esque uh, blue, obviously the source of inspiration to this cubic zirconia. Um, you're getting all three for just £12.99. That's absolutely unbelievable. You've got this lovely hot pink, which I'm going to say is like the finest yeah. quality, um, the finest quality rubellite. That's the inspiration there. And of course, this wonderful chrome diopside colour as well. Let me just turn, should I bring it over here? Yeah, why not? Mm. Let's do it. It is a gorgeous collection. Why not? Mm. And I, I want to do this too. Yeah. I think particularly the green, the yeah. cubic zirconia. Imagine that nestled. Yeah, exactly. Into That's the exactly pearls. What I would do with it. Ge these are genuine pearls, by the way. These aren't imitation pearls. These are genuine near round pearls that are coming up as a closeout deal. Um, wow. Very popular. I love this idea. So mm. it doesn't have to be a pen. You can use them in earrings. You can also use them as little charms because they're not overly sized, are they? They'd make lovely little uh, ring charms as oh. well. For, you know, your so little we've covered pretty much every, everything. Every they're just a single. perfect size, aren't they? Not too big. They're very delicate. So if you love delicate jewellery and you do want to use it as a pendant, yeah. but absolutely perfect for bracelets and rings. I love this bracelet. Just to make you aware, Anne and Sue, I'm really loving this bracelet. <laughs> if I say that, they, they, they almost want to come. I know they were. They almost want to. They said to me before I came off, "L, we need to pat you down before you actually vacate the premises." <laughs> Can I just say thank you to our in-house designers because they have done a lot for today's show. So thank mm. you, thank you, thank you for that, and also for uploading them to Instagram. So I really do appreciate that. Um, it, you know. I, I noticed that I noticed there's if you want to follow uh, Anne and Sue, they are JM in house designers. Oh, yes. We'll find it, we'll find it. JM in house designers. There mm. we go. And they upload, Anne and Sue upload loads of pictures of the pieces that they make. So it's worth a follow, jewelry makers. Give them a cheeky like because lovely ladies. Lovely ladies. Right then, let's give you the rose gold variety. Oh. Ooh, we are half hour away from your deal of the day, jewellery makers, just half hour away. To give you a heads up, they are reordered back in stock by very popular demand, so much so that even, these were so popular, even crew purchased your deal of the day. I love this. Like, I think you and I like very similar jewellery. Yeah. Something that is classic. classic. Yeah, exactly. Classic and wearable. Oh, I love very this. wearable and quite contemporary. I love that neon. That. If it's you were absolutely to absolutely stunning, you, if you were to imagine that on Bond Street, yeah, well, I could. You could see that in the the best jewelry shop. It would have a hefty price yeah. tag attached yeah. to it. Now, this is actually going to show that cubic zirconias can absolutely complement your genuine yeah. gemstones as well. So, they um, our in-house designers have used it alongside some appetite here, and obviously rose gold plated sterling silver. I love it. Absolutely gorgeous. Twelve pounds and ninety nine pence only for the three separate colours. So and now I'm definitely thinking I need to get hold of some rondelles. I yeah. want to recommission these designs that Anne and Sue have actually done. Yeah. Um, and uh, but but yes, that's a good point. Actually, Tom's just said I'd probably be multi buying because I probably want to get the matching pair mm. of earrings as well, so mm. I can actually make the pendant and the earrings. Mm. But um, this design is never going to get a favour. Never. And if you're making it at, to sell. It's so sellable, 
and as a present mm. who's not going to love that well you know i i look at so many of our um of the pieces that you know fabulous wire work pieces etc yeah. etc which take cb pieces which take so much longer to actually uh to and of course we massively appreciate the beauty and the skill that goes into them but these mm. are quick makes yeah quick makes that will absolutely like i said if it's a business that you'll absolutely sell time and time and time yeah. again but also enjoy yourself wear yourself yeah. 12.99 only for all three of these so that's working out at what what's that they're so, 4 pounds 33 pence each sorry i'm useless at maths yes of course 4.33 each haven't done maths in quite quite a while keep down and through i'm very rusty maths although i have to say i'm doing, doing numeracy with willow she she clearly follows in my in uh, she follow, follows her mummy in no, having no interest in maths at all, trying to go like Willow focus. She's she's good at it. That's the problem. So I can't I can't retain her attention. <laughs> um, uh, okay. So these again on a, on that bracelet. Where's that bracelet? Let's bring that bracelet back. Where do I get? There it is. Let's pop it on. So, Susie, I, if I had a sterling silver jump ring in my stash, mm -hmm. I opened and closed it as per uh, the demo. Yeah. By Anne and Sue. I attached it to any of the chains. Yeah, and that's it, ready made. Here. That is, uh, if even, you know, e anyone can make that. Doesn't that look lovely? And isn't that beautiful? Here we go. Yeah. Open jump ring. Go through the YouTube channel to actually see that. So you open and close it like a door. Don't distort the shape of the of the uh, of the spherical shape itself. Pop it on. Here we go. You're watching our love. <laughs> Pop it on. Pop it on. <laughs> Pop on your pendant. <laughs> I don't know why I got all Welsh, but I am. In particular, why I've gone so Nessa. <laughs> <laughs> but it's that simple and look at look, look i mean that is like we say professional beautiful durable jewelry. jewelry which is wearable at the same time the same applies with your deal of the day jewelry makers so if you want to do that now you get um am i on the right one now yeah yeah sorry it was confusing me then sorry ollie um so the three silver, the three silver colours with your cubic zirconia. So again, in that very, I look at the green and I think chrome dioxide. I'm not saying it is chrome dioxide, it's obviously cubic zirconia. I look at the blue and I think like the finest Swiss blue topaz. And I'm looking at this pink in a, probably one of the most um, beautiful pink, uh, pink sapphires or mm. even rubellite. Probably not rubellite because it is so, it's got such clarity. So let's go sapphire, shall we? Imagine the price tag if they were those gemstones. And mm. of course, I know that our sister channel can bring you the real deal and um, bring you the real deal as well but there's an absolute place for cubic zirconia mm. i definitely think so especially when they're 9.99 not each now i'm going to dial through and choose a color that's all three three pound 33 per sterling silver pendant uh, do you know something has just popped into my head could you even buy the bales at that price tag? No, probably not. Can you for even three. buy the sterling silver I bales? Have thought so for three. So no. if you can imagine just kind of taking out that cubic zirconia for a second, I'll keep that for another occasion, maybe for your ceruline, etc. Did you say this earlier on, Michael? Mm. To actually get the mounts itself mm. for three thirty-two. Yeah. Is that that's crazy? So if you wanted to actually put your genuine gemstones in here, you can. You absolutely can. Mm. Um, Hello, Margaret. Morning, JM. Nice to see you, Elle. Thank you, lovely. Um, I think I would be, I would have different colour earrings. Could be interesting. Be safe, and that's yeah. for Margaret. That's Yeah, absolutely. So you're saying mixing these up, mixing up the precious metals. Yeah. I like that idea. Oh, oh, I see what you mean. So you're thinking green and blue and then pink and a different colour. Yeah, I like that idea. Mm. In fact, it's actually very on trend to wear odd, odd yeah, earrings at the exactly. moment. Exactly. Odd, odd earrings, odd socks. Is it? Is it on trend to wear, wear odd socks? On trend. I don't know. I'm, I'm not an on trend person, but well done, well done. 
Okay, let's do. Michael's the dedicated follower of fashion. <laughs> Ollie says he feels that old that he wants to get. He wants to know how you ask if something's on trend or not these days. I don't know. What does on trend mean? I don't know. I've never been a follower of fashion. This is brand new. This is going to fly. Because the popularity of rainbows the part over 2020, for obvious reasons, has gone through the roof. I'm going to show you again this lovely slider bracelet that our in-house designers know. I don't know. I'm looking at this thinking... Do you know that? Do you know? I think we've all, everybody has had uh, has had a rough time of it just lately. We've mm. got to try and stay positive, and I think jewellery like this is a means to do mm. that. So you have your multiple rainbow colours in cubic zirconia set within that lovely heart itself. The two little loops are there as well. You can see our in-house designers have literally just done a little bit of macrame, attached it onto to some of our what's that nylon cord? Do you think? Yeah, it looks like... Um, I'm going to bring these across as well. I know they're different colours, but if you wanted to put them, them with micro-faceted... I like this one, Michael. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to save you a job. Look. I'm getting some of these. It's not pretty. They're beautiful. They're yeah. absolutely beautiful. I mean, I, I, there's a there's a book that um, Willow was gifted at Christmas, and it's all about uh, the year we painted rainbows, oh. and it's talking about sort of what's going on right now, and and talking about how, why there's rainbows everywhere, and 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 not only really, you know 2020 aside, 2020, 2021, it's a lovely idea, isn't mm. it? Having all of those lovely colours set yeah. within uh, your designs itself. I mean, something something like any of these bracelets, I can. Imagine being sold for considerably more. You can team them alongside little seed pearls like these. Again, can I say in-house designers, these are beautiful. I absolutely love this one. Love it with the seed pearls. Love it with your micro-faceted gemstones. This right now is in the rose gold, and then we're going to be bringing you the different colours as well. These are the little connectors. So can I remove the one of the jump rings if I wanted to turn it into a charm? Yeah, absolutely. You just snip it off. You could file it down. If you snipped it off really carefully, you might not have to file it down. Otherwise, you just file the end and it would Using just Using your flush cutters? Yeah, absolutely. But connectors like... Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a Slider minute. Slider bracelet, absolutely. Connectors like these are... They do so much more than just connect gemstones together. Mm. They are a massive trend at the yeah. moment. And I know that you can actually gather... You can gather multiple strands together with it as yeah. well, can't you? Yeah, and you can just make it a centrepiece on the, as you say, just on one side of a necklace. Yeah. Just have it there rather make than Make a feature it in the of it. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say I'm absolutely stunned. These haven't skyrocketed out of the out of the vault. I'm really, really stunned because they're absolutely beautiful. I actually think these are one of the loveliest connectors that we've ever actually brought to wear. They are brand new. And this is how it will actually appear to you. Keep dialing through, jewellery makers. I'm stunned. They, there's still a few of those available. Well, I'm going to be multi-buying on them. I was that engrossed. Do you know what, Tom? I was that engrossed, I didn't even look at the price tag. Was it really? Wow. That engrossed in them. I love them that much. Okay, moving on to... Should we do the gold version now? They, these have been selling on pre-order already. And by the way, we have the matching earrings to show you as well. So if you want to make... Have I got them there? Here we go. Look, look, look. There. Obviously, we've got them in the different colours. I'm just bringing these across. So if you want to turn these into a suite, you can. Uh, so there we go. I know they're different colours, but we've got them in the earrings too. Now, oh... So our in-house designer has taken this connector and actually put them with some, looks like lapis, yeah, lovely lapis lazuli. Don't forget your deal of the day coming your way as well. Jewelry makers are reorder on an epic sterling silver chain that you can absolutely customise with these wonderful rainbow hearts. And um, set with not even just sterling silver, these are these are Swarovski crystals set parve set within your little um, within your little connector itself. I want I'm going to be multi buying on these because I think you know. <sighs> 
I was talking to the guys earlier on, I'm talking about Christmas, I'm finding it so hard not being with my mum at the moment, she is classed as vulnerable, I hate the fact that she's on her own and not having mm. any interaction, so sending such flowers, it costs a lot of money to do yeah. that, especially with your delivery, Nine ninety nine. I can make her a little, a little bracelet Good. that I know is just going to make her smile, um, so if you're thinking about somebody right now that you're finding, you really want to get in touch with, you just want to send that little bit of positivity, what a beautiful way of doing that. Mm. Uh, in a piece of jewellery and it's going to mean so much to them if it's been made by your fair hands 9.99 only for these they have been pre-ordered already jewellery makers and lots of you are asking for our deal of the day to be pre-ordered sorry we can't they'll all sell out prior to the even auction to the auction even happens so we've got a countdown going on and again you get all six of those chains there are 233 but they will absolutely sell out because people do multi-buy. I don't blame you. We always run out of chains, as Susie mm. says. If you see chains, grab them. Um, and if you actually compare the prices of sterling silver and quality of sterling silver that we offer elsewhere, it's, it's unbelievable, really. Members of staff always getting involved and get involved with these as well. Always get involved with these. Keep on dialing through. I'm getting some of these hearts. I'm getting some of these hearts. So what number? How lovely is that bracelet? I love it. I was thinking, you know, I'd have probably get three and I would uh, link them together so I'd have heart one way, heart the other way, heart the other way, and then I'd put it on a, um, a, a seed beaded, uh, pearl seed beaded necklace. Oh. So I'd have that on the side. I just love that combination. Mm. So the earrings are coming your way. These have been incredibly popular on pre-order. They are absolutely mm. beautiful. The pearls are the pearls that we're bringing you a little bit later on. Mm. Um. Which is a crazy close-out deal at 12 o'clock as your mega deal. But how beautiful is that? I mean, I can't think of a single person that wouldn't love to receive no, absolutely. or wear this piece of jewellery. Um, we have the matching earrings uh, complementing your your connector. I don't think these are going to be available come the end of the show. I think these are going to be an on-screen sellout because we're taking it unbelievably to under £10. On a chain? Yeah. And just having it here, you know, in the sort of the, the dip of there. So yeah, the in the nape. Sits, in, in the, the nape, nape of the neck. So it just sits in there. On well, the your deal of the day would be perfect for that because yeah. you can actually customise it. £8.99 pence only. They are so beautiful. So you have your genuine Swarovski there. So, uh, And they are masters of cutting, obviously. Mm. You know, uh, master crystal cutters. And you can see that quality. Parve set into 925 sterling silver. These are pieces of jewellery that have been made by our in-house designers. But honestly, anybody with any different skill set could actually recommission mm. these. Um, it is super simple. But it's the kind of piece of jewellery that is, is incredibly popular right now. And like I said, if you go to all of the big fashion, high fashion designers, you know, Tiffany's and Co. with hearts, of course, but um, Thomas Sabo, you go to Ashley Clark, you go to Monica Venedi, you go to uh, Pandora, any of those, they're all mm. very much about these kind of delicate little bracelets. Mm. But you're talking triple figures for those. Yeah. And I can't guarantee that they would be Swarovski. I certainly can't guarantee that they would be genuine pearls. Loads of you multi-buying on this one. Um, I'm getting involved on this too because I know there's, you know, just when you want to you want to send a little bit of positivity to someone, just raise a smile. I think this is a really lovely way of doing it. Or perhaps you know somebody that has been um, has been very much a key person through, uh, through recent months. And again, really nice way of saying thank you, showing your appreciation. Um, we have the earrings coming your way as well. So do bear with us. Should we do them now? Look at those. Oh, rose gold first. Um, there. I'm going to show them in the finished pieces of jewellery. Obviously, you... Yeah, these have been made up by our in-house designers. But again, it is a simple wrap loop technique. Huge amount of your 925 sterling silver. The attention to detail, and I'm going to just turn, put those, whilst I put those on the desk, 
Look, here's a demo on our YouTube channel of literally Sue using the pills that are coming up at 12 o'clock. But Sue showing you exactly how you do this very technique. So there you are. Susie, you just did this too. Yeah. Adjust your pliers. Curve it over to almost like a coat hanger shape. I'm being the voice of Sue. She's a bit more brummy than me. There are certain techniques that I would absolutely say try and master. A wrap mm. loop is one of them. One of them. You can see she's a popping it on. She's a popping it on. <laughs> she's popping it on to uh, the earring itself. And then she, she's a popping it on. And then she's going to wrap it round. Go on, Sue. <laughs> you can do it, Sue. <laughs> There we go, nice and neat. Take your time. This is using just a, a just a normal either a piece of wire or a head pin, and then Sue's going to trim it. And this is the pair of earrings that she has actually created. So absolutely beautiful. If you want to watch those further, you can. I'm just going to turn them slightly so you can see the amount of sterling silver that's invested to the post. But also, can you see those little grooves? Can you see little grooves in the post? That effectively, the best way I describe it is it's like a, it's like a, a key in the door, a lock. Um, it gives you that security and that peace of mind. So you're getting one pair of your rose gold plated 925 sterling silver with those wonderful rainbow colours of your Swarovski for $9.99. I'm beautiful. Nine ninety nine. I'm go. I'm if I can. If there's enough of these left, multi buying, multi buying. Yeah, they're these. absolutely beautiful. And I mean, I love pearls. But you imagine some, you know, like a pear drop or those Amazonites we had a bit earlier. Multicolored sapphire. Oh, beautiful. You know, you yeah. have those micro faceted sapphires, yeah. the multicolored yeah, strands. Just, yeah, or, or rondelles. Yeah, literally a cascade of those. So it's almost beautiful. like a blaze, a rainbow blaze. Yeah. You could do so much with them. And, and to be honest, because there is all of those colours, Susie, it's going to complement so many different gemstones. Ooh, yeah, exactly. It would work with your peridot, it would work with your heliodor, it would work with sapphires, rubies, all of those, yeah. because you've got the colours within, yeah. uh, within the actual heart design itself. I'm absolutely loving these. Do check out. Obviously, we've got them. Uh, we've actually got them in the yellow gold as well. Should we do the yellow gold version right now? I've got them. Got them. Got them. Should I put them up. In, I'm going to put these in the ear. These are studio samples. Don't worry. Nobody will get these. These itself. Hang on. More fingers and thumbs, Susie. How pretty. Aren't they beauty? Beauty? Beautiful. I've just noticed, as you put them in the ear, the loop itself, do you notice it's disguised? Yeah, you can't It's see underneath. It. Yeah. So okay. you can't actually see that drop. So you actually don't even have to cut them off if you don't want to. They yeah. could be on and offable earrings. Yeah. On and offable, if that's even a thing. But you, you know what I mean? They could be actually versatile, yeah. sort of interchangeable, that's the word. Interchangeable earrings. Um, loving the idea behind these. Loving the idea that you can get the complementary connector as well. Uh, yeah, we haven't have got these in made-up jewellery, but they are, they're cheerful, aren't they? In a time where we need to raise as many smiles as we possibly, possibly can, Rainbow's huge, yeah, and, and we're not the only sort of jeweller or jewellery supplier, if you like, um, that is actually uh, sort of offering you this sort of rainbow idea because it's positive, it's uplifting, it's cheerful. Lots of the big mm. designers out there are going to be uh, mm. th uh, are using sort of rainbow colours. Pandora, I know for sure, they definitely, definitely wouldn't be under ten pounds if you were to go to that establishment. Don't think ever think that I'm actually bad mouthing said jewellers. I'm really not, um, but it's just a difference of not even. Quite Quality necessarily it's just a difference of price point how we manage to make this possible is mm. we don't just sell one or two we actually will sell hundreds in any matter of uh, a minute so um, and something like that is like I said is very popular at the moment the world over okay keep dialing through I've got to pick up the pace and our last our last of the earrings 
Like, oh. Minutes away from the deal of the day. So again, these will work with the deal of the day too. Where did that hour go? It flew by. I mean, you're mentioning High Street, um, you know, Pandora, to name one, and there are others on the High Street. But their charms start at about £40, don't they? Just yeah. for a single charm. Yeah. And here you're getting a pair of earrings. My best friend, for her 40th birthday, I bought her one of those charm bracelets because um, she loves them. And that's fine. Like I said, I'm never yeah. actually talking down that. But, yeah, you, you have to pay a premium for yeah. that name, really. Yeah, Look how can. beautiful they are. In all honesty, if that, this was in that box, you wouldn't question it, yeah. would you? You wouldn't question it. Love these. The earrings themselves, I think we've got to, because these are absolutely amazing. And it would take you, how long do you think, Susie, to make these earrings? Uh, 30 seconds. About 30 seconds. Mm, yeah. Okay. It might take me a little bit longer because I'm... Uh, you're, you're literally putting a head pin through... And doing a little wrap loop, and even if you did it at the speed that Sue did it on the video, it's still sort of 45 seconds. They're beautiful. Aren't they lovely? Just pure really elegance. Really beautiful. If you want the pearls that are actually in these earrings, then they're coming up at 12 o'clock in a closeout deal, jewelry makers. Um, if you want the matching connector, that we've actually got in the uh, in this bracelet just here. I'll hold that up there. So we've just brought yeah. that to you, jewelry makers. So that was eight pounds ninety nine as well. We're Amazing. matching the price for the earrings, which technically we should surely be double. Yeah. Sh technically, you'd imagine so, wouldn't you? But yeah. no, not the case. I just love them. I think they're. I think there's not enough positive words that I can actually attach to this collection. Yes, it's on trend. Yes, it's very current. Yes, it's probably something that you've seen mm. sort of in it's sort of different inspiration in different jewelry houses. Um, Eight ninety nine for a pair of sterling silver earrings. Even if they didn't have any Swarovski in them, would be absolutely unbelievable, don't you think? Keep on dialing through. We are running out of time, jewelry makers. Um, so, coming up. Your deal of the day, it is a reorder, and those of you that have just tuned in, let me just explain. So, some time ago, can you remember when it was, Ollie? It was, I want to say, yeah, I want to say about six months ago, because it was definitely warm. Um, it was definitely before lockdown, yeah, so way, way, way before, probably even a year, almost a year ago. So, we brought this, this deal of the day to air. I remember it clear as day because I actually sort of came into the studio. Um, Carol was actually presenting them and I was chatting to the guys. Like I said, pre-lockdown, we were allowed to do that. And Ollie was like, I need to get these. And he was obviously directing. And I said, do you want me to do it? I'll order it on the app, no problem. And I did. And you, you saved them for Christmas presents. Every single guest designer, employee, <clears throat> viewer, I think would agree with this. If you see sterling silver here at Jewelry Maker mm. in Chains, get them. They mm. always sell out and they are always unmissable. Absolutely. Yeah, literally crew go nuts for opportunities mm. like this. You get all six and it's mm. coming your way in the deal of the day next. <laughs> Have a question or query for Jewelry Maker, then contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Email help at jewelrymaker.com or drop us a message on our Facebook page. Hello, my name is Rachel Morris. I look forward to seeing you all on Saturday the 16th of January for the Masterclass Show. And I've used some copper sheet with these beautiful kit colourways to make um, Indian elephants and frogs and lily pads and all sorts of things in sculptural 2D and three-dimensional forms. So I look forward to seeing you all on Saturday the 16th of January for the Masterclass on Jewelry Maker.
Jewelry Makers, we have a new Facebook group dedicated to sharing your makes and jewelry making advice. To join the group, simply head over to the page and hit request. You'll then be able to share your designs with our JM community and join like-minded people. Create, wear, share. Jake Thompson travels the globe to find the very best gemstone deals in the industry. As Gemporia's gemstone buyer and investor, Jake is confident in supplying the finest gemstones firsthand, directly from the source, so your jewellery is of the highest standard at remarkable prices. With the inside knowledge Jake has collected and the relationships he has forged, we are able to bring you the most up-to-date news on mines, gems and the trade itself. Jake Thompson lifts the veil on the gemstone and jewellery industry, giving you a unique insight into the gem markets and the ability to buy from Gemporia with confidence. Jewelrymaker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewelrymaker. Welcome back, Jewelry Makers. Lovely to be with you this morning. My name's Eleanor, um, and I'm, I'm back. I'm back for just a couple of... Well, I've done a couple of shifts um, in what we call stay-in-touch days. And I thought, given the fact that I'm back, not officially back, but back, I th <laughs> not back, back, just back, I thought I might just squeeze our sales managers for an extra special deal of the day. Now, as I said, these have been on air about a year ago. Um, I remember the deal of the day. It was with our gorgeous Carol, and they all sold out. Now, we've got just over 200 of these, and you do get all six. So it's two of each design, which I'll show you in a few seconds. But be, just in that short break there, um, sales manager Tom stepped into the gallery, and I was like, come on, Tom. Can we, can we do an extra special sales manager deal on top of your, your deal of the day deal just because I'm back? I'm using that as an excuse, totally. Totally as an excuse. And the answer is yes. He is just, he's there. Look, you can see him in the gallery. He's there. He is there. Um, they're all socially distanced, don't worry. But he is actually saying, yes, we can do it. Um, but, sorry, he's actually, he's actually having a go at me now. Not really, but he's like, oh, oh, barker, 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 barker. Anyway, so let me just show you what you're going to be getting here, jewellery makers. And I'm going to talk through each of these beautiful chains because 
the quality, I can't stress that enough. And I know if you're watching right now and you've indulged in some of our sterling silver chains, please text in. For people that maybe haven't purchased from us before, just to indicate the quality of our precious metal uh, chains, our sterling silver chains. So uh, you text in quite simply. Here we go. Text to send your message to 78070. Make sure you put JM Studio at the beginning of your text so it actually comes direct to us. So share your feedback on our precious metal, um, our sterling silver chains, because that really does speak volumes. I'm going to tell you this. If Tom does what we are actually squeezing him to do. I think you would be hard pushed to buy just one of these sterling silver chains for elsewhere, especially things like your snake chain, which put your silversmith hat on. If you put your silversmith hat on, can you imagine actually creating this? A, a, a snake chain beautifully, beautifully undulates. Now, because of social distancing, we're gonna, we're just, Susie's just going to vacate for one second. When she's not going, going, but Tom is going to just pop himself uh, into her place right now because I have literally put him on the spot right now, and I've said, Tom, can I bring you on air? Go on, go on, go on, go on. He loves it when I when I'm basically produce from the floor sorry sorry about that um so i'll go back to talking about the craftsmanship that goes into a snake chain it, they tend to be a much a, a much higher premium because of that that level of uh, of intricacy so as so aptly named they literally undulate so they'll follow the curves of the decolletage themselves and you've got that constant river of luster all the way around now you don't just get the one of those you get two Two of those, 18 inches of solid sterling silver uh, snake chains. But we're still not done because you're also going to be getting your twisted chains times two in 18 inches, 925 sterling silver, not 925 plate. These are solid 925 sterling silver. And you're going to be getting you know, your classic, classic link. Six Prince of Wales. These are six 18-inch, so it's the most frequently purchased and requested length of chain for this one deal of the day. Crew, staff, Guest designers go nuts for these opportunities. Now, Tom, can I just say, sorry, but thank you. No, <laughs> I've no, literally... I, you kind of dragged me on air. I like even brush, brush them. I'm wearing just a T-shirt. I think of that. That's all right. You weren't expecting to be on air. I know, I know, but you know, you will. I have to come on. It's absolutely Thank fine. you. So I, I've used, totally used the fact that I've, I'm, I'm on one of my stay-in-touch days as an excuse for you here, Jury Makers. Your deal of the day is already an epic deal, isn't it? It's incredible. It's 12 grand of sterling silver. We think about the price of sterling silver last year, the price is like hiking up yeah so technically a hundred pounds for six chains is incredible mm. but i don't think what jory are aware of is that me and wayne my little danny devito i call him <laughs> we're now <laughs> right yes okay we're now I'm in sure charge he loves that <laughs> he, he, he loves that i'm like the arnold Schwarzenegger. he hates that but <laughs> we are now in charge of bringing you don't get started on you this network we are in charge of bringing you the best deals. So we instruct all of the producers, all the presenters to bring you the best possible prices. This is the deal of the day, correct? Yeah, so it was already epic. I mean, £100 is already epic, absolutely. How about we go to £10 a chain? £10 yes. a chain for yes, the deal of the day. Yes, please. How Should we do that? Yes, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Mary, I, let's do what that. I would suggest that to our viewers right now is because we have two over 200 of these, but people do multi-buy and you're not restricted on quantities, even though you get six. You're not restricted in terms of no, quantities. Like. So that's working out at £9.99 per sterling silver chain. Job done, isn't it? No, you can totally do better than that. It's can I? Yes, you totally can. Really? You can. You're can I? You're a sales manager now. Come on. You're really pushing my button today, aren't you? I like to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ollie, you can get a clock on Starboy. <laughs> Ollie, you can get a clock on that Let's... little comment, please. Thank you. Just Let's to, like, do just it. to rejig it. Let's right? really push Tom's buttons. So in one minute, we have to go lower. Yes. So I have to think of the price. We have to go lower in you one minute. You have the power. A power in one minute you to have go lower. That power. Start the clock. Let's start that clock then. So in one minute, what we're going to do? Now, can we just explain how we make such opportunities possible? Because 
lots of people maybe that are new to the channel stumbled across us um, uh, stumbled across us here at Jewelry Maker might be thinking okay that can't be solid 925 they are solid 925 absolutely but unlike normal jewellery houses we don't just sell one or two chains in I don't know maybe an hour or, or um, even over over a course of a morning or afternoon we will sell hundreds in this one auction We've so we can here. really work on tiny margins I'm, I'm saying this so I'm justifying it to you as Great, well, thank Tom, you. Well, we've got 20 you seconds go left. Lower. I don't think we have a price in 20 seconds, haven't yeah. we? Yeah. Yeah. So, what do you think you can do, Tom? Now, there's already loads of our regular viewers, regular names I can see there. That's but good. know that Anyone these. From Kent? Anybody from Kent? Anyone Makes from Kent? I mean, you, you probably, yes. Okay, absolutely. There's all around the world shopping right now. Yes, there is. Michelle in Kent. Oh, Michelle, Michelle in Kent. fantastic. Three, two, one. Tom. Smash. 39.99. 39.99. For a dinner day, 39.99. And still get the six chain, still get the 12 grand of stunning silver at the deal of the day. How about that? That's pretty amazing. Yeah. That's pretty amazing. Oh, Sales gosh. manager Tom, we salute you. We salute you. That's epic. Yeah. So we had at eight o'clock, we, uh, we had a viewer's choice amber hour where there were lovely amber pendants. You've just had that beautiful collection with the sterling silver as well that you could so easily commission in, uh, you know, alongside mm -hmm. this too. Um, I'm so glad I dragged you on air. Oh, thank you for dragging I'm me so on air. I'm so glad I dragged you on air. Maybe a bit more noted next time would be great. You know, it's actually better share Sorry. on this no, time. No, but I, I like, this is, this is, this is as we know, Tom. Yeah, this is, this is the, tr this is the, you don't need to be all suited and booted, lovely. I oh, know, at least I'm wearing shoes this time, so that's fine. Oh, well, you're not wearing shoes normally. No, so, um, yeah. so, again, the quality that we actually source of our sterling silver oh, as well. You, we're, we're sticklers for, aren't we? Yes, absolutely. And I think, as you said, this is a trade offer, isn't it? We're yeah. selling, we're, we have a, a big amount of this, of this the other day. We want to be the best price that F1's of, it's available to everyone. You, you mentioned a word there, trade. Because I, I know of many uh, actual jewellers that actually have jewellery jewelry establishments that have even said to me, and I can't source them at the prices like this, because or they'd have to buy a set amount, say hundreds, to be able mm -hmm. to actually compete with what's on your screens right now. Now, I, not many of us as, 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 as a hobby maker, for example, want to spend hundreds and hundreds upon hundreds no. of pounds um, in any one auction. You're, this is working out. What's that working out at each? Sorry? Six pounds and sixty-six £6 pence. Six pounds sixty-six um, per chain. That's nuts, isn't it? That's that is a mad deal, crazy deal. And they're not even all one design. They're actually, you know, they're not they're not just like a belcher or an oval link chain, you know, a curb. These are uh, premium designs because actually you pay a premium for your uh, for your. What, what, why have I gone blank? Why have I gone blank? Why have I gone blank? Where you go? Where you go? Where you go? I'm trying to think. Prince of Wales. There we go. Prince of Wales. Um, yeah, you pay a premium for the Prince of Wales because there is that much more involved. Yeah. You've got the layers, if you like, to create the, the Prince of Wales chain. You pay a premium most definitely for your snake chain. You do. Um, you pay a premium for, 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 for 12 grams of precious metal, not under 50. And you, and you compare that to, you know, price comparisons of the Monica Vader for one of those chains. You're yeah. looking at 70, 80 pounds, you know, maybe in a sale, maybe in a clearance. And today you get all these chains at one price. Well, I, I, I encourage you to price compare right now. You're talking about just shy of four metres of 925 sterling silver. So I've just picked up sort of your classic chain here. Um, this is your uh, this is your Prince of Wales. Then you've got the Twisted Curb, and you've also got the Snake. So we've got some price comparisons that we can actually show you, jewelry makers. So, uh, so that's a Snake chain. Let me grab the Snake chain. You're talking about that's not bad. That's not bad. And again, the websites that I'm actually showing you. So if if we were talking about twenty pounds each. There's those two snake chains. There we go. Twenty pounds. That's half of the bundle, and you're getting five additional chains. What have I done? What, no, you've 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 given everybody a treat. You've, it would effectively be a hundred and twenty pounds to buy if you were buying incredible. elsewhere for this one opportunity. It might even be more than that because, like I said, you're getting the twisted, the actual twisted curb. Um, 
I mean, that literally almost looks like it's parve set with diamonds because you've got that wonderful twist detail. Oh, beautiful, isn't it? Do you remember this occasion when I stepped into the studio? You were launching this the first time round. Carol was presenting, and I poked my head through. This is before all of the you know social distancing and all of that. Yeah. Um, I poked my head and I was like basically intruded, and Ollie said. I want to get hold of these. You know, you've got lots of girls, you've got girls that you, um, he does, yeah. nieces that you want to buy for, etc. So this is an amazing bundle if you've got um, lots of people that you're thinking of gifts for. The snake chain, um, Ollie's saying his older nieces was all about the snake chain. The twisted was for Shay, our lovely, yes, because it's almost it, you know, the prettiness. And then you've got um, then you've got sort of the classic link there as well. Look at those. You get two of each, so six in total, all 18 inches, which do sit sort of mid-depotage, depending on your build, but it is the most frequently requested um, of length of chain. So we should have been higher than this, by the way, jewellery makers. We should have and been... thanks to Elle for dragging me on air. It's a lot lower, but there we go. I like to put you on the spot. Push me into a corner. You do, I kind of, I'm using the fact that um, I've worked with you for so long as an excuse. It's a pleasure. It's fine. Thank you, it's Tom. Right. Um, do you reckon we're going to be able to repeat this deal, though? Because Probably the price not, because... of sterling silver has gone up. Well, I don't think Caroline can be very happy with this, is she? Caroline, our head um, buyer, and she brought this in again, and now we've done this to it. Well, it's my bad. I'll take it on. Okay, I'll put you down the notes. It's fine. Yeah, I'll put you down just, the notes. Uh, just say, just blame me. That's fine because I'm not. <laughs> I probably won't see them because they're all working from home. So yeah, I'll take that on the chin. Okay, if you want to multiply, if you want to multiply, you can. The price of sterling silver. I don't know if we've still got the chart. It's literally it, it can you know over the course of the last sort of uh, five years in particular, every single day it peaks and troughs, peaks and troughs, peaks and troughs. But um, they predict it at the beginning of last year, that precious metal would be affected by the pandemic as well. The yep. price of the uh, the precious metal um, would be affected, and sure enough, it actually happened. But we're not talking about sort of going up by maybe 1% or 2 or even 5%. We've gone, it's gone up hugely, hugely to get hold and source this. Now, we purchase way in advance, so this might have been something that you managed to source prior to that. I don't know. But still, after all of that, it's still thirty nine ninety nine, and it's six pounds sixty six per chain. Again, and you get two varieties of each chain. So it, it, I mean, it's amazing it's for jewelry maker. It's a bonkers for jewelry maker, made for everyone else. Yeah, and that's why so many of you always get involved. Well done. We are selling out on that. Thank you, Tom. No worries. Can I go? Is that all right? Can I go now? Is that all right? Yeah. Thank you, boss. No worries. All right. See you later. I've got to call him boss now. He's my boss. I'm my boss. Thanks, boss. See you later. Don't tell me off when I come off air. For dragging you on there. Oh, it was worth it though, wasn't it, jewelry makers? We can bring Susie back now. Sorry, Susie. Normally we'd all stand here before you all together, but obviously we can't with safety in mind. So Susie is back. Keep on checking out those baskets, jewelry makers, because it will be an on-screen sellout. And again, I have to say, um, I will not be surprised if we've got guest designers, crew, members of staff who also want to get involved in that as well. Amazing. What more can we bring you in the love event? <laughs> I have to say it like that, you know, all Barry White. Uh, I can, can anyone do a Barry White impression? Uh, Anybody? Uh, okay. Very good, very good, yes, Michael, yeah. very good. <laughs> Here we go. I have you bundled these? Have you bundled these? Now I bought these when they were launched. One of the most popular sterling silver bracelets that we've actually brought to air. Um, I bought these as well because, again, I have to say, think Tiffany's. Uh, a Tiffany's & Co. solid sterling silver bracelet. You've got the brand. You've got the premium low. You've got that, you know, the, you know, the um, luxury name behind it. Their sterling silver is no different to our sterling silver. This is solid 925 sterling silver and you get two bracelets. I bought these when they were first brought to air. Now charm bracelets are huge right now, aren't they? So perfect for a charm bracelet carrier. So you've got those lovely sizable links that you can attach to, um, even with something like your lobster claw class, mm -hmm. but really beautiful on their own as well. Absolutely. That's, that is the look that in at the moment, you say, that chunky sort of bracelet so absolutely on trend 
perfectly on trend. I'm just trying to lay this across so you can actually see, um, again, the investment of precious... Oh, it's not that easy. The investment of precious metal that has actually gone um, into each and every single one of these bracelets. You do get the two of them. So when I first... When I bought these... Um, they were on their own. They were individual. These are, I have to mention as well, these aren't hollow. Because having worked in a jeweler's, I would definitely, definitely avoid your hollow bracelets in particular. Mm. Because you dent them and then you cut, they're irreparable. This mm. is solid 925. Who wants a closeout deal on these? No, that was the price for one. That surely is the price, a jewellery maker price for one. £17.49 for both. They're over five grams each. That's insane. That's a yeah. single figure price tag for over five grams of precious metal. So, can I, I mean, uh, we'll say that again. 5.22 yeah. grams each. Look at that. Love it. Look at that. And we're talking less than, less than 10 pounds per bracelet. It's a really substantial, weighty, precious metal chain. A man could wear that as well. So yeah. it's gentleman's jewellery. You could sort of have his and hers coming up to Valentine's. You can make his and hers jewellery to match. Ah, uh, you get the two, though. You don't just get the one. You are actually getting the two. So we said earlier on about Valentine's Day. It's not just about your partners or your husbands and wives. Mm. So it's, lov it's, it's lovely to actually be able to... Um, afford to be able to gift luxury components to even some of your best friends um now there is a queue on the phone lines we're down to the final 20 of these ollie's just said i'll link them together yeah look at yeah. that that's 10.4 grams of 925 sterling silver hang that on the bottom of it yeah hang some of your preciosa hearts that you had previously yeah. some of your beautiful that gemstones that you had previously this is two bracelets that i've just linked together um, I wish you could actually reach into the TV screens and actually feel the gram weight of these. But like I said, there is, uh, there is over five grams in each of these bracelets. You've gone crazy for them as well. The connectors, that lovely collection that we brought to you um, within the last hour, they would absolutely work perfectly. Mm. Just visualise how much that would cost elsewhere. No, exactly. It's no way going to be anywhere what you've just seen on your screens. OK, who wants... Two metres of 925 sterling silver chain. Two metres. So, continuous lengths. So, as a jewellery maker, you can customise your pieces of jewellery oh, to what you want. So, we're bringing you one entire metre length times two. two. Now, this is what I describe as the infinity chain because that wonderful link is like a figure mm -hmm. of eight and they almost concertina together. They're reversing. So backwards and forwards, you have this lovely infinity design times two. I'm asked regularly, and I'm sure you are as well, mm -hmm. Susie, yeah. how do you finish um, a sterling silver chain and if it hasn't got the clasp attached? Mm -hmm. So just literally pop a head pin. I mean, it would work perfectly with these as well because you've got the open links. Pop a head pin, wrap Absolutely. loop again, yeah. attach a clasp. Exactly. It's as easy as that. You don't have to worry. And the fantastic thing with this is you can make your jewellery and you don't have any wastage at all. No. So, I mean, which, which at sterling silver, you don't want to be wasting your no. precious metal. So can we, again, just imagine that we're, we're in the market and we're looking for sterling silver bracelets. So I'm just trying to figure out you know, just how unbelievable this value is. So it's two metres. I've wrapped it around my wrist, and it probably could have gone again. Yeah. I've wrapped it around five times. It's probably going to be six. Yeah, because you've got to allow yeah, for the Yeah, there's all of this you? at the reverse, as you can see. So, there's, yeah. so I'm, I'll say five, just to be conservative. So that's ten bracelets that you can make out this two metres Probably even more because you've got to attach your clasps as well. Yeah. It is solid 925 sterling silver. How about if I told you that each bracelet that you could potentially make is going to cost you £1.60? 
Tom, he's just said to me, Al, this feels so wrong. But it's so, so right. At wow. £15.99, pence, that's for the two metres, not one, two no, metres. You can make a multi-chain necklace for layers, that, can you? Layers, oh, layers, wow, layers. fantastic. Yeah. With the pearls. Susie, your yeah. mind has literally gone into overdrive, I hasn't know. it? I know. Well, I've got this chain and I have made satellite-linked uh, pearl necklaces with that very chain. Oh, so nice. you have an inch of yeah. that chain and then you just do um, a wrap loop. Attach a pearl. With the pearl and that's it. So, oh. Simples. Nine pearls. So nine pearls it would take, and maybe a few inches of your actual yeah. uh, of your infinity chain here. That's a bonkers price, jewelry makers, for one meter, let alone two meters. That's three point mm. six grams each, each. So you do the maths, everybody. So that's working out seven point two. 7.2 grams for the two metres of precious metal at 15.99. Again, you've gone absolutely crazy for these. Um, you know we had, I'm going to bring these back. So if you wanted yeah. to make out of this collection, you know the lovely little hearts with the Swarovskis that we launched just la in the last hour. If you wanted to turn those into real drop droppers, you know, we call them um, yeah. os uh, opera length, you know, where they're almost shoulder skimming. Yeah. If you wanted one of those pills, maybe just a little bit lower, um, then pop an inch or so of this chain attach it to the class in the same way that you would do if they were this length yeah. and you've just made a completely different look but also with that earring as well you've just given me a good idea do three lengths of about that long really long chain earrings oh so really oh, I, love, I, I love i love the demo <laughs> Yes, <laughs> you look like you should be on one of those fabulous hair adverts, just flicking your hair, no, this time flicking your earrings around. Um, yes, absolutely. OMG, what quality, what value, what great fun, yeah, says are. Susie. Uh, says Sue, thank you, Sue. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It's amazing. Mm. And I think it's perfect alongside your 12 o'clock mega deal. I've only got 12, uh, 20 of these left within the vault, though. Look at that. Could, now, with the infinity link, can you see how they can uh, alternate? Yeah. Can you see how they alternate that figure of eight design? So you've mm. got one pointing one direction, literally, then the other on. Um, sideways on so you're going to have that constant ref uh, reflection that's on the verge of selling out jewelry makers so good luck good luck good luck should we bring you some essentials some essential sterling silver you have spoilt me tom you know it's really good um okay in the gold plate yes number seven he says number seven i have been spoiled i'll come again <laughs> I hope I can come again. <laughs> no. Here we go. Look at these. Look at these. What is a crimp? A crimp is something that you attach uh, a beading thread so that you can uh, attach a, an open ring, open jump ring to yeah. on your jewellery making mm -hmm. so that you would thread your bead through it twice to make a loop and then crimp it in place using... So you squish it. Ties. Yeah, you just squish it. You, squish you can it. just squish it with a pair of pliers, go like that. There you go. Can you yes. see the? Can you see the uh, next to the jump ring? That is, that is uh, uh, um, th basically what's on your screens right yeah. now. Squashed, and it secures your beading thread. But I really want to emphasise with the beauty that these are. Emphasise one word, which actually is non our mm. graphics. These are a bead as well. Yeah, I was going to say. They are really decorative. I use these as spaces yeah. because they're sterling silver and they're beautiful. It gives it quite a contemporary look. Yeah, and there are many different findings that we can make ourselves. We can make head yeah. pins, we can make eye pins. You might even be able to make a clasp, jump ring, shepherd hooks. You can make all of those. You can't make tubes. Well, I'm not saying you can't. <laughs> you might, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you might be able to, but it's not really worth it at that price tag, is it? So, okay, let's bring you now a bundle. What number? A bundle. Ah. Oh. So, when I came back on Saturday and I'd, I'd brought some spacer beads, I was like, right, I need to get some of these because I've got none in my stash. Guess what? Mm. They'd sold out. They'd already sold out. And we brought you these individually. So, look, you're getting the 2 mil and the 3 mil. In your silver colour, guess what? Mm. You get the same in the gold, two mil and the three mil. And you're getting the three mil in your rose gold. Is that right? Beautiful. 
So in total, you're getting 200 pieces of precious metal. What price are we thinking at? Now, I, I can't even guess a price tag because what, what, what Ollie is just saying, let's be, L. there are departments that don't really want us to do spacer beads in bundles, firstly, because we can't, or, already we can't sustain the demand for them. We, they're, they'll always be in stock or will always be on reorder, I should say, but we can't sustain the, you know, the demand for spacer beads because you think how, how often you're going to use them. Plus, and then we go and put 200 pieces together, and then we also bring it to you in a bundle saving. So you can understand why some of our certain, certain departments are like, no, stop doing that. These are essentials. They should always be, you know, they're, they're a set price. But we're kind of ignoring that and bringing it to you at £24.49 uh, only. That's working out at, what, £4.49 for the five separate sizes. Again, I've got to bring these pearls back to air because I think if you just wanted to, restrand that with some of your spacers. Be perfect. I've shown something simple a bit later. Ah. So, oh, just go. done exactly that. Like this? Yeah. Like this bracelet that I'm wearing as yeah. well. By the way, one pack of the gold spacers, sterling silver spacer beads, were £7.99 on their own. So you can kind of understand why certain depart. Oh, look at that, Susie. Yes. I love that. It's bringing out the luster, the gold yeah. luster within oh, the pearls, pearls as well. Oh, these pearls are amazing. Honestly, That's beautiful, I'm, Susie. I need these pearls. I just wanted to say as well, Elle, with the spacer beads, I make little uh, stretcher rings. Yes. Um, and I use 20 beads. Yeah. And I sell those for £25 with a little charm on. So you're yeah. already in profit. Oh, yeah. For, with that one ring. Yeah. And I bet they sell really well. Really, really, really popular. Stretchy rings because as well, you know, oh, especially if, people, if, if, if you've got clientele or customers or friends mm. that have got arthritis, yeah. um, a solid shank might be more difficult, difficult. to get yeah. over. But a stretchy ring, you, obviously yeah. you've got that give there as well. 200 pieces. I, I, I can't stress enough, like your chains, actually, we can't sustain the demand for our, um, for our spacer beads because they are so beautifully versatile. I mean, how many bracelets could I actually make out of these? Oh, gosh, that's maths. That's maths. Lots. Lots. Let's just say that. <laughs> Lots. We could probably make, I reckon, about two or three complete solid yeah. 925 sterling silver bracelets. If you start including your gemstones as well, then obviously it's going to go that much further. Um, yeah, but when I was here on Saturday, I, I brought, and these were individually, I had, so I had the sterling silver, I had the gold, and then I had the rose gold in the two different sizes, and, and I couldn't get hold of them. So, um, yeah, do get them whilst you get the opportunity, jewelry makers. I can't stress that enough. Please do not forget as well, coming your way, we have your am slider bracelets so if you wanted to just put like an inch of sterling silver across the front of the yeah. wrist line and then actually have the gemstone uh, detail in the tassel of your slider bracelet so you can absolutely do that too they're coming up in the 12 o'clock hour do check out those baskets everybody it's busy today that's that's awesome so uh tom how have you managed to get that one past the departments that say don't bundle spaces Oh, you use me as an excuse again. Okay, that's fine. I don't mind. I don't mind. Um, yeah. Because I'm probably not going to see them, am I? I'm not going to see them. Um, everyone's working from home and I'm not here on a daily basis, so... Okay, here we go. Big bundles on absolute essentials. There is nothing worse... And I can't imagine you ever getting cross or, or infuriated because, <laughs> Susie, you're always a smiley, happy person. But there is nothing worse than running out of an essential finding, is there? Oh, don't. I ran out of gold <laughs> open jump rings last week because I was making bubble neck um, bracelets. I used up all of my gold reserves and I, I was down to 10. Oh. So I was like, oh, so, you know, I need hundreds of these. <laughs> yeah, well... You these you're actually getting so in in terms of quantity oh, yeah. 60 of your bolt rings 60 pieces that's 20 of the 925 sterling silver and then 10 of the gold and 10 of the rose gold 925 at 20 pounds and 99 pence yeah. what is that working out at each uh pennies 34 pence 
her bolt ring clasp. You've got the chain, now you've got the bolt rings. Yes. So you've got your necklaces, your bracelets, everything. You, it is an absolute essential because otherwise you've got nothing to tie up your, well, yeah, you, your necklace mean, or yeah. your, your bracelet. So you need bolt ring clasps. Clasps in particular, yeah. you know, because uh, you know, if you might make that fabulous design, yeah. if you haven't got the um, the clasp to complete it, then it's not wearable, yeah. is it? You can't actually wear that piece of jewellery. Um, okay, moving on. Let's... Ooh, ooh. I've still got the bust, haven't I? Is this what I think it is? Oh, it's lovely. I want to buy this because it's a lovely length. What length is that? 24? Yeah. Can you see the length? So this is going to sit quite low on the decolletage. Again, it does dep depend on your sort of build. That's mm. beautiful. Uh -huh. Can someone write Literally. down the count? <laughs> I really want to buy this. That's the kind of piece of jewellery that I would wear and never actually take yeah. off. I don't think it even needs anything added to it. It looks absolutely mm. beautiful like so. So, um... Precious, buttery, yellow gold plated on mm. sterling silver. How much? Oh, oh please tell sake. me we've got quantity of these. A little bit. A little bit. <coughs> to be honest, everything is, yeah, so many people dialing through. Yeah, yeah, hundreds not enough. You're right there, Michael. Oh, fine, thanks. Um, <laughs> would you cut it up and make waterfall earrings? Like, yeah. you know, just with. Yeah, oh. you could. so you're saying to you break could. this down, break it down, maybe, We're multi layers. Maybe yeah, oh, you'd make, yeah, fabulous waterfall yeah. earrings because 20 inches is going to go quite a long way, isn't it? Going to go quite a long way. Beautiful again, quite low on the actual decolletage itself. Look lovely with one of your pearls actually uh, draped from the bottom or literally as it is. Yeah, um, there are a hundred of these available, which might sound like a huge amount. It's not, it's not, mm. not for jewelry maker, not for a no. Friday morning, um, and not for something that is so incredibly wearable. Longer length chains are becoming more and more desired, I find now, because they're. <sighs> They're, again, versatile, especially in these cold months when you've yeah. actually got sort of a, a thick-knit jumper or yeah. something like that. It's still visible. Well, you know, in the winter, something like here... It's like what you were wearing, yeah, yeah. It would be the perfect length. Anything shorter, I'd look, it'd look lost. Yeah. You, you need something with a bit a longer drape. A bit more length and more drapes, so you can actually you appreciate the beauty. Well. Yes, it does. Um, yeah, the longer the chain, the slimmer that you look, yeah. actually, because it draws you down towards the navel. Visionary, it draws you down, apparently, yeah. so they say. Uh, £10.99 only. I'm joining you on this if there's enough of them to go around. Hello to you, Linda, Marie, Kim, Mary. Hello to you, Nottinghamshire, Dorset. Hello to you, Melina. Hello to you, Essex, Marion, Bridget. You're all there. Lovely to be with you this morning. I hope you're all well. I hope you're enjoying the deals. Um, if you can, shop with us via uh, the, the app or online. There are no queues there. Um, if you only shop with us on phone lines, that's absolutely fine. Our call centre are fabulous. Just bear with us because it is busy today. And if you want to multi-buy on anything, you absolutely can. Do you want to see this up at the neckline? Um, I'll obviously have to hold it up a little bit because it's going to fall a little bit lower than my top would. But you can see how beautiful it looks. And see how beautiful it looks actually against the skin itself. That is mm. gorgeous. And I have to tell you, you know, I asked the question. I was like, is this what I think it is? I thought it was gold. I thought that was nine carat gold. Mm. Did you think that, Ollie, as well? Yeah. It's got that colour that you would imagine it was nine yeah. carat gold. Beautiful. Love it. Moving on. Double treble pebble chain. Cable chain. I thought it was a pebble. What's a pebble chain? What number? K. Oh. Again, think about the collections that we look, we brought to you today. I'm gonna. You get both. Oh, These okay. are twenty inch chains, so again, sit at an inch lower than your eighteen inch. I know you're thinking, oh, that's two elves, two inches for difference. But yeah, but it, it equates to an inch mm. drop. Um, again, look at that beautiful buttery beautiful. luster. The color of this, it's almost like it is. Like Indian gold, really pure, mm. 24 karat gold. Shall we match the price of the previous auction, or even though you're getting wow. two? Shall we? Shall we do it? 
stock up. If you got involved on the deal of the day and you're also looking for your yellow gold uh, precious metal chains as well, then here's your opportunity. So you're getting, that's, that's unbelievable. That's five pounds forty one, no, and again, you pay a premium for your gold plated yeah, sterling absolutely. silver. Hello to you, Deborah, saying loving all the chains. Thank you. Yeah, me too. And 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 I really do think when I look at opportunities like this, um, one of my good friends over on Gemporia, she's they uploaded on her on their Instagram story yesterday. I'm friends, um, really good friends with our lovely. Um, Lindsay, and she took a photograph, and it's one of her. She's got the, uh, the she's she's doing the old sort of model pose with the knee up, etc. And it's just layers of chain that she's actually wearing. It looks so beautiful. Mm. You can absolutely do that with all of our chains as well, jewelry makers. Not a single gemstone in sight. It was all about the layering. Yeah. And sometimes that's all you need, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it looked yeah. lovely. And she just had a really simple dress, just different lengths mm. of the actual chain. It yeah. looked absolutely so stylish. Ten ninety nine for for two. That's not each. That's for two. Two of these, Julia, Margaret, hello to you, London, Linda, hello to you, Marilyn, Jean, Amanda. Uh, new customers getting involved, fabulous. Welcome to the jewelry maker family. You're going to be so delighted with your purchases. Just imagine what you would be paying right now elsewhere. Yeah. Just imagine that. You know, you wouldn't. I think most of us would struggle to find a single chain at ten pounds ninety nine no. elsewhere. Elsewhere. Um, you are in a queue on the phone lines, but bear with us. I promise you we are talking about seconds, really, for the queue um, on the phone lines. Bear with us. And those of you with... Yeah, the phone lines have gone nuts. I can see you all there. Hello to you, Merseyside, Pearl, Cynthia, new customers, Linda. Loads of new customers on the phone line. I can see quite a few. When it says maker, 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 it means we don't know your name as of yet, so you're brand new to the channel. Um, bear with us. If you, with your permission, I can say your name on air as well. So, if you're a new customer, by the way, I don't, I haven't mentioned this this morning. You don't just get this. If this is your first purchase, do you know what else you get? You also get this. You have a DVD, which is approximately an hour long. It's myself and Claire McDonald, and she's talking through all your uh, basic jewelry making techniques. You also get two genuine gemstone strands. Might not be the ones on your screen. To might, you might get something like emerald or amber, whichever. Two genuine gemstone strands sent to you for free uh, for joining the jewelry maker family. So stay where you are. It's a free phone telephone number, and our call centre will be with you within a couple of minutes. You'll be uh, you'll be all good to go. You only pay the one postage and package all day all day it doesn't matter how many items you actually purchase all day um you just it's just 3.95 it's not per item uh, well you know what i ordered from a shopping channel before you shout at me it's the one that does skincare as well. They do skincare and makeup. I like to buy my makeup oh, and everything no. from there. Um, <laughs> uh, but if I buy, say I buy, I don't know, a moisturiser, and then I might buy a mascara, and I might fancy something else, that's postage and packaging on each item, yeah, which gets really yeah. expensive. Am I meant to have two components here? Ooh, oh, Susie. Wow. I, love, I love these <clears throat> chains anyway. But look at this pendant. I think you're, this is a bit of you, Susie. Yeah, look at that. Yes. Oh, wow. I oh. love it. Goodness and this me. Is all in one. Wow. Ready made Ollie, do you know I noticed? Um, I saw, I can't remember who it was. I saw a picture. Was it, what, did you upload a picture of your family over Christmas? And I noticed just, uh, was it your lovely wife wearing some gorgeous jewelry, maker jewelry? Yeah, to, you, you could just spot it straight away and totally rocks it. Totally rocks it. That circle of life pendant, isn't it? You have here zircon, zircon set in wow. sterling. Stop Amazing. it! This is this is zircon. Yeah, genuine gemstone. Oh. I think that's a typo. I think that is meant to say cubic zirconia. It says Zerk on our graphics. I, that's got to be a typo. Check, yeah. yeah, I think that's a typo. So this is cubic zirconia. Sorry, I'm glad I, I'm glad I corrected that. Even so, look at the amount of precious metal that's yeah. actually invested into this. I'm holding on with the actual loop. That's beautiful, isn't it? 
and you also get the sterling silver chain it's uh, you know uh, as well so yeah this is cubic zirconia in your multiple colors just here um lots of multi buyers getting involved that is beautiful what do i need what do i need to actually complete this piece of jewelry then just a jump ring a jump ring That's all you do and attach it but i'll tell you what else you could do with that that would make a lovely lariat uh, ending so you could attach that to one end of whatever you've got and as long as it can go through the hole and then just put a bigger uh, bead on the end like a bigger pearl nice and then you just hang it on the and side and actually have it almost like a toggle yeah, like a yeah, toggle beautiful exactly. um am I, am I hearing that, that, that there's crew eyeing this up it's a really nice gift, isn't Beautiful. it? And I know Mother's... Uh, we've got Valentine's Day, which obviously today is all about, but also Mother's Day. You know, mm. what a nice gift for Mother's Day. Something quite cheerful and positive. Um, and I'm definitely thinking, you know... It might not be possible for us to actually see uh, see our mothers on Mother's yeah. Day. So sending them something really, really special like this. Beautiful. Um, which, again, is uplifting, cheerful. It's that rainbow yeah. of colours. Beautiful. Eighteen pounds and ninety nine pence. Are you fancying this, Ollie? Are you fancying this? Lovely and contemporary as well, isn't it? Yeah, I, just because you've got this lovely baguettes of your uh, of your zirconia here. Love it, absolutely love it. I mean, so are you. Lots of multi buyers. Hi, Ali, Chantal, Margaret, tell you, Kathleen, Linda, Neil, and Linda, Pill, Wendy, Patricia, Pamela. You only need a jump ring. You need a sterling silver jump ring. Open, close, done. Job done. Um, okay, moving on. Let's bring you, oh, now again, essentials, absolute essentials, but we are constantly striving to bring you, mm. goodness me, look at the amount of precious metal in these head pins. These are much thicker than your standard head pin, would you agree? That's... The thickness of these, I don't know if it actually says, Wow. 0.64 millimetre in thickness. So that can hold something really sturdy, couldn't it? Yeah, they, are, they, they have that rigidity. Now, why would we have a longer length head pin? Like the, the rose gold are obviously longer than your yellow gold. I'll give you those measurements. So the rose gold measure 75 millimetres. Um, the yellow gold plated sterling silver measure, uh, measure 50 millimetres. So why would we need head pins to have a long length? Because you may want to sort of stack... Your, your, say with the pearls, I may want to put three or four pearls. A normal head pin, I'd run out of room oh. to make the wrap loop. So it allows you to make, you know, a whole... A longer piece of jewellery. A, a longer connector or a longer pendant. So you could actually... Ah, uh, yes, good idea. That, so you can actually yeah. accommodate more gemstones. Yeah, absolutely. But Ollie has also just said you could also turn that into the finding so if you could put your bead on if you imagine one of the pills mm. coming up at 12 o'clock and then then turn it so yeah. it's a continuous shepherd hook yeah or you can Love make it. a Look shape this. with it you can have the, the 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 bead on the bottom or your gemstone on the bottom and you can make a shape and you know little hearts yeah wire writing yeah. yes so so much you can do with Love. it. Love. yeah you can do never you know when you're using head pins Always cut just the amount you need off because that extra bit, say with a 40, you may only have that and you think, oh, I'll chop it off. Keep that because that makes a perfect connector. So yeah. you use every last element of it. And even if you'd, you know, I, I'm also looking at these. Do we sell, because it might have happened since I've been mm. off, do we sell rose gold plated uh, sterling silver wire? No. no. Do we exactly. sell yellow gold uh, sterling silver wire? No. No, I don't think so either. No. So you could actually use that for, as you yeah. said, wire writing or yeah. making hearts out of those in terms of your wire work and just remove the ball detail if you wanted to. Or, or make your open jump rings with yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. Let's bring you more chains. Ah. Uh, Figaro, 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 Figaro. Does anyone else think of Mrs. Doubtfire when they hear that song? Figaro. Remember what is coming up at 12 o'clock, those absolutely unbelievable pearls. And we've also got those beautiful amber slider bracelets coming up at 12 o'clock. So again, let me just lay this this way and this way. Um, am I meant to have two? Yes. Of course you are, Elle. 
This is your Figaro, beautiful Figaro. So let me describe what a Figaro is. Apparently it is it equates to um I'm not mu- I'm not musical, but it equates to the, the, the music as you would read it. Oh, okay. In terms of the links of the chain. Apparently. Apparently, apparently. Um so yeah, you get this really uh well a curb for three sections and then you have that lovely elongation. So imagine the song. Figaro. See? Yes. There you go. I I I'm <laughs> Michael's looking at me as if to say, has she gone nuts? Apparently that's true. Apparently that is true. It's the length, the, the, the elongated length is, is how you would actually sing it. Apparently. Um, mm. Either way, it's a beautiful chain. And you mm. get two of them <laughs> in solid 925 sterling silver, £6.50 each. As somebody that maybe sells online, does commissions or gifts, um, do you find that people will have a favourite link or favourite design? Do you find people will Definitely. say, okay, I like, a, I like a Figaro, I like a Prince of Yeah, Wales. it's always good um, if you're making a bespoke piece for um, a customer uh, to show them several sorts of chains so that they can pick. Like a portfolio than, of yeah, chains. Yeah, than just say, well, this is what you're going to get. That's all I do. Yeah. Yeah. So, no, it's better for yourself. <laughs> Ollie is just correcting me, saying, L, it's... N- Apparently, it had nothing to do with chains. It, it was after Italian opera. But, yeah, but I like my story best. Because mm. that's that elongated chain. I might, be, I, might say, I might be wrong. Am I not the only one that says that? See, there's got to be some truth to it, to it then. Uh, Barbara Ann, hello to you, Deborah. Hello to you, new customers. And this, is the, uh, this link wasn't included in the deal of the day, so we didn't have the Figaro yeah. in the deal of the day. So it's an extra one to have. It's a beaut- and it's one of those ch- one of those links of chains that has actually been um, has actually been uh, sort of favoured over mm. over over decades, quite literally decades. Mm. Uh, don't quote me on that. I've probably got it wrong, but I quite like that story because I look yeah. at a Figaro and I have to Figaro chain and I have to sing it. I have to sing it. <laughs> uh, Ollie, Ollie likes it when I say, "Don't quote me on that." Right, moving on. I think it. I think it's a nice story, and it makes sense. Um, okay, here we are. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Sorry, I I was awake at half past three this morning. Uh, I'm here we go. Those findings. Look at these. They're amazing. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow. Love those. They are complete earrings. I'm yeah. going to turn one of those round. Look at that. Complete earrings. So. That's so pretty, isn't it? Very contemporary as well. You don't need to do anything no, to those. No, you don't. No, absolutely not. Put them in a beautiful box. Yeah. And there's, there, there's a nice, well, gift to yourself or gift to yeah. somebody else. But the quality of that finish... And I know I'm, I, I, you know, I'm going on and on and on about this, but you know, look, what we call a rubbed over setting, uh, where the sterling silver or the precious metal almost halos yeah. uh, the gemstone, or in this case, uh, the crystal of your choice. So yeah, it, it makes the actual uh, the featured gem. Like I said, I know that this is um, this is a cubic zirconia. I beg your pardon. So it makes mm. it even larger and also protects it too. The quality of these are yeah. absolutely beautiful. Again, studio samples. I'm going to pop one of these up into the ear so you can actually I see love the how shape perfect of these. they are. I'm loving this hour, and I can already yeah. feel I can already feel a little bit of a, a jewelry maker spend coming on. <laughs> for wow. both to, for two pairs, so it's not just for, for the one pa- pairs. You get two pairs: see. the rose gold and the yellow gold. Nine two five. Look at those, aren't they lovely? So you could pretty. link onto those, couldn't you? Yeah, easily. You just put like um, an open jump ring on that and. Away you go. That's five pounds ninety nine per pair. I think they're amazing, and they're they're quite similar to the uh, to, to to the actual hearts yeah. rainbow lo- collection that we launched previously, but much more geometric, I think, and maybe a little bit more um, a little bit more contemporary. Five pounds ninety nine per pair. They're beautiful. I, I, 
I think I could have I could have Christmas covered. I know we're only mm. in January, but I could have next Christmas covered in this one show. They're lovely. Just just really unusual, aren't they? Yeah. And like I you think say presents sorted. Sorted. Yeah, you haven't got to worry about sizes or anything like no. that. You know, um I think the rubbed over setting gives it the much more of a sort of contemporary feel to it. So like great boodles. for all ages. Boodles esque, isn't it? The, yeah. With the, the, the is it d- d- is it our Cleary who says, "Oh, bougie, <laughs> bougie, bougie." <laughs> they are though. They are very boutique, aren't yeah. they? Very, very boutique. Make sure you check out your baskets. Keep dialing through. I can squeeze one more auction in before your pearls. They are coming up as your mega auction jewellery makers, so be ready for those because I have literally spoken about them throughout the course of the entire day. What number, sorry? Rhodium plated. Oh, wait a minute. Now, hang on. These are clever. So you have Ooh. the earring post. You have, oh, oh, hang on. The head pin. It's going to take me a while to sort this out. And then you have the pearl times the three different colours. Oh, wow. So can you see? Head pin. Sorry, earring. There's the head pin. It, they're little kits, aren't they? It they're is. little kits. Then you have the pearls. There's the pearls for those. Three sets of pearl earrings. Different precious metal colourways. And the pearls to match. Plus extra, by the way. Mm. Plus extra. No. You get two additional extra pearls if you want to use them for a pendant or something like that as well. Ahead of your of of your twelve o'clock star by deal, that, that would be unbelievable. So three pairs, and you don't need to add anything to this. That is amazing. Even if you sold those for twenty five pounds a pair, yeah, for pearl, for and pearl they are rhodium plated. Yeah, amazing. So rhodium is those. six times the price of gold. Yeah, much more expensive than gold. It is actually a precious, uh, a precious. Um, material as well. You use rhodium to coat things like 18 karat uh, white gold oh. because it has a wonderful brightness and it also has um, a hardness to it as well. They talk about brightness with your rhodium plating, mm. but it's a expensive, really, really expensive. So these are rhodium plated too. You've got that lovely texture in the actual earring itself, the butterfly back, your pearls. You've even got the head pins, which are um, which are put together in these little mi- mini earring kits. Isn't let's it call lovely? it that. Lovely Great to idea. give as a gift as yeah. well. If you're trying to encourage someone, someone to start yeah. jewellery making. Yeah, exactly. Give them as a gift and make your own earrings. Separate them out if you wanted to. You could go, okay, so I can give that to one friend, that to another friend or whichever. Um, make, you, make, make a pair of earrings. This is how you do it. Mm. This is how you do it. a stylish earring at the end of it. And this is what I'm saying. Even if you sold them on for £25, which is not expensive for a pair of earrings. That's no. what I call the sort of... Face bottom price. Even, even, even things like your costume jewellery, that's not, yeah, uh, it's not a surprise, is it? Right, keep dialing through, everybody. Take a little look back on, uh, on the website if you've only just tuned in because we've brought you some absolutely unbelievable deals this morning. The love event continues because coming up after the break, we have the most unbelievable strand of are. pearls. Beautifully spherical, absolutely sizable, completely genuine at a jewellery maker deal. Hello, my name is Rachel Morris. I look forward to seeing you all on Saturday the 16th of January for the Masterclass show. And I've used some copper sheet with these beautiful kit colourways to make um, Indian elephants and frogs and lily pads and all sorts of things in sculptural 2D and three-dimensional forms. So I look forward to seeing you all on Saturday the 16th of January for the Masterclass on Jewellery Maker. Jake Thompson travels the globe to find the very best gemstone deals in the industry. As Gemporia's gemstone buyer and investor, Jake is confident in supplying the finest gemstones firsthand, directly from the source, so your jewellery is of the highest standard at remarkable prices. 
With the inside knowledge Jake has collected and the relationships he has forged, we are able to bring you the most up-to-date news on mines, gems, and the trade itself. Jake Thompson lifts the veil on the gemstone and jewelry industry, giving you a unique insight into the gem markets and the ability to buy from Gemporia with confidence. Makers, we have a new Facebook group dedicated to sharing your makes and jewellery making advice. To join the group, simply head over to the page and hit request. You'll then be able to share your designs with our JM community and join like-minded people. Create, wear, share. Maker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewelry Maker. Your mega deal. And if you think about it, for those of you that have been with me from <coughs> the very get-go this morning, firstly, thank you for your company. It's always a pleasure. How many times have I referenced these pearls? I love them. Oh. I ha I, I, I've reached for them I don't know how many times. And they are, I'll give you a heads up, jewellery makers go into the most ridiculously low price tag. They... I, I haven't even seen the graphics yet. Near round pearls, which is what certainly I would assess mm. them as. You've got wonderful little uh, little characteristics in each of the uh, each of the pearls that, for me, are an indication to anybody, uh, an indication to anybody that they are genuine cultured pearls. These are not faux. These are not synthetic. These are genuine cultured pearls, and they're huge. You're right. So much like your diamonds. Diamonds are graded with the four C's, so your carat weight, your cut, your colour and your clarity. With pearls we talk about the five virtues. So size, again, is a, is a huge, huge influence on, uh, on sort of the price of your pearls. We also talk about things then like uh, the shape, uh, the orient, which is the reflection, um, the luster and iridescence, so your five virtues. These are ticking all of those boxes. I like the fact that the, your nacre surface, so a pearl, is made up, a natural pearl, as in um, you know, one that hasn't maybe been cultured, will have been a grain of sand, that, that uh, mollusk, whether that be an oyster, whichever, will have gradually have progressively coated with nacre. The thicker the nacre is, the larger the pearl actually is. Now, Mikimoto 
was the pioneer, I'm going to put them on the bus actually, was the pioneer of developing your culturing process where you insert, we insert a nucleated, uh, a nucleus bead, usually that's something like mother of pearl um, or abalone, and then again, you know, with with a huge amount of uh, of nurturing, um, the mollusk and that can be all sorts of different uh, different types will then create this genuine gemstone. So they are farmed these days. The majority of your pearls available on the market are actually farmed. They are regarded as what we call an organic gemstone, meaning it comes from a living organism. But the bigger the pearl, obviously, the longer that process actually mm. takes. I'm going to ask you a, a question. So, have you ever wondered? What exactly it is about pearls that makes them so beautiful and so desirable? Because once upon a time, um, a pearl itself was actually deemed as completely and utterly priceless. Mm. I'm talking about sort of your free yeah. dive pearls oh. here. They reference it as being uh, the queen of gemstones. The history and lore dates back quite literally to ancient times. Countless myths are entwined um, with pearls around all different sort of uh, cultures and timelines as well. Countless myths. Some ancient uh, cultures believe that pearls were tears of gods that they once wor worshipped. For some, uh, one reason for its perpetual fascination is surely the fact that a pearl, even when it is extracted from the water, it doesn't need faceting. It doesn't need polishing, if you like. Its intrinsic beauty is absolutely immediate. Mm. So it's an immediate beauty. These are flying out the door, oh, and I'm not oh. surprised, because oh, I am goodness. seeing those magic words attached to what I would look for in pearls. Firstly, you might be thinking, okay, Al, that you're referencing the round word, the near round word. Actually, I am drawn first to the size. Mm. That 10 millimeter size is like a one carat to a diamond. Mm. Anything double figures to a cultured pearls will skyrocket the actual price tag ordinarily. But jewelry makers, these are going to a close out deal. I hope I've got enough of these to go around. Even if you were just to restrand it quite simply as so with some of your silk, some of the sterling silver, at forty nine ninety nine. How many of you were expecting ten mil near rounds to be at a three figure price tag? And maybe on something like a, a split pay. Now now I have to tell you this. One of, our, uh, one of our colleagues here at Jewelry Maker is very, very successful with selling pearl jewellery, and that is our in-house designer, Anne. Anne's got involved on this, and she has... I hope you don't mind me telling everybody, Anne. She's bought four. Yeah, Why do you think does. Anne has done that? Because she's recognising size, quality, mm. and those words, close out deal. Um... How many do we have of these available then, Tom? Really? These earrings, can I just say, made with this very strand. So Anne's worked with these. Mm. She's seen that quality up close and personal. She knows that quality pills that she works with at a close-out deal is something not to be missed. Well, jewellery makers... This is not your mega deal price tag. I have 200, I should say had past tense, 200 of these available within the vault. We're not stopping there, jewellery makers. I mean, look at, look at these earrings. Can you imagine those being anywhere near the price that you're seeing on your screens? I can't imagine it personally. Look at that. Susie, have you worked with this as yeah, well? Yeah, just now. <clears throat> while we were... Oh, just this Susie. Morning. I love these pearls. How have you created this necklace here with this? This is with just with memory wire and a bit of E6000 glue to hold it in place. $29.99. And look at how much jewellery you've made. Yeah. That bracelet is insanely beautiful yeah. as well. Oh my goodness me. So I made this in the last couple of hours. <laughs> Over the course of the show, this yeah. is what uh, Susie's been busy with. I love that necklace. I think that's yeah. unbelievable. And I love that bracelet. I love it all. I love it all. Absolutely gorgeous. So literally using memory wire. Yeah. And I, with pearls, I think 
simplicity sometimes, and that you, is very wearable. Because so is you, that like wrap around? Yeah, you just wrap it round yourself, and it stays in place. Oh. and it just comes around the, the neckline. I love that. I might have to give that a go, Susan. Yeah. Are we taking a photo of this? Can I count how many uh, how many pearls you're actually getting on this one strand? Because seriously, they are per they're so mm. beautifully spherical. Um, you're getting three in that necklace. Look at the earrings yeah. there. So make all two, of this four, jewelry six, with it. eight, ten, twelve. 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42. 42 pearls. Yeah. So you can make that necklace 14 times over. Oh, yeah. How much would you sell that necklace for? That would be forty pounds. Yeah. Because the, the pearls are absolutely Perfect. gorgeous and it really showcases the pearls. So if you sold them all, let's oh say forty pounds, that's five hundred and sixty yeah. pounds profit. Oh well, uh, sorry, um, gross mm. of twenty nine pounds and ninety nine pence. And but we're putting business hats on here. But let's let's appreciate yeah. just how beautiful that is. Absolutely unbelievable. Should we pop it up to the neckline? Should we pop it up to the neckline? Because if you were to knot this and put it, maybe invest it. I, I, I really like. Okay, for my mum's 60th birthday, I went on to the auction sites and I wanted to gift her pearls. So I spoke very kindly to one of our guest designers because I can't knot as well as they can. And I was like, would you not, if I wear some lovely pearls, would you knot a necklace for my mum's birthday? I, I went on to the uh, auction sites and I bought a vintage gold clasp mm. um, because my mum wears gold. So I was like, it's a special birthday, I'm going to treat her. So I bought a secondhand vintage gold clasp, knotted it, put it with that clasp, I mean, I, I I haven't got it valued, but I'm fairly sure it would be considerably more than what I was what Absolutely. I paid. Absolutely. And likewise on your screens. I mean, that is near round. So think about those five virtues, jewelry makers. Think about that. So, what are those five virtues? Size. Anything over ten millimeter is considered like a one carat to a diamond. Yeah. It's aspirational. We talk about orient. We talk about iridescence, how much the colours that will reflect across the quality, uh, the surface of your of your cultured pearl. We talk about shape. Tom's just saying, "I'll stop." Yeah. No way. Um, just that one there. Over a hundred of these are gone. Can I just say, new customers, Francis, County Atrium. Angela, London, Lancashire, London, people who get in multiples, yeah. fives, fours, sixes. You are happy to multi buy at twenty nine ninety nine. If you've bought one, Tom is just saying you might want to buy two. Really? I don't know what you're doing here. I don't I genuinely do not know. Goodness me. Let's just say we are saving huge amounts for near round pearls. Susie, that is genius. And I've never your 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 designs are so refreshing, I have to oh, tell thank you. Thank you. Really beautifully refreshing. Um a minute ago, Deborah, so pleased I've bought these pearls, she says. Well done, Deborah. I mean, I've reached them I don't know how many times throughout the course of this morning show. Uh, you're going to be absolutely elated now because apparently we're going lower. Half the stock has gone already. Those of you that bought multiples, like Janice, um, she bought five. Janice, do you want £50 back into your pocket? Just cause we're good like that. Who bought four? <coughs> Who's bought four? Heath, save you £40 as well. Oh, new customer, yeah. going to save you £60. Amanda, going to save you £40. Because we are taking it under £20 yeah. pounds, jewelry makers for genuine cultured pearls. These are not faux. These are not synthetic. Yeah. They are not even shell pearls. This is a cultured pearl which literally has been lovingly created and nurtured within that mollusk um, over many years. And it, it, it's estimate, and this is an estimate approximately one millimeter per year that a pearl will grow mm. because uh it does depend on water temperatures etc tom thank you thank you so 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 much yeah thank you thank you deborah says who's saying this D diane diane is saying she got a 30 30 pound strand 
of JM Pearls valued for three hundred and fifty pounds. Yeah, not surprised. There we go. Thank you, not Diane. Surprised. We've heard that we we do hear that quite frequently. Yeah. Um, and that's where I think precious metal is really worthwhile, actually. Mm. So using your nine two five sterling silver, using your golds, if you like, um, with such quality gemstones like this, it really does. You know, it'd yeah. almost be. Uh, how do I say this? It would it would devalue the quality of the pearls if you were to put it with anything other than that. In my humble opinion, absolutely. But with this one, you're using just not very many. I like that with the ribbon. And I've used the uh, the Murano, well, not the Murano, the Preciosa, glass, Preciosa mm. heart, and then put it on some organza ribbon. Yeah, and love it's it. just a, just um, a different look. Really refreshing designs. I love that bracelet too. Yeah. Oh, oh. Look at that, and that's literally just re-stranded with some of the yeah. spacer beads that we had in the exactly. previous hour. Or was it this hour? I don't know. Yeah. To me, you're talking triple figures at least for that yeah. bracelet. Thank you, Tom. My dream strand. I love you. Yeah. And then just um, a bracelet on some organza ribbon again, you know. So pretty. Just for you, Tom. I'll put some smo uh, smoky quartz with them. And that's from Margot. Oh, this is Neary. This is Tom Neary. But he does love smoky quartz. He says, I'll take that. He says, I'll take that. Tom Neary's been producing uh, this morning the awesome deals. We're loving the awesome mm. deals. Shall I hold it up to the decolletage for you, everybody? Can you imagine yourself wearing this? Is not, this not something you can imagine, you know, our, um, our beautiful princesses wearing? Mm. Can you imagine this around the decolletage of maybe Kate or... Eugene, I've mm. got three of these left within the vault jewelry makers. I love it. I think that's absolutely stunning. I was going to join you on this one, but it looks like it's going to be a sellout. Um, yeah. um, hello, Mikey B. Well done to those of you that were successful. <laughs> now, if you love those, if you love those and you want something um, to actually wear around the wrist line, maybe just one or three. It's always odd numbers because apparently an odd number gives us a focal gemstone. Um, they use it in in uh, architecture as well and in interior design. So I think a perfect, perfect addition would be this next star buy, which is finally the amber slider bracelet. Do you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what? I have loved every single minute of being here this morning, stroke this afternoon, of course, because we roll into the afternoon. But how much beautiful treats have you had here this morning? And I know I'm going to be shopping as soon as I get off air, and this is definitely going to be one of the additions. The pearls would have been, but it looks like they've all sold out. Um, but this next opportunity would go beautifully with your pearls. I'm going to show you them all. Are these new? Mm. Never been on screen? Oh, spoiled today. So I'm just going to lay them all out. I'm going to start. I'm going to show you what you can get. And I think uh, I, I like the idea. If, if, if you can, treat yourself. Listen, we're not going anywhere. We're not, we're, not, we're not having nights out or meals out or any of those things. So treat yourselves in, in beautiful jewellery opportunities now. So... I love the idea of layering these up. If you're an amber enthusiast, which I think so many of us are, then you could absolutely layer these up. And there's nothing stopping you whilst they're labelled as bracelets. They could also be necklaces, couldn't absolutely. they? Absolutely. It's exactly what I was thinking. I would um, make them into necklaces and have that at the front. Yeah, yeah, and like a lariat. That. You said yeah. about lariat. So let's talk through. In 2016, it was around about... Mm, October 2016, we launched the very first slider bracelet. Now, the reason why I can be so specific is because I'd just come back off maternity from having Willow. Um, so, and in that period of time, so over four years, it has been labelled as one of your favourite products that mm. we bring to air. Mm. 
Now, over that period of time, we've also gone on to develop it. We're bringing you different links now. We're bringing you different sort of slider details. And now we're even featuring it with your genuine gemstones as well. So beautiful ambers, two amber carved hearts. We're starting with the gold, uh, the gold plated sterling silver. And it basically gives us, it's not just us here at Jewelry Maker who love the slider bracelet. Huge designers are go throwing their weight behind uh, a slider bracelet. Um, so much so that in 2019, um, in the jewellery industry, you know, we do the awards at New Year. The jewellery industry do that as well. Kind of like a, they have like a different, um, they have a feature of the year, et cetera, et cetera. Mm. And adjustability was the feature of the year. Oh, yeah. So um, having that versatility to wear it at different lengths, but also different sizes mm. if you're actually gifting. So can you think of a single jeweller jeweler that doesn't actually bring you a slider bracelet of some variety? No, they're, they're all doing it, yeah. aren't they? So likewise, we bring you different varieties too. These have never been on your screens. They feature a beautiful, or two, sorry, uh, Baltic cognac ambers with that wonderful rich colour. I mean, look at the light playing mm. inside. Literally, as the light hits, you get that, what I always refer to as like burning embers within a, fly, uh, within a fire. That's the inclusions um, and the beauty of the inclusions that you get within amber. These fascinating treasures literally date back millions upon millions of years. And of course, it was only a matter of time before we actually feature it in your number one component. So, brand new to your screens already being snapped up jewelry makers the only gold plated sterling silver slider bracelet that we have want 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 i think they're absolutely gorgeous absolutely just for consider this the size of the amber hearts that yeah. you're getting they're 9.99 each surely aren't yeah, they they're huge yeah exactly surely for the ambers if you were to try and make this yourself they're 9.99 for the amber and then you're getting all of that sterling silver and craftsmanship for free surely 19.99 is absolutely unreal. We had amber earlier on in the day. We've had those beautiful pearls. So just imagine three mm. of your pearls. I'll put it on this one just so you can see. Three of the pearls on the front of your slider bracelet. Uh, complete. Mm. With We had the head pins yeah. earlier on. It's been an epic show. It's been amazing. Some really beautiful goodies. Mm. There's a huge queue on the phone lines. I can't encourage you enough. If you can shop with us on the web or via the app, um, then there's zero queue there. Everybody is choosing to multi-buy us so far, we can see. Yeah. Um, it's the only gold-plated variety that I actually have for you. And you've got three of the sterling silver in different coloured um, ambers coming up after this, everybody. Have I got many, though? Tom, is there many of these? Oh. Oh, not very many. Oh. Only 75. You need to be quick. You need yeah. to be quick checking out. You saw 200 people snatch up those pearls super quick. The slider bracelet featuring amber in a beautiful heart. Ahead of... I mean, this is this is our... What do we call it? What, what are we calling this day? What are we calling there? Love day. What are we calling this? Valentine's, yeah, but we've got a slide, haven't we? The love event. That's <laughs> it, the love event. I think, you know, literally, I want to say for the very, very first time, uh, that is beautiful. It's a combination, I think, always works gold-plated with, uh, with your cognac amber. Under £20. So, again, multi-buyers. Hello to you, Pat in Menorca. Hello to you, Margaret in Glasgow. Angela, Margaret, Agnes, Marion. Diane's there. Angela's there. Lorraine's there. Uh, some again I'm casting my mind back some years ago to when um, our amber events actually started and sort of our amber collections really started sort mm. of, sort of to, to mm. take flight um, again this is all sourced through Marius who you saw with our founder Steve earlier on and, and we didn't do gold-plated sterling silver at that no, time. And I remember actually silver. speaking to our amber buyer saying, please, can we do some gold-plated sterling silver? Because I think um, I couldn't possibly be the only person that would love that combination. Yeah. Mm. Um, now, thankfully, we bring it to you fr quite frequently. And I just think it is glorious together as a combination. It really brings out the, sort of the golden tones yeah. of, of the cognac amber. 
So a slider bracelet basically means you haven't got to worry about size. It also is a lot easier to, to put, you know, to, to put on and to take off. Um, inside the slider bracelet, there is a little, uh, there's a small amount of silica, which means that literally it's going to glide through the sterling silver. It's not going to scratch the precious metal, but it also gives it that grip. So if you can imagine, I'm putting it on, I'm opening it out. Um, I put the hand, I put it on the wrist, and literally just slide it up in terms of adjustability. You can, uh, you could take them out completely if you wanted to and actually have them as dangle earrings that would be quite nice i'm going to leave that with you because it's on the verge of selling out let's do the butterscotch Ooh. Mm. yeah the butterscotch is always popular you can almost taste it can't you so marius says it's one of the most expensive colors oh wow Look and also that. one of the rarest colors to get that is amazing it's beautiful isn't it so you get more of an opacity to your butterscotch amber so yeah one of the rarest colors to actually source in amber um a, a, a beautiful beautiful gemstone like i said that dates back millions of years that has always had a huge intrinsic mm. value um and of course the accessibility of your amber is becoming more and more and more difficult as with many gemstones in actual fact but what they actually believe the forests where this amber actually once originated um actually sort of sunk over uh, over the years into into this into the sea effectively mm. so the amber that we now source from the baltic region more often than not is actually extracted from the sea itself so much so you've probably seen the vt it's um that we've shown you in the past of actually people with little fishing nets going out to try and find this gemstone because it will physically float um in salt water as well to actually source amber especially rare colors like this we're almost waiting on the lap of the gods because a lot of it comes down to geological events you know repositioning mm. um of seabeds or sort of ocean residue for one of the rarest colors to get for that beautiful glowing uh, butterscotch amber and the sterling silver in this stunning slider bracelet so for one of the rarest of colors and types of amber we should not be going lower than the previous price tag, should we? Wow. $17.99. Again, we are... So, lo, you've been wanting these, clearly. I love those. So the sterling silver slider bracelets are normally, what, fourteen ninety nine. Yeah. We've said mm -hmm. it before that surely you would pay £10 for those on for, their own. For two amber. They are an amazing colour. That means that we're paying £3 for the butterscotch amber. That's just, that just, it's just, that's unbelievable. Have I got quantity of these? Less than 100, so no is the answer. And I, the volumes of you on the web and on the phone lines um, are not surprising at all. You you said earlier on like a lariat style, you referenced yeah. a lariat style. So the slider bracelet is, shall I hold it up yeah, to the neckline? Exactly Can you imagine? Like that. Just have that. So almost something you would literally pop over the top of the head and yeah. wear this at the front. Yeah, exactly that. So uh, Tom has just found something to show you. One amber in sterling silver as a pendant, mm. £65. And actually that's not a bad price. Yeah. That's not a bad price. If you go online, put amber pendant, amber jewellery, most amber jewellery will actually be close to a three-figure price tag. Yeah. So to be bringing it to you at 70, be mindful of, of synth synthetic amber. There is a lot of synthetic amber out there. You are sourcing from jewellery maker here, mm. so you know that you are getting the real deal. We'll direct, we deal direct with Marius um, over at the Baltic region. He's a personal friend of, of jewellery maker and the, ultimately the Gemporia family. I can tell you, I, I, I was absolutely gutted. At the beginning of last year, I was meant to go over to Poland to source some of your amber pieces. Obviously, we can still actually liaise with Marius, but I was actually meant to go over and it didn't happen with obviously the pandemic itself but you know mm. it it's carol went over i think the year before wasn't it yeah mm. went over the year before so that's how we're, there she is there's carol actually in poland 
um, in Poland. There's Marius there. So he is the gentleman that's responsible for sourcing these beautiful, um, beautiful treasures. Seventeen ninety nine only. They're going to be a sellout. That. Of course they are. They are one of the rarest varieties of colours. A gemstone with immense significance. As I said, it's not just gemologically. This is significant biologically, uh, geologically, paleontologically. Mm. Yeah, I know. Do you like that? Uh, historically, there's another one. Any more colours? All of those. All of those. Right there. Which one next? <coughs> now, I hope there is enough of these. Because I think this is going to be the fastest selling. Yeah. The reason why I'm saying that is it's sterling silver in terms of the colour and it's cognac. Mm. It's a lovely colour. So yeah. it's it's that classic yeah. amber colour that people just immediately recognise. Let me just slide that down slightly so I can actually show you how... It's literally... a. Fa uh, uh, we had crimps earlier on in the show, didn't we? Yeah. So I could literally crimp onto that yeah absolutely i mean you, you you could put just a little um open jump ring and add chain to it or you know put pearls with it any gemstone any that. gemstone chains we had that yeah. lovely chain yeah, earlier on exactly. you could do like a multi-layered collection yeah. um of maybe the infinity chain that you had earlier on you could put a few of the pearls on there you could put some of the connectors that you saw in your um in your eight o'clock hour i mean uh, gosh I mean, the opportunity is, is it doesn't have to be amber does it at the end no, of the day no. amber complements lots of different other gemstones yeah. or sterling silver or precious metal rather um i i hope that there is enough of these to go around because it's the two most popular colours, A, of the amber, but also of the precious metal. I've just heard from our fabulous producer, Tom Neary, that he is going to match that price tag for you this morning. How many? Is there? Tell me there's over 100 of these. There is. Good, 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 good. Not that many more. We've got 149, and again, straight away, multi-buyers on this. Thank you for your patience on the phone lines. It has been busy this morning. We said it earlier on when I, when we launched the slider bracelet, and I think even our you know our solid sterling silver slider bracelets that we still bring you um, here at Jewelry Maker without a single gemstone is you're talking fourteen ninety nine mm. at the very least yeah. three pounds extra, and you're getting two ginormous, epic quality, genuine, mm. genuine ambers. In this as well. I'm thinking about sort of a, an over-the-head necklace. So, I don't know. So, if you've got about 24 inches, you can get it over your head. About 24 inches, inches. okay. So, I so, might need to knot that. I might need to sort of uh, yeah, um, add a little add bit space. extra. So, maybe some of the rounds in there yeah. too would be quite nice. Yeah. But literally, just re-strand that. Imagine that as a necklace. Beautiful necklace. Absolutely amazing. And you could absolutely wear that at the back or the front. front yeah, exactly. Whichever way you wanted it to. Whichever way you wanted to. So I think they've actually sold out the pills, but how many of you have got amber in your stash already? Or how many of you got... What's another gemstone you find complements amber? Do you know I like putting amber with jade? Yes. I love jade with amber. Yeah, because it's quite warming, I yeah. should imagine. I like the idea of it with garnet as well, mm. some garnet rounds mm. or spinel would be quite yeah. nice as well, maybe some black spinel. I had 150 of these. They are flying out the door. Helen, Kathleen, Stephanie, we're down to double figures. Devon, we've got new customers. Caroline, hello to you. Wiltshire, Patricia, Yorkshire, hello. Multi buyers there as well. I, I think we really need to encourage or talk to people that might be watching for the very first time, Susie, or new to the channel that maybe haven't had a go at making jewellery yet. Um, you know, if, if I'm new, I'm just trying to put myself off, the, cast my mind back to when I did start here. Mm. I was quite ter I was quite scared to have a go at making jewellery because I'd, I'd, I'd worked with gemstones and I'd, uh, mm. I'd, I'd worked with jewellery for many, many years, but I'd never made a single piece myself. So something like this, I thought, oh, no, I'm, that's beyond my capability. But actually, sterling silver components tend to be the most easy. They're the easiest to work with. The metals are much more forgiving and easier to, to open and close and yeah yeah and so it's, a, it's a opening and closing a jump ring that's or wrap looping yeah. that's it exactly. for these bracelets i have one more slider bracelet to bring mm. 
And again, um, as we said with the butterscotch, lemon, butterscotch, blue amber, uh, lemon and green, very rare colours. Oh, goodness. It doesn't look at, look at this. Beautiful. Don't they look like almost like a glass of fizz? Yeah. The inclusions are giving you that lovely play of light. The more inclusions in your amber, the more desirable the gemstone is. And one that only gets better with age. I don't think... Somebody's asking, can you take the hearts off the sliders? Um, I don't think so. You could cut it, but then I don't know if you'd want to. You could... Yeah, I don't know. If you can do silversmithing, then I can... Obviously, yes. But I don't think you could actually just remove it and then put it back together again, if you like. Um, yeah. They are, I should show you this, they're not stagnant though as well, look. They actually slide, they actually glide up and down the sterling silver as well. They're mm. so pretty, aren't they? Now this is our final launch of your Baltic Amber connectors. Cognac Amber, Turquoise and Silver is my mm. favourite. Yes, yes, Sheen. I think yeah. particularly the, le oh you like Cognac, yeah, but I think Lemon as well. All mm. of the colours would look beautiful with Turquoise. That's a great combination actually. Now we have... 25 left of this. Wow. Yeah, it's been, it's, it's been very popular. It is like a glass of champagne, isn't it? It's, it's quite a fresh colour. Absolutely color. beautiful. You imagine putting that with crazy light, the, the <gasps> light green amethyst. Wouldn't that be beautiful? Oh, you've got my mind thinking now. <laughs> Turquoise, crazy light. What about those Peruvian pink opals earlier oh, on? Yeah. Wouldn't that be lovely? They would be lovely mm. too. The Obviously the pearls that mm. you saw... Um, we've got a big turquoise showcase coming your way. When? Tomorrow, did you say? At 10 a.m. tomorrow. So if you want to do that combination, was it with Jean? Did Jean message that in? Was it Jean? Yeah. Yeah, Jean. Um, Jean, if you want to do that and you're, and you're running low on turquoise in your stash, then tune in tomorrow mm. at, eight, at 10 o'clock because there's a, a wonderful uh, showcase of turquoise coming your way. Or if you're loving the idea, then you know when to, where to be. Sleeping Beauty turquoise, mm. no less. Amazing. Keep on dialing through because... Now, um, if you missed out on the pearls and... You're kicking yourself because you want to get, you know, you, you want to do these earrings or that bracelet or you want to incorporate them into your amber slider bracelet. Then don't worry because these are a last in stock opportunity. So it's your second chance. Um, but these have literally been, as, as your graphics will show, it says the words hand selected. Mm -hmm. Now, I was asked a question some time ago. What does that basically mean? It basically means one of our members of the buying team have they haven't actually purchased these online as in uh, as in through email or whichever there's uh, much of it especially in today's market is done electronically. These have actually been purchased at source and hand selected from one of our gemstone buyers. Isn't that beautiful? So you know the quality. We are telling you. Susie, straight away, you've got little love hearts in your eyes. If I you could be them. that emoji. Yeah, that is absolutely beautiful. That looks like your... And Susie, yeah. you, you sell a lot of pearls, don't I you? I do. That, that's mainly my business commissioned pearls, sort of a good two-thirds of my business. And I would sell a strand like that for, well... With those particular pearls, they would be sort of nearly £300 because I can see that the quality... Yeah, the quality really is good. there. Well, you, again, hands, high luster, so it's that, that, exactly that down right. to the five virtues. Remember the valuation that yeah. you saw previously? Again, beautifully spherical in terms of their shape. I can't actually... I'm looking at exactly what you are right now, jewelry makers, and I can't see a single blemish, and that's no. under magnification. I mean, um, you can get hold of these on split yeah. pay. So high luster is a, is reflect is actually um, referencing how reflective your pearls are. So luster is always about the uh, the surface, the, the actual surface reflection. One strand left for the final eight. Eight of you have got it in your baskets for the final one. Sorry, I should have said it the other way around. Who's going to be successful? You can yeah. break this down into bite-sized chunks of twenty nine ninety nine. Um, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Well yeah, done. They are beautiful, and I would absolutely. I know it costs money to get things valued, um, but 
it's worthwhile when you've got quality like that because yeah. would you be able to replace them at the jewelry maker prices and sometimes it's not always possible right then well not one but two strands really i have got three Whoa. of one of your favorite gemstones here at jewelry maker up next To be able to source, and this goes for everything really, your findings, your gemstones, all sorts. To be able to source the same gemstone in the same uh, design, shape, texture, but within graduated sizes. Some people would find that very difficult, if they, without jewellery maker, would find that very difficult to achieve because... Certainly not every, every uh, supplier, gemstone supplier, would offer you this lovely matte texture, um, would necessarily offer you this gemstone, but also would be able to offer you that continuous, continuous quality. I love that, uh, that, that reference. So the guys in the gallery have just said they look like little planets. They do, don't they? Planets which give you, it's almost like, if you imagine now the solar system. I watched, um, what's the one with Matt Damon where he's uh, left on Mars? Marsh. Marsh, yeah, I watched that the other day. Uh, <laughs> it is an amazing movie and you just think my goodness me uh, yeah anyway but if you can imagine our, our solar system as the solar system literally rotates around the sun itself and then visualise whether it be planet earth Mars whichever Venus visualise a, a planet of choice and that one surface or the one side of that planet actually reaching the sun you get it and it lights up doesn't it so it's our night and day basically but yeah can you you can imagine it can't you when i look at these labradites your phenomena effect the labradescence the inner magic in these gemstones for me is like is like where the light is hitting that surface of that planet so not polishing labradite not polishing your labradite does not hinder your labradescence. It actually just gives you a difference, a different appearance. They're almost like velvet gemstones. Three separate strands, three separate sizes, waiting and crying out for you to do so much with. You could graduate them if you wanted. You could do halo designs. You could use these in things like your kiss cross necklaces. The opportunities really are endless. All genuine Labradorite. 300 carats that you're getting this awesome bundle. You get the set of three for £29.99. That's £10 per strand. I'm thinking back to the Hannah Osborne necklace that she actually made where there was the three different sizes of shell pearl. Yes. You could do that with gemstones yeah, too. Definitely. You would need um, two strands of each of those yep. to... Um, make that necklace to make that very necklace yeah. but also looking behind you i mean these are lovely rosary link designs that yeah. that are that are featured actually in previous shows look how beautiful all of this is mm. so um i'm looking at just by the jm letters look at that look out imagine that that's gorgeous by the mm. way whoever made that imagine that necklace but with with your genuine labradite yeah. 29.99 of course but what's the clock doing on your screen Apparently, £10 per strand is not your price tag, jewelry makers. It's not where we're actually stopping. Really? Did you hear that, Susie? Wow, it's amazing. Who got the pearls? Just one of those. Yeah. In there. Just make, one pearl, just to give you that. Make a stretchy bracelet, just one pearl. Yeah. Or one Labradorite in the bracelet yeah. like this. 
yeah. just to mix it up because this is like cashmere grey, isn't it's it? It's beautiful. When you when you have a matte labradorite, it almost looks like ca cashmere. Hello, Angela. Say never seen labradorite strands like that. They're amazing. They are. Mm. We're loving these, and we both we all start thinking about. We're all thinking about sort of a, a planet inspiration with these because I think you've got that that magic mm. within the actual gemstone yeah. itself. Labradorite is what we call a phenomena gemstone, meaning that it gives you um, an optical effect. If you thought that Labradorite would, would only be polished, this goes to show you that actually in its matte form, it's, it's absolutely stunning. Um, going down, goodness me, what has been going on today? It's been absolutely unbelievable deals. <laughs> that's, that's the price of the, for me, that's the price of the eight mils and you're getting the other two for free. That is amazing. If you space those, you know we had the spacer beads and you just use the sort of the two mil yeah. in between them. Oh, yes, them. the spacer beads. It will uh, just the... take them up to another level and you'd only need to put a bit on the front there. The spacer bundle that we had earlier yeah. on, just use some of those spacer beads. Would you go silver, gold or rose? Well, I would actually, well, either, but I was thinking gold. Now, I'm not a gold person, I'm a silver person, but I'm just thinking if you put gold on that, it would just... yeah. Yeah, take, take it. Yeah, it's just a different dynamic. Well, it would transform it. Yeah, it you're would. so right. It's yeah, it's a different dynamic. Fourteen ninety nine. For me, that's the eight mil rounds, and you're getting the other two for free. Um, yeah, just mixing things up. We bring you so yeah. much variety here. Labradorite has yeah. always been one of your most popular gemstones, yeah. but to bring it to you in this lovely uh, it, it mm. matte texture, which I understand is much more labour intensive. Yeah. To actually achieve on a gemstone. Yeah. Because you don't want to do that and then obviously uh, um, hinder our ability to see those flashes of blues. And mm. especially as they come around to the front of the screen. Do you see how they almost gl they light up? Mm. You know, you, you, you know, like a dimmer switch as you enter into a room. Yeah. Those, have you got a dimmer switch anywhere um, on your light switches where you kind of... It's almost that, mm. like you're turning mm. up that magical yeah. phenomena effect within the gemstone. Uh, $14.99, they're flying. Hello to you all, Kathleen, Glynis. Hello to you, Pauline, London, Patricia, Wiltshire, Deborah, Carol. Hello to you, new customer. Hello to you, Cornwall, Daphne. Nice to have your company as well. Um, any messages, do text us. We are live here in the studio, and we, I'm loving having your company. And I do feel like I've been just a little bit spoilt on today's show, don't you? It's been, it's been, it's been awesome. Amazing. Been, and we're not done yet. They've got 15 minutes before they kick me out. 15 minutes and they'll be kicking us out then. Right, let's bring you... Oh, these are beautiful. I've only actually been away for... What has it been? Nine... About 11 weeks. I've only actually been away for about 11 weeks. And yet there's so many beautiful things that I've never even seen before in our... In our these are stunning. Aren't they beautiful? So oh, cute. I want them. 925 sterling silver. To, to cut any gemstone, to fashion any gemstone into a heart shape Gorgeous. is incredibly challenging. Yeah. Because if you can imagine the curves of the heart coming down to the cleft, there's a natural uh, a sort of weakness during that process. Oh. What? <laughs> How many? Oh! No. I'm, I, yeah, I would be buying these as well, Ollie. <laughs> Ollie says he'd have bought all of that quantity. Yeah, me too. They're beautiful. You've got a little loop at the bottom there as well. So, yeah. again, pearl. Just put a little pearl at the bottom yeah. there. Or use one of those connectors we had earlier and then on the bottom of the connector put one of those lovely amber beads. Oh, that we were stunning. I've never even seen those before. They're beautiful. We do have some more in a different colour. How many have we got? Okay, still not enough. So we've got them in the lemon. Oh, I like the lemon. <laughs> in the lemon colour. Oh, they're going to sell out again, aren't they? There's They'll 30 of anything. these. So is it, if you missed out on the last ones, then I'll keep everything cross. That's insane. Why, how are these How are these 6 99 You know, I know that if our founder's watching right now, please don't shout at me, Steve, because... He wouldn't shout, he's nice, but um, please don't shout. I know I'm harping on about the price tag here for something that is absolutely beautiful, but that you've got to you've got to agree that's ridiculous, yeah? 
Absolutely, I'm gobsmacked at the price of those. They're beautiful. I mean, you can't, I can't imagine one of those being six ninety nine. No. Let alone the pair of earrings. You just put one gemstone on the bottom, anything, and it's going to look amazing. Or cut them off if you yeah. want to wear them just as studs. Yeah. Cut off the little loops. Now, for, we've we've had we had Amber at the eight o'clock hour. One of those mm. pearls. So imagine this. I'm going to cover these over, but imagine, literally yeah. with the amber, these instead. Imagine those instead. Yeah. Goodness me, at six ninety nine, is that a mistake? Surely that's an admin error, isn't it? So yeah, just use your pearls, but instead of these, which you had earlier on, jewelry makers, instead of those, use the amber that we're bringing to you in the stud earrings. Absolutely crazy. Crazy, crazy deal. Those pearls, by the way, I'm just absolutely blown away by the beautiful lust on them when you're I know, showing them. I know, I know, I know. I'm not surprised they've sold out. Yeah. Not surprised. I'm not surprised these are on the verge of selling out as well, jewelry makers. Um, okay, yes. A cheeky additional star buy. Ooh, ooh. Or oh, just you wait. Up next. I totally, you know what, Tom Neary, producer Tom Neary's totally got me back for bringing, uh, bringing Tom on screen um, because he's like, I'm just going to throw this one in there, Al. It's been so awesome. And I think with the quality of the pearls that have all sold out, by the way, alongside your deal of the day, alongside the sterling silver that you've seen, um, we're going to bring you one of the finest examples of this gemstone. Yeah. Yeah, it is the Four Cs, you're right. Mm. Uh, for one of the gemstones that we tend to have to invest heavily in. Now, this is a gem that would feature very heavily at establishments like Tiffany's. The femininity that you get within Morganite. It's a member of the Beryl family, and it is coloured by manganese. Now, um, Morganite, you can get like a peachy hue, and you can also get a pink, uh, sort of more salmon pink-like colour. Obviously, as with most coloured gemstones, the, this is not obviously vibrant. It's more of a delicate, almost like mm. a Japanese blossom, cherry yeah, blossom colour. Mm. But team that alongside clarity, like what's on your screens. I mean, what Ollie is showing you right now is, got, is under magnification. So when you have clarity and colour to a desired amount, the combination means that it becomes expensive. It becomes expensive. But as... Maybe when our, our finale star buy of this morning, we're going to, and what has been an absolutely epic morning as well, mm. I've really enjoyed every single minute of it. Fire in Morganite, absolutely. This is what Ollie's talking about, the four C's. So let's talk about the four C's. Have we got the carrot weight? Yes, 15 carrots of Morganite here. Have we got the desired colour? Absolutely. Have we got quality cutting? Definitely. And have we got clarity, which is almost, which is almost un ever, rarely ever seen in Morganite. When you do see it like this, oh, again, can I bring these back? Can you imagine that as a finished bracelet? We are going to give you an opportunity to own fine quality Morganite. At a close out deal. We're going to give everybody that same opportunity because I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to rock the clock and then we're going to go straight down, straight down to that unbelievable, unbelievable price tag. Fire. So I'm going to ask you a question. This is a, this is a wonderful, wonderful uh, sort of uh, um, moment, I think, occasion for me to ask this question. Which of the four C's do you think is most important? Clarity. Okay, so I'm hearing clarity, I'm hearing colour, 
Okay, Ollie's saying colour. Um, yeah, Tom's saying clarity. It's cut. Because you know what? If you've got the quality of the colour and you've got the quality of the clarity, if you don't cut it right, you don't actually see... You, you're not utilising that amazing... Um, amazing. <laughs> they're not wrong, are they? But you, what I mean is cutting is absolutely imperative and absolutely yeah. cr crucial to showcasing that quality of colour, that quality of clarity that you're mm. talking about. Right, this, we're going straight down to it. Not messing around, everybody. For 50 15 carats of quality colour, clarity, <coughs> carrot weight and cutting for £42.99. pence. You know what, Ollie? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to repeat what you've been saying in, in, in my ear. You don't see fire in, in, in Morganite here at Jewelry Maker that, pre, uh, that, that frequently. Um, I'm not saying they're not beautiful. What do you mean, stop, stop, stop? No, because you said you were just going to go straight down to... I thought that was unbelievable. Mm. This should be a triple figure price tag. Beautiful thing, Morganite. Well, I would have said over three figures. For, for like you said, there's fire. There's fire yeah. in this Morganite. There's natural colour, natural salmon pink colour. You've got beautiful all the four C's as we were talking about earlier on. Mm -hmm. you, I haven't got a clue what's going on now. I generally don't. I generally I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Get on the phone lines, Tom is actually saying. It's a very, very busy final five minutes. Uh, listen, I'm as, uh, um, I'm as, I know as much about this star buy as you do, because this was literally a last minute addition to the, what has been an unbelievable show. Don't you think alongside those pearls? Ooh, it's a bit of you. Yes, it's a bit of you. Absolutely. I was going to say, they would be absolutely beautiful. Oh. What have you done? Wow. What has he done? 15 carats of carrot weight, of colour, of clarity, and of quality cutting. All of the above. If you got if you got the pearls, I think it's an unbelievable. If you got the deal of the day, it's an unbelievable addition. Nicolette, Dorothy, London, Agnes, Susan, Andrea, hello to you, London, Valentina, Molly, Lisa, um, hello to you, West Midlands, Hilda, Sally, Alison. Gosh, so many of you have it in your baskets. How many have I got of these then? We had a hundred, not any more. Tom Neary says. There's about 25 or 30 left, so again, check out those baskets. You are being answered on the phone lines, though. 40 of you have it in your baskets, so please check out. It, 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 it is... I mean, we talk about Morganite, and it is deemed as one of the most feminine and romantic of gemstones. I think it's absolutely appropriate that we brought it in today's show. Because you know what? Morganite is believed to amplify love. Mm. So it's a really, really, really uh, poignant gemstone to actually bring to mm. your, your Valentine's theme show. Um, it has this fabulous allure and attraction behind it. It's beautiful. It like, really is. With the pearls. You would put, say, nine at the front of a pearl necklace. Yeah. I'd add on £100. Oh, t I definitely. So, and you've only used a section, a literally an inch. Um, sorry, guys, I thought Christmas was last month, not today. Thank you very, very much for these amazing deals. It's been unbelievable, hasn't it? it has. I do feel well and truly spoiled. Um, yeah, make sure you grab these, though, because they are on the verge of, uh, of selling out. I'm running out of time now, jewellery makers. I'm back with you when am i back with you i'm actually back with you on sunday sunday mid show so i hope you can oh, join yeah. me then no i'm on the late i don't know oh we'll sort it out we'll sort it out <laughs> do not go anywhere though because i know the afternoon show um has got a cracker for you susie thank you so no, much it's been lovely working with you you're doing the master class as well here. what a trooper <laughs> yeah. so yeah if you loved you uh susie's uh susie's jewelry then do make sure you stay with us i'll see you on sunday but don't go anywhere because you've got the fabulous the luscious the gorgeous jenny cleary coming up later on i'll see you soon this week and the gem guide show nine till midday on thursday we're getting lost in the brazilian interior this treasure box that has been giving us beautiful gems for the last 300 years has more recently been quietly going into decline in its mining community however just before the source disappears forever i want to explore two of the greatest brazilian treasures from the North Tocantine Garnet, the most extraordinary rhodolites discovered in recent years. And also in the show coming up, Golden Heliodor from Zia, 
a gemstone that literally looks like it is liquefied golden light suspended the sun itself crystallized i hope to see you then Hello, my name is Rachel Morris. I look forward to seeing you all on Saturday the 16th of January for the Masterclass show. And I've used some copper sheet with these beautiful kit colourways to make um, Indian elephants and frogs and lily pads and all sorts of things in sculptural 2D and three-dimensional forms. So I look forward to seeing you all on Saturday the 16th of January for the Masterclass on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, we have a new Facebook group dedicated to sharing your makes and jewelry making advice. To join the group, simply head over to the page and hit request. You'll then be able to share your designs with our JM community and join like-minded people. Create, wear, share. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. Good afternoon, you're watching Jewelry Maker. My name's Jenny Cleary. Thank you to the gorgeous Elle. It's amazing to see her wonderful face back on our screens, isn't it? And of course, we continue to be joined by another gorgeous face. Please welcome back Susie, everybody. Me again. You got me again. Well, you look amazing. I love your outfit. You look so sophisticated. Oh, thank you. So you've got a masterclass, which I'm buzzed for. So yes. tell us tell us what we're going to be learning. I'm going to be teaching you lots of things. I like to sort of... So if you're a beginner, this is absolutely brilliant. I'm showing you how to make this necklace. But I shall be showing you <gasps> how to make the tassel. Oh, yes. Um, and that's really handy if you tune in on Sunday as well. I think we're together Sunday. Yes, we are. And you'll see a pair of earrings I've made in exactly the same way. So you'll already learn how to make those in advance. I'm going to show you how to add on a bale to the lovely heart and make those uh, little cones with a 
Wax We're very excited. So you've got the wax wire cone yeah, there, and you've everything. got the long wax wire cone. They're brilliant, yeah, aren't they? They're really good. Great, great. Gary Wagstaff, who uh, yeah. who invented that for his wife. What a lovely chap. Now we have got a great theme today. It's all about love. Are you feeling the love? If not, be our Valentine. Uh, we're going to be talking to you about gemstones connected with love. I've been sending Wayne some of my favourites. Amber is a, a really passionate gemstone for love, and I'll be talking to you about that later. We've got lots of rose quartz for you. We've got some lapis lazuli for you. Uh, we've got some amazonite for you. And I'm going to be talking to you about the connection uh, with those gemstones and love. So we can make some really brilliant, really heartfelt Valentine's pieces. Our masterclass kits are insane. And we are then going to take you through the next hour with some slider bracelets kits that are going at the most ridiculously low price. So please stay with us today. There's three ways you can shop with us here at Jewelry Maker. You can get yourself on the phone line. So 800 6 655 you can shop online but Groove Riders here to tell us in a really groovy way how to shop quickly tap the app, tap the app. There, was, there wasn't much groove to that Groove Rider um, you'll wonder why he's called Groove Rider one day he will show you I've got bleach on my top because I bleached everything before I came out of the house today and realised that I got a splodge of bleach. So I apologise in advance for that, but it's too late by the time I saw it. Uh, now, we are going to give you the most beautiful kits. Please do keep it interactive with us today. If you've got any questions for Susie whatsoever, it's 78070 on the text. Start your message with the word GEM Studio. But of course, you can always uh, converse with us on the app or on the website for free. Uh, normal text message charges will apply if you're texting us through your um, through your mobile phone. Now, you saw that there was a beautiful heart in Suze's kit, and I wanted to just show that to you up close and personal because it's a really super quality amber. Amber, we know... Uh, can can date back to uh, as much as 44 million years old in Baltic amber and I think uh, it's important to know that there are a lot of ancient beliefs because of that there are a lot of ancient beliefs behind amber there were there are huge connections of love with this incredible gemstone and passion but also protection uh, so th this is a really really great gift to give to somebody for Valentine's Day or you know and in my house Valentine's Day isn't just for you know like partners it's for anybody that you you love it's for your family yeah. for, for your animals we always have a valentine's meal and uh, just to tell it and just make sure we tell each other we, we tell each other every day anyway i think we over tell each other that sometimes it can you say it too much um but you've got this sorry i apologize beautiful heart now i want you to think about if you've got your gallery wire over the last couple of weeks because i think that would look spectacular with this kit you could encase it in gold well i think gold but i think silver works really well if you wanted to make more of a medieval piece and of course as this gemstone does date back so far you can of course do that amber is a gemstone that is washed upon the shore and it's it, we can call it a gemstone even though it's it's not a mineral or a crystal it is um it, it is a, a gemstone the gia recognized this as a gemstone and it's a most ancient stone uh, we, we know that so uh, and we've utilized this for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years as uh, as a hum as humans as as the human race it's one of the world's oldest gemstones as you know it dates back for millions of years you can think of zircon if you want to, another piece of history in your collection and those are indeed great gemstones to put together the gold of the sea is what they dub this gemstone in the uh, in the in the gemstone industry because it's washed upon the shore and it's actually from prehistoric forests some people think it's tree sap but it's not it's resin the prehistoric uh, trees would release when they were when they felt they were under attack so from an insect biting away at it or or, or something or, or uh, similar now what the tree would do is just release that resin and encapsulate if you can imagine like a volcanic eruption and how the hot lava just spills uh, well it encapsulated whatever was caught in its trap forever and ever amen so we've learned about species of insects and frogs from this gemstone that no longer exist on Earth. But we also learned not too, uh, not, not too long ago, actually, that some dinosaur um, tails have feathers on them. And I know I tell you that story all the time, but I think it's quite important that we have this gemstone. And I think this gemstone's offered us so much. Who knew when it was oozing out uh, millions of years ago that it would also be telling us a story. And, it, and every, every piece of amber that has 
has an inclusion is in it. You've got to remember whether it's a leaf or whether it's a tiny fibre. That tiny fibre has been fossilised within for millions of years. And that's got to mean something, hasn't it? Let me talk to you about the healing purposes when it comes to love. But this is also a gemstone. I put amber in my bath uh, because it's said to help you if you're in pain and things. And you know, I have a back injury, but um, I'm not a doctor and that isn't a medical claim. When I talk to you about crystal, uh, crystal healing or ancient beliefs, they're just that. They're just beliefs. Uh, there is no proof behind them. So this is a gemstone said to soothe children as well, particularly when they're going through teething, but never never let them put it in their mouth, of course. Uh, so when you get yours home, you can cleanse it. You can pop it in the bath with you. You can just give it a little um, little rub under the tap, and that's called that's the cleansing ritual that you can go through with that. You can burn it with next to candles. And in fact, a, a lot of ancient beliefs, this gemstone was burnt. Have, a, have another look. It's not the only thing that you get in the kit because you're also getting this wonderful strand here so let's talk about love it's said to amber is believed as a love crystal to be a symbol of beauty and tenderness a good luck talisman for increasing natural radiance and attracting lasting love it's believed to electrify desire i will leave that bit with you and we will continue with more myths and legends uh, behind this gem so but you're also getting some mayuki seed beads mayuki seed beads are japanese seed beads they are the best in the market according to us and everybody else pretty much that uses them this is a galvanized gold strand and you've got it looks like 15 o's there and then you've also sorry 11 o's what do i know uh, then you've also got an 18 karat gold on sterling silver magnetic clasp. Now, these clasps, I think, always help keep things looking super classy. We're going to give you one minute to get your feathers unruffled because this kit is going to fly out because you've got that beautiful Baltic amber. And, the, and uh, have a look at this. We haven't even touched on this strand. I'll show you that in just a second. Let's give you a minute. <laughs> Have a look at this strand here. You've got all those wonderful colours. So we've got some lemon amber, we've got some butterscotch amber, we've got some cognac amber, and we've got some cherry amber. So this is one of the most versatile strands that will give you such a, a, a great inset to, to looking at all of the types of amber that are there. If you haven't used a lot of amber in the past, this is a great way of getting to know amber, seeing it. And this is a, a great one for teething necklaces and bracelets as well, because you've got all those lovely different bright colours. Now, again, I'm going to show you the heart because it's the only one like it have a look starts deep at the top and it just gets lighter now if you didn't know this as soon as amber is taken from the sea it gets darker and darker and darker over time it can take many many years my grandma's amber that she handed down to me is now almost completely opaque save for the edges when I put and when I put it next to light are you ready to get this kit in your life a beautiful hand carved amber is about to become yours. You know the three ways to shop phone. Uh, there's the there's the web address or you can get your app open. XYXC67 is your item code. It's called Heart on Fire. Well done, Wayne. His heart is on fire. Now, but is his deal on fire? That's what you want to know, isn't it? Now, let's think about how much you could charge just simply for putting this into an amber ring. £80? Maybe if you're using your Argentium gallery wire, 120 I think between £80 and £120 for a ring like this, Susie. And I know that you do sell your pieces on. I think it would be a, a shame to undersell it, wouldn't it? Absolutely. So beautiful. And they're rare pieces because it's yeah. not like they're always evolving. You know, they've got to find yeah. them now because they're so old. Um, that's it. So... They're wonderful. They've got a story. They've got a history. Absolutely. People name their children Amber after this gemstone. And I do got to say I love that name. Um, it, it's just such a wonderful gemstone. Have a look how Susie's used the heart. You could, you, could, you could do exactly what Susie's done. You could prong set. You yeah. can use your gallery wire. You can bead around it. But I love what Susie's done because Susie's allowed the light to travel around that gemstone. And that's probably something that's quite important to you, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, I, I just think it's such a beautiful gem in itself and I didn't want to sort of cover it with seed beads and yeah. sort of but you can do that it depends on the style so I did a very simple way of attaching that so I'll be showing you if Can't I turn wait. it round you'll see and it sort of looks all right the other side as well so you can see what I've done if I turn it round oops sorry folks big clumpy hands in the way so oh I love it so 
So if it, it goes the other side, you, it's it still, still looks great. Yeah. Now, how much? 30% of the stock's gone. 30% oh of the stock has already gone before you even knew the price. You've got, have a look, and we're calling these little olives, these beads. But look at this strand in itself. That's such awesome. a, And it's so tactile. It's such a lightweight gemstone to wear. It feels amazing. $49.99 YX, uh, sorry, XYX C67 is your item code. Please be as quick as you can because for under £50 today, you are getting 18 karat gold on sterling silver. You're getting a big piece of amber, that amber heart. You're getting yeah. a whole strand of amber, and then you're getting those wonderful seed beads. But the clock is back. Because this kit is going to take you into Profit Street, I think. Well, I think it is at that price. At that price, you could sell a ring and make a profit from that price. But we want more money back in your pocket. Let's start the clock. You've got a minute to check out baskets. I've got to let you know that if everybody checks out baskets, about three quarters of the stock has already gone. You've got a minute for that. Let me talk to you about amber again. Let me talk to you about the benefits of amber. It's not just about love. We are concentrating on love today because of the run-up to, uh, to your Valentine's pieces. But let's talk about this incredible gemstone. It's a protective stone for children. It could be worn as a necklace mm. or a bracelet or sewn into an infant's garment uh, and placed in their environment to ward off negative energies and mm. shield them from harm. It's prized for energetically reducing teething pain, so it should never be placed in the mouth. And remember, I'm not a doctor these are all beliefs. Uh, wear or carry an amber when recovering from an illness or an injury to increase vitality or draw on your own essential strength. That's why I've been putting it in the bath with me. Uh, as a love crystal, golden orange amber is a symbol of beauty and tenderness. A good luck talisman for increasing natural radiance and attracting lasting love. It can be used to call in a twin soul. Are you ready? It's said to electrify your desire. And you can test it out for yourself at this price. This is the price wow. for the cabochon alone. Let's yeah. shop. What an amazing deal. Loads of you there. Now, you must check out your baskets if you want to get hold of that, um, that deal. It really is a sensation. I think you are going to make such a huge profit if you do sell your jewellery mm. on. I think there's potential for it, surely, isn't there? X, Y, X, C, 67. There is if she stops uh, dropping them. Uh, I can see all your names lighting up my screens. Nita Clare, who takes three. Uh, Deborah, Debbie in the West Midlands. Deborah in Nottinghamshire. I have got Sally in Sussex, Major, Maker and Greater to London. Two Makers and Greater London, actually. June in Hertfordshire. Jane in Manchester. I've got Nicole. I've got Sarah. I've got Wendy. I've got Alice. Well done, Gemma. You've got yours too. $24.99 XYXC67. There are absolutely loads of you that need to check out baskets. There's a two minute queue on the phone lines. If you can hit that number one button, it would be very, very, very beneficial. What a price! I know. And you could just make it into a stretchy, couldn't you? Use the you absolutely beads could. as spacers. <laughs> You'd have some left, don't you? Yeah. yeah. If you can make two stretches with the galvanised yeah, and that. Absolutely. And sell those at £30 yeah, each because they, they're, they're amber. I mean, that, you know, I think that would be perfect. I'd love to wear it like that. But you imagine I come on today and say, so I'm going to show you how to make a stretchy. <laughs> I'd still love you. I'd still love you. You know why I don't? Because I'd be like, you want me to model that stretchy for you? Mm -hmm. $24.99 uh, is your price. Now we're going to go across to the gorgeous Susie for the demonstration. We, we will be having uh, more goodies on your screen. So look out on your screen for any goodies that Susie's using. We'll be putting the graphics yeah. up. You can see those on the app. You can see those on the website. But any questions whatsoever, get them through to us. If you'd like to know ultimate love crystals, if you'd like to talk about that text us in if you'd like to know something else uh, text us in and i will tell you what i know and i will also go to the oracle that i use uh, but for now here's the wonderful and very lovely susie so we're going to make this necklace now i wanted to make it as packed full of information as a could as it's a master class so we're doing component bits and then slowly making up the necklace first thing i'm going to start with is the hot cabochon um, and for those that are newbies or don't know how to seed bead or don't know how to do wire wrapping, do as I do. And that is getting a bit of six mil gold wire in this case. And we're going to make this because that's the start of our um, cabochon back. 
I'll sort of bale back. Very easy to make. I'll put my glasses on, otherwise I won't see anything. And to make this, I'll just start it for you so you get the idea, is you go to the very end of a pair of round nose pliers and you make that first circle as small as you can. And then when you've um, got that, you then get sort of like flat nose pliers and then you just slowly start wrapping around that circle until you're happy with the size. So can you see? It's as simple as that. So you keep going round and then I made it about eight millimetres because I didn't want it too big because I, I wanted, you know, to, to make it look really pretty at the back. So what we're going to do is glue that on. But first of all, because this is quite thick, as you can see, we literally put it in place and then with a bit of brute force, bend it into that lovely little nape there. And then you can see we want it to be about halfway. So if you take a pair of chain nose pliers, once it's bent, you just bend it back up that way. And I'll show you again as it fits. So now we've got it going in and it sort of comes in the middle of that. So it's in exactly the right place. And then what we do is we take, we snip off to about a centimetre because now we're just going to make a loop with that. And then with a pair of round nose pliers, about just under a centimetre up, can you? Yeah, you can still see me. I get carried away, so I apologise if my fingers get in the way, because I, I love making jewellery. And then we just fold it back on itself, and that is the bale there. Okay. Right? And then we just glue it on. So, I use the old trusty E6000. Have we got that, Wavy? We're just going to have a look. I think we've definitely had have you got it in the, the precision past. nozzle for yours? I'll get you one. Right, it would be really handy, yeah. but no. <laughs> I'll get you one. <laughs> oh, thank you. You're welcome. Then you just put it, just a blob of glue. This dries really flat and really, really clear, and it does no harm to the jewellery. And then that is it, done. And we're going to let that dry now. And you just leave that. There Can we you go, see we're it? just finding you. Oh, sorry. Sure. Don't be sorry, it's okay. There we go. Can you see? Yeah. And that, you just leave that alone to dry. Now, ideally, you'd leave that till tomorrow, so it might be something you do use it the next day, which is what I did. But you can see how easy it was. And you can use that on any cabochons. You might love, like me, I see cabochons thinking, oh, I absolutely love them, but it's got not, it hasn't got a draw hole, so it's no good for me. Use this method. Really Perfect. good. So, then, once we've done that... We want to make a tassel, but if you notice on the tassel, we'll stick with the wiring at the moment, I've got these sort of cones, and they're made with a WAGS wire cone, which is one of these. Very easy again, and as you know, I'm not like the, the major wire worker, but I love working with wire. I normally do it on the reel, and I'll tell you for why, because if you try and measure it out, you, invariably it'll be too short. But how to make one is really easy. At the top of the WAGS Y cone, there is a hole, and that hole is there for a very good reason. It keeps it in place while you're winding around. So you just literally put the wire through there, and then just make a big loop, because you could be cutting that off, so it doesn't matter. But if you make that too um, neat, you'll never get the... Um, the wire cone off and I've done that so learn from my mistakes so start winding it first by hand until it stops moving like that and then all we do when I've got my glasses back on we just now like a gizmo we just start so you're just using your thumb to thumb keep the... as pressure pulling down but just winding it round I've made a mark down here so I know that these will be exactly the same size. Well, that's a great idea. Um, so when I make my um, cones, they're always of the same size. You may want a, a bigger one. But um, as you can see, how easy is this? You're just winding, winding, winding. And can you see? I'm carrying on. It's all good fun. And um, it makes such a lovely effect. And you soon get there, like we're nearly there now. And so move. neat. And look at that, I'm there now. So all we do is we cut off the wire, and that was done straight off the reel, so you've got no wastage whatsoever. 
And then to get it off is all we do is we cut it from that hole and then cut it again from the other side. That's it, take that out. Oops, and that's what not to do. But as you can see, it did come out. <laughs> But there's your cone, and I'll just neaten that up a bit because I did yank it, and I shouldn't have yanked it. And then, this is what we end up with. Can you see that? And that's it's what we perfect. end up with. So that forms, and you can see how easy that was. And then we have, we make two of those. Um, so that's that. Now then, we go on to making the tassels so that we've got the two end components and we start then we get a bit of thread a bit of I think this is fire line and then I've added on I've got a needle on the end of it because my eyesight's not that good and what I've done is I've put six beads and tied it in a knot and the reason for that is because I'm going to make six tassels if you wanted to make an eight tassel um, tassel then you put eight beads if you want to make four you put four but as I'm making six so I've put six tie knot and then for this particular one I had 25 of the uh, 11 o's so that's four five six seven eight nine ten and I do it in tens because you can make this as long as you like four five six seven eight nine ten now this when you're making the tassel if you want to make it the even size you have to actually count them when we get on to the necklace you, you can be a bit more random so I've done that so it's five so we do the five and get that bead so we thread those on and then we put and I alternated the, the colour. So I'll start with the lovely sort of cognac, put that in, and then I make a pico end with it, which is three, and I just think that just adds a little pretty detail to the end of the tassel. So put three on, and then back through the amber. Can you see? Yeah, you can see me good. Back through the amber all the way back up to the very top. So, so I pull it through, and as you can see, with the, the little picker, you get a lovely little triangle, and then you just carry on. Sorry, where are we? There we go. So we pull it back through there, and we're just making our way back through the top. Just carefully, you really want to make sure that you get all of the beads otherwise you'll see the thread and it won't look right so just take your time with this you don't want it taut taut um, but you want it firm so if I put it back through doesn't want to go there uh, up through the two and then through one of the uh, CBs that you've got in your little ring of circles then through that one and then you start making the tassel again and I'll just start it so you, you go down another 25 so I'll just start threading on because and then you carry on like this all the way through so what you would do 25 put on then in the other case um, the darker cherry amber three on this back through up through the next seed bead and then start again until you get round and get back to where you started and that's your tassel made so that's the tassel and the reason I do that is because you get a really even tassel and then how we attach it to the wags y comb you get a bit of wire now if you've got a head pin you can use a head pin you'll need a ball head pin or something you can sometimes get the shaped head pin so you could use that if not all you have to do is do a little loop at the top like I've done there in fact I'll make a, a new one why am I showing you one ready done I can do this so all you do make it quite small but not too small but you just make a little wrap loop like that 
and then we kink it up. So we're going to kink that up, and I'll tell you for why we're doing that in a minute. That is now going to hold the base of our tassel. So we put that through. You know, I, I threaded on six. We put that through the bottom, if I can find the hoop. There we go, and that holds it on, see? And then we feed it through the wags, the cone, like that. And then what we do is we make, we can cut that off now because we've got enough. We've made sure we haven't made ourselves too short. So about a centimetre, about there. Cut it off there. And then do another wrap loop. Now, I can show you how I'll do it about a centimetre, about half a centimetre in, and just keep curling that in. You'll see it forms a P, and then you just kink it to make it like that. And so there we go. Can you see that? So that is the tassel. So you've got one tassel there, and then you would do exactly the same with this, with the, the, um, the lovely heart amber, this is a bit wet, so I'm hoping it doesn't actually uh, fall off when I try this. But let me make this again. So this side, we would just do a normal jump ring because we're going to attach that like that. So we would make a little round hoop. If you've got an eye hoop, use that, um, an open eye loop. And then you would just then put that on that side and this is going to be a bit wet and then you put the wax y comb through that I'm going to put it through it first and attach it because I want to show you it and just because it's a bit wet like I say and then you can see how that would look and it's holding temporarily and so that's the two ends so now we've got the two ends ready so on to the necklace itself which is the really really easy bit so the most complicated bits I've shown you that's really good so we start with the necklace and this really you can freestyle I did it this way because I just like the idea of doing this style but you might have other ideas and think Susie you know no no offense but I've got a really brilliant idea and I'm really into my seed beading and I've got some fantastic ideas that I can do with the amber go for it um, so all you make is the necklace as you want. But if you want to make this, you might say, well, actually, I really like that. I liked it. That's why I made it. So we start off and I put a one seed bead and I thread both needles through. I've threaded up two needles and I forgot to say, but I'll show you. I've got a bit of French wire, about a centimetre, and I knotted it so that makes the end. So I knotted a bit of French wire and then I've now threaded my seed bead onto it. And that is the end of the necklace that this will hook onto just there. So now what I do is I've used these lovely um, yellow ambers and we go through these both with the two needles and then we go, we put a 11 o we go through with both needles again so that it just sort of surrounds that lovely um, Baltic amber and as you can see and I've done it there we go so you can see that now so that's how we start and then we just thread on we use two sides so I just then started to thread on maybe 15 it can be any number you like so I'm just going to just carry on putting these on in any particular number. It doesn't matter. This is where I say this is where it's more freestyling. As many as you think. You could elongate those and make a really lovely rope necklace. I wanted to make one that was about 24 inches so that could hang and hang about this length. But you might want to make a rope necklace with this. So make it longer. So I've just threaded on. I don't know how many I've threaded on. It really doesn't matter. This is the bit that you don't have to count. So, and then when you're happy, you think, right, I'll thread on. Um, and I'll put a cognac one on this side. And then continue to put 
the beads on the seed beads so it's really not difficult so you know for those that think oh I'm not really into seed beads because they're tiny or it's really complicated this is such an easy way of using seed beads and get a lovely lovely effect without having any prior skill in using seed beads. What size of the needle are you using Suze? I'm actually using a 12 but you can use um, a 10. Um, the nice thing is they're big enough that if you didn't have a needle you could actually thread this far line individually through it if you wanted to. But any beading needle, and it could be a 10, it can be those ones with the easy eyes, you know, the, yeah, the big loops. the long eye needles, yeah. Long eye needles, I love using those because I'm really bad. I've got all of these things in bed. So, but yeah, the, the holes are big enough. Obviously in seed beading, the, the, the holes are really big. They're, you probably get something like a 0.8 wire through those. Okay. And these are really, really generous. So when you're happy with that side, you then pick up the needle on the other side and you start doing it again. So we just, and this is all you're doing, it's really good fun. And you can, it's your opportunity to be really creative. I'm just um, threading these on. Now, what I love about this kit is these seed beads, these 11 O's, so galvanized gold beads. I buy these all the time, I buy them in every size. So I'm, I was delighted when they came in the kit because these make absolutely superb spaces if you're doing any form of jewellery because they're the equivalent of a two mil gold bead. And I'm always running out of gold beads. Um, so um, I use these as, as um, the spacers. They're absolutely ideal and they look absolutely fantastic on. I mean, the colour is amazing. So it's a really useful um, seed bead to have. Because, um, as I say, it replaces the 2 mil um, spacer beads if you don't have them. And you get thousands in a tube. So I don't know how many I've done while I've been talking. But then I'm going to put uh, cherry amber, put one on. Thread that through without stabbing myself. And then we just have to line these up. So they don't have to be in exactly the same place. So I just... See, that looks like, if I do one more, and then that one can go through, and then this one, because I think they're the same size, can go through there, and that marries them up. And I'm hoping that they're roughly the same size. If, if they're not, you sort of get the idea that they should have been. And then we put our lovely lemon amber through, and we're going through both needles, And then we take on one of these and we go through both needles again because they sort of cap the lovely amber. And I'll pull that through and you just carry on all the way down. Um, and that's the sort of effect you get. I mean, I was talking, so I made that a bit longer. But can you see? So that's what the necklace is made of. So you carry on to the length you want and finish off exactly the same way that you started. In other words, when you get to the end, end on a yellow bead, both th needles through the um, seed bead, add on French wire through one needle, pull it round, back through, and then tie a knot. And then with the both uh, needles, just follow the thread down through the necklace to tie it off so it's all nice and taut but you don't want to see me finishing off so just imagine and because I didn't have enough of these I thought if I make one I won't be able to demo it just pretend this is the necklace <laughs> so I've just pretended this is my necklace here and then all we're doing is we're now just tying on the ends here so as simple as that is to get a jump ring jump ring on there jump ring on there you don't actually have to have a jump ring and I'll show you why not in a minute you can because that forms part of the effect and it's opening and closing like a side gate that's one end on there very delicately because um, I don't think this is dry, but you would then just attach that to the other side. So I'm going to just break that 
as a round so let's um, cut that I'm going to pretend that it's on the other the other end because that's not dry and it, it might fall off so I'm just going to do that tie the end on we'll give it a whirl in a sec Let me. it might be dry enough to do but let's see if that will so let's pretend that that we've got something on the end of that and then all we do is again with the jump ring don't want to get the magnetic because that applies, tries to glue itself or attach itself to anything that's metal and I will use a different set of pliers so opening the jump ring for, these jump rings are amazing because you can't see where it is but you're opening it like a side gate then thread that on I haven't done this particularly well because I haven't closed it up um, and that's going to come through and then onto that let me try and get that in there, like that. So that's your two ends. <laughs> Pretend we've got the amber, but it's drying. I'm being really kind to it. And then wherever you want to put the um, magnetic clasp is entirely up to you. But all you would do, I don't know if I can do it on this one because it's a different sort of make, but it's slightly different on this necklace because I've got bigger seed beads so this may not go round it but you're literally going to have a jump ring through the magnetic clasp through a side here any way you like you pick close it off like that so your skill is in opening and closing a jump ring finding where the end is so again just opening it sideways really really easy get the other side and let's oops get the other side and then let's just stick it here you will measure it and make it look beautiful I'm just going to put it there just to give you just to show you and close that up and then that is the necklace finished if you imagine, I don't want to put it on because it will fall off because that has got to dry, but you imagine, and that is it. Yeah? Perfect. Love it. Thank you so much, Susie. That's okay. Now, Susie, we've got so many beautiful things to show to everybody. Um, I'm absolutely guessed that we have got all three colours of the chain bundle because I have a little Cartier obsession that I can't afford to have. Um, and this just absolutely does it for me, those three colours together. Now, I've been doing some research on my chains. I've been doing a lot of research on chains lately, and um, we're going to be bringing those to you in just a second. I want to show you, we'll do those in 10 minutes. They are on pre-order, but I really want to take some time of just showing you the value of these because it's unreal. It's unreal. I'm going to arrange them a little bit better, but I want to show you um, what else we've got. We've got some beautiful... I've had this in my hand, actually, during the demonstration whilst I was watching. The most beautiful lapis lazuli because it's in that frosted finish. So pretty. Have a look. And you know what? This could be masculine or feminine. So you're looking to, to make the man in your life or the boy in your life could be your, for your son, couldn't it? Um, a piece of really special jewelry for Valentine's Day. Then I definitely think this could be the one. And I think these could be decorative. And you know that uh, they say lapis lazuli is great for grumpy teenagers. So Wayne and I can take this home. Now, because <laughs> we've both got grumpy. Not together. Separate. Now, we've also got some beautiful blue amber. Uh, we're going to give those to you just now because we've only got a small handful. In fact, I'm going to be honest with you, we only have three of these. And every time we bring them to you, they sell out so quickly. The world loves blue amber. Blue amber is a rarity here at Jewelry Maker, and it's a delight to have. Now, I'm going to show you, we have these amazing findings. And we've got some coming up in the next hour, in fact, with hearts on them. But wouldn't these look lovely? Just one of them. And that means you could make five separate pieces of jewelry because you only need one of these beads as a focal bead. We're going to go straight in with your price. Look at the way this, I feel like I'm underwater and I'm looking into a shipwreck. 
two chances only at 49.99 you're guaranteed what i've got here beautiful blue amber five pieces in rounds they are drilled all the way through for you so you can put them on those slider bracelets and they are a treat at this price we've only got one left rfg y39 is your right to go who's going to take it go on to the jewelry makers at home now i'm going to give you next Duda, it's not there what is it oh is it what is it <laughs> the bag's there, the bag's there, but mm, it's not here. <laughs> oh, please, said Wayne, no, please, well, have we a picture of it? it, it it's there, it's, could you, is it RFG Y39? Oh, no, there's the wrong bag in it, then. Unless it's somewhere, at, wait, there, it's in the wrong box, that's all. Woo, I've got it, oh, my God gracious don't say a, oh, I nearly wow. said a bad word then it's beautiful it this is bleeping gorgeous it looks like the sea doesn't it like I you're in it. the Caribbean I need that on my on my finger now I want it on a ring it's beautiful so nice. it does it makes you feel like you're on holiday suit so, Suze doesn't this make you feel like you're in the oh, water floating and there's it some does. turtles it like it's like a really bougie Pacific, holiday doesn't it yeah. I love it. Look at the sheer size of this. No wonder Wayne got so upset when he thought we couldn't bring it to you. Oh, my gosh. Look at those golden colours. Look at those deep blues. Oh, I'm lovely. in love. It's heavenly. Those inclusions as well. This has got everything you want from an amber, hasn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I love it. I love this. What a super price. Now, remember, this is up to 44 million years old. If you divide, which Wayne isn't going to do, twenty nine ninety nine by forty four million, that's like, that's like not even a penny for each year. I can't do that maths. You're like, no, Jenny, it's way less than that. Baltic sapphire blue ombre amber. We are so over allocated on this. You've got to be quick. What an amazing, amazing. I've got so many windows open on me. Dubry, uh, that because I've been doing some research. Five chances. This is the lovely. last blue cabochon we have in the company oh, at wow. all. It's gone. We've got some on order, but we don't have any. But it, but yes, it's good. Look, things are taking a lot longer ob for obvious reasons. Twenty nine ninety nine. Two chances. I just want to put it in gallery wire and put it on my yeah, finger. Yeah, it's just beautiful. <sighs> Gorgeous. Maybe bezel setting it with our gentium bezeling wire too would you be nice mm -hmm. see me i would just do what i did in the demonstration yeah. but i'd maybe do an oval definitely yes an oval spiral oh, yeah definitely on the back we've got 20 unchecked baskets we've got one chance left who's going to take it only you can decide it's fastest fingers first uh, i know you hate that um, expression but it really is it really is fastest fingers first what a beautiful beautiful um piece of amber don't worry, we'll clean it. <laughs> now, oh, I love these. Look, they overlap. I love them. Don't you them. think they're amazing? I think I might have these. You've got these? Yeah. I've got they're that. so tactile. I just know, want to feel lovely. them. I bought I've these. I've got the wrong one. Do I have the wrong one? Oh, no. Slider bracelet. Okay, don't worry. I've got, I've got that. I've got, I've got it. It's in 23. Here we go. Now, these go together really beautifully. Yeah. Do you know what I was talking to you about the slider bracelets? Look at the snake chain on this. It's so Pandora. I love oh, wow. it. Polish amber, and you've got that beautiful butterscotch amber there. And it's in sterling silver. And look, so let me show you. Would you make a necklace? Or would you make, would it be a traditional bracelet? I've got a real hinkering to make a necklace out of yeah. that. Because I love the way it's... Uh, it, it comes together. I think it's very elegant. Uh, we've only five of these at fourteen ninety nine. Uh, you've got those loops there. Very easy to make. A, a, a really well put together piece of jewellery that looks super professional. And of course, we don't have angel policies or anything like that on these sorts of findings. So if you've made it, you can sell it. Fourteen ninety nine. Genuine solid sterling silver. We're very over allocated. We are super busy. NDG Y. 29 is your item code down to one who's going to take it merseyside june maker in time and where uh, now can we have the marquees now so susie has this channel i've got to say i love it have a look at the way it overlaps and they just Beautiful. sit on each other like that oh i love it this is so, it's it's you just want to touch it it's so tactile isn't so it? it's tactile beautiful. 
almost like scales, isn't it? Yes. If you saw Alison Terry's yeah. um, demonstration the other the day and you didn't manage to get dragon. any kits or you want to add this to it, that would be ideal, Deal. Susie. Yeah. They could represent leaves. They could yeah. represent so much. They're only twenty four ninety nine for you. Or are they? Oh, Wayne, I, I don't know I love going. the way they hang together. And me. Would you just want to put it... Oh, it's accidentally opened <laughs> up. Oh, no. That means I'm going to have to take some. <laughs> I think they're great leaves. Let's have a look. You could actually make the most... Oh, look, you could make a beautiful flower out of these. So much. I love it. Them. There I wanted is. to make a pair, I still haven't made anything with them. I wanted to make a pair of tessellated earrings. Earrings would be ideal because yeah. you can put loads of them in because yeah. they're so lightweight. They're lightweight. And yes. They're, they're yes, I love light. that. And because they've got holes at the top, top. Yeah. they're the perfect place to have a hole. And I'll show you why. Because if you want to hang them from a piece of chain, they're going to go like bubbles all the way down because they're the, the drill holes at the top. Yeah. There, look. So do you see that? They're top drilled. I don't know if you can see it. Because some of them are through drilled, some of them are top drilled. Oh no, they are all top drilled. Oh, I love them. I love them. You've got to have. You've got to hurry. There's only one left. Uh, just such a super low price. You're going to absolutely adore those. Don't forget, it is a, a gemstone of passion. Is amber. Mm. It's said to cure frigidity and impotency. Did you know that? We we learnt about that the other day, didn't we? Now it's just a myth and ledge. What am I looking for, darling? Is it drowns? I got them. Here they are, so. These are my favourite strand for rosary beads, Marla yeah. necklace. If you if you want to do a rosary necklace, this is ideal. How many beads are, is it in a rosary again? 108. In a rosary? Yeah, plus the guru bead, which is the big bead. I love it. This is a big long one, so you'd have a really yeah. lovely long necklace and a big cross on Absolutely. the end. Oh, that would look really love good, it. wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I love jewellery like that, yeah. I do. We are going to give you a metre... A metre of beautiful amber, and I've got to say I love it in this cherry. It gets deeper and darker. It's so intense. Uh, look, it's on split pay, 23.33 for you today. Zed, I think this is the first time I've seen this on split pay. Don't hold me to that, but I think it is. Uh, we've only got two left. We're down to the final two of these. Once they're gone, they're gone. ZJG, Y24 is your item code. Today, you can get yourself such a super amount of amber in this beautiful mm. Baltic cherry. Remember, this is up to 44 million years old. Last one. So I think it's ideal if you wanted to make a rosary necklace for someone, you know, who uh, maybe you know someone who's heavily into... Mm into the catholic faith and they yeah. uh, you know they're, they're very religious this would be a wonderful gift for them a wonderful gift even if you're not very religious what a great gift to give them yeah. rosary beads that you've you've literally made with love each one of them you can knot them you can you can yeah. do rosary linking with them and when i was little i had glow in the dark rosary beads definitely got enough there because you need 108 there's probably going to be about 200 isn't there yeah. for the meter oh definitely so you've got plenty low and it's so you just want to feel it so light as well isn't mm. it beautiful oh i love it next up sorry darling uh now if you've got the last one i think you're going to be very interested in this one and i do, i will Ooh. show them you together because actually susie i think if you alternate the colors i think it'll draw yeah, even I'd have more to get both yeah oh, i love them i agree if you did a rosary, would you do it in knots or would you do it in links? I would do it in knots and yeah. I would do I one in one colour yeah. and I would use the other colour as the sort of the, the, the marker bead. Yeah, I agree with you. What colour cord would you use? Red, probably. Something really bold. I like it. I'm visualising it. I need it. <laughs> BPG, why? 67, 69, 99, 23 pounds and 33 pence. If you can't see your loved ones, what a great thing to be able to create them. This, do you know why I think it's a good idea to get lemon as well? Because it gets darker over time. So if you wanted to start off a, um, an heirloom, so let's say you start wearing it and you, with all intention of passing it down to your loved ones, who are then in turn going to pass it down to theirs, everybody's going to enjoy a different tone of amber yeah. because it's going to get darker and darker. And that's what we done in my family my grandma's amber beads they're massive they're like that big each and they're a big necklace and that for me now they they look black you put them against the light and the edges go red uh, yeah. but my grandma i remember when i was little I, i'm sure i could see through them they yeah. were my worry beads when i was little now i am delighted to bring you we don't have enough of these for the price we're going to go to and i've done some research and we are literally going to blow our competition out of the proverbial water.
talking to Vicky Carr, who sources our wonderful chains, and that's been quite a difficult job for her to do over the COVID situation. Um, and I'm going to start by telling you about that, just give you a little bit of an insight into, into our industry, into what goes on behind the scenes. So Vicky Carr, at the very start of COVID, we had uh, huge panics. Um, our suppliers panicked massively. They didn't, did, everybody did, didn't they? Do you remember the very first lockdown? And Vicky took a risk and said she would support our chain suppliers by buying a huge quantity. Great, brilliant. We were able to give you fantastic prices. Now, what's happened since is that now gold and silver always does this, doesn't it? We know that gold, silver, platinum goes up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Sometimes if you go to a different supplier and you're looking for, for gold and silver uh, supplies and it could be little findings, you'll see that on one day they were cheaper. And sometimes whilst you're on the website, the price is going up, down, up, up, down, up, down. You're like, Whoa! now what happened was, I think it was about, about March or April time, because I have a CFD app and I'd put some money into gold and silver. I had a notification saying gold and silver is at a record all-time high. We have got some information on that. I don't know if, if it's available because I've just literally remembered it. So this is where gold and silver do this. Normal, right? That happens. Then COVID hit and it went right up here. Never been up here before and it's still doing this, but it's still right up high. Now, Vicky had already supported our suppliers by buying a big amount, she was telling me, and, and, and that was a risk. But we were able to give you an amazing price because she did a great deal because, of course, the supplier was grateful for the business. Now, what happens? Vicky said to me it was a real tough decision and one that she lost sleep over because... Vicky sources our chains from Italy. Price of gold and silver is really, really high at the moment, of course, at the time she bought these. Um, now, Italian chain is renowned for being, in the industry, some of the best chain money can buy. It's great quality, great designs, uh, and, you know, it's got longevity when we're talking about plating. I asked Vicky, OK, so if gold and silver are an all-time price at the moment and you want to keep our prices, what did you do to keep... Uh, to keep those prices, did you have to compromise on plating? Plating is a really, really uh, elongated process. Now, it's not actually easier for us to give you solid rose gold, uh, eight solid 18 karat gold. It's easier to manufacture. Now, plating is it, in today's age is not what plating was in the 80s. Plating has come such a long way. You need to bond that 18 karat gold or that rose gold in this instance onto, onto the silver and it needs longevity. The objective is for you to have a beautiful piece of jewellery that's going to last you years, not a few days. Now, layer upon layer is needed to be able to do that. And Vicky said she wasn't willing to compromise on the quality because she would have to deal with a huge return rate. You're used to great quality. If you don't get it and things start to tarnish early, you're going to send them back and Vicky said she wasn't prepared to deal with that because she'd be in big trouble. So what does Vicky do? She either takes the quality down, lesser content of real gold, lesser content of silver in the silver, you know, just bring it down so it's finer and you don't have such a heavy gram weight and keep the price. Or she could buy in a huge bulk again, take a big risk, have to go to the board and explain herself and then be able to maintain the prices. And I've got to tell you this, that's what she did. And what Vicky Carr has done for us is manage to get the price level still. In a world where gold and silver prices are at an all-time high, we are still remaining to give you. We are still here giving you those trade prices. Now, I want to also show you what we've got here because I'm going to show you some comparisons on that. Because you might be thinking, yeah, yeah, Jenny, okay. I'm going to give you some really, really good comparisons. But I need you to be ready for the deal that we're going to give to you because every single one of these should sell out today. If it doesn't, um, I will snap them up myself. You've got one minute to unruffle your feathers, get yourself on the phone lines. Now let's have a look at what you've got. So in true Cartier style, Wayne's put this together because he knows I'm obsessed with this look. You get all three colors of the chain. You've got sterling silver, 18 karat gold, 
on sterling silver and then rose gold on sterling silver. I'm going to show you something that I've been obsessed with since they launched it, but there's no way I could afford to, to own it. But that's okay. I can be inspired by it. Here's the, here's the, um, the Cartier necklace. It's called a Trinity necklace because it's got all three of the precious metals. And it has got platinum in there, but I can't afford platinum. Now, this necklace is £3,550. Now, I'm not comparing that, but I'm just showing you what is inspiring me. It's about the same in terms of fineness, but it is a lot longer than what we've got today. So what I did was I thought I took to the high street. I'm going to show you a really, really good comparison, like for like, in those stores, Thomas Sabo, Monica Veneda. Let's go shopping. Now, your, your graphics are on your screen, so you are ready to put this in a basket just now. And what I've done is, I've, I, what I wanted to show you was some more affordable more, designers, but more affordable designers than Cartier. So what I'm going to take you to first is the Anchor Chain by Thomas Sabo, which to me is an 18-inch, is very, very similar to the one that we've got here. That is very similar to this gold chain here. Now, the ingredients are the same. I'm gonna show you that in case you don't believe me. Description, ba 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 ba. Hang on a minute, where is it at the top? So it is uh, 18 karat yellow gold plated on 925 sterling silver. You can see the description here. And it's the same, it's 18 inches, 925 sterling silver. The same exact link. This one, of course, has been majorly zoomed in on. And it's £119 for that chain today at Thomas Sabo. OK, you might think that's a one-off. Well, I'll tell you it's not, because Monica Veneda are doing a more affordable version. Gold, same chain again. Short, fine chain, £50. OK, so that's gold on sterling silver. They also have a rose gold version. So I can do a good comparison with all of these. That's £50 as well. And their silver version is £40. So that's £140 uh, at Monica Veneda for exactly what I've got here. Now, let me show you again what I've got here. So exactly what I've got here. I don't know whether um, Monica Veneda's chains are from Italy, but I would say they probably are. I, I, I think the quality of Monica Veneda is good, isn't it? Thomas Sabo, I, I would expect, is probably um, Italian chain again. So if you want to be inspired by that Cartier piece, which is wonderful, and they are solid gold, of course, um, and platinum, you can get the look for less. But how much less? Less than Monica Veneda? Less than Thomas Sabo? We're going to blow your blooming socks off. If you bought this all from Monica Veneda, it would be £140, exactly the same ingredients. I'm going to show you £19.99 for all three chains. Now, come, come to me, come to me. I'm going to show you the quality of these chains. She's made a big mistake there. Wait there, don't you, don't you uh, get these tangled. So what I wanted to show you was the fact that you have got here the lobster claw clasp with the tag. Now that will show if you are going to sell that on that this is 925 and then you've got uh, the rose gold over there. That's really important if you sell your pieces on because your customers are going to look for that, particularly if they have an allergy. Now, what else is important is the fact that, that that is taking the stress off your lobster claw clasp. Every part of this piece has been thought through. You've got that snaffle link or that Gucci link, that lovely anchor chain. And that's really popular as you just saw on um, big designers' websites right now. I'm going to show you them each individually. And I need you to really, really consider that what we are about to do in the industry will not make us friends amongst the other jewellers. It will, in fact, probably get us a, a shin kick. PTXC84, this is not the price of gold and silver. It is our price. We are doing this as a thank you to you for supporting us. As a thank you, Vicky Carr, this was all Vicky Carr. She has been able to buy in such uh, such clever ways to give us. And, 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 and please know that she did that at a risk. Uh, she did that at a real risk. 13.99, we've only got 49 left, 47 left. You've got to be really quick with this because once these chains have gone, of course, Vicky is in the process of bringing more in. But we don't know. Each time she doesn't know, gold and silver flux Fluctuates. We might need to. Uh, we might need to raise the price of our gold and silver. It is entirely possible. But today we're not. Today you're getting this deal, a trade deal, a trade deal. 
We cannot, we can't be rebuying them at that price. PTX C84, 10 chances left. Every single one of these will sell out today. This is such a super deal. It's such a, a great way of replicating that Cartier look. It's such a great way of getting those chains that are the same ingredients that are being used by Monica Veneda, the same ingredients that are being used by Thomas Sabo, but at a higher price on their websites. You're getting them at a fraction, at a fraction of the price. So, Wayne, if I was to get these all three at Monica Veneda, it would be £140 today for the exact same ingredients. So we're paying, what, a tiny percentage of that price? Yeah. Well, you can get 10 sets. You could get 10 sets for the same price. Yeah. You're so right. You could get exactly 10 sets for the same. You can get one out of Monica Veneda. Brilliant point. <laughs> yes. It looks like these have sold out and gone. Uh, we'd love to thank the gorgeous yeah. Susie uh, for her company. We've only got one of these chains left, and I've got about 50 of you trying to get the last one. Now we are going to go to a break to let the phone lines die down. Uh, Mel Green is up next. A huge thank you, Susie. When are you back, darling? Sunday. Oh, yes, with me. I'll see you on Sunday. I can't wait. Uh, Susie will be back Sunday. Don't you go anywhere. If you love that deal and you love the Amber, you wait to see what else I got you. to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewelry Maker. This week and the Gem Guide show, nine till midday on Thursday, we're getting lost in the Brazilian interior. This treasure box that has been giving us beautiful gems for the last 300 years has more recently been quietly going into decline in its mining community. However, just before the source disappears forever, I want to explore two of the greatest Brazilian treasures. From the north, Tocantin Garnet, the most extraordinary rhodolites discovered in recent years. And also in the show coming up, Golden Heliodor from Zia, the gemstone that literally looks like it is liquefied golden light suspended the sun itself crystallized i hope to see you then if you have a question or query for jewelry maker then contact our call center on 0800 655 and press option 2 email help at jewelrymaker.com or drop us a message on our Facebook page. Hello, my name is Rachel Morris. I look forward to seeing you all on Saturday the 16th of January for the Masterclass show. And I've used some copper sheet with these beautiful kit colourways to make um, Indian elephants and frogs and lily pads and all sorts of things in sculptural 2D and three-dimensional forms. So I look forward to seeing you all on Saturday the 16th of January for the Masterclass on Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we've got some really exciting news. After 10 and a half years, we can finally launch Split Pay. The whole point of this is to make it as affordable as possible to buy things from Jewelry Maker. So you have the opportunity to pay either two or three fixed interest-free payments depending on the item's value. It's that simple. Thank you, Carols. We are so excited about this opportunity and we know that you will be as well. So enjoy this new way of shopping on Jewelry Maker. So from the three of us and everyone else here at Jewelry Maker, see it, love it, split it.
Introducing Toby Cavill. His family have deep roots in the jewellery trade for well over 50 years. Best known for their diamond jewellery and designing pieces for top celebrities from the prominent jewellery quarter of Birmingham. After travelling in Chanterbury, Thailand, Toby's love for exotic gemstones and the city itself soared, quickly establishing himself in what is considered to be one of the major gemstone and jewellery centres of the world. He has spent the last 10 years working in some of the most hands-on expanses of the gemstone trade, whether looking at developments of certain gemstone cuts, to looking at the ergonomics of jewellery design, all the way to negotiating deals on quality, on price, on location, the mines. He uses his experience and knowledge to help Gemporia always stay ahead of the curve. Here at Jewellery Maker, we want to still be able to support you in your jewellery making journey. We understand that during these unprecedented times, the priority is to keep everyone safe. We want to still give you the option to learn, experience and join like-minded people by offering our online workshops. Our online workshops are still run by our amazing designers who will guide you step by step and give you all the support needed to develop your skills. For more information, contact our workshop coordination team by emailing sarah.bingham at jewellerymaker.com. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Welcome back, you're watching Jewelry Maker. My name's Jenny Cleary and we got an hour for you. Please welcome our guests. My first time having Mel Green back since uh, Christmas. So, Happy New Year, Mel Happy Green. Happy New Year. Yeah, how how good? are you? Really good, thank you. How, yes. What have you been up to? Oh, busy, busy trying out new um, new mediums. Excellent. Yes. Any got... buzzwords for us? Um, glass. Oh, I love glass fusioning. Oh, no, it's not fun. fusion. What are you doing? Ooh. Blowing? No. What? <laughs> what? Stained. <gasps> I'm very excited yes. about that. <laughs> oh, Mel, I can't wait. Now, your kits, we are absolutely delighted with. They are going at a ridiculous price, and they have all got sterling silver sliders in them with hearts on. I love them. I'm so obsessed with these heart sliders. They're, they're beautiful. I've never seen them before. No, this is the first time I've seen them, and they are absolutely Absolutely gorgeous. They are gorgeous. I can't wait for it. Now, before that, we're going to go into a little bit of, it is the love event, and we're going to talk to you about love crystals, love gemstones. You know that I like to put a rose quartz in the bath with me. I've got quite a few guests in my bath at the moment. I've got an amber. I've got a rose quartz. I've got some uh, some rose petals as well. I like throwing them in. Um, and I've got, I've got some aquamarine going in my bath. An amber, a rose quartz, aquamarine, what else? Oh, and an emerald. Now, <laughs> just because uh, I am a little bit mad like that, we have got a beautiful collection of rose quartz for you. And whether you want to make palm stones out of these, which one should we do first? You've got, we've got those wonderful shields, which I am rather obsessed with. Should we do those first? Wayne? We're going to do them all three together? What, at that price? I thought that was an individual price. I'm going to show you them because they're on pre-order now and we're going to give you the kits first. Where's the moon? I'll find it. You've got the moon coming uh, with this as well. We're very, very, very delighted. Oh, you meant do the rose quartz kit first. Sorry. Right. I get him. Okay. Now, this kit is going to sell out. I am telling you that. Now, let me just go to my little source. I'm gonna, we're going to give you a clock, but I can't decide whether it's all about the rose quartz cubes or whether it's all about this amazing finding. You can engrave these as well. Oh my gosh, I love them. Look, you've got a heart slider and I love it. I really heart this kit. <laughs> that was terrible, sorry. But then... You've got rose quartz cubes. Now, these slider bracelets are absolutely full of gold and silver. Only the richest of ingredients. You've got those two stopper beads on the end, and this is in a box chain. You are already going wild on the phone lines for this. There is already a queue. Let's, let's start the clock. Now, we're not gonna give you this kit at 25 pounds today. We're not going to give you this kit at 20 pounds today. Wayne is stood up on his guinea pig hind legs 
and he is ready, have a look at him, to give you a deal. He's like Rumpelstiltskin, he's telling me now. Oh, we can't see him. Um, Wayne's just telling me now this is one of his favourite kits of the year so far. It's absolutely mine. Rose Quartz is called the Heart Stone. And it's been used as a love token as early as 600 BC. And it's still an important talisman of relationships today. It's, a, it's effective at attracting new love, romance and intimacy or in developing a closer bond with family or friends. It supports connection with groups, communities and carries a high spiritual attunement to the earth, the universe and the divine. It inspires the love of beauty in, in oneself and others. Let's go shopping for these beautiful cubes. I can't wait to show you this price. They are going to sell out at this price. We, like I said, we're not going to £25 for this kit. We're not even going to £20 for this kit. We're going to give you the RRP, and then you'll see that Wayne and I will be in trouble. We are going to get into trouble for this because here's your guide price on your screen right now. And the guide price is what the buyers feel is a very competitive price when you look at our, when you look at where else you can get these gemstones from, which, by the way, is few and far between. Where you can get these findings from, which, by the way, again, very difficult to source anywhere else. In fact, I've never seen these heart findings before. Wait, have they been separate before? But none of us recall ever, ever seeing them. Now... A mothering crystal, a crystal to call in new love or strengthen a romantic, romantic relationship, a stone of love, tenderness and sensuality, a powerful aphrodisiac. That's what they say about this gemstone. Rose quartz with that gorgeous rose gold, it just works, doesn't it? There you have it. Now, we are expecting a sellout at that price. I love that ladder weave. I love the fact that you've got the slider bracelet in there. I think you could make a humongous profit with this because you know what? Just three of these on the slider bracelet, you can sell that. Then you've got most of the strand left. I will count them if you make me. Now, I've got loads of you there. Look at those gorgeous earrings. Utilizing the tassel. Andrea, you've got two. Debbie, you've got yours. Nicole, I've got to let you know that well over half the stock has already gone. It, that number there we are not catching up with you fast enough there are loads of you there nicole sarah debbie aloma i've got angela tracy olga june debbie melanie maker in west midlands i have got amanda glennis carol with two debbie joe maureen linda julie madeleine with two maker in yorkshire with two lynn i have got pearl i've got uh Alison in Kent, Cumbria, Lincolnshire, Norfolk, Shan, you've got yours. Mary, you've got yours. Fiona, you've got yours. Make sure you're checking out baskets. This will sell out today. Now, Rose Quartz is a great one. I will, I'll count them for you then. Uh, and, and in these cubes, so brilliant because there's so many different avenues you can explore with them. Now, I want you to think about tassels on a tassel ring. I want you to think about, you know where you do like the bubble style, real 1920s. Oh, look. Hang yeah, on a minute. The tassel is amazing. They've got jump rings on them. Yeah. That's I've never what, seen that, that before. That's exactly why I use them for the earrings, because these tassels are just beautiful. I thought you'd done that yourself. This nope. is wonderful. Nope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, six, and seventeen, eight, nine, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty nine on my strand with clarity. They're so beautiful. I'm great for putting in a break. Bracelets. They're perfect for that. They're just such a super size. They go really well with the jadeite bracelet that I've got um, on my wrist right now. And the thing about rose quartz is it will go with any precious metal colour. So once you have used that wonderful slider, then you can indeed go in then with silver, with gold. It matters not. It's always going to look absolutely beautiful. Now, like I said to you, I'm a big fan of putting gemstones in the bath with me, but I am rather strange like that. This is a calming and reassuring crystal, excellent for use in a crisis, including an emotional upheaval, a midlife crisis. It's said to strengthen empathy, so I'm going to send some of that to my daughter sensitivity and aids in the acceptance of necessary change which i feel like we're all going through right now it's also an excellent stone for comforting grief so this is a th these are all uh, myths and legends or historical attachments to the gemstone i'm not a doctor if you have any particular um, ailment then of course you must also always seek medical advice first and please be glad that i'm not your doctor i'd be absolutely 
mad at it. BCXC78, these sliders we can confirm have never been anywhere else before. You've never seen them before. They are completely exclusive to us here at Jewelry Maker. We are delighted to bring them to you. We've only got 15 chances and I've got about 30 unchecked baskets. Mel, how easy was it to use these uh, rose quartz? Have they got a decent drill hole in them? Oh, yes, definitely, yeah. Um, I've, as I say, I've used thread on some of them. Um, I've also, with the earrings, I just kept them on the, the thread that they came because the jump ring was attached. So, so there you that have it. was a really quick and easy make. I'm really, I'm delighted that they've added those jump rings yeah. on there. How wonderful is it? BCXC78, now's the time to check out baskets as quickly as you can. We've only got 14 left and I've got over 40 of you with unchecked baskets. Uh, check out Stace, Janice, Maker in Wiltshire, Angela, Jacqueline, Elizabeth in Ayrshire, and then I've got another Elizabeth, um, don't know where you're from, Angela, uh, Joe, Beverly, Maureen, Julie, Madeleine, that's just to name a few, and quite a few of you have more than one in your basket. I know you're chomping at the bit to see the other kits, you must check out each time. By the way, if you're looking to utilise your 1PMP, click that combine order, we'll work it out for you after midnight, even if it looks like we haven't done it, we have. Uh, we're doing our bit for the carbon footprint and for your purse strings. Love that. Always give them a kiss before you put them back. Let's go with the turquoise next. I loved this turquoise. And doesn't it have to go with the gold oh, now? Oh, definitely, has yes. has to go with the gold. It's so Egyptian. Now turquoise. And, and again, this wonderful finding. I kind of want to engrave this. I'm going to show you the 925 that's on the back because a lot of you... Uh, will want that if you're selling your pieces on. You can see it has that identification mark of 925 solid sterling silver. If you are selling your pieces on and somebody's allergic, that's the first thing they're going to do. They're going to look for that. You've got that wonderful heart finding and you've got that lovely luster coming from 18 karat gold. Now remember what we've seen chains at and this is a box chain. So talk to me about this turquoise, Wayne. You've got amazing rounds and... You've got, I think it's reconstituted turquoise here because you've got these big holes here too. Now, this is your turquoise option. Turquoise is a gemstone, of course, again, that we have loved and adored for many, many years. And we can date this back to hundreds and hundreds of years. Very, very much used by the ancient Egyptians. And in fact, was so valuable to the ancient Egyptians. They rated it higher than gold. So if they were trading with it, it was worth more money than gold was. And I think that's really, that's really nice to note, isn't it? Now, we're going to get that clock back. You know where we're going. So make sure you're quick to check out baskets. If you would like the turquoise with the gold, and I do think it's such a classic uh, combination, then let's go shopping. Uh, now, when you shop with us here at Jewelry Maker, you can utilize one PMP. It's only three pounds and 95 pence. It doesn't matter how heavy your basket is. We're not gonna charge you any extra postage or if you're shopping from uh, America's shipping and handling. All you've got to do is click that box that says combine order. Now, when you do that, it might look like we've charged you postage again but we won't we actually don't charge you till after midnight but what we must do is encourage you to check out each time i know that sometimes if, if you're shopping for clothes and things online you don't want to do that because you lose your one pmp but you won't in our instance i promise you are you ready if this is the first time you're shopping with us here at jewelry make you're also going to get two free strands and a get started dvd a plethora of amazing inspiration from our designers both on our youtube channel and on our own website i love that that's beautiful yeah, you see i'd multi-buy oh i love it. I would want to do a bracelet as well. That is gorgeous. Um, I absolutely adore the way you've done that. Uh -huh. Beautiful. We, we always say about turning them into necklaces, so... JIXC21 is your item code. Let's go shopping. I love what Mel's done. If you've got any questions, you know how to get hold of us, don't you? 78070. Uh, 148 here. Just 148. I love the earrings as well. You've yeah. got, and, and with gold, perfect. It is. Tiffany and Co are doing that little um, thing at the moment with like spaces in between that look like crimps and you've replicated it. I think it looks yeah. beautiful. Are you ready? You know the price, $14.99. There's already a queue. If you could use that number one button on your phones, that would be really helpful. Hit number one and it will just skip you past speaking to the human beings and you can tap your details in at the automated system. It's a little bit quicker for you that way. Uh, isn't turquoise beautiful? It's a gemstone of growth is what they, uh, they used to believe. Um, but it's also a passionate gemstone. And I still have 10 of the gemstones left after making the necklace and the earrings. You still had 10 big pieces of turquoise left. 
So because they're big, aren't they? Yeah. They're not small. See, that's why rounds. I say that is perfect for um, for your bracelet. So, as I say, I would definitely be multi buying. And so, the drill holes on them are decent, aren't yeah. they? They're really decent drill yeah. holes. Um, so it's perhaps one of the oldest stones uh, in history that has been used for um, talismans um, by our ancients. It was used by kings, shamans, warriors. It's a, it was a stone of protection in those days. Um, it's a beautiful gem. So, is it, so we can date it back to 5000 BC um, as having been found in Iraq. Um, now, for, for nearly a thousand years, Native Americans have minded and fashioned turquoise using it to guard their burial sites. Um, so there's a little bit of information for you on this one. Um, now, let me see. Ba -ba -bam. But it's just such a beautiful, bright colour. It just makes you smile at the moment where it's so dreary out. Mm. And to everyone knows it, don't they, turquoise? Pop of colour, yeah. It's just... It, I, I absolutely adored. That was the first one I went to. Because of the colours? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, and you know something? I think we're ready to create our summer pieces now. Yeah. We're so thinking of just being able to sit out in the garden, even if we can't go anywhere, which none of us know yet, at least we can get out in the garden. We can wear cheery things, and this is absolutely going to cheer you up, I think so. Ten chances now, nine. It's called True Love. We've only got eight left. I've got over again over 40 in baskets. It looks like uh, a lot of you that bought the first kit are also going for this one. I need to let you know that these findings are exclusive to these kits. You cannot get any of these slider bracelet findings outside of the kits. They are not available on their own. We have put all of the stock of these sliders into our kits. So if they sell out, that is it. They are gone. And you know that we're giving you a super price for silver and gold at the moment. I've got one more kit with these sliders to give to you. Um, and uh, it's, it's silver. So we know that that one's going to fall. Uh, now, listen, I've got six left, and I can see so many of you, and a lot of you with twos and threes in baskets. Northumberland, Christine, Lisa, Gabby, Jane, County Durham. Uh, I've got two Lisas. I've got Jacqueline. I've got Maker in North Yorkshire. You've got a few in your basket. Janice, Linda. Oh, there's loads of you there. Um, that will sell itself out. Am I ready for this? I don't know. Am I? You see, to me, it's buy this bracelet and get a free strand of gemstones. 100%, yeah. So, you know, it's such good value, really is. Oh, I love it. I love that toggle. I just love the way you did that turquoise because it reminds me of, like, you know, like you could have, like, um, a Stetson at the back of it, a yes. hat. A Stetson? Do I mean a Stetson? Yeah. Yeah. A hat. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like a cowgirl. Yes. I love yeah. it. With your Daisy Dukes on. Now you've got a minute to get yourself sorted because this is going to be really popular. Silver is always incredibly popular. It's the go-to metal if you're not sure what, whether your friends like uh, rose gold or gold or your customers. If you're buying this to sell on, buy it in absolute droves because this is going to be a Valentine's hot to trot. Let's go! Oh eight hundred six two four four six double five. There are still cues from the last two kits, so if you could just bear with us, I'm I'm so sorry about them, and, I, and I'm sorry if we're getting rather excited about this, but we are excited. It's such a super opportunity. Now opal, we know, is a stone of great luck and also love. It's treasured by those October babies, and is said to be very lucky if gifted to you by somebody that loves you which I think is a lovely thing. So it's a great one for, for Valentine's gifts. So if you're ever gifted opal by somebody that loves you, you keep hold of it because it's said to be extremely, extremely lucky. Now we've got opal in, in such a beautiful feminine form here in pink, which is really treasured. Um, it really is a, a beautiful gemstone and a stone of such incredible legend, as I'm sure you know. It's a healing stone. Um, it's associated with the eyes, actually. Five seconds to make it yours let's go shopping we got 197 we have the most out of all of the kits of this one we expect you to be multi-buying out of the most this one silver is always the most popular and i think it's easy to sell as well if you're um if you are if you are um buying from us to to create to sell now Opal is, of course, also a birth gemstone. So turquoise was, was December's, and I'm, I'm sorry I neglected to tell you that. What I love, sorry, Jenny, was no, the, um, be sorry. the pink, the different tones, because pink's one of those colours, some people either sort of like it or they don't. Oh, I love um, pink. 
I don't wear a huge amount of pink, but because of the different subtle tones that you get in this, um, I think it, it goes for anybody now. It's, you know, I really, really enjoyed working with this one. Um, I mean, I love opal it's anyway. It's a classy pink. It's a classic pink. Yes. It's not an in-your-face pink. It's a very earthy, beautiful pink, isn't it? Yeah. Now, considered to be um, a gift from the goddess of fruit, uh, fruitfulness and Mother Earth. Soothing for children and animals and adults overwhelmed by life. Useful for healing old emotional wounds. Um, this is in particular um, with regards to pink opal. Um, said to increase your awareness to heal the earth. And excellent journey stone. We are about to sell out. $14.99. I know we're going to sell out of this one. ZIX. C64 is your item code. Be as quick as you can. You've got such a lot of pink opal. I'm going to show you. Look, you've got the most um, in terms of gemstones out of this one. At $14.99, you've just got such a super duper price. And there's Kay with two, Andrea with two, Angela with three, Mandy with two, Claire with two, Maker in Staffordshire with two. I have got Debbie with two, uh, West Midlands with two, Hampshire with two. Leslie, Anne, you've got yours. Olga's shopping, so's Wendy, June, Alison, Sandra, Sue with four. Um, I have got so many of you there. Hannah takes two. Half the stock's gone. This one will sell out today. Just get it over and done with. You know what he's going to do. We are going to get absolutely roasted for this. But you knew we were going to do something cheeky. You knew. <laughs> we just had to justify it. I can't justify it because it was already <laughs> selling out at that price tag. So we're like, oh, it's going to sell out. It's going to sell out. But we were going to take the price down twelve ninety nine. Quickly do it. Let's quickly. I want it off the screen before they see it in the buying office. 87 chances, but of course, way more in baskets than we can possibly catch up with. Now, Zena puts an extra in her basket. Three for you, Z. Roz takes two. I have got Tracy with two. Maker in West Midlands with five of this kit. It's the only way you can get the slider uh, by, by getting this kit. 79, uh, 69 chances. Sorry, ZIXC 64. Rapidly depleting stock. One one chance for you and that will be today we do not have these sliders outside of the kit this price will never be guaranteed again Wayne is just saying that price won't happen again we have got in trouble for that uh, but it was worth it um, Corolla you've got yours you've got to check out June Jan make it so many of you uh, now Mel you're going to show us yes a little bit what, of the ladder darling? weave oh fabulous thank so, you um, do take it away lovely thank you um, right I've got the um, rose gold um, slider and what I've done here is I'm using some of the green fire lines so you can see it Ooh, easier. Lovely. Um, I've already loaded it, uh, put it onto two needles because it's just a lot easier and it was just a case of pop the thread through the end loop and then pop on one of these beautiful rose quartz um, so you need to pop two on what you're basically doing is making a loop with four so I've popped two on one side and two on the other and then you need to put the third one in um, actually let me sorry backtrack one sec so right so yes yeah, so I've got one let's pop that there so I've popped one on one either side and then I'm going to pop one of these little accent beads on these are what come in most of our little finding packs now and they're fantastic if you haven't got them then little seed beads work beautifully and then what you want to do is pop another um, one of the cubes, the rose quartz, but you want to go through both ways. So pop the needle on, pop the needle through that way, and then come back through with the other needle and pull it down. 
and that creates your first little square. Now this is how you can make a beady bead as well um, by using 12 of the, the gemstones. So now this one acts as the first one, so we're going to pop another one on each side. Uh, if I can find the drill hole, there we are. Let's pop one on that side, one on the other, and then again, we now need to join them together. So pop one on here and bring the needle back through. So let's bring that down so you can see, bring the needle back through the other way. And then when you pull that down, that creates your second square. What I should have done looking at it was I should have put two little beads on um, at the beginning. But you can put the accent beads in. Some of them I've, I've purposely left um, gaps on the actual bracelet um, just so that it brings out the, the squares so let's pop another bead on each side. There we go. Pull those down. And then we need to add three more because you've got your first. So you need to pop one on each, whoops, one on each side. These, the pinks in these are so, the d depth of colour, it's so difficult to find um, the drill hole. There we go. So pull that down and then I'm going to pop two more beads on. And then put the third one in. So if you were doing a beady bead, which is what I've done for the necklace, um, as I say, you would use 12 of the gemstones. So we've got what here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we would do this again. We would put two more beads on and then you would join up to the, the original bead. But what I'm going to do is leave it there. Um, well, to even it, I'll just do one more on each side and then pop one more in. Beautiful jewellery now, right, Jill. Uh, what thread are you using, please? These deals are crazy today, by the way. Jill, I'm, I'm telling you. It's like... I don't know. It is crazy. It's like Alton Towers of deals today. Uh, what thread was it, darling? It's the Fireline. Um, I've just, as I say, I think I'm sure it is the Fireline. Yeah. So um, I have it in all different colours. In the actual um, necklace, I did it in the white. But for demo purposes, I'm just using the green because it just Love shows that up. green. It's a yes. lovely colour. And it, it, the green is perfect because it hides its way in a lot of the different coloured gemstones. Mm. Um, it's beautiful. So, so that's what I was using. Look lovely with rose quartz, that green as well. Yes. Yeah. So when we get to the end... Um, what I did was I went back through, let's pop it down this way, I went back through the um, bracelet, the end of the bracelet, let's bring that round, and then I just pulled it tight and then worked my way down to get the two threads till I got to a point where the two threads would um, meet each other. Sorry, let's turn that round so I'm working the right way. And then once you get to a point like here, you can then 
sorry it's all gone a little bit loose but you would pull it tight and then just knot it don't take your needles off um, <laughs> sorry I'm making this look a lot harder than it is do a couple of knots and then whilst you have still got the needles on take your thread follow through um, to take it away from your knot I can't see it's Even. very difficult when you've got to demonstrate on television because you can't bring it up to your face. <laughs> uh, Mel is actually having to sort of be blight, like away from yourself when you've got the camera going there. <laughs> it's hard, isn't it, Mel? It is. <laughs> so pull those away from where you've knotted, so it's a little bit messy. That's beautiful. I love that you've put the rose gold beads in there. I think it looks so pretty. It's just a little accent that mm. just... Um, just sort of, you know, lifts it a little bit. Using your fist girl scissors there, the only yes. scissors to use for yes, beading. Yes, they're brilliant, they are. So, yes, you get the idea as to, to how it's done. And obviously it's a lot neater on the... Um, the actual one Beautiful. and obviously you don't see the thread so well so much well you either. did that on purpose because you wanted yes. us to see the threads that yeah we how beautiful thank you so much my Mel. pleasure now we are going to give you that i've got to let you know that the bundle we're about to give you has been on pre-order and already a huge amount of stock has gone on pre-order um i'm going to be I'm going to tell you, um, there's a real famous ancient spell that I'm going to talk to you about. And um, please, please know that I am quite loony. Um, and if you don't believe in that sort of thing, it's absolutely fine. Um, but I'm just going to tell you what my, my grandma taught this uh, particular spell to me. It's a, a, a star by using rose quartz. We've got some beautiful strands of rose quartz but what I want you to think about is maybe you're selling jewellery but also maybe you're selling sort of wellness packs and pouches as well um, you do get one pouch with this and it also comes with a moon so you might want to save that one little moon for someone special or for yourself so it comes in pouches and I just have um, this little idea that you could yes create gorgeous jewellery and if you've already got lots of jewellery in your collection that's that's what um, in, in your on your website or on your Etsy page you want to do something different what about putting together a little bit of um, a pack uh, for wellness and it could be that you are to, to explain this and please know I'm not pushing anything onto anybody Wayne and I put this show together and I um, am a bit of a believer in wicker spells and things like that because my grandma used to tell me that she was a white witch and she taught me a few things and um when I was growing up, when I was 18, I tell you this story all the time. Bruce is absolutely d d sick of it. Uh, instead of getting me what a usual grandma would get, and I had two very se very separate... My gran was very against things like that. My grandma was very for it. For my 18th birthday, she bought me a big velvet, red velvet book of spells. And uh, I thought, what's she giving me this for? And actually, it's been... It, I absolutely love it. It's something that I, I just think is one of the most precious things to me. It was a very strange present for a grandma to give to an 18-year-old on their birthday but that's what my grandma did um, and so I'm going to talk to you a little bit about that and I want you to think about you know it's great to have all your gorgeous jewellery on your websites that you're selling that you've made and it's wonderful but you could do little wellness packs and whether somebody believes in and, and it's, it could be a ritual rather than a spell it, it's totally up to you and I'm going to talk to you about what you can do with these rose quartz uh, but you've got some very individual strands here so first of all and it doesn't just have to be about love. Uh, it, it's a great, uh, this is a great gemstone for bonding with family members. They actually say for new mummies to place um, rose quartz on your tummy when you're pregnant as well to help with the bond. And again, I'm not a doctor. These are just beliefs. Beliefs, they are not facts at all. Um, and I do accept that I am completely mad. I accept that and I'm okay with it. Now, you get this little cute moon. I think I would probably keep the moon uh, for my own stash. 
you've got a little drill hole at the top and I think perhaps that would come out every time I lit a candle and at certain phases of the moon and I think that's really cute and it's been hand carved in Brazil has that then you're getting these shields now if you're using rose quartz uh, to shield yourself from love um, I think these are ideal so you've got one, two, three, four, five of these. Shield yourself from a broken heart. We know that there's ever such a, a connection between love and the heart um, with, with rose quartz. But then we've got something a little bit more fun, a little bit more lighthearted because these have been mystic coated for you. And I think, again, these could go around candles. They could go in bracelets. One of these on a Marla necklace, these will make a big, big statement. You've got that wonderful iridescent coating there, which really adds to the ambience if you are lighting candles. Um, of course if you're lighting candles please be careful you've then got the same in cubes these could be decorative but I think the children will like these and I think these ones in particular make nice palm stones uh, because they've got a texture to them so if you like to meditate with gemstones these would be lovely to roll around your hand and then you've got the pouch there too so while you look at those I'm going to tell you about a, a, an ancient spell that my that's in my book but it's also in my um, it was actually in my reference guide that I use quite often which a lot of you have um, asked me and I've, I've let you know what it is if you, if you want to follow me on Instagram it's at Ginevra a e n e v r a and you can message me that way and i'll send you where i get my source where i get my information from but to call in love or strengthen a romantic relationship there's a wicker spell uh, you place pink roses and a rose quartz on a private love altar and light pink candles you can enclose a photo of yourself and your lover within within a little um just on the side it doesn't have to be in framed or anything like that it could even be on your phone on the side um, and you you sit in the corner and you can just think about that relationship you light the candles and you have your rose quartz there you've got your pink candles but also you've got your rose petals so it's like a little love altar um, and it's said to help restore trust and harmony and encourage unconditional love in a relationship it's also said to give you love tenderness and sensuality so just pink candles and I actually asked Wayne whether we could get some pink candles but we couldn't get them could we um so it, it, and, and and you don't have to chant anything you can if you want to uh, but that's just a, a really easy sort of wicker spell and it could be that you want to, to it, it, you and your children if you're having um if you're having worries or a turbulent relationship with your children or anybody it, that could be a nice thing for you to do 29.99 buys you one two three strands and the moon and the pouch if you've got any little pink candles uh, it, it's an ideal thing to do and you don't have to chant and chant and chant mkx C54, there's absolutely loads of you there. Patricia, Linda, June, Dorothy, James, Greater, uh, Greater London, North Yorkshire, Jill. And the, the lads are now sharing absolute love and adoration for each other. We haven't even lit the pink candles. Light the pink candles, little photograph of yourself and the one that you want to draw yourself um, together with. It could be on a phone, it could be in a photograph, it could be, you know, anything like that. Pink candles, rose quartz, uh, and do it on a Friday. It's Friday today. Friday is the most auspicious day for, um, for doing spells. Do it on a Friday. $29.99 MKX C54. What a great price for such a huge, huge, huge carat weight of wonderful rose quartz. But Mel, I've spoken about how to use this in a very strange way. How would you use this? Well, I was just <laughs> looking at the, um, the little heart. And I've oh, it's got, a moon, the little uh, moon. Sorry, the moon. I've got um, a key ring with an amethyst heart. <gasps> So I'd like to put the little moon with How it. How lovely. Um, but I love the shape of those shields as well. Yeah, and let's have a look at those because they're massive. You could put those in rings. I actually think they make beautiful brooches. Yeah, yeah. Do you? Or spearheads. And also, I mean, with a little bit of wire work around them, they would be beautiful pendants. Wouldn't they um, just? But I quite like the idea of a big chunky ring with the, um, uh, the other strand that you've got There's, there. Oh, with this one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, and do you know um, they lie flat, they do? Yes, yeah. So I think one of those. And they would be so easy to prong set because of the shape of them. Um, uh, Sharon's just messaged in saying, Hi, Jenny and Tim. I don't think you're crazy. I too believe in gemstone healing. Great show. Uh, we'd love Sharon. Thank you, Sharon. Yeah, I have um, the crystal by the side of my bed because it's meant to help me Which to crystal sleep. do you have? I can't remember. It's, um, my sister's called Celestine. And it's the it's the crystal that is so it's almost the same name. I don't know 
Mm. We'll have a think yes, about that. It's Celeste something. It's not Celestine, but it's Celeste something. I can't remember what it is. Oh. Um, but it's meant to help pay you sleep. Yeah. Rose Quartz is said to help you give a good night's sleep too, you know. I could do with lots and lots of <laughs> Yeah, me too. It's hard, isn't it? Uh, Linda says, you're not loony, Jenny. I love to hear your stories and add your wicker spells to my own wicker book of spells. Beautiful. Thank you. I know it's naughty, but shouldn't really talk about wicker. But, you know, I'm not pushing it on anyone. Please think that. And my grandma was also a devout Catholic. So, you know, there's a little bit of conflict in that. Now, which one next? We've got loads of goodies to give to you. Let's do more rose quartz. And this one I think you can make a straight-up necklace out of. Um, and then I'm going to talk to you more about rose. I think I would knot this. I'd, put, I'd knot this and put it straight into a necklace. I think it's beautiful. And if you want to keep it close to your heart, great stuff. Now, I get, uh, you know that we've been using rose quartz. Do you know the ancient Egyptians, or, uh, when they looked through the uh, pyramids, there was loads of rose quartz in there. And I can't remember what they believed that it would, um, hang on, it's thought by the Egyptians and Romans to clear the complexion and prevent wrinkles. But actually now we do use rose quartz rollers to do the same thing. Yeah. So there might have been something in that, mightn't there? But I love the, um, the knotting technique. I found it for you. So rose quartz is a wonderful sleep crystal for adults and children. Look at this price. Ten pounds, a whole rose quartz necklace. You can you can separate these earrings, loads of earrings, one big gemstone on the slider bracelet. There's so much you can do with these. So here we go. Um, wonderful sleep crystal for adults and children, providing beautiful dreams as well as preventing nightmares or night terrors. My daughter used to get night terrors. Um, it helps children not be afraid of the dark. And it's a calming and reassuring crystal, excellent for use in trauma or crisis. Remember that these are beliefs, not facts. And he's done it again. He's done another Wayne at seven nights. Stop! What's wrong? Are you drunk? I think he's drunk. He's not drunk. He's really... Wayne, stop it. £6.99. pence. We can all try it out. And if you don't believe it, but you think anything's worth a go, try it out at this price. Because anything's worth a go, isn't oh, it? Oh, definitely, I've yes. got loads... If you, when you pull my bed sheets back... There's just a sea of, <laughs> not my bed, like the actual sheet that's, you know, um, there's a sea of gemstones. Oh, Wayne. <laughs> He's like, oh, there's an offer. No, Wayne, if you, if you, if I said to you, can you change the bedding, you pull it back and there's like all these gemstones. Like, there's a fairy stone, there's a sunstone, there's a rose quartz. What else have I got under there? All sorts of things. I'm have to... <laughs> 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 they're laughing like oh as if I'm going to come around your house and do your housework for you <laughs> um, I actually quite enjoy doing my housework uh, FEP 073 uh, 699 there's a queue yeah we've, we, they're flying out I can see them and he's going to take another pound off. Maybe you're going to use this in... Do you know what, what rounds are great for? Meditation. If you don't believe in crystal healing, think about... Look at that. 5 99 Think about beads for meditation and using genuine gemstones. They warm up in your hands. They feel lovely. Maybe you can't take your brain away. I find it quite hard to meditate because my brain will not shut yeah, up. That's why I can't sleep because my brain just me doesn't too. stop. Isn't it hard? Yeah. You've got to really put your phone down turn the telly off, try and read a book, try and... I had a lovely candle going last night, a green one. I was trying to get to sleep. Um, brain asks me ridiculous things. Like, what was I doing the other night? Googling Rita or what Rita Ora's mum looked like. Then I was Googling if we were the only animals that cried at 2am. Just go to sleep, Jenny. Five ninety nine FEP O seventy three rose quartz from Brazil. Look, I think we're all like that at the moment. It's no one you, knows what's going on, do it's they? When you wake up in the morning and you've had the weirdest dreams, and you think, "What on earth is going through my head?" Yeah, for me to have those dreams in the first place, <laughs> it's quite worrying. <laughs> I know it is, isn't it? It, well, we're all like it. There's a lot of pressure on everybody right now, I guess. Uh, so you have got from 6 to 14 millimetres. Let me show you around the strand. So you've got the small ones here. So they're, they're a great size, really. And, and you could make lots of macrame necklaces and bracelets out of this, you know. Going if you've down, got a couple, could you do a mala? Yes, of course. Do you know, I don't think you need to be stuck on how many beads. That, was it, is that 108? I'm not. 108 beads. For the, you want me to count them, don't you? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine thirty one two three four five six seven eight nine forty one two three four five six seven eight nine fifty one two three four. It's perfect. Oh, bang on two. Yes, yeah. bang on. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. That was. It's meant to be. And what to be two for a to make a mala out of? Of course, well. because you're thinking about love as you're yeah. making it, and it, and it's. I think at the moment now we need to. Um, I think these will go really beautifully with this lapis lazuli oh. as well, by the way. And, and lapis lazuli is said to be a great gemstone for those that um, have grumpy teenagers in their house. <laughs> and I have a boy and you have a boy, Mal. And um, well, you, you've got three boys, right? I've got three, yeah. So, you know, when they are 15, they go through this, oh, why stage. Mine's going through that right yeah, now. Mine, mine was a few years back now that <laughs> I went through that. <laughs> they get over it, don't they? Don't they? Yeah. Oh yes, yeah. <laughs> now let me have a let. Me, if you don't mind, can I show you the lapis? Is that okay? Now I stole the moo kite from the last hour, Wayne. I'm sorry, but I had to because I love it. Love that strand. Now, Mark Smith, if you are watching, sir, you are going to be getting these. Look how beautiful these are. Oh. It's not helping putting. Oh my gosh, I love it in the graduations as well. I'll find a white bust, but. Oh, look, look at them. They're all beautiful, the aren't they? Little gold spacer beads yes. in between. Oh, that would be stunning. I absolutely adore these. And we're going to talk to you. We're going to show you the road to the mine. Uh, we're we're going to get... How many have we got? You're going to stay with me until every single one of these is sold out because the deal is increasable. Incra I just made up another word. <laughs> Stick that one on the dictionary, Guru Rider. Increasable. Uh, they're going on pre-order for you because, okay, give, give me a little, hang on, I don't need a hint like you told me earlier. Oh, yeah, we had a big discussion about this earlier. Mm. Ooh, one of the best deals of the year, Wayne says. And remember, I reckon, we, you can't remember something I haven't mentioned. Um, I reckon that any any moment... We're going to find a big drought in lapis lazuli because it takes 10 years from mine to get here. And we all know that when if you, you source this in Afghanistan, Wayne's saying he's, yeah, he has had the email from the supplier. I thought, because I actually kept thinking, how are we getting this when we know that the position, the political position in um, Afghanistan isn't great, is it? Coming up for you and it's on pre order. Should we show you how to, how to get hold of pre order? You get onto the website. Sorry, I just threw that in. I'll tell you. Go onto the website. There's a little tab. It says pre-order. You've got to click watch us live. And there's a tab. It says pre-order on the right. And the same on the um, Dubri, you know, the thingamajig, the app. Now, where are we to? Where are we to? Where are we to? Oh, oh, oh. Wayne. Yes! I've been bathing with emeralds because this is an ultimate love stone, okay? With this, with the sliders, gold, I think. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Look at the quality of this emerald. It's insane. Where's it from? It's got to be... It's, I thought it's either Zambian or it's Colombian. So um, in the world of emeralds, there are two um, locations that really do... They really do, don't they? Uh, they are the most sought-after locations for an emerald. Either Colombia or Zambia both give a really unique colour, but with an incredible clarity. OK, we bring you strands of emeralds sometimes. Not, not massively often, but sometimes. And, uh, well, I'll show you. I've got one on. I've got one on right now. I've put my emerald with ruby. Please excuse me, I thought my wrists were fatter than what they were, so I made this. Right, so this is beautiful, this emerald. I've got it in a coin. It's beautiful, isn't it? But can you see the difference? You have got a great clarity to this one. I put it with the ruby because I love emeralds and ruby together, and, and they're Henry VIII's, they were for Henry VIII's favourite combination, apparently. He had, in a tablet, which I'm going to guess was a piece of stone or something, his initials um, in ruby and emerald. Oh, wow. I know. Now, I'm going to take this over here. Is it natural? Look, I want to show you because 
It's very only on oiling. We all do that when we get out of the bath. Look at the clarity. This is my favourite strand of emerald, this is, because of the amazing clarity, the phenomenal quality. And emerald is said to be one of the most powerful love crystals. It's gone in my bath. I told you that earlier. But this one is absolutely going in those slider bracelets. I'm going to have a little section on a slider bracelet and it will be just so beautiful. How many of these have we got left? I need to have this tray. Okay, right. Can could please, I'm so sorry to do this while we're live. I need to have this strand. Can you please put it and just use my email address and I'll tell you my password in a minute. 3499 XKN V27. Now let's think about the world's emeralds. Emeralds of this clarity, and I want, to, I want you to get really close to this because it's insane clarity. Emerald is so beautiful and so sought after, but look at the clarity. You can see these little tiny treasures and think about where they're going to go. But this really is something to aspire to, having a precious gemstone of this kind of quality. To And this is jeweler quality emerald. Let's not make any mistake about it. It's utterly beautiful, and I can't believe you're getting it at so such a huge amount under £100. If this strand was 99.99, we could justify it to you over and over and over again. There is no dye. There is no anything other than an oiling of this gemstone. I love that strand. Did you do it for me? Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to put that there. And I'm going to next give to you uh, the pips. Okay, so I've got this strand. And I so I use this strand. I'm going to make another bracelet out of it, which I might do now. Um... I got this strand to go with the ruby and I got it in pips because I'm a real fan, as you know, of making bracelets out of these pips. Now I've got a larger pip there, um, but what I did, and I've not finished this off properly, so I really apologise because I know it's not good, uh, but I put a little emerald on the end of the ruby because I really wanted that emerald and ruby combination. Now these pips have been so popular and I've got to tell you, over all of the years that we've been um, here at Jewelry Maker, we've never really, apart from the last six months, had this shape and size before uh, they've always been a lot bigger in coins now this is the only emerald strand we have in pips and, it, and we don't have loads left uh, we bought this to you the other day when we had uh, the ruby and I, and I actually requested it because I loved it so much because of the shape and size of them and because I think it goes with those ruby saucers so well. I just love the combination of emerald and ruby and I think this is a really great way a really great way of affordably getting precious gemstones. Now, what I am going to do is ask you a favour. If you've got this, download the certificate of authenticity. It's free once you've purchased it um, after midnight, once your order's gone through. Um, because I think if you sell, a, it's totally natural. Um, if you sell a slider bracelet with emerald in it and you sell it for less than £100, your customers are going to say, how come is it real emerald? And you've got that certificate. If you haven't got a printer... Uh, we'll give it to you in a card. It's 25 pence. Please guess it, because if you don't, I think uh, I, I think you're missing a trick. If, I, I mean, imagine, Mel, creating jewellery out of emerald to sell. What huge credentials. Everyone knows emerald, don't they? Yes, yeah, And definitely. it's a birth gemstone. Yeah, yeah. And as you say, these are beautiful, the way that they lay flat. But you see, my head goes out different directions now with this, the shape of those. And for me, if you do any form of sculpting with um, wire yeah. or like I do with the needle felting, <gasps> these make amazing eyes yes, because they of do. the way they sit. How, and so, they'd be great in the dragons that Alison Tara yes. has been giving us. Now, this is called the Stone of Successful Love. And that's something that Bruce might remember that I was, so, get, I was getting quite gassed about the other day is that um, emerald has been a source of fascination um, for many cultures. Uh, but actually, this was said to have been sold at the markets of Babylon. How amazing yeah. is that? So that was like 6,000 years ago, 4,000 BC it was. History is just incredible, isn't it? Yeah. So it was worshipped by the Incas and, and the ancient Egyptians, a, a stone of wisdom. And the favourite, uh, of course, we know of, of Queen Cleopatra, although she thought her um, mine was an emerald one, but it actually turned out to be a peridot. Um, it's just beautiful, isn't it? Um, so it's an excellent stone for reviving passion uh, to attract romantic love. Wear or carry an emerald uh, out of sight and near the heart. And there course, we go. As you say, it's something everybody's heard of. Everybody knows it. Everybody emerald. knows it. Yeah. Have they sold out? I love that. 
Love that strand. Now, oh, it's break time already. We have got that lapis lazuli coming up for you. I'm gassed about that. Today is going very quickly. If you've got any questions whatsoever, even if you just want to call me loony, uh, then do text us in. We love hearing from you. And Mel's here to help if you've got any questions, uh, jewellery making related or otherwise. Maybe you just want to uh, touch base and chat with us today. If you're on your own, we're here for you. Please just send us a message. Um, it doesn't have to be jewellery maker related. It could just be that you want to say hi and you need someone to chat to today. We'll see you on the other side of this. Jewelry Makers, we have a new Facebook group dedicated to sharing your makes and jewelry making advice. To join the group, simply head over to the page and hit request. You'll then be able to share your designs with our JM community and join like-minded people. Create, wear, share. This week and the Gem Guide Show, nine till midday on Thursday, we're getting lost in the Brazilian interior. This treasure box that has been giving us beautiful gems for the last 300 years has more recently been quietly going into decline in its mining community. However, just before the source disappears forever, I want to explore two of the greatest Brazilian treasures. From the north, Tocantin Garnet, the most extraordinary rhodolite discovered in recent years. And also in the show coming up, Golden Heliodor from Zia. A gemstone that literally looks like it is liquefied golden light suspended, the sun itself crystallized. I hope to see you then. Introducing Toby Cavill. His family have deep roots in the jewellery trade for well over 50 years. Best known for their diamond jewellery and designing pieces for top celebrities from the prominent jewellery quarter of Birmingham. After travelling in Chanterbury, Thailand, Toby's love for exotic gemstones and the city itself soared. Quickly establishing himself in what is considered to be one of the major gemstone and jewellery centres of the world. He has spent the last 10 years working in some of the most hands-on expanses of the gemstone trade. Whether looking at developments of certain gemstone cuts, to looking at the ergonomics of jewellery design, all the way to negotiating deals on quality, on price, on location, at the mines. He uses his experience and knowledge to help Gemporia always stay ahead of the curve. My name is Rachel Morris. I look forward to seeing you all on Saturday the 16th of January for the Masterclass show. And I've used some copper sheet with these beautiful kit colourways to make um, Indian elephants and frogs and lily pads and all sorts of things in sculptural 2D and three-dimensional forms. So I look forward to seeing you all on Saturday the 16th of January for the Masterclass on Jewelry Maker. <laughs> Okay, a big amount of the stock of the lapis lazuli has already gone on. I'll give you a proper stock update in just a sec. Um, we're just having a look because we're really, really busy for the lapis already. So just know this, we're going to give you an excellent deal. This is a very unique bundle because we don't have lots of these frosted gemstones. They come in and they fly out. It's really difficult, isn't it, to try and get uh, gemstones that will work in lots of different genres, but 
also and quite importantly for uh, men's makes. I think we're especially thinking about that knowing that we've got about a month uh, for Valentine's Day. So men's makes, a lot of us can't go shopping at the moment. So people are reaching out to local businesses and they are looking to you perhaps for something special for a loved one. I think this is a great gemstone to make his and hers pieces because I think it's one of those gemstones that anybody would love to wear. So if you want to create that matching jewellery set to sell to your wonderful customers, then look no further. And the great thing is it could be that you want to do earrings for the, for the her piece of the his and her and you want to do a macrame bracelet. You've got the differing sizes. So you've got a lot of scope for your design here. You can also make accessories with these because of that. But you can do a great big hero piece too. Now, this is also a great one. If you've got kids and you want to make them something and you all have something matching, I think, in particular, young kids are fascinated by this gemstone when they learn its history. I think a lot of children are really fascinated to learn about gemstones. And this is a particular fascination at the moment for anybody who's got uh, children who are into gaming because lapis lazuli, or as they call it on the game, which game is it again? Uh, lapis lazuli, it's on Minecraft. Um, uh, it's a gemstone featured there. So I know that the boys next door to me, Charlie and William, are obsessed with this gemstone because they hear about it on their game and they always ask me have you got any lapis lazuli for us and I'm like yes um, now, so it's a really great one for everybody in the family if you've got younger children that do like to play that game uh, if you've got anyone that you want to make men's makes for but also if you've got teenagers and I'm going to talk to you about why this is a great gemstone to have if you've got teenagers in just a sec but let's talk about we're all at home at the moment a lot of us uh, mummies and daddies are having to do homeschool I'm lucky my son's doing his GCSEs and I don't understand any of it so he just logs on all I've got to do is wake him up with his breakfast in the morning and then he's logged on and then I get out of the way because I don't understand it now we are absolutely delighted to bring you a gemstone that is steeped in history and I think this is what becomes a fascination to the young children and if you want to do some crafting with them but you also want to uh, tell them stories about history then this is a great one uh, and I think a, a lot of young kids, well like eight sort of nine, are obsessed with ancient Egypt. So this is the gemstone that was used to make that blue in Tutankhamun's sarcophagus and we think about Tutankhamun sarcophagus we think gold don't be rich gold and that incredible blue so it was this gemstone that was ground down crushed down and used as a paint to create that sarcophagus and, and many more ancient Egyptian artifacts were made out of this gemstone and then if we're going to take it into more of an arts and crafts genre because you're, doing, it's, you're trying to keep it interesting for the kids all the time aren't you this is the gemstone that was used Michelangelo used this to paint the sky in the Sistine Chapel so so those are two really, really interesting facts. Then we're going to take it to Afghanistan. Then we're going to take it to, to the actual source of this gemstone. So we get this gemstone primarily from Afghanistan. And I, I don't know, Bruce, do you have the picture of the, the road? He's finding it for us now. So this might be something you want to show the, the kids as well. Um, the road to the mines is so rocky that you can only go um, a certain way, as you can see, by car. You can see there are tyre tracks there, but the rest you have to take on horseback. So mainly it's a horseback only journey. It's very rocky. Um, so you've got to have a certain type of horse that's going to, you won't be going through there with your fine warm blood. It'll be coming through with a, um, with an injury or two. Uh, but you can only bring back what can be source, what, can, what you can bring back on a horse yourself and the horse can carry. So there is a huge amount of effort that's gone into just sourcing this gemstone for you. Now, we also tell you quite often that from the, the moment this is taken from the mine to the minute we bring it to you on air, that can take up to 10 years. Now, in the last 10 years in Afghanistan, I think we can all agree quite a lot has happened. So we are expecting there to be a drought. And Wayne did confirm that actually he's had that email now. Uh, we, we aren't being able to replenish this as quickly as it sells out. So that's also something to consider. If you've got that, even if it's not right now, but you're thinking that, you know, it, next winter or next Christmas, you want to make this amazing thing. 
and it, and, and that, the gemstone you want to use is lapis lazuli, I would get it now just in case. I would particularly, I, I'm particularly interested in this bundle because you've got all three sizes, which means you've got a lot of scope for design and you've got a lot of in each size. If we're bringing you a graduated strand, that's amazing. You know I love graduated strands because of the scope for design. This is going to give you even more because you've got such a lot more than if you had one graduated strand. So his and hers makes that depth, that incredible colour. Lapis lazuli is a gemstone that, you know, we've, we can date back for around to, to around 4000 BC, which is amazing. It's, it's referred to in the Old Testament as well, um, but it was referred to as a sapphire, I think, because it was unknown in that part of the ancient world, lapis lazuli. Now, it's a, an excellent stone uh, for activating your higher mind. And it's also a stone of truth. It's a stone um, of friendship and brings harmony to relationships. A lapis uh, can calm, um, it can be very calming and give you a loving communication uh, within your home. And it's particularly good for temperamental teenagers or children with certain syndromes. So if you are finding it uh, quite tempestuous in your house because of the teenagers at the moment, maybe this is a gemstone, if you believe in crystal healing, that you want to take a hold of. And uh, maybe just be like, oh, son, slip this on your wrist. I've made you a bracelet. <laughs> or daughters, they're quite hard at that time. So in fact, I don't know what's hard. Boys are easy, apart from they get grumpy. Girls, drama llamas. <laughs> Now, talking of drama llamas, this is going to be quite a dramatic one because the price is going to be incredible. Let's start that clock and I want to take you on that proverbial roller coaster where we're clacking up, 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 up. And you know when you're like, it's too late, it's too late and you drop down. We were talking about that yesterday. Makes your tummy go. This is one of those deals we're about to give you. Lapis lazuli, as you know, I've just waxed lyrical about how we as, as human beings have loved and adored this for thousands of years it's utilized in crystal healing in many ways and it's a gemstone that Michelangelo used you know you can really talk about this to the kids but also it's a unisex gemstone you've got so much scope for creating graduated pieces putting this in earrings decent drill holes mean that you can get your wire through this as well whether you're going to knot this whether you're going to put this in tassels whether it's going to go into macrame bracelets wish bracelets think how many wish bracelets you can use uh, you can make out of this these three strands stacks let's go shopping we're gonna do something naughty i say we no no uh, we're a team i'm not gonna let you go down on your own aup 073 now the quantity is on your screen as you can see we've got a decent amount of these mel Lapis lazuli, is it a gemstone you use often? I do, I absolutely love it. Again, I mean, I love blue, um, so this is perfect. But also the um, the gold fleck that you get in it as mm -hmm. well. Um, but I was just thinking what beautiful, um, because of the graduation in sizes, um, you know, as you say, you can make those beautiful statement pieces. Definitely. Um, the gold, yeah, goes fantastic I just thought we've it. got these amazing magnetic clasps. Wouldn't they go beautifully? Yeah. They're yeah. Perfect. They're on pre order. How for exciting you. at the moment because we've just they've just found a new um, pyramid, haven't they? Yes, they have. It's on Netflix. They've done yeah. a Netflix documentary so, on it, haven't they? You know, if you've got all the kids that are interested in it, then um, perfect. This is your gem. Yeah. This is absolutely your gemstone for sharing stories with the children, for crafting with the children. At this price, we are at ten pounds a strand, which is where we're supposed to stay. It is where we're supposed to stay. If uh, it, it, Look, if, if you actually go and try and find strands of lapis lazuli, you'll find it at a premium because it's such a sought-after gemstone. If you go to the Natural History Museum, which you can't at the moment, you can buy a little piece of it for £8. I know that because my son, I was telling you this yesterday, when he was little, we used to have to go there all the time so he could stare at the dead Egyptian body that's in the uh, glass. It's been preserved. It was preserved in sand. you at the moment, haven't you, the... Is it? Uh, at the moment, yeah, they're doing a documentary each week on different things in the oh, natural history. How, what a lovely thing to do yeah. for the kids. I thought, I can't remember when I actually went there last. I used to have to go um, there all the time. We don't live too far from there, so it's not too bad. So, but, yeah, it's fascinating. We're about to do it. We're going to do it. What are you going to do with yours? I want to see your text messages. I want you to tell me exactly what you're going to do with it. 
666 a strand at 19.99 let's go shopping lapis you want me to count them you want me to count them don't you oh, there's loads you've got loads and loads and loads so first strand i'll go with the big ones make my own life easy i can see so many of you there oh my gosh it's gonna sell out Okay, I'll try and be quick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 9, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4. 44 on that one. On the biggest ones. You are, you are adding this up, aren't you? 40, 44 on that one, on the big strand. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50 on the next one. Why is the clock on the screen? So I've got 90 B, 90, how many have I got so far? 94. Okay, well, really? <laughs> we did not discuss this. Let's start it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 76 on that. How many bees all together? Yeah. 170 lapis lazuli beads going below the agreed price. Under, under 15 pounds. Under 14 pounds. You better check out now. What do you mean? Under 13. Stop. What's, what's he on today? I don't know. Can I have something though, please? I don't know. Wait, I don't know what side of bed you got out this morning, but you are... Uh... No, I'm not ready. Okay, watch this, says Wayne. AUP 073. How much is that a strand? Four pounds a strand at 12 pounds. <laughs> This is lapis lazuli. It's utterly beautiful. It's from Afghanistan and it's winging its way to you. How many beads all together? 170 beads. What's that make it a bead, please? Because if I'm making wish bracelets, I want to know. There are so many of you there. I'm so sorry. There is a five minute queue on the phone lines. If you could hit your number one button, I can see you there. I can see you all there in the queue. Uh, Brenda's hit one. Mary, Nolene, Zara, June, Zo uh, June. Uh, Susan, Paula, Andrea in, uh, in Essex. I've got Jan, Jackie, Jane, Mary with two, Julie, Maureen. <laughs> There's so many over there. Beryl, Julie, Jackie, Francis. How much is it a bead? He's still going. Zena's got two. Christina's got two. Janet's got four. Essex has two. Go on, tell me how much a bead. Somebody's actually mined each bead. Somebody's actually drilled each bead. Somebody's actually added that. Go on. You don't want to. <laughs> Ah, I'll go on, tell. I'll go on. Seven pence a gemstone. There's only 12 left. I'm so sorry that it says there's 76. We've actually only got 12 left. AUP, 10 left. AUP, 073. You've got to check out as fast as you can. I'm so sorry if you're in that queue. Uh, a lot of you in the queue have twos and threes in your basket. On, in, Ali on the app, three in your basket. Jennifer's got two. You've got to check them out if you want them. We How many now? They're going to sell out. You've got to be as quick as you can. We can't keep up with you. I'm so sorry. AUP 073. Uh, we're, going to, we're going to stay with you until each one of these uh, sells out. Today's shows have gone, hours have gone absolutely so quickly. Look, I'm going to put these next to each other because don't they look pretty? Don't you just love that combination? I love that. Oh, yes. That's there's gorgeous. something about there's something mystic about that, isn't there? Oh yeah, they're huge, aren't they? They're great. But then let's put it with something softer, because it'll carry it. We're so busy. <laughs> We're literally so busy. Don't forget to get your messages in. We love hearing from you. Uh, have previously put one large bead on a stainless steel chain and sold it for twenty four uh, one ninety nine. Love you all. <laughs> love you too, Zena. I'm going straight to Cambridge when uh, lockdown's over. It's my favourite. I love it. Have you been? No. Got to mm. go on the punts. 
It's amazing. Oh, right. It's such mm. a, it's, I actually think it's the most romantic place in Great Britain. Yeah. I've decided. Yeah. Just decided that. Not really travelled a lot, me. <laughs> Have you not? And no. what did Bruce say? And that's why he's not going there, yeah? <laughs> Bruce, come on, a little bit of romance. I'd like to go up to Scotland. Oh, I love Scotland, I love it. I can say I've never been there either. Go to, like, <laughs> um, I'm spo- I was supposed to be going to Stornoway for Mia's birthday, but we think because we want to see the stones. I love it. Yeah. We went, we, we flew into Inverness and drove all the way, like, all the way around and had, like, Oh, it's so, it's so beautiful. Yeah. At the moment, everything I... I mean, obviously, because we can't travel anyway, but I love watching the programmes on telly of all the different places. Oh, me too. Um, some of the train journeys and things they've oh, done. Yeah. So, you know, you get to see all these amazing it's things. It's called railroading, isn't it? Is that what it's called, where you go and you do train hopping? Like, not hopping, but, you know, you hop on trains and just go travelling. Is that what it's called, Groove Rider? He's an aeroplane. <laughs> He's a man of luxury, this one. He's in a band. He only does luxury. Now, have you ever flown first class? Now, I have got... Which one, darling? The one in... You are. So two chains, yeah? Oh. 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 Huh? <laughs> There's my Cartier. Can I wear them? I've got two chains, right? Is it... I don't have the silver one, though, eh? Yeah, I've just nipped a Cartier in the break, darlings. What do you think? <laughs> oh, hang on, I've got more. Sorry. Yes, I'm ready for some crazy deals, Wayne, yes. So get ready, I'm going to do some crazy stuff. What, like that wasn't crazy? Are you ready for this, Mel? I'm not sure I'm ready for... <laughs> oh, Mel, look. Oh, you've got my favourite, number nine. Yes. Oh, Mel, look wow. at all these. Oh, this is a stash builder and a half. Definitely, yeah. There's only 12, he says in my ear in Texan accent. Oh, I love this. How uh, Did you make this bundle special? It's been on before. Oh, oh, you've got bougie in here and then you've got... Oh, I don't know which one to pick up first. Okay, I'll pick up the amethyst. Look at this. Amethyst is a stone of love, Wayne. I was sending him all my stones of love. And I sent him my wicker app. I bet he didn't download it. Uh, we've got amethyst, jasper, appetite, amazonite. These are gorgeous. Mm. Of course it's going to sell. Look at this, look at this. Oh, I love that strand so much. That's, of course, that's got to be Rose de France, is it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Then you've got, oh, the most amazing strand of tourmaline. And then look at this. Look at this. Incredible collection. That's Rainbow Moonstone. When was the last time you saw Rainbow Moonstone like that? What a beautiful bundle. Well done, Wayney. If I had a tail, I'd wag it at you. Not your final price. Very prestige. This is beautiful. This is the one we were talking about. Right, so this is Wayne's favourite. He said, look, I've got a bundle. It's not going to be like £20, but it's so beautiful. It was, Wayne said, it's some of my favourites, so I put them up together for you. Eight chance. Eight chances. £59.99. What's that, Strand, darling? £8.57 for the Rainbow Moonstone. For the, look at this. T- I'm gonna, let's show you them in uh, individuals, if you don't mind. Look at the quality of this tourmaline. It's exceptional. You've got wonderful clarity. I'm going to just pop that one down. And I'm going to show you the moonstone. Oh, this is unreal. We've only got three chances left now. Rainbow moonstone is a really long strand as well. Look at that. Look at the sparkle from it. And then, look, doesn't it look zircon-like with sparkle? And then you get the blue iridescence. Rose de France, only uh, under 5% of the world's amethyst is, uh, it falls in that bracket of Rose de France. Then you've got this gorgeous amazonite. Look at the colours. Look at the striations in that. But... Goodness me, aren't we just jumping off a boat and into the lagoon there with that beautiful appetite. Jasper, such a protective, wonderful gemstone, a most ancient stone as well. And then this beautiful chevron amethyst. But that, together with your lapis in that powdered finish, would be wonderful, wouldn't it? Oh, I love it. Right, we've only got one left. Who's going to take it? What a great bundle. Do you know, that's wonderful for any of those out there that needed a good mix of, of, of all of these kinds of gemstones. If you lose your mojo, that's perfect. Because that will really get you sort of inspired with the different 
colours, shapes, sizes to sort of really get you sort of going again. Definitely. It? And you've got, because that Jasper, I think it's got lovely big drill holes. You just get that straight out and you're like, right, leather cord, boom, done. Yeah. Easy. And, it, and then you sort of, you're on a roll, aren't you? <gasps> Pineapples! <laughs> I've got both of these that I'm about to give you now. And I actually, I told you about this one. Hang on, somebody's put, hang on. Oh, someone's put these back in the wrong order, and I know that because I've got them. So that goes in there, that goes in there. Right, um, I bought this one for my daughter because we were helping Santa out, and she has designed a ring that she's going to have made. Um, we're sending it to Hayley, actually. And where's my gem grabber? Never mind, we don't have time for gem grabbers. These rubies are literally insane. I want you to see, please, tweezers, don't let me down. Look at the clarity. When do we get rubies with clarity? Right, so you get three in this pot, but then look, and you'll get the same. So Mia designed a ring. I thought she was going to do a ring and, and earrings, but she designed the, she put the oval there and then um, an oval either side. Look at, look, at the, look at the quality of these rubies. Do you remember, Wayne, you were the first to show me this? And I can't, I've bought four individual sets now I've got these and I've got these twice oh no three sets but look at all these round brilliant cut rubies but it's about the clarity so these are from Thailand aren't they and I've got them and they are insane this is by the way did you know that this is the big the most bought collection with these rubies from staff look at this look when you see clarity on a ruby you know that you should be paying a massive premium. They're £11 a pack. We will never be able to guarantee this kind of uh, price again. We're a little bit ruby obsessed in our family. M my daughter got a, um, um, her horse didn't have a name because it was it's young. So she called him uh, Newmarket Fergus Ruby. Um, because uh, uh, she's obsessed with she, he's from Newmarket on Fergus in, in uh, uh, County Clare. Yeah. So um, so we called him Ruby, or she did, because it's her favourite gemstone. Isn't it beautiful? Look at that colour. So that's why I put them... I was helping Santa out and did her a stocking filler of these. I absolutely adore them. I think the, the quality... The, this is my favourite. The, the, is my favourite at the moment are these, because the quality is so good, and the value is so good. Now, I think they're Fisher-filled, which is normal. I think about 80% of the world's... Um, if they weren't Fisher-filled... And there's nothing wrong with Fisher filling. It's just taking out the scratches and things and any inclusions. Um, if these weren't Fisher fills, the, the Fisher filled, they'd be thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds to be this clean. And and look, you, these in stud earrings. So I have I've got to go and pick up my parcel with the roundings. I haven't got it yet. They're over allocated. The day that sells out, my heart's going to be broken. Do you know that? Because I just want to get keep getting these. I love them. What great gifts for somebody. And Ruby, you know, very good in, very passionate gemstone. Now, I'm going to give you, oh, Tanzanite bundle. Can I show you the Gucci bracelet? Because it's, it's, right, there's a Gucci bracelet at the moment. Please bear with me a sec. Um, I'm gonna, just going to show you Gucci have a Malachite bracelet, which is on my... I took a picture of it for you um, because I want you to see. Come on, phone, don't annoy me. Where is it? Do, 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 do. Mm, where is it? I don't think I'm going to have time to show it to you, am I? It's a malachite. Here it is. Gucci bracelet. It's in the sale for £245 at the moment, look. With a malachite in the middle. £245 down from 350 That's actually been really blown up. The malachite's quite small on it. Look what I've got for you. Malachite, pretty similar to that Gucci one. And it just goes to show that malachite is a gemstone used by those top designers. Then, oh my, you've got to make a pendant that looks like this out of these, I reckon. Um, you've got three beautiful tanzanites. At, oh, wow. They're beautiful. Oh, there's a Nilamani. 
Those are kyanite. Nilamani. We've got some Nilamani coming up for you tomorrow. Look at this. This is a tanzanite. Look at the size of this one. I want to wrap it in my gallery wire and skip off into the sunset. Look at that. It's absolutely beautiful. Stunning, isn't it? Gorgeous. But look at these, Mal. You're going to love these. Are you ready? If you've got any of the gallery wire last week and you don't get this bundle, oh. do you even love gemstones? <laughs> look at them. Concave faceted, drawing us into that vortex of clarity. What an amazing bundle. Look at them all. It's like being in an art gallery. Look. The thing is, you've got so many different mediums now, haven't we, that we can use. Uh -huh. Yeah. With the gallery wire, with yeah. the silver clays, with the argentium. Oh, fantastic. £15 a pack, Nilamani, Tanzanite. That could be £60 on its own. What a great bundle. So you're getting 10 carats in that uh, Tanzanite, guaranteed, and you're going to get it in that big oval. Look, you know that Malachite is also in the World Cup. It's a, it's a wonderful Russian green. And Gucci are using Malachite quite a lot in their collections at the moment. Nilamani, Kyanite. The best kyanite in the world? I think so. Then you've got those concave faceted. These are just heavenly, aren't they? Are you, what are you going to make out of these? It's going to be rings, going to be pendants. Just such a super opportunity for you at $59.99. That is such a small price for such an amazing collection. Uh, SHXC64 for that one. Da -da -da, ra -da -da, da -da -da, ba -da -ba -ba. These are so pretty. This is exactly what I want to do with Peridot. Exactly. They go together so harmoniously. Look at this. Right, so Peridot for me, and, and just when you stare at it, just have a think about the springtime. Have a think about, you know, that time when you can open your window in your sleep and in the morning, you, you hear the birds start to sing super early and you can smell freshly cut grass and you look out onto the meadow. What a gemstone of hope. Uh, it, it really it really represents that for me. Uh, let's see if it does the same for you because the colour is just so, so beautiful. Look at this peridot. Where's that peridot from? It is stunning. It's the crocuses in the spring, oh, isn't it? Yes, yes. Look at those and the sweet williams of the tourmaline, all the different colours. Yeah. Beautiful. Stunning. I absolutely love this bundle. Now I'm going to row these up. You've got Peridot and Tourmaline, two birth gemstones as well. Peridot August, Tourmaline uh, October. Oh, I love it. I can't get over the colour that's coming across here. Best, the clarity. Look at that price. It's just £15. You've got the most amazing combination. And what a beautiful example of Peridot that truly, truly is. Yeah. I am in love with this. I can't wait to see your mix, whether you're going to row it up in your bead loom, whether you're going to use this as tassels, loads of bubbles with that bubble technique. I think they just belong together. Let's twist them together and really get all those gorgeous colours going. That luscious green. Oh, it's beautiful. It's that meadow green, isn't it? 10 carats. Love it. I love this bundle. I absolutely adore it. Isn't that beautiful? So that's £7.50 a strand, isn't it? Uh, such great examples of strands as well. Yorkshire, you've got yours. Maker in Kent takes two. Greater London Town. Susan and Elaine, you're there as well. Great to see you. I tell you what, what a great day we're having today. I hope you're okay. Don't forget to get your text messages in. We will read them out momentarily, even if it's just to say hi, because you need a bit of company today. Right now, we're going to lead you into another great star. Bye. Okay, I'm accidentally wearing them, so I just need to take them off. Uh, the reason I, w I absolutely love these is because of... Uh, look, they're so long. Do you mind if I use that extra long bust that's right next to me, Mel? Is that okay? Yeah, just ever so quickly. You think I've got the wrong one? Oh, I've got sterling so Mel, that is beautiful, that necklace, by the way. Right, okay, I'll put these here for now. Yeah, this is 24-inch. But you... Uh, hang on a sec. 
I don't have that. So I am going to apologise to you that I don't have that, but I do have uh, rose gold and 18 karat gold. No, those are... I think I got it from number 19. Sorry, jewellery makers, I do apologise. Uh, I have shorter, though. I tell you what I have got, COXC36 right here. Because these go with that really well as well. Right. Oh, we've got it. We've got it. I'm just going to layer up here. I'm just going extra Cartier, if you don't mind. Ooh, express delivery. Thanks, doll. <laughs> there you go, love. Thank you, my darling. Okay. Oh, what a bundle. Okay. So, let's take this off, actually. Let's take this off a minute. Give me a minute. Sorry, we've got so many chain deals to give you. I do apologise. Right, so we were speaking to you. Uh, we've only got 26 of these. Uh, let's show each one individually. I'm just going to pop that back on here, Melly. And I'm going to show you these against the black because we've got silver. Sorry, Mel. No. <laughs> you have got here a really wonderful link chain, really big, fat link. So this is an anchor chain. We saw the same chain, didn't we, in Thomas Sabo earlier on. Um, how much was the... How, it was £40, Monica Veneda, pretty much exactly the same in silver, wasn't it? Were you, were you on? No, I think no. it was Susie. Right, so £40, Monica Veneda, for pretty much the same at the moment, just for that chain, this one here. Uh, remember that these are Italian-made. Vicky Carr has done such a super job of sourcing our chains. Then we've got a longer one for you. Then we have got the Figaro for you. Look at that. Now that Figaro chain has a lot of silver on it. Can you see those gorgeous links? Then, oh, that's beautiful. Curb chain, so lustrous. Uh, the curb chain is the same. Oh no, it's not, it's not the same length. So I've got all different lengths. I've got uh, your Rolo chain or your um, or your anchor chain is what um, t uh, Monica Venage is calling it, isn't it? Uh, that's 24 inch. Oh, no, that is a Rolo chain, Jenny. Uh, 18 inches in your Belcher chain. Your Curb chain is 18 inches as well. And then your, fig uh, your Figaro chain is 20 inches. And it's diamond cut. Now, that's an extra feature that costs more money. How much is it? I want it. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Stop. The whole bundle for less than, we're going to give you the whole bundle for less than £50. Now remember, Monica Veneda at the moment is giving you a very, so shall I find it again? I did, we haven't got time. We haven't got time for that, Jenny is saying to me. Because this is your price, we are going to blow it out of the water. You could buy one Monica Veneda chain like this for £40 today, or you can buy the whole entire bundle for £34.99 and get way more for your money. 18 chances. Uh, Jenny, you have not done that nicely there. Uh, <laughs> but ju I just wanted to show you that you've got all the different lengths, all the different chains, um, and I'm going to show you them a bit more close up because I think you'll want to see exactly what you're getting for your money here. Look. Look at that. You've got that wonderful, that what Figaro a great is price. Isn't, isn't it, it? gorgeous, Mel? Yeah. And it's lovely to have different size, different weights of chains, different, different options lengths. for your customers, too. Yeah. yeah, for your customers and also for your own jewellery. You yeah, if you've got this, you'd have to get one for yourself, yeah, wouldn't you? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I love layering up. Chain is it's such a big look at the moment. Yes, on the yeah. runway, it's a, it's a big look. It's a big look in all the magazines. Four chances, thirty-four ninety-nine DCX C zero one. Uh, we got ten. We're seriously over allocated. There's ten in baskets, and there's loads of you on the phones for this one. So it is absolutely whoever gets there first. Good luck to you. Uh, so let me show you. You've got the again. It's really important uh, to us to make sure that you get that mark, that mark of sterling silver, which is always apparent because if you sell your pieces on, that's what your customers look for. We've listened to you. You were telling us that. Uh, it's really important to you, so it's really important to us. We've got one left. Who's going to take it? It's going to be Valerie, Yorkshire, Claire, Debbie, Durham. Oh, there's loads of you there. Now, 
Oh, yes, this is great. I, I don't know if you've seen this, Mel, but we've got a super amount of coloured tiger's eye. Um, now, did I not launch this? Maybe I didn't. You've got plum purples. You've got fuchsias. You've got great greens. This is a chakra bracelet in the making, isn't it? Look at this one, a real blonde gold one there. And then you've got the blue black tiger's eye. It almost looks amber, doesn't it? Yeah, it does actually. Yeah, it's got this <laughs> incredible honey tone to it, hasn't it? $17.99 for five strands. How much is that a strand? Because I can't, I'm that £3.60 a strand. Loads of you there, we think this is going to sell out. SJP, 049, we've got 11 chances now down to nine. And I'm sure I don't need to tell you what's going to happen next. Alvira, Debbie, Jackie, Maker in Kent, Essex, you're there. Uh, Stefan is in, Karen is in, Rachel's in. Ah! Talking to Rachel, we've got Rachel Norris tomorrow afternoon. And then in the morning, it's not Rachel Norris in the morning, though, is it? Who's in the morning? I knew, I just I was discussing this with you earlier, literally. I can remember, it's in my head, but I keep mixing my days up. Who knows what day it is? I didn't even know what day it was I today, found it do you? Weird. The amount of times I have to check my phone to see what it says on there. It is literally day. like a month yeah. of Sundays. You know, like, <laughs> never in a month of Sundays. It is a month of Sundays. Oh, it's gorgeous, Sheila. I can't wait to see Sheila. Uh, one chance. Oh, it's sold out. Sold out and gone. Let's have... Oh, this is so pretty. So citrine is in my top three gemstones. It's the gemstone of happiness. Uh, we've only got eight, eight of these left. And I can't help but have a big smile on my face when I get it. Then we've got tranquility with the amethyst. And then we've got love with the rose quartz. What better than some happiness, some tranquility and some love? That's so pretty together, isn't, isn't it? it? Aren't they like bridesmaids colours, summer colours, breezy colours? Yeah, I just think simple rosary link and mixing the colours would make a beautiful over-the-head neck that you could wear all year round. But it's whimsical, isn't it? Really pretty. Yeah. Like pretty dresses in the summertime. Oh, it's making me think of summer. I can't wait for the summer. We've only four left. Oh, three left. SBP 026999. Don't forget to get your te uh, text messages in. Uh, wisdom, compassion and imagination uh, is what this bundle is called. I've because that's lavender what it's... for ages. Sorry I know. Interrupting no, me. please do. Um, but that lavender tone is just gorgeous. Isn't it? Hazy and lovely. Yeah, I, say, well, I, haven't, I haven't seen that in a long while. We've only one left. It's going to sell out. It's like the lavender fields in the summer if we're allowed to go. Ooh, look, the smell and the buzz of the bees. Yeah. I've got literally lavender feel like fields I can walk to from my house. I've got a few little lavender plants that get a bit neglected, but um, but they're always nice by the side of the it's house. Hard to, it's not easy to grow, is it, lavender? Mine <laughs> dies a lot. Now, brings the bees in, though, so you've got to... Now, this is a bundle that we, we do like to give you... Um, We've given you over the last couple of days, but you've got the bigger ones in here that we didn't have yesterday, haven't you? The, this is different to the one we had yesterday because they got this whoppers in. So the, look at the size of these. I think you could do men's makes with these as well as quite uh, futuristic pieces, quite contemporary. Yeah. yeah, I think they'd look nice with the leather. I, I agree with you. And there's such a weight to them. I think these would be great handbag charms too. Mm. You've got one, two, three, four, five strands, and we're going under £20, which is just crazy. Oh, and not by a little bit. £16.99. 1,000, sorry. 741 carats. And you've got pyrite and hematite here. And again, these are both crystal healing gemstones. Uh, pyrite is a great gemstone um, actually, and, and is a gemstone that I keep in my purse so to help bring the money in, as well as tiger's eye and citrine. So when I go shopping, sometimes quite a lot of gemstones fall out. They're all either in my bath, in my bed, or shopping with me. <laughs> no, that's not a bad place to be, is it? <laughs> Denise, you've got yours. Leah, you've got yours. Jan, maker in Essex. Um, I think you could do your... You know, like you want to do those hero pieces, those crazy all-out pieces that you really challenge yourself with. I think this would be a great one to do that with. 
I was thinking of mystical creatures again with the colours. Yeah, I agree. That would be brilliant. And you've got the really teeny ones. So if you want to make eyes out of them, you can. I think a band of these on our slider bracelets would be cute too. Mm. And I like the way that they alternate like that. Now, we're going to give you... I'm wearing these. I love them. So I am wearing Beryl because I think it's beautiful and I think it's very, very summery. I'll show you my stretchy bracelet that Laura, Laura Binding made me this. You know me, I like to uh, make it on my uh, receiving hand. So on my right hand, we've got these pips. And aren't they beautiful? Look at these. Stack them up. Aren't they gorgeous? Isn't that? So the Beryl family has some really, really fabulous members. Emerald. Aquamarine, Heliodor, Goshenite, and that pink Morganite. These, I think, again, they reminded me of bunting and summer fates and May Day yeah. and country dancing and all that kind of thing. Real traditional colours, beautiful colours, and very feminine colours, I think. But also, these could be great christening bracelets. These could be great gifts for children. They're calming colours. They're beautiful colours. And I think they are really light to wear. I hardly feel that I'm wearing this at all. It's really lightweight. £22 buys you two strands. It's a double trouble deal. Now, these pips are so pretty. What would you do with them? I, I think they make lovely earrings because I do of too. the shape of them. What um, kind of earrings would you make? Just, I, I like really simple jewellery. So maybe like a waterfall effect. Yeah. Um, um, so I like simple jewellery too. Yeah. But you can because you can wear it every day. Yes. Yeah. Look yeah. at the sparkle. The so way the, they've been faceted, you know, as earrings when you've got that movement, it catches the light beautifully. You could do if you let's say if you were gonna do earrings and you're selling them, you could do an aquamarine pair of earrings, you could sell a heliodor pair of earrings, morganite pair of earrings, and you've got the same design but with different options. Yeah. And I think then if you're a group of friends or siblings you could all have the same, but in a different colour. And I think that's nice. lovely. Yeah. In our group of friends, we've definitely all got our colours. You know, it's funny, isn't it? You could do that. We, I have a friend group chat of my best friends from Cheltenham that I've been best friends with since I was tiny. And we all have our... Like, I could tell you exactly what colours Melody would have or Belinda would have or Rachel would have or Charlotte would have. Like, we all have our own little thing. I know exactly what colours we'd all have. So, And I think that's quite nice, yeah, isn't it? Definitely. If you've all got the same... Yeah. I think it can be quite sentimental then, can't it? Especially at the moment. Now... Oh, what's what was in there, darling? Oh, yes, I've got it. I've actually got these too. Um... Now, oh, it's the chain. I haven't got this. I've got the bracelet to match it. Do you know how popular this design is? I've got the paperclip design for you. Uh, Versace made the paperclip design really popular some years ago. And I've got to say, the amount of silver and rose gold that goes into ours is, is, is wonderful. Now, you're going to get that Italy tag and the 925 uh, tag on the back. Look at these beautiful openings. I personally wear mine on its own, but this could be a charm carrier. I think it makes a real bold statement. It's very Fendi, very Versace, very Balenciaga. It's got that kind of high-end look about it. Then you have got such a lovely charm carrier, or um, and, and it's a little bit bigger, so perhaps put them together. This, this I call the snaffle link or the Gucci link, but it's a, an anchor chain or a Rolo chain. Um, you've got that classic, and it is a classic. I think if you are creating anything out of rose gold, if you've got the rose gold gallery wire and you want to put a pendant on, on a simple chain, then I would choose this. This for the pendant, I definitely would wear that on its own. Not, no, I'm not saying you don't, you know, not to put a pendant on it. Actually, absolutely will take it. And actually, it's very strong. So with the paperclip chain, uh, you've got 20 inches and uh, the, no, sorry, 18 inches. And then we've got the Rolo chain or the Snaffle Link chain is uh, 20. So 18 and 20. Please don't think this is the price for chains, by the way, what we're doing today, because we are being rascally. $24.99. Rose gold. And remember what I was telling you about Vicky and, and how passionate she is about bringing us wonderful chains at really super prices. Let's have a look at that tag. When you are 
if you're going to sell this on, you're selling Italian quality, you can see that 925 stamp. And I think, again, if that's something, particularly if one of your customers is allergic, that they look for before they buy, it's really important to have that there. You've got, we are so competitive with our gold and silver prices, and we've seen that today. I think we've we've really proven that today. And, and this sort of paperclip uh, chain link is, is a very high-end look. And it's been, um, so Versace started it, and it has been replicated by most of the big designers. Monica Veneda has one. I'm sure Thomas Sabo has a paperclip chain. Yeah. Most of those designers that, uh, uh, that you see, and even the on the high price street. tags that go with it yeah, as well. Yeah, they do. Yeah. And, and when, when I talked about Monica Veneda and Thomas Sabo, they're probably the most affordable and Pandora high street designer jewellers. Then when we're taking it up a notch and we're going to, you know, Bulgari or we're looking at Cartier, th then we are talking price tags, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. I mean, there was a, a show I did a little while back and it was using one of those type of chains and it was five gemstones and the equivalent was over it was around nearly 600 pounds yeah you can imagine um, so yeah incredible it's great value the, the chains we're giving you really are super value aren't they now let's give you more chains and these are chain car these are charm carrier bracelets um now i'm sure are these the styling ones these are on i think these are on pandora's website very similar they're not obviously the same because they haven't got the pandora mark on them and i think they were 60 pounds each i think could have been thomas Sabo, but i think it was pandora now i want you to appreciate this massive open link you don't get just one of these you get three and they're all solid sterling silver do you have the ground mate or will i um will i weigh it because i'd say you've got some gram weight here you got some gram weight now I'm just going to get me a little doobry out my scales Wayne I'll tell you something You're such a boy if you know that 5.47 each 5.47 grams each what's that times tree Oh, I'll just put three on there. <laughs> oh, they might all be a little bit different. Okay, so I've got 16.68 grams. That's a lot of It's a very <laughs> lot. It's a very lot. Do you know, if you could put this all together into one big necklace if you wanted to, there's nothing stopping us, is there? They, but make, make um, charms. Big, 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 big gram weight of silver. I think I'm Did you find it on their website? It's not an it's no it's not the infinity because it's an infinity look. Uh, it, I think it was just called a charm bracelet or charm carrier bracelet, and I think it was sixty pounds. Look at the links. So if one of these is sixty pounds ordinarily, I want you to just wait and see what Wayne's going to do. It's the shine. Could have been Thomas Sabo. It's the um, luster that's coming off of the silver. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Beautiful. Um, if, if the buyers are watching, if Caroline and Vicky Carr are watching right now, uh, Wayne says he's sorry. £10 each, go! Quickly! Just see the value in this. Over 16 grams of solid sterling silver. Oh, I've got one, I've got one, I've got one. Thomas Sabo is £79. <laughs> okay, so really similar, but it has got the Thomas Sabo... Um, emblem on it can you see that or do i need to tilt it is that better there you go look can you see? 79 pounds mm -hmm. really similar that's really similar yes. isn't it <laughs> you could buy that or you could buy all three of these and you could perhaps perhaps you could then go and put a different charm on there if you wanted to um but yeah i mean just to show you the value We've got a huge, huge, huge gram weight of solid sterling silver, £10 each. If you want to sell them straight on just with a tiny bead on them or something, you're prerogative. Absolutely we had, you can. Um, a silver clay show the other day where they were doing little um, oh, good idea. tags yes. with your uh, letter on so you, could, oh, so you could stamp your own letter in 
and um, and make your own tag to go on there. I'd love that. You could have your children's names on there. Yeah. That's why we've all, we're we're like we just put M on everything. Me and Max, mummy. M is our letter. <laughs> Uh, nine, uh, twenty nine ninety nine. I'm unreal. I can see you all going mad for this. Thank you uh, for trusting us because this is such a super deal, and I'm delighted that you're guessing it. Uh, it says one piece. You get three. You get three of them. HQX C seventy eight. Francis, Catherine, uh, Maker in Surrey, Janice, Claire, uh, Aloma, uh, Beshley, ja uh, Janice, Sue in Carmarthenshire, Anne. Uh, Suzanne, Tracy, Janet, another Janice with two, Linda, Sarah, Aileen, Francis, Catherine. Um, I've got Maker in Cornwall, Caroline, Jeanette, uh, Marilyn. I've got Karen, I've got Yorkshire, I've got Pauline, Jan, Maker in Cheshire, Maker in Essex, uh, Janice in London, Susan in Hertfordshire, and Claire um, in Lincolnshire. You've all got yours. Uh, it does look like this one's going to sell out any moment now, but the value, I'm, I'm sure you can see the value yourself. It's, it's just unreal. Absolutely wonderful. I just clocked the length of them as well. So that's the equivalent to, I think, 20 eight centimeters. inches, isn't it? Oh, yeah, you've got, yeah, you've got some inches there. Yeah. Yeah, but you want that because you can have that little bit dangling down and yeah. put a tassel on, put something on there as well. Another one. So he's going to do another crazy deal. Ah, uh, yes, we need these. I'm, I was looking for these. So if you not pearls, um, let me talk about wire end tips, right, or wire guardians. So if you're using beading thread or wire, you'll come out of your crimp bead and if you put that straight onto a jump ring, that can compromise, particularly if you are using things like silk. And over time, it's going to break unless you've got these. These little saviors are a really, really professional tool. I think we've actually got a picture somewhere. I don't know if Bruce has got it. Um, and it shows you how to use these. Have you got it, Brucey? He's having a little look, so. So your beading uh, medium material goes through the tubes, just like a crimp tube, around and back out, and then you bring it in and then you go straight in. Do you use these often, Melly? Yes, yeah. If I'm doing um, knotting, then yes, definitely. They're, they're a godsend, aren't they? And one of the guest designers um, used it upside down the other day as a carrier as well. Great idea. So, yeah. You could use them like bales. Yes, yeah. Oh, wonderful. I think it was a pair of earrings that she had made, which is... Who so was she, it? I can't remember which, who you it remember? was. It was Caro, maybe. Was yeah, it Caro? quite possibly, yeah. 18 karat gold, a rose gold, and silver is what you've got. 20 of each, 15 pounds. Brilliant value. Brilliant value. You can squeeze, do you squeeze yours together or do you leave them? No, I just leave them. Yeah, I'd leave them. Yeah. But you can squeeze them if you want to. Yes, yeah. Squeeze, don't squeeze, up to you. Uh, ERXC32. <laughs> well, I don't know why that's tickled them, but it has. <laughs> Oh, these boys, these boys. In the next hour, we have got more kits. It's the last hour of the day, which is usually Wayne's cheekiest. So if you think Wayne has been cheeky uh, the last hours, uh, you ain't seen nothing yet. We've got loads of bundles. Mel, can we have a look? Uh, let's have a peruse across Mel's gorgeous jewellery. Love, love this. Love them. We've got hearts. Yes, beautiful puffy hearts. I said, can we have a look? <laughs> I said, there's something wrong with these boys. It's locked down. I'm not licking jewellery. I'm looking at it. Thank you. I'll tell you what. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Uh, hearts. It, was it fluorite hearts you had? Did you have fluorite hearts as well? Fluorite. They were here, but they've gone. So we'll have to... Uh, there we go. Amethyst. They were here, but they've gone. <laughs> uh, I think Wolf has just been very, very eager. He's, he's cleaning everything up. <laughs> oh dear don't worry they're coming back out <laughs> now so Mel you're going to be showing us the technique in the next hour what is it that you're yes I thought I would show the um the little earrings or the um oh they're gorgeous so, and that was also used for the uh, necklace as well the center of the necklace perfect perfect uh -huh. I love the wire work. Yeah, just go a little bit, a little bit floral, spring-like. 
I'm so ready. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready to walk in the garden and go, oh, I can mow today because it's not wet. <laughs> oh, do you know what I really want to do? Put my washing on the washing line. <laughs> That's how boring my life is. Things like that just make me happy. I've got oh, a... quick, yes, let's quick. Okay, okay. I've Last got to re-thread my washing line. <laughs> oh, no. Figaro chains, are these sterling? Are they sterling? Are they base metal? Base metal figaro change, you get a meter of each, but these are last of stock, so we're literally going to give you the mu for a couple of seconds. Uh, eight pounds, four pounds each for a meter, uh, really super value, eight pounds on the nose, GOX uh, C31. For any of the items that we've had in the past hours that we still have remaining stock of, get to the website before they disappear. We only give you on air prices for one day, um, actually, not the eight to nine o'clock hour. That is viewer's choice, so that disappears after that hour. Uh, GOXC31, your chance to come through for the final few of these. We are going to lead into the next hour with some gorgeous kits with some hearts. Mel's going to give us a demonstration. And Wayne has got some cheeky things up his sleeves for us. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know how we're going to handle it. Introducing Toby Cavill. His family have deep roots in the jewellery trade for well over 50 years. Best known for their diamond jewellery and designing pieces for top celebrities from the prominent jewellery quarter of Birmingham. After travelling in Chanterbury, Thailand, Toby's love for exotic gemstones and the city itself soared. Quickly establishing himself in what is considered to be one of the major gemstone and jewellery centres of the world. He has spent the last 10 years working in some of the most hands-on expanses of the gemstone trade. Whether looking at developments of certain gemstone cuts, to looking at the ergonomics of jewellery design, all the way to negotiating deals on quality, on price, on location, at the mines. He uses his experience and knowledge to help Gemporia always stay ahead of the curve. Don't want to miss a Jewellery Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewellery Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewellery Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations and of course all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewellery Maker. Maker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewelry Maker. This week and the Gem Guide Show, nine till midday on Thursday, we're getting lost in the Brazilian interior. This treasure box that has been giving us beautiful gems for the last 300 years has more recently been quietly going into decline in its mining community. However, just before the source disappears forever, I want to explore two of the greatest Brazilian treasures. From the north, Tocantin Garnet, the most extraordinary rhodolite discovered in recent years. And also in the show coming up, Golden Heliodor from Zia, a gemstone that literally looks like it is liquefied golden light suspended the sun itself crystallized. I hope to see you then. Hello, my name is Rachel Morris. I look forward to seeing you all on Saturday the 16th of January for the Masterclass show. And I've used some copper sheet with these beautiful kit colourways to make um, Indian elephants and frogs and lily pads and all sorts of things in sculptural 2D and three-dimensional forms. So I look forward to seeing you all on Saturday the 16th of January for the Masterclass on Jewelry Maker. If you have a question or query for Jewellery Maker, then contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Email help at jewellerymaker.com or drop us a message on our Facebook page.
little bit sexy that, wasn't it? We're all, uh, how are you doing? Are you okay? It's the last live hour of the day and we are absolutely buzzing for you. We are live. If you have got any questions or if you'd just like to touch base and say hello, uh, you can do so. Six, uh, 78070, if you've, got, uh, if you've got your mobile phone, you'd like to text us, start the message with the word James Studio. But if you have the app, if you open it, on the bottom right-hand corner, it's a little message button. But it only lets me message once. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's like, no, enough of you, Jenny Cleary. Um, but you can click on uh, Watch Us Live online and you can send a message to the studio that way as well. So we'd love to hear from you. We just want to know you're okay. We're super busy today. We've had loads of wonderful text messages. But if you are feeling a little bit lonely, we've got one last live hour of the day uh, and we would love to interact with you. Maybe you just want to see what Groove Rider looks like. Might just want to see that. There he is, look. <laughs> there he is. He's played for some very famous bands, that one. And he's really good at, what's it called, that little thing you play? The ukulele. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> the boys. Stop it. Now, uh, let's give you Mel's gorgeous kits. And I'm glad to be bringing these to you because we've got these. Do you know, right, look up for me now, Wayne, if you don't mind. Solid sterling silver hoop earrings at H Samuels or any, any of the high street ones, just... The hoop earrings, okay? Let's just get things straight right from the start. So a pair of hoop earrings are expensive. They're not expensive, they're a certain price. Little, and they're not little, so they're this big, look. I'll show you, I had to put them in my ears to give you a, of course I had to do that, just to give you an idea of the size of these hoop earrings. Hoop earrings, you're welcome. Uh, Bruce said thank you for your sacrifice. I uh, still got my crosses in. These are jewelry maker crosses, which I am very obsessed with. They're really sweet, aren't they? Aren't they gorgeous? So those are yeah, if you want these, they should be on the jewelry maker website. Did you find any? H Samuels, even Argos, or uh they're usually about twenty pounds, twenty twenty-five pounds. Twenty pounds four pounds on your daffs. I always wanted to say that. Four pounds is quite expensive for daffodils, though, isn't it? Forty-four ninety-nine, between twenty pounds and forty-four ninety-nine. Yeah, but that the little what they'll be tiny little lobe huggers. These aren't lobe huggers. Look, look how look they're big. Sorry about my roots. Oh, they're on sale. Okay, right. So these aren't lobe huggers. These are fair, fair big. These are right, aren't they lovely? They're in your kit. You also get the really elongated ones, which I love. They're so sophisticated. Yeah, For when we're allowed out, darlings. They're one of my favourites. Yeah, mine ones. too. They just look expensive, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> so you've got those two. You've got a pair of those ones. Then you've got two pairs of shepherd's hooks. You've got your ball head pins and your open jump rings. So you've got a lot in solid sterling silver here, darlings. But you're also going to get, and I know that you're, you're really excited about these because they're heart-shaped, and they're fluorite. Look, this is a super gemstone because it has the, look, these are glowing. Look at the look, they're glowing. <laughs> has someone taken these outside? When they, when you get the UV light in these gemstones, they glow naturally. The word fluorescent comes from this very treasure, this gemstone fluorite. And I'm delighted to bring it to you because it just brings such joy. Every single one gives you something different. And you know why I love this? Because I think it, it all, kind of reminds me of sea glass with its glow. But it has, to, to wear this is to fall in love with it. Because when you see it glowing, it's something else. Uh, then you've also got another beautiful strand here of green opal, light green opal. No, I don't think I've seen light green opal. Have I seen light green opal before? We've had a few strands. It's beautiful, it is. Now, it's beautiful. Uh, I'm going to give you a wonderful price. Well, Wayne is. He's going to do something wild for you. Now, this is now fluorite is actually known as the genius stone because it's said to help you get into the, uh, the highest state of mental achievement, boost aptitude and discernment. So it's a great one if you've got anyone going through their exams um, at the moment. Particularly the blue colour um, is good for um, for being the genius stone. 
Maybe I need to start wearing some. I, don't, I think I do too, Mal, don't worry. <laughs> Said to give you incredible energy and together with that opal, you've got all those earring findings as well. Do we have a picture of the silver? Eighteen ninety nine is such a super price. Now, it's also known as a dream stone. I'll read for you uh, whilst you have a look. Have a look at Mal's gorgeous jewellery. Known as a dream stone, how to give you incredible dreams. Wear or carry fluorite to soften dealings with those who are brutally honest uh, in the workplace. Use fluorite to clear mental fog, confusion and conflicting ideas. To quiet your worried thoughts and anxiety. Ideal for overcoming any kind of disorganisation and perfect for increasing thought and concentration. Great for those that are doing their exams at the moment or doing their GCSEs or their A-levels or anything like that. Um, now, it's uh, a gemstone said to give you great energy, great ideas, great concept and stir creativity. It's said to open your mind to new possibilities. And as a dream crystal, it protects your mind uh, and is a marvellous gemstone for freeing the spirit at night to explore, travel and expand without fear or dis of disturbance. Excellent focus stone for maintaining discipline in a health or fitness plan. Um, so it, it's, it's a really, really loads and loads of crystal healing um, properties within this. Karen, you've got yours. Christina, Anne, uh, Nicolette, you've got yours. Andrea, Debbie, Jean. Oh, gosh, there's loads of you there. Uh, we've got another wonderful kit with hearts. Oh, Mel, that's wonderful. Love that. Well, that was just a bit of chain. Oh, yes, I see what you've done. Yeah. So Did you I put just, it on elastic? Yes. Yeah, it's just a stretchy. And, Looks great. Um, and I just weaved the elastic through the chain. It looks great. What a great price for this kit, too. And remember, all that sterling silver that we had, you would pay just for the earrings on their own, the hoop earrings. And that was a good... And that's like just eight Samuels, which is a, a fairly uh, low-cost jewellers, right? I think we can all yeah. agree on that. Now... Next kit is going to be a flyer as well. We've got, um, we've got lots of unchecked baskets for that kit, and it will sell out. Dogtooth Amethyst in hearts. I'd like to see this in rings. Great to get a prong set over a heart. You've got the cleavage and then the two points at the bottom, so quite a nice one to prong set. Uh, I do think you'd be able to use your gallery wire easily with these, but what great key rings, what great handbag charms, what great pendants each individual one of either this heart or the fluorite will make. Now, I wonder if we're guaranteeing... Um, let me count them for you. Ba -ba 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 -ba. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nine, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, thirty, one, two, three. Thirty-three individual pendants. Mm. Because that's essentially what they are, isn't it? And then you can add, you can inject more into it. And amethyst, we know, is a love gemstone uh, too. You've got sodalite in here. Now, I haven't seen sodalite for a while. Sodalite's a great one because it's another unisex gemstone. If you bought the lapis earlier, this is a great one to go with that. Sodalite is a gemstone that gives you cloudy whites and beautiful deep blues. So it's great to wear with denim. It looks really good with a pair yes. of denim jeans. It looks lovely with your top, actually, Mel, Thank that you. you've got on today. Now, it's a filter crystal, is Sodalite, so it's, helped, uh, uh, it's used in that way. Uh, I'm just trying to... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Let, me, let me give you... I'll, we'll go to Amethyst, because there's such a plethora of information on Amethyst. But uh, let me... So, in fact, it has very similar um, properties to that of Lapis Lazuli, as Sodalite. Amethyst hearts. Oh, oh, you've got silver in this, but you've got a different silver kit. This time you've got a bolt ring clasp. $17.99. You've got your ball head pins. You've got a pair of shepherd's hooks. And you've also got your, here it is, you've also got your open jump rings there as well. Uh, amethyst, of course, is a gemstone that we've known about. There's Greek mythology towards amethyst. We've known about this gemstone. It's in the breastplate of Aaron. It's very, very highly regarded in the Catholic faith. It's the colour of faith as well. It's a gemstone that's very appropriate, appropriate for giving at Easter time. But, of course, we do know it as a, as, as a love crystal, too. Uh, now, this is uh, like a chevron amethyst. And you get these wonderful sort of V-shaped chevrons within here. So it's got a, a lot of, of interest in it. I'm just having a look because there is actually particular... Uh, so it's, it's great, is chevron amethyst, for uh, focused energy. 
um, repelling negativity and is the perfect gemstone for learning any form of spiritual healing. Hold one in each hand for powerful but safe out-of-body travel, shamanic journeying or pathworking, or between the hands while praying or reciting mantras. Those, of course, are beliefs. I can't tell you that you're definitely going to have an out-of-body experience, but I do try and have them all the time. <laughs> I've done that, like, twice before. Have you ever done that, had an out-of-body? Yes, yeah. I used to look into, a lot into um, witchcraft and, and things like that when I was younger. Me so, too. Um, yeah, and, I used to do... We used to do it as a group of friends we did in a tent in my garden. Well, I worked um, in a hospital, so we <gasps> used to meet in... The, um, the hospital in the actual Not sleeping the quarters, no. Oh, phew. No, no, no. So, uh... Stirring ghosts in the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> um, please, Mel, take over with your wonderful demonstration. Right. Um, as I say, I thought we'd have a quick look at this um, little motif, either for the earrings or the centre of the necklace. Um, but I'm doing it with the soda light because I used all the gemstones up on that kit. Well, I can't say I blame you at all. <laughs> so, um, yeah, started off with a um, piece of 0.8 wire. And I've also got some 0.4 wire, some of the little soda light and a, um, a jump ring. So if you take off a little section of the wire and then roughly in the centre, pop your pliers in. If you bring it quite far down the plier and then just push and then what I did was sort of gently pull that wire up turn it round pinch on that side and do the same and that gives you quite a nice point at the bottom and then just decide on sort of what length you want come in with your pliers again and do the same push across and then flip it over. You can either measure that or just guess roughly by eye. Pop your pliers in and again push across. And that starts to give you that shape. What you then need to do is by holding it, um, sort of pinch across this piece here. And with your finger or your thumb, you want to, I'm going to have to turn it over that way, just run your finger across to curve it out slightly and then turn it over and do the same on the other. So now, when you pinch it together, you get that lovely curved shape. So just take a minute to, to make sure that it's sitting where you want it to. And then I have either use your block if you've got one. You don't have to, but I just found it useful to um, just give it a little light hammer. Um, if you want to texture it, then once you've hammered it slightly flat, if you then turn it over and just go up and down across the edge, that gives it a lovely little bit of... Um, texture and then when it moves it really catches catches the light beautifully so once you've got to that point you then want to choose what length you want to um, to make this section and then taking a piece of 0.4 if you just wrap it around again you can do as many times, make sure you don't um, do it so tight that the wire sits on top of each other. And then give it a little bit of a squidge and pull your wires with your pliers, pull those down. And then if you turn it over and halfway across, if you then snip that wire off and squidge it in and the same with the bottom piece I give that a little squidge just make sure that yeah that it's not going to scratch then we need to take your pliers 
and just pushing behind and pulling your pliers forward just take that at this sort of angle and then you need to leave again it depends on the size of the loop but I would have said at least a centimetre if not slightly yeah probably about a centimetre snip those off pop your round those pliers in about halfway down and then just gently roll those and if you need to bring them in you can and that gives you that finished section then I'll, I need another piece of the 0 0.4 so take a small bit of 0 0.4 and again, this is entirely up to you as to how many um, gemstones you want to place on. But if you pop your wire over, and then what I tend to do is take the tail under and just very gently wrap it round two or three times. And then... Again, you can neaten it up once you've um, got those little wraps together and give it a little squidge. Bring this across at the back and then snip off that excess again and just sort of gently roll. If you take your pliers and just sort of roll, then that brings it in nicely and it won't scratch. Just going to pull that up there and then pop on one of your gemstones. Uh, if I can find the hole, let's and say so most of these went on the 0 0.4 with no problem. I've got a little bit of a kink in the wire there, that's it. Pull that down and then because you've gone over the top on this side you want to do the same on this side and remember here I've wrapped below so when I come over again you really want to bring the wire underneath and wrap below so that it all matches and then you just twist the wire around um, and again, just a little attention to detail, just count how many wraps you do. I can't actually see, I think that's one short, but um, I'm going to snip that off anyway. But yes, I would count. I have to use a magnifying glass at home. <laughs> My eyesight's so bad. And then you just do the same up here. Um, so I'll quickly wrap this on. Um, Two, three. This time the wire I've wrapped with it underneath. Um, there we go. Snip that off. Squidge that together. And then pop your gemstones on. Oops. And with this one, you again, depending on how many stones you you want to pop on, I tried that one last time, um, you can bend and twist the wire to either have it going straighter or... Um, so here, if I pop this on, I'll show you what I mean. Let's just quickly wrap this round so you don't have to be too too worried about um, getting everything neat when you first start with the wrapping because you can always squidge it up with your pliers so if you're just starting out with wire you know definitely don't be afraid of it and definitely have a have a play um, bring those in, snip that off and then as I say you can hold 
these gemstones Oops. and you can then manipulate them into whatever curve you like and then when you've got them where you want them just give these little bits of wire either side a little squidge and um, and that will hold them in place and then you can either add your jump ring let's just open a jump ring she says these rings are closed so tight you can't see where the uh, the slice the um, slit is so there again you can either have that and pop it on as to your chain or just pop your little earring finding in and then do your jump ring back up and that's a little earring Thank you very much, Mel. It's gorgeous. And you can do that with so many different gemstones. Yes. Such a mo it's a really modern look. Yes, yeah. I love yeah. it. Thank you so much. Any questions for Mel? Get them through. We are coming into the last half an hour-ish of the show, so now's definitely the time. Now, I've just I've had these in my hands, and they've gone really warm. Uh, they're huge, gorgeous Amazonites, and we've got some Sharite. If you've got any Sharite in your collection, look how beautifully these Russian gemstones work together. We've got so many beautiful things. Where is Wayne going to go first? Fantastic faceted rounds. Where are they? Where are they? Ba, 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 ba. I haven't got them, but we will. Uh... I have got some beautiful powder finish uh, barrel for you, and you've got so much aquamarine on there. That's coming up in a mojo. Oh, and I've got some polished ones too. Now, look at these. So I'm wearing beryl. I love it. I, and this is a particularly strong colour. Have a look. Actually, it's probably a little bit stronger than my pips colour-wise, do you think? Yeah, it is, isn't mm. it? You've got an incredible saturation of colour in each one of these strands. So the Beryl family is particularly, I think, brilliant mix like this because they look so summery. They're so summery looking. They're so beautiful and breezy, these colours. You've got gorgeous pastel colours and they are making their way to you for an incredible price. Now you've got aquamarine on there, morganite, you've got maybe a few sneaky little emeralds because the green is, oh, the 23.99, we've only got 14 chances. Aquamarine, of course, is a birth gemstone. You've got March's birth gemstone there. It's, uh, it is a love gemstone too. So if you wanted to draw upon that, in fact, you've got lots of aquamarine in here that you could do that with. You can create tapered pieces. Let's have a look. You've got so much aquamarine in here and you can go down in the graduating sizes all of the blue is the aquamarine and as a love crystal it is in, it's said to encourage a lover to return also bring back past love and help two different people with two different lifestyles live together in harmony at 23.99 we've only got four chances left kgp 20 is your item code this one's going to sell out today loads of you there Wayne Yee Haring, uh, Diane and Gwyneth and Carol, Maker in Essex, Nicole, you've got yours, Nicolette, in, uh, you've got yours, Somerset, you've got yours, Jacqueline, uh, ouch, Maker in Cornwall, you've got yours, that was my elbow, 580 carats of multicoloured barrel. I don't know why I said ouch, it didn't really hurt. My kids say that I do that all the time, like, ow, and they're like, it didn't hurt. And I'm like, oh yeah, <laughs> just did it. Now, we can't. Where did I get that from? Number. Okay. Right, I am so excited about these. I'm going to get the pineapples out. Look. <laughs> I just love them. There's something so quirky about these. Uh, I would, again, these, these would be for friends. Did you know that in um, ancient times, a pineapple was a sign of wealth and travel? Mad King George? Was Mad King George? Yeah. He was a big fan of the hiring pineapples for parties. He probably did own a pineapple. But uh, there is a pineapple building in Scotland, mellow like this. And it was, I, I can't, it might have been Mad King George that had it built. Uh, but it was to, just to basically show off how bougie whoever it was who had it built yes, was. Yes, yes, yeah. The, and I really want to go there. <laughs> if you live in Scotland, do you live near the pineapple? 
You went to a stately home that had a, a greenhouse just for pineapples. Growing their own pineapples. That was a good thing. They look so cool together, don't Aren't they? Aren't they great? Yeah, I love them. Little charm. Oh, you know that charm bracelet That's we had exactly earlier? That's exactly what I was just thinking. Put it with those. Twenty four ninety nine. By the way, they are solid. These aren't hollow. I'm gonna. I got a mess. Look, they're a really decent size as they're well. They're solid charms. You know, sometimes you feel so, and they're like rolled gold or what have you. They're not. They're solid. There's so much silver in these. That was the ghost. So what's wrong with me? Well, get we back have to one of those at home. Ten point seven two grams of silver. They they are heavy. <laughs> Bruce went, the man from Jewelry Maker, he said yes, like the Del Monte man. Do you remember Mr. Del Monte? Yeah. Yeah, in his white suit. I actually remember my brother said to me, I wore a white suit to my cousin's wedding and I got out of the car and my brother went, here she comes, the man from Del Monte. I was like, thanks a lot. I thought I looked well cool in my white suit. <laughs> Does anyone have Del Monte anymore? Is that even still thing? I have my juice from the milkman. <laughs> Apple juice. <laughs> I'm so sorry, jewelry makers. Garnet. Let's talk because what a beautiful gemstone. Did you know? That in the Bible, uh, the only light on Noah's Ark was supplied from a garnet. Oh, Did you know right. that? No, I didn't. Well, have I got Rundell's too? They do I not. I do love the garnet. Look how long this strand is. Love Hessonite because look how rich it is. Yeah. It looks like if you were to taste it, it would be like cinnamon and nutmeg. Don't taste them. They're gemstones. They're not for eating. Now... Oh, I do put garnet in the bath with me. It's beautiful, isn't it? Now, uh, this is a talisman of protection and un, um, unyielding strength, increasing willpower and resistance to all things negative. Uh, it's it's a, a very spiritual gem. So it's a stone of physical love and relationships and a spiritual stone of psychic protection. But, but do you know, I think these could be unisex, and I think, I, I think I'm... Mm, would you go rose gold or gold? I think either. I think, oh no, gold looks lush with it, doesn't it? Really rich. It was uh, said to be one of the original gemstones in the breastplate of Aaron. Very biblical though, a very, a very biblical gemstone. It's said to expand your awareness as well. Oh, I love these. Believed to confer invulnerability from wounds. Some tribes launched garnets from their sling bows as bullets. So, yeah, let's... Now. You know how to please me today, don't you? With these chains, you know I love these. So this time... Ooh, these are lovely. Look at the, look at the luster on these. These look proper expensive because they're so lustrous. And we're going to give you rose gold and gold. Oh, I love oh. it. Look at that. So you can see the quality, can't you? So these are curb chains. And a curb chain has a really nice, um, I want to say close knit to it, but of course they're not knitted, but you know what I mean. It, they've got a real close knit link to them, have curb chains. And what that gives us, and a flatness. So what the flatness gives us is an incredible surface luster. And that, to me, looks very, very expensive. Real 18 karat gold on sterling silver, real rose gold on sterling silver, done in layer upon layer from Italy. <laughs> For five pounds, what are you doing? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, you dare. No. What are you doing? No, you can't. Why would you do that? I've only got half an hour, but then he won't last that are long. Are you working for the opposition? <laughs> what are you doing? No one can rival this. We wouldn't have an opposition. What are you doing? You're, you're mad. Bro. What are you doing? You can't do that. Mate, we are going to get into some trouble for that. You, did you not see what Monica Veneda was doing? £50 an 18-inch chain.
When producers get in trouble, who do they report to? Wayne, yeah. Yeah, but I've got, I've got enough black marks against my name. Why do you have to do this with Xena? <laughs> She's good. <laughs> she, never, she never does anything wrong. I've got a whole book on Jenny Cleary, reasons we could potentially fire her. Eight chances. If you, listen, if I ever see this deal again, there's something going on it. There's something wrong. Four pounds a chain. If you want to sell these for 30 pounds a chain, in fact... That is a really good idea. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. I don't know why he's doing it. Why are you doing that? We can't be making... We're not making any money. Wayne's making friends. Oh, Wayne. That's Everybody one... apart from one person has bought two or three. Yeah, I was going to say. Jenny, you said Wayne was going to do mad thing. Yeah, I did say that, actually, Pauline, and he is. Pauline, that was a little bit too much for my liking, though. Right, they've gone. It, OK, but th we're not doing the same thing. Because look how long they are. I'm going to just do what I did earlier with these. So these are the ones I had on earlier. Then I had to take them off, because we did... Then they're back on again. Look how long they are. Remember that Cartier piece I showed you earlier? Look, at these are so long. They're fabulous. These are lush. Aren't they fabulous? That is just the same length as that Cartier one, isn't it? Do you, have you still got that? What do they do with it? Oh, I love it. Look at the length of that. Should I put it over my hand so you can see the that close... So it's 20, 28 pounds for both, super, 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 super price. And remember, if you're buying 18 inches elsewhere, you're paying 50 pounds for the rose gold and 50 pounds for the gold from Monica Veneda today, now on the website. 18 karat gold, real 18 karat gold. With, does it, is it me or do they look richer when you put them together? Yeah, yes, they definitely do. They're stunning. Aren't they just gorgeous? And there's, is this a snake chain as well? What are we calling it? Box? It's actually snake. You shouldn't have done that, Wayne. It's snake, not box. It's snake, not box. <laughs> Look at that. I'm oh, sorry, jewelry makers. Oh, there's just, it's, it's unintentional is all I can say. Look. At that together, they're beautiful. Twenty-eight pounds, Christine in Bedfordshire. What are this time? Yes, he's always there for me. Tracy, Karen, Angela, Janice, maker in Yorkshire, two for you. Pauline, Christine, Hilma, Alison, Sal, a maker in North Yorkshire. Uh, Janice in London. He's gone mad. He's as mad as a dog in a playground today. This one. OK, we've only got 10 of these. I'd say there's at least, what's that, 80 centimetres a metre? A metre and a half. That just goes to show how good I am at measuring things, doesn't it? <laughs> Black Spinel is a wonderful gemstone because it gives you an incredible sparkle. It gives you a billiard ball shine. And it's certainly a favourite among you jewellery makers. 400 carats for under £8. The prices for chains are mad. I know. He's gone mad, Angela. <laughs> you know when you take your dog out of the bath and it goes completely mad? That's Wayne. He's as mad as a dog out of the bath. Or when there's a dog in the playground and it's running around like a crazy... Do you remember they were the best days of school? There's a dog in the playground! He used to literally be so excited. My dog goes mad as soon as you get his lead to take him out for a walk. He just... Oh, and mine. They go... And you're like, just let me get the lead on. He just now. bounces like crazy. He really does. Oh, bless him. I don't have anything in there, but... What is it? Garnet? Oh, they all three together, are they? Oh, well, that's lovely. You've got Zavarite garnet in here before you start going mad, <laughs> Wayney. 
so sparkly. It is a high-end bundle, look. Look at this, look at this. Oh, it's so juicy and totally natural, this strand. I love this strand I do. Mm, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, and you know all the different colours of garnet, if you are a crystal healer, have different meanings for different things. Like, they, you can have a look, there's like a whole Bible or a library of different uh, different types of garnet there. But Zavarite garnet's got to be one of my favourites. It's green, for a start, my favourite colour. But it's got fire. More fire than a diamond, hasn't it, Wayne? Then you've got... Look how perfect these rounds are. Not often we see rounds like that that aren't faceted, so it's a delight to see them. And the clarity is exceptional. Then we've got that gorgeous beryl. Now, you might want to get these if you're going to get the beryl here. What time is this beryl coming up? Because look, that's the deal of the day tomorrow. It's aquamarine, sorry. It'll go really well with that. Well, it's still beryl, but it'll go really well with that. Aquamarine is beryl. Now you've got three beautiful strands here. I'm gonna give you a super price. They, they are high-end strands. You've got lots of different uh, gemstones, of course, in the barrel, but you have got aquamarine there, so you have got March's birth gemstone, you have got October's birth gemstone, and you've got January's birth gemstone. For $44.99, you've got absolutely stacks. The garnet, uh, they are graduated. They're between two by one and five by three. The matte finished barrels are all 10 by uh, 10 millimeters. And then you've got, brrr, your tourmalines at three to three and a half. So we're being very precise with those at $44.99. Now, let's have some Jasper. Let's double trouble the Jasper. Why not? Marlas. You were saying Marlas earlier, yes. weren't you? Yeah. Ideal for that. And they're graduated, so you could go right down to that point. Perfect. And I'd say you've probably got just the right amount because it looks like this is the same set up as the uh, rose quartz. So you should have 108 altogether. 17.99, two strands of gorgeous fancy jasper. Jasper's a, a, another ancient gemstone and a, another great one for healing. It's, uh, it, it was dubbed the king's gemstone was jasper. And, uh, and there are many different forms of jasper. Mookite is in, for, in fact a, uh, a form of jasper, but this one, it, Wayne just went in my ear, crash <laughs> For both strands, and they are graduated. You've got such a huge scope for your designs. £10 on the nose, £5 a strand here. And, of course, they're graduated. You've got so much you can do. Now, where, is it straight, straight up Marlers when you see something like this? Yeah, as well as also some of your statement pieces because of the graduation. Um, but I think we f forget sometimes that Jasper's sort of such an amazing array of colours and patterns and, you know, it, it's not necessarily your go-to sort of um, stone. I think it gets forgotten about sometimes. And as It I does say, in today's age, but we've known about it for so long. It was known as the Supreme Nurturer uh, and it was a gemstone that was used by shamans. Uh, literally, we can... We can date it back so far to the most ancient civilizations, priests, kings, shamans, and it was considered sacred and a powerful protection set stone um, in, many years ago. And in the Egyptian Book of the Dead, uh, it was it was what was carved in the on on the front of the Egyptian Book of the Dead. So, like, it was really, yeah. really, really heavily um, heavily utilized in ancient times. But it was also said to be a rain bringer. Um, Native Americans used it as a rain bringer. It's funny actually you saying that because looking at it, you can see almost those stormy sort of nights, can't you? Yeah, yeah, when like you look the wet the grass colours. as yeah. well. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. and, and like wet leaves, that's what it looks like, those kind of colours, doesn't yeah. it? And gosh, hasn't it been wet this week? <laughs> oh my goodness gracious me. Now, there is a queue for those. We've got lots to do. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know why I turned into an owl then. <laughs> Uh, okay, so if I was putting these in the bath, it would be bubbly, wouldn't it? Wait a minute, how much does it need? Two and a half, I got five metres. <laughs> You're giving me five metres of gemstones. And you've got the perfect necklace behind you to do the... Yes, I have. <laughs> and you know something, um, five metres of any gemstone is going to make you... 
If seven inches is a stretchy bracelet and I've got five meters, how many stretchy bracelets can I make? <laughs> this is like Lots. Johnny had an apple. <laughs> I haven't got time for that. All right. Do you remember at school you used to hate it when you were like, Johnny had an apple. He let his friend bite a quarter of it. How much apple has he got left? I don't know. <laughs> None of it because his friend's bitten it. 16 pounds. Eight pounds. There's five meters. What's that a meter? At least give me that. What's that a meter? Five meters. There's five meters in here. <laughs> Three pound twenty a meter. And a, that's mad. Oh yeah. I think you might. Oh, Tree of Life designs for that. Oh yeah. Ridiculous. Wayne, <laughs> what have you done? Quickly move along. He, he didn't realise it was five meters. Okay, quickly. Never mention that again. These are so sweet. Little Jaspers. Wayne, do you know what you're like? You're like a kid that's just taken, taken his shoes off it in a soft play warehouse. You've literally gone mental. They Look are at these. gorgeous. Aren't they pretty? This is the prettiest Jasper I've ever seen. I love the colours. And the clarity. Yeah. They're ace, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, yeah, big love but for these. Brilliant in the, um, the endless loom. Yes, they would. Yeah. Loom them up. My endless loom, says Wayne. Yeah, look, there, look, I'm looming. Looming. Aren't they amazing? Yeah. They're beautiful. They've got to sell out. Look at, look at those. Seven pounds. <laughs> oh, by the way, there's two strands here. I think they make lovely rings, too. And yeah. I love those colours I do. Yeah, because you can get do the little stretchy rings, can't you? It's so simple. Uh, yes, just literally the simplest thing ever. And you don't even need to make stretchy rings really out of elastic because they'll roll onto your finger and roll yeah. back off again. Now it's time. Warm yourself up. It's time for a pick of the day. What a beautiful, beautiful strand we've got for you, and particularly great for anyone doing those marlin necklaces just here. Before you uh, introduce the tassel, this is a great gemstone. Now, what you will notice if we've got these little glass beads in between each one, take those off and use them in other projects. They are huge. I think these would work so well in rings, big cocktail rings. These would be perfect for. Uh, what great colour saturation we're seeing here as well. Now, this in crystal healing terms is called the Stone of Courage and the stone of truth. It's said to empower you to search uh, yourself and discover your own truths and integrities. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful gemstone that's said to soothe the chakras as well. It's said to awaken compassion for others by allowing one to perceive both sides of a problem. It's a talisman for healing and prosperity. It's been used in jewellery and cut into beads since the time of the early uh, Mesopotamian cultures. It's well known in India, Egypt, Sudan and Mesopotamia. Uh, it was po a popular amulet stone and was once used as a decorative material for a building facades. It was carved and cut into tablets for the Egyptian funerary text. Uh, again, Book of the Dead. So this is in the Book of the Dead as well. It's beautiful, isn't it? Amazon Jade is uh, what this gemstone has also been called, and it's a support stone too. Said to um, aid in overcoming loneliness, as in being, and has been credited with making married life happier. I think quite a lot of us are feeling lonely at the moment. So maybe if you know so, a loved one is feeling lonely, you can give them a stone that's said to help support them uh, in their time of loneliness. It's a good luck gemstone for games of chance as well. So if you've been having those heated games of Twister lately, perhaps this is one that you want. Uh, this is, I love Twister, I do. But essentially... Look at these. But essentially, they're a great 
big feature bead. I think these look lovely in a maxi, uh, just just as an, in a necklace, but with something like a, a maxi dress. Now, Amazonite in a teen's bedroom is said to encourage tidiness as well. <laughs> what would you do with these in jewellery, though, Mel? Um, what's the drill hole like? I can confirm a large hole. Yeah, I thought it would be. Um, I would like to macrame with them. Oh, yes, and use them as a feature bead. Yeah, I'd just have one in the centre, maybe, of a bracelet. But what I like to do, rather than capturing the outside of the bead, is take the threads through. So when you've got the larger drill hole... So you can macrame up to it and then yeah. take your two threads through yeah. and then carry on macrame in the other side. Ah. And that way then it leaves the stone free because I would like to be able to move yeah, to have sort something of tactile. like as a spinner type. So, yeah. Um, so I think they'd be lovely for macrame in. I agree. I've, you've got lovely surfaces on these two. CJN V56. Twenty-four ninety. Mm. Now, these are big. I'm going to... And they're the same, so you can work out each carat weight, actually. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 on my strand. They're all pretty much... Oh, no, they are slightly graduated. Oh, there's not, not much in the graduation, ever so slight. But a lovely... Over 20 carats in each one. But it's the colour, isn't it? Yeah. A powerful, wonderful colour. I actually think this will look lovely with your fluorite. And mm. I also think if you bought the kit earlier, how lovely that will look with the blue opal. That's a, that would be a real fresh combination, wouldn't it? Well, you could restrand it where you've put the little beads, put the little opal in between instead. Uh, message just in from Debbie. Love listening to you talk about gemstones, Jenny. Uh, how many beads are on the Marla necklace piece? Uh, 108, my darling angel. Thanks, Denise. Mwah! Was it Denise or Debbie? I just saw the D from far away. Uh, this is from Julie. It was Debbie, sorry. Hiya, Julie. Jenny, please don't play Twister till your back is fully recovered. I had a... Um, so I had the doctor on the phone today, actually, and they said they wanted to try and inject me. And I said, do you have an MRI scan me yet? Don't inject me until you've an MRI scan. Yeah. He said, do you want to come in for some injections? And I was like, nah. I'm all right for that, thanks. It's getting better, actually, to be fair to it. But just, just probably a couple of times a day. Get what, sir? What's she saying? No, this isn't Amazonite. This is um, Aquamarine. I've, I've got these lov this lovely trio that we haven't done yet. Okay, that's going to be our last one. Let me show it to you then. We haven't done the uh, the magnetic clasps yet either. Go on. Thanks, darling. Oh, these are warm. Where have they been? <laughs> <laughs> They are really warm. Amazonite keeps a nice heat to it. It does keep a nice heat to it, though, to be fair to it. Look at these. Oh, they're beauts, aren't they? Oh, they're stunning. So you get the little spaces here, too. So those are six to seven and a half mil, and these are eight mil on the nose. I love the fresh. Listen, this is we're ready for the summer. These are going to be great in anklets. Yeah. They're, they're going to be great in necklaces, earrings. They're just so summery. I'm thinking about my barbecue right now. <laughs> Oh, it's got rotisserie on it, my barbecue. I was thinking about that chicken going round and round. QIXC01. <laughs> Buy one, get one free. Okay, Amazonite, to go with those big chunky ones too. It'll go really nicely with these aqua... Oh, look, at I love that. Nice cut, that, isn't it? Yes, yeah. 18 pounds on the nose, nine pounds a strand. Perfect. Is that right? Nine times two is 18? Yeah. That's just about the limit of my... <laughs> lotions, <laughs> aren't they? Yeah, they are. Yeah. There, there is something oceanic about this gemstone, for sure. I think it will look really lovely with the lapis lazuli we had earlier. Oh, definitely, yeah. What? Well, they're beautiful. Yeah. Are they from Russia? Where are they from? One's Peruvian and one's where? And one's Indian. How gorgeous they are. 
And that little slight difference in size is gorgeous. It isn't is, it? isn't it? Because you go, here's the smaller ones here. Yeah. Yeah, it is. And then you've got, again, options, scope. Yeah. The best thing you can give yourself in life is options, right? And cheese. 18 or options with cheese. <laughs> yes. <laughs> my mum and my son both hate cheese, and I can't imagine how their life must feel. Yeah, I must admit, I'm, I'm very boring with cheese. I just like Edam or cheddar. I haven't had an Edam for ages. Yeah. Do you remember in the 80s, everyone used to have Edam with the red? Yes. I, I love it all. <laughs> Stilton on chips, under the grill, melt the Stilton. Oh. <laughs> yes. Camembert baked. Oh. Now, please make sure you're checking out for that. Let's give you... Which ones? The little wee ones. These are so beautiful. I'm really... Appetite. We've got Hessonite and Peridot here. These are just like the rainbow. I love them all together. If you've got the bead loom, you're going to love it. How gorgeous are they rode oh. up? Oh, I love... Well, how would you do the combination? Would the Hessonite go in the middle? What do you think? Maybe the darker should go in the middle. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think so, yeah, Mel. Yeah, definitely. Aren't they yeah. pretty? You've got Aquamarine here, which we know is a... <gasps> That's Chang Bai Peridot. Appetite, sorry. Chang Bai Peridot. Which we know, Chang Bai Peridot is famous for that unique, wonderful colour and incredible clarity. Then we've got that Hessonite Garnet, just giving us those burning ember colours, those fabulous tones. And then you've got such super appetite. You've got, I mean, that appetite is really super quality, isn't it? Like the landscape. You've got the grass at the bottom, the sky at the top, and then the woodland in the middle. Oh, it is, yes, <laughs> it does represent that. Fifteen pounds, five pounds a strand. Uh, you could um, do Bida Kumahima with this, which would look something like this, but neater. Beady beads. Yes. All oh, for your charm bracelet. If you bought the bracelets, the charm carriers yeah. earlier, they make great charms. Lots of little little ones. Let's see. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. Oh, it looks yummy, doesn't it? Yeah. Do you remember you used to be able to get those candy canes in different flavours, like loads and... Uh, I don't know what ever happened to them, but you used to be able to get them all the time. That's what it reminds me of. They Very look juicy, delicious. they look, yeah. don't they? They do, they look delicious together. Oh, I do think... Keep. Oh, we've, we're running out of time. Uh, Maker in Surrey, Lincolnshire, Sharon, Elizabeth, you've got yours. It's been wonderful having your company today. Uh, please do join us in the morning. The beautiful Sheila is here in the morning. And the... Absolute stunner that is Rachel Norris is here in the afternoon. We are delighted uh, to be bringing you the most fantastic weekend this weekend. I will see you bright and early. Thank you so much to our guest, Mel. Pleasure. <laughs> I have got a really exciting announcement for you. We have got coming up for you on Friday the 22nd of January from 12 until 2, a two-hour masterclass on our beloved Argentium, but this is going to be the biggest, most unusual Argentium show to date. Because I'll be joined by the brilliant Elizabeth of Argentium, and we are launching two of our favorite things combined. So we've got Argentium, but we've got a cast of a stunning acorn, which has been Argentium hallmark to give you added value and professionalism to your pieces. But we're also going to launch for the first time with Argentium and these beautifully cast acorn pendants, Edison, fine quality, exquisite pearls. So just imagine that, Argentium with this beautifully cast from Elizabeth's own acorn tree and Hallmark. We've got the Edison Pearl with Argentium and we've got two brand new kits. Now if you buy either of these kits on the day, do you see the lovely acorn Edison pearl necklace that I'm wearing? You get the chance to win said necklace and an Argentium apron and the spinner tray as well if you buy one of these kits on Friday the 22nd. We cannot wait. We've got everything you need, all the tools that you need for Argentium as well. It is going to be awesome. So join myself and Elizabeth of Argentium on Friday the 22nd of January for midday.
Hello, my name is Rachel Morris. I look forward to seeing you all on Saturday the 16th of January for the Masterclass show. And I've used some copper sheet with these beautiful kit colourways to make um, Indian elephants and frogs and lily pads and all sorts of things in sculptural 2D and three-dimensional forms. So I look forward to seeing you all on Saturday the 16th of January for the Masterclass on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewelry Maker. So expensive in a jewellery oh, shop. Oh, it, it looks like something that you'd get in a high-end jewellery shop as well. Yeah, it? because there's a big amount of your nine two five precious metal. Yeah. That's a lovely amber as well. I love the I love the voluptuous drop. You've got about two and a half minutes to check out everything from this hour. I understand. And then what is it not available? Okay, so check out your baskets for this hour, jewellery makers. Um, coming up in the next hour, we've got some amazing. So that means I can't get any of the amber. Oh no. Um, we are only one hour away from your sterling silver bundles as well. So if you fancied those lovely little hearts, the cubic zircona, colourful hearts, um, they're coming up in the 10 o'clock hour. Amazing kits um, in the 9 o'clock hour and some beautiful inspiration from our lovely Susie. Now, if you want to enter the Wall of Fame like our fabulous viewers did earlier on, it's as simple as this. The Jewellery Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewellery designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewellerymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewellery Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. Hello, my name is Rachel Morris. I look forward to seeing you all on Saturday the 16th of January for the Masterclass show. And I've used some copper sheet with these beautiful kit colourways to make um, Indian elephants and frogs and lily pads and all sorts of things in sculptural 2D and three-dimensional forms. So I look forward to seeing you all on Saturday the 16th of January for the Masterclass on Jewelry Maker. We have a new Facebook group dedicated to sharing your makes and jewellery making advice. To join the group, simply head over to the page and hit request. You'll then be able to share your designs with our JM community and join like-minded people. Create, wear, share. If you 
have a question or query for Jewellery Maker, then contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Email help at jewellerymaker.com or drop us a message on our Facebook page. cuddles i'm a proper cuddly person so it's really yeah. not it's horrible not being able to cuddle people oh, i'm exactly the same i'm, I'm a huggy person yeah and i hate it Stand yeah it's horrible I feel it's horrible you know, you, I, i'm one of those people that you, you hug people and sometimes you, they, you get the reaction like oh yeah. <laughs> they weren't expect obviously not now not now not allowed right now um we were just trying to decide which kit to bring you first because and we genuinely cannot make a decision because they're all absolutely beautiful. So I'm totally going to throw this one over to you, Susie, and say, have you got a favourite? I can't choose. Well, nor could I. I thought my favourite was going to be the white one. They're the ones I work with first. Yeah. I thought, right, I'm going to love these. But do you know what? I really like the green. Yeah, I like the green too. I loved it. when I, I thought, wow. <sighs> Look so at this jewellery that Susie has made. I mean, Susie, these are beautiful. Obviously, it's a Valentine's theme, theme show. Exactly. So prior to the, the, actually coming live, I was trying to think of a Valentine's song. And all I could come up with was Barry White. <laughs> <laughs> that speaks volumes, doesn't it? <laughs> I was like, I can't sing Barry White. Definitely can't sing Barry White. That's the most random choice ever. But okay, we'll roll with that. We'll roll with that one. Um, but yeah, that's definitely not Barry White. Who was that? Terence Trent Darby or some? Oh, Charles and Eddie. No, uh, Charles and Eddie. <laughs> I just kept. I just coming up with. Um, you to me are everything. That one, that just kept... I can sing our baby. Oh, okay. Right, which one are we going to start with then, Tom? Let's make a decision. Let's start with the white pearls okay. because you mentioned it. Yeah. And I do think, actually, this is... Yeah, classic. Oh. I... By the way, these are going to sell out. Yeah. Oh, I love them. Oh. Oh, they graduated as well, Susie. So we've never seen these, or I haven't seen these hearts before, unless you've yeah. actually had them since no. I've been off. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Oh, they are. You've got this amazingly beautiful... I don't know how to just... Bulbous. To just, yeah, voluptuous. Well, Let's voluptuous. say voluptuous. Yes, that is a brilliant word. And it's they a are. voluptuous heart. Some of the most juicy... Yeah. Juicy raspberry red. Look at that. You've got the wonderful fuchsia Gorgeous. flashing through. So these are your lamp work hearts. They come in two different sizes. So you're actually getting two of the smaller and one of the large. Now, straight in at your price tag because there's so many of you there already. So we're not messing around on this one. So you get... Th oh, look at that. Look at that. See if I can replicate what Ollie's done just there. Was it Ollie or was it Michael? That's taken that beautiful photo. Was it Adam? Was it Adam? Okay. There we are. Look at that. Look at that. That's something that you could imagine oh, yeah. in a glossy magazine. Thing. Don't it you is, think that, 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 that very vision itself? 